Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is many a true note and happy birthday to, to me. You. Right, welcome. Welcome to... Hang on, we'll get, we'll get some music in the background here. There we go. We'll get... Is that, is that, that looks a bit loud. Hang on. Let me just quite slightly quiet that. I think that the title screen of Fallout 4 could be a bit aggressive. I'll just no, move that down a bit. That should be fine. So, welcome to welcome to my birthday. It's my birthday today, uh, which is why we're on Wednesday, not Thursday. So I think like, on some previous years, I've been like, you know what? If it's close enough to a weekend, I'll just like do it on the weekend. I'm like, you know what? Wednesday versus Thursday, screw it. We'll actually do it. We're, we're, we're doing it live. We're doing it live. We're going to do it on, on the day today. And I always like to do something a bit special for my birthday. So today, I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you a one. You, this is. Have you seen this wall of happy birthdays? I've, I've seen many happy birthdays. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share some really interesting stuff with you today. All right. This is this is Fallout 4 No Kill. Now, uh, in case you, uh, you, you, you know, just you've never gone digging around in the early days of the channel. Uh, the first two Fallout series I did started in August 2013. Yeah. So if you're not old like John, yeah, you know. In fact, I believe I didn't actually didn't actually check just this like ahead of time. Huh? Just like completely ignore. I'm I'm totally fine with being old. I came to terms with that years ago. Uh, I think actually, if I if I'm trying to to remember this, right about right about now here. Uh, oh, none of you, none of you, none of you, none of you. Back back to. Back to back to things. This is no. I wasn't. I I thought it was. I thought it might actually be my birthday. The original episode. The very like one. The very first um. Uh yeah. Fallout New Vegas Kill Everything Part One was the eighteenth of August, twenty thirteen. Eighteenth of August, twenty thirteen. Maybe maybe No Kill was the seventeenth. Was No Kill the seventeenth? No, that was the eighteenth too. They back in those days. Yeah, like they were released as a pair. They were released as a pair of videos. They were released on the same day. So they were both released on the 18th. So almost on my birthday. Like, like basically almost a decade ago. But pretty much, of, you know, close to basically like a decade ago, roughly-ish. Not to the day and not to the year. But excluding one day and one year, like about a decade ago. So I a released, non aid ago. And yes, precisely. Uh, we released uh, the, the very first Fallout videos on this channel. 18th of August, 2013. And it was a matching pair of Fallout New Vegas, No Kill, and Kill Everything. And obviously, uh, Kill Everything went on to happen in Fallout 3. Uh, and, and some people have asked over the years, like, oh, well, John, why, why, did, why did No Kill never never come back like in in various uh in various capacities and lots of people that you know why, do, why didn't you do why didn't you do like uh no kill in in oh fallout 3 or or in fallout 4 yes claire Ooh. yes shout out to igorof the north <laughs> who gave you i'm gonna go with you give you 250 dollars Thank you so, Thank so you much. Thank you so, so much. Sorry, I was just temporarily uh, taken aback there. Sorry, me too. Yes. Um, I know you were talking, but who cares about that, eh? <laughs> Fly me. I love you. I'm very excited because it's John's birthday. Anyway, Igrof the Nord says, Hey, John, I've been watching you since middle school, and I can't wait to <laughs> see you try and figure out uh, our hearts of iron for mechanics. He's oh. given me the greatest gift of all, which is feeling like my bones are turning to dust. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you want to tell them about the uh, the card uh, from uh, your sister? Uh, b -b 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 the, which one? The one that's not holographic cows. Remind me. Uh, that says uh, you're so old, your bins go out more than you do. That's been true for years. That's fine. That's true, <laughs> but it's still funny. That is fine. Okay. As I was saying, Fallout, uh, the, the, the reason why No Kill never came back specifically in Fallout 4 is, technically, I think actually you can't, okay, there are ways of doing pacifist runs in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. They are both theoretically possible. However, 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 in Fallout New Vegas, I, I really did play to the spirit of the law as best as I could. 
Like, you know, we didn't just say, oh yeah, we can just like, you know, manipulate this, that, and the other. Like, in Fallout 3 and in Fallout 4, I'd say even more so, particularly in Fallout 4, you can do a pacifist run in this game, but I don't think you're... Pacifist-ish. You, 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 pacifist in the sense that the nice screen says you've got no kills, but you've got blood on your hats, <laughs> all right? Like, a lot. Like you, you Oh, like a politician specifist run. Aha, uh -huh. something of that nature. Like you're literally to the extent of you put the gun in the person's hand and then pay them to go over there and like oh, get no. them to kill the people who you need to do. Well, that's my kill counter still at zero. So, uh Fallout 4 no kill. Uh, was something I just kind of, you know, never really got round to because while I could do it, I felt like, you know, there would be just be too much over, it, it, there'd be too much in the way of exploits and da -da 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 -da. but theoretically it's possible. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it today. And what I also didn't do was I didn't plan the run okay. in any particular capacity. Uh, that's that's number two thing I didn't do. Didn't really plan. And uh, normally when you do a challenge run, this involves weeks of careful planning, uh, sifting through wikis, uh, and uh, making sure that we've got everything just right. Um, today, no. I've got I've got a special layout as a starting point. I've got I've got it's written on an envelope next to me. I've got so I've got special, and I've got some vague ideas in mind, but don't really have much in the way of a plan. <laughs> Is it more worrying when he says, I don't have a plan, or I have a plan? I think the only thing worse than John, John with a plan is John without a plan. When we get to the point where we just say that, I've got no plan whatsoever. That's that's when you know everything's gone, when, when everything's gone to hell oh ahead of time. Oh my god, amazing. Yes. Sort of being in chat asks for his birthday, did John get a PC that can run Pippa Funnel? <laughs> no PCs can run Pippa Funnel. Pippa Funnel will break them. Pippa Funnel breaks PCs today. It, it's no longer compatible with modern technology. It's like that virus at the end of Independence Day. Lol. What they should do, they need to send Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum up to the alien mothership. They actually invade. We send them up there with a copy of Pippa Funnel. If they just insert into the alien mothership. It breaks. You've just bricked the alien mothership. Humanity saved. Job done. So, um... There are ways and means, but the thing is, it's also messy. This run is so messy. It's not like New Vegas, where there are all sorts of alternative solutions to avoid death. This is simply about going around and spending a huge amount of time saving and loading and attempting to manipulate other people into doing murder for you. And I'm just going to plan it live. And uh, I suspect it's going to be a shit show. And if it is, we'll never talk about it again. But if I find there's any legs in this whatsoever, then this here could theoretically be research for a theoretical future series. So, Ooh. I know. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So we're going to... Oh, this is going to be an absolute... Uh, like, if you've never looked into this, I, I will introduce you the mechanics. I will go for it one by one. I will introduce you to the pacifist mechanics of Fallout 4. Because they are... Some of them are so dumb. Some of them are so dumb. And I will explain them as as we go. So it's... it's all right. Yes. Uh, shout out to Alana in chat, who... Uh, Says, I'm always excited for birthday streams, but this one, oh, this one's gonna be awesome. This this one's gonna uh, be a shit show. And we've got a an update from Molly. Do you remember from last week's stream asking for Fallout advice? Yes. Uh, Molly oh says, yes. I used John's advice from last week. And this was taking on the glowing one upstairs in Hubris Comics in yes. Fallout 4. Yes. Yes. Uh, I used John's advice and successfully got through Hubris Comic Yay! with my Grognak actor character before level 8. Getting back to Sanctuary was hard though. Yes, I could imagine, because obviously in survival mode, you can't fast travel. And level 8, I assume you don't have vertebrates yet. So you're, uh, you're just walking. At some point you have to migrate your oh, base wow. south in a walking caravan, it's brilliant. Yes! Uh, and shout out also to Wojtek, who uh, gave us a thousand Swedish krona. Ooh! Uh, and says, uh, happy birthday dear John, thank you so much for always being there to brighten my day. And for getting me into classics. Nice! Oh, thanks to you too, Claire, for all the work that you do. In return, oh. I've given you the greatest gift of all. The gift of unemployableness. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Her peak practically. Well, they didn't say they studied it in school. They said they liked it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Claire oh, also I... made me a cake, by the way. Claire made me a carrot cake for my birthday. I really like carrot cake. But this... you can't get... I, st I can never find a good carrot cake because they insist. People, when they make carrot cake, insist on slathering cream cheese all over the top of it as the, as the icing of choice. I hate cream cheese. So I can never have carrot cake, even when it's just been a good restaurant. It's like, oh, and it's got cream cheese. Oh, fuck it. So I can't, I can't have the carrot cake. So Claire made me my own little carrot cake that was super delicious and had like a, like it was a, like a, a thin, like orangey crisp as like That's an icing. It's a royal icing with uh, orange juice or yeah. orange zest and icing sugar. It was really good. So Claire made me a lovely birthday cake. Well, I found a recipe. I thought I'll try it out and we'll see what needs tweaking. And it's perfect. It doesn't need any tweaking at all. It's pretty dang great. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna keep it. Uh. Keep it under. Uh. uh keep it for next time. But yeah, there's some left, by the way. Yeah, I think we've got like one one slice each left. I just don't understand why people insist that carrot cake goes with cream cheese icing. I don't get it. I don't think um, they go at all. I. Yes, anonymous in chat who puts cream cheese on carrot cake. Cream cheese icing, more specifically. Yeah. I really like cream cheese icing. Mm. But, it up, it know, upsets my tummy. I can't have I it. Don't, I can't have it. I don't think it's like essential. Yeah. I think you can do delicious. Anyway, it's fine. Yeah. Um. Ah, that night I had strawberry cheesecake. Oh, happy memories. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, what, I, like, I, one, one, one thing I will never forget at any point in my life is uh, at one point, I can't remember why, I was back in Oxford for some reason. This was after I'd started, this was after I was a student. I think I was back for some reason or another. And I was, I was staying at a small guest house and I'd been out at an event and I came home and I was hungry and I had a few to drink. So I went into, I believe it was either a KFC or a Burger King and I wanted something sweet. So I ordered the incredibly cheap, awful, like strawberry cheesecake from KFC, and and oh, I just and I had it nice. and I ate it all. It was fine, but then my stomach decided it wasn't fine, <laughs> and then terrible, terrible things followed. Terrible, terrible things. It was oh, I've never forgotten that night and that cheesecake, <laughs> and I've never had cheesecake since. Uh, so um. And Amanda asked, uh, was asking if you're lactose intolerant. You're not, but you just can't have too much dairy. I think I might be like a little bit. Like, I'm definitely not proper. But like, if I have too much dairy, it definitely upsets me. Well, <laughs> I think most people... <laughs> no, John, please. Oh, God. John, stop. <laughs> I think most people are a little bit lactose in... Well... Yeah. Like, you know, I think a lot of people are because we're not... Mm. Like, we're not... We're not really evolved for drinking like cow's milk as or mm. any kind of dairy as non-infants, you know? Yeah. Um, so anyway, we have so many super lovely messages and also people wanting you to stop talking about the thing. <laughs> Uh, well, all right. Let's easy. let's stop talking about that and instead, um, hang. yes. Just uh, as a, a little addendum from uh, Wojtek, yes. who uh, was saying, um, I am looking at maybe studying classics at university, thanks to John's answer in the most recent patron cast. Excellent. That is looking oh, I remember that. A bit more likely. So yeah. I think. Uh, I remember that question. Yeah. I think uh, that means. Um, mm. I think that means that uh, somebody is a very, very smart cookie. Excellent. Indeed. Yes. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And Amanda says, John, that means you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> Lol. There we go. There's some stuff. There's there, there's some Fallout 4 screen for you. Oh, my God. Okay, there are so many uh, super lovely. We're going to be a little bit behind today. It happens every year in the birthday stream. Don't worry. It's fine. It's all uh, going to be under control. So... Yes, let's let's jump in and we'll, we'll do some bit of interest because like the intro like I'm gonna start a new character So I'm gonna introduce everything step by step here um, So we're gonna we're gonna have some little modes. So let's just uh, jump in do some new I know there's some mods currently loaded the mod don't worry I've remembered to turn off legendary apocalypse all this turned on and just like the little quality of life mods like um, 
uh, blah, 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 like chameleon, the weird chameleon flash and the heartbeat and blur that you get when you're very low health. I've like, I like, I just have those permanently disabled because they're really annoying. So we'll just get you uh, underway. That should be all that's installed at the moment. And as soon as the, as soon as this loads up, we'll just uh, we'll just skip this. Obviously, we don't need the uh, the full intro. It's it's I was about to say it's the present, but it's not. It's twenty seventy seven. So it's, it's not the present, but it's getting closer. It's getting closer. If we're lucky, Fallout 5 will come out before 2077. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, flipping dear. Everything's, everything's under control. But, uh, yes, indeed. We've just got to... I've got a build in mind. I've got some, like, rough plans. There we go. Now we can start skipping to man, man in front of mirror. And I think we will go for, we'll, we'll go for, uh, we'll go for man on this occasion. Because I kind of, like, here's the thing. You, when, when you play as a pacifist in Fallout 4, you're not playing as a good person. You're not playing as a good person at all. You're playing as a very bad person. So I feel like we need an asshole. And for that, I think we need to gonna now. And now we're out of the title screen. We can slightly restore the, um, we can slightly restore the, uh, the, uh, the volume there. I think what we need is I need an evil moustache and an evil head. Like, not, like, full-on, like, I'm destroying the world evil. I just need, like, bastard. I need a bastard moustache, I think. So, marking blemishes, things, and all that. I need the... Uh, well, wouldn't it be under hair? Is it under hair? Where's sculpt type colour? Is it, is, it, is it under... Hang on. No, I need, I need, where's my moustache? Where's my moustaches game? Need my moustaches. Markings, blemishes, damages. Okay, maybe it's... Maybe it is under that. I, 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 I'm not sure if I've ever... There must be. There must... The, the, well, the, the, go to the other face thing, then. Huh? Other face thing? Well, it says face one, and then... Eight. That's presets. Oh, presets. That's presets. If you oh, want to look, if you want to look more like Sean ahead of time. Well, this for some guy reason. has facial hair, so there must be facial hair. There has to be facial hair. Where is so facial hair? So it's not an extra. Apparently not. And body, I know for a fact, is the triangle of muscular, thin, large. So it's not. It's not that. Where's? Are there no moustaches in Fallout Four? Have I just never realised this? Hang on. If I if I go through the if I go through the faces, do it's any... in chin. It's in chin. I was I was looking at lip, but okay. Hang on, chin, scale, except move. Ro wait, rotate. Oh, rotate that way. Mm, appear to be a. Where's, where's the facial hair? There was facial hair on the screen. You just didn't. Ah, there it is. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> they they hide that away, don't they? Okay, we need we need the evil. Okay, Claire, which yeah. do you think is okay? That's somewhat evil. We need oh, that's eviler. Suave is currently eviler. I think that's I think suave is eviler. We we need the evilest we can find. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. We just need to find the evilest facial hair. The evilest facial hair. No, it's not that evil. I, I want like a proper swirly mustache if at all possible. Proper twirly mustache. There we go. That's that's pretty evil. <laughs> that's quite evil. Oh my is currently the. That's also evil. That's just this is the same thing but with more. That's... I'm sorry, but who spent who 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 spends the resources to do that that smooth? Oh! Yes! Yes! Done. <laughs> that's what we wanted. Yes. Okay. Now we just need. Now we just need equally evil hairstyle. We need. We need evil. Ha I need. I need ridiculous What's hair. What's midlifer? Midlifer just means starting wow. to go a bit on the thin side. It's fine. It's, it's a bit harsh to us in our midlifes. Yes, sir. Quite frankly, I need. I need some matching Ooh, evil. I need some matching. There's the creeper hair. Uh huh. Oh, slick and sleazy though. Slick. Oh, slick and sleazy feels like that could be a good, a good winner. Yeah. Right all there. right. All right. Go okay, on, that's go that's on. pretty good. Math teacher, that's a bit rude. Heavyweight, short crop, stunning intellect, firebrand, trailblazer, urban. What's urban. I mean. It's kind of it's it's certainly a bit dickish there. Dapper, nine to five, rebel, shaggy, suave, bedraggled. Casual kept pomp. Oh come on, pompadour with that <laughs> moustache! I mean, that, that, that's what, I think that's what we're going for so far. Unless we can find something better than, than pompadour, but I feel like it might just be pompadour. No, I think it's pomp. I think this is. 
<laughs> what color? What color? What color? What color? I think I accept yeah, this. Really uh, the color. Actually, you can't spec. You can't. Uh, you like introduce a color. You've got to select uh. the uh, the of the options available. Uh, which is, I feel like it's deep red. I mean, I feel like it, what else do we got? We could go up to platinum blonde. Yeah, okay, I mean, that's not... We've, it's basically just standard hair colours. It's pretty I mean, standard. Like if, can you go back to Auburn and see? To the Auburn. The one that you wanted to... I think I went for deep red. Oh, yeah. Either deep no, red goes I mean, with the favor. stack. You know how yeah, I feel there about There we go. I think, I, think that, I, think that's, I think that's it. There we go. This is... This platinum is... blonde. Yeah, I see what you're saying about platinum blonde, but the platinum blonde isn't really a proper platinum blonde. Like, you know. What was the... There's, there's, you could go full on bleached. You go down to bleached if you want. It's very, very, very bleached indeed. The platinum blonde at the top is... I feel like that's, yeah, not proper platinum blonde. You need to go down to the bottom if you want to go full on. I kind of, you know, I kind of, I'm kind of feel, I can kind of feel that too. Yeah, I feel like the white or the bleach is cool. I feel like I've got, yeah, you know what, I'm going for, I'm going for the bleached. I think we're going to go for... I think somebody who spends this much time in the post-apocalypse yeah. securing <laughs> bleach, yeah. making sure that their hair is, like, shiny and beautiful, fucking bleaching their eyebrows, yeah. and, like, maintaining this kind of a, mis like, yeah. That Matching steel eyes, obviously. Mm. Match, ex matching steel eyes, which is very important. There we go, liking it. Absolutely liking it. I think yeah, some people bring up Nigel Thornbury. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We've got so this is. I feel like this is this this person. I feel like you wouldn't necessarily trust this person, and I feel like you'd be right. You'd be right not to. You'd be a hundred percent right not to uh not to do so. This is yes. yeah. This um, is th there. We go. That's that's perfectly acceptable right there. I think we might also add some like some little markings, some little bit lots of damage. Perhaps in various ways, just to kind of further you know, blemishes as well. You've got a few bits and pieces. You've got some markings. Uh, you got some. Fre this is mainly just freckles and moles, to be honest, which I think is is a bit harsh. Let's go for at least. Let's just go for at least one fairly prominent scar. That's good. I like that. No, oh, Claire's not convinced. Okay. I like the brow ones. The brow ones. More up at the top. Uh, we got ourselves. I mean that's that's kind of like my the classic favorite because that looks that one like that one's super badass that we got there. You're more for forehead. Isn't forehead just the one you were saying? Uh. Ooh, can you go to left brow small? Maybe it's brow, not small. big enough. It's, 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 it's small, but it's acceptable. Just you know, just, just yeah, a little touch. Yeah, maybe you could do a lip cut as well or something. Mm-hmm. Just a nice little lip cut. Just nice to one down there. Say chin, like say chin. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there we go. You know what? That that's fine. I'm I'm happy with that. This guy this this guy is uh, this guy is where we are. So we could also uh, yes do a little bit of bits and pieces. I think I'm I'm content with that. Yes, there we go. Our entirely trustworthy individual confirmed yeah. character. Let's go. <laughs> it's Sturgis's granddad apparently. <laughs> it could well be. Right, we now just basically have to uh, wait for a minute for, uh, yes, the Voltex salesman <coughs> to, to arrive. Yes, I, I was literally about to introduce you. Go, 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 Claire, while we yeah. wait for him to make his move. Shout out to Grim WTF who uh, gave you a hundred Canadian dollars. Best dollars. And says, happy birthday, John. And coincidentally, my birthday is tomorrow. Uh, I remember watching your first videos on my birthday while waiting right, for my friends to get off of work. Oh. So that's really cool. And it might even have been uh, those ones, uh, depending on how long uh, they've been around, it might be uh, those ones that uh, you were talking about before. Yep. Nine years back. Nine yeah. years. Because obviously, yeah, there was a, there's, there's a, there's a period of about three months between the very start of Many a True Nerd and us and the first ever Fallout video. Are many a true nerd. So there you go. Uh, yes, you know, indeed. Uh, and let me see. We've got uh, we've got a message from uh, the book seven seven eight who came in uh, first as usual. You yeah, managed to get in first today during the busyness. Yeah, Amazing. with uh, with uh, five pounds uh, and says happy birthday, John. Uh, I'm gonna. The thing is, my I'm, my my reaction is always gonna be happy birthday to you too. We're just gonna say that to a lot of people today. Okay. I wish people her birthday back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 
Shout out to Jake, who gave us 50 pounds and said, Happy birthday, John. Do some good celebrating and eat all the cake. Also, you lot, you need to be nicer to John today. So only two perception insults per person or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Eat some cake and be fab. Excellent. Yes, we've okay. had lots of cake. Voltec Man arrives to do a basic character build. So obviously, let's just be... Uh, let's just let's just greet him to skip through to this. Obviously, none of this actually matters in any meaningful sense. I'm going to be I'm going to be lovely. Before the apocalypse, I'm lovely. I'm just going to be... I'm going to, I'm going to think I'm nice. I'm just going to be a monster anyway. I'm just going to tell him. Go away. There we go. Lovely. Here, there we go. But it, it doesn't matter. He doesn't care. He'll force you to do it anyway. There's no way out of this conversation. So, 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 so. Uh, I don't know what the character limit is, but I feel like we are Jimmy Cleaner Hands. There we go. So, Jimmy Cleaner Hands. That, that's who I'm playing as today. So, okay. Let's let's talk about builds here because this is, this is, uh, this is all going to be very peculiar. So, the key is basically going to be a blend of charisma and intelligence. Because in Fallout 4, there is, well, okay. Charisma is in charge of two things that are tied to uh, pacifism in Fallout 4. The first, of course, is if you've got charisma, that's how you pass speech checks. There aren't that many speech checks in the game, but there are a handful of speech checks that let you, you know, skip things, autocomplete quests, etc, etc, etc. So that goes straight up to 10, not 9, because the bobblehead for charisma is really hard to get to. It's in the asylum, very tricky to get to. Charisma also controls the, uh, basically, like, uh, whatever they're called. What, 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 what a name you want to give them. The, the selection of perks that I used to basically force people, basically illusion magic. Like, there's illusion magic in Fallout 4. Um, because in Elder Scrolls, you can use illusion to make people calm or to make people fury, etc. Um, and like, basically, calm illusion magic exists in Fallout 4. It's just tied to charisma. It's, uh, Animal Friend, it's Wasteland Whisperer, and it's Intimidation. And they're all tied to charisma. And that's going to be really important and also incredibly unreliable. So we're going to take all the pass- yes, pacification perks. That, that will do as a name for them. Perfectly fine. However, one of them doesn't live in charisma. There is also Robotics Expert. Okay, Robotics Expert uh, lives in intelligence. It's intelligence 8, but the intelligence bobblehead's super easy to get hold of, so we don't need to take um, that to 8 straight away. Not necessary. We can boost that to 8 uh, nice and easy. This also is important because in this build, I do not have enough uh, special points to take luck up to Idio Savant. Because obviously, if we're not fighting, we're not going to be doing a single critical hit in the game. So we don't need any luck. So therefore, I need my intel. I need my XP to be coming from somewhere. It's coming from intelligence, not luck. This is fine because intelligence one with Idio Savant rank one, you have an intelligence of it's the equivalent. The average XP you gain is about the same as like intelligence eight or so. So because I got intelligence seven, I'm not going to be losing out by not having Idio Savant. So that's fine. The rest that we're just going to split between what we've actually um, got left at this point, which is uh, obviously agility goes up to three. So we've got sneak perks. We need the sneak perks. Obviously not getting spotted is a good way of not having to fight. Perception. This one's interesting. There is a very particular reason I want perception to be up at three. We'll get to that when we get to it. Um... Endurance, meanwhile, is basically where I'll just dump everything else. Three endurance doesn't mean anything in particular, and we're just going to to run with it. And yes, we're going to... Oh god, there's so many exploits. I'll explain. Someone's just brought up a very good exploit. I will explain the exploits and how we well, do... Well, do you want to talk about it then? Because... Not right this second, because okay. there's... Uh, well, well, we've got to go for the build. But yes, that there, that will... That will be that will be acceptable. So that there is like what we're uh, what we're thinking. So strength we don't like. You could argue take strength to three, so you've got access to armor. Eh, we can do without armor for now. The thing about armor is you can mostly find what you need in shops and just buy the parts you need and then strip sh um, shop parts or wild parts for the parts you need. You don't need armor. Like I will find plenty of muffled gear, for example out in the thing this is the only thing i've got planned by the way i've got an envelope next to me clay can you confirm i've got an envelope with this written in front of it 
Yes, there's there's a bunch of numbers on it, which is good because I can't read any of the Gals and John's handwriting. It's true. Uh, so that's that's the extent of the planning. From now on, I'm just going to be basically making it all up using my understanding of the game's mechanics. But yeah, we obviously you need you don't need luck because I'm not going to be using a single critical hit uh, in the entire game. I mean, I suppose in theory you could use like crits with like say a kneecapper. Like to like get enemies down on the ground. Like I suppose like that seems you know, very limited. Trust me, we're going to have like you know we're we're, we're gonna have to follow the shepherd book rule of uh, the Bible being fuzzy on the topic of kneecaps. Uh, that that definitely is 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 a thing we might Whoa. have to consider. Uh, strength one will definitely just have to make do with that. And yes, we're on a very hard, not on survival. Trust now on survival, this is functionally like well, it's not impossible, but it'd be incredibly annoying because there is going to be a lot of death and resetting because so much of uh, pacification perks comes down to dice rolls, and I'll get into precisely what that means once we start doing them. For now, of course, we can't until I've got a pit boy. I don't have access to uh, the perk table, and we'll start the game at level one, so we don't have any of that. So, all right. We'll say that's an acceptable build as a starting point. It's going to be great. We'll just shut the door in a second. And I'm sure plot will now happen. Claire, help yourself to some messages while plot is occurring. And we wait for the apocalypse to occur. Yes, indeed. Shout out to a bit Equation 314 who gave us £10 and says, Happy birthday, John. Have a wonderful day. Uh, also, tomorrow is A-level results day, so this will be a great distraction from stressing out about that. Ah, happy birthday to you two and happy A-level results day. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm just going to say happy birthday to you two to everybody. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> there are so, so, so many lovely, lovely messages. Uh, shout out to Wobble who gave us two pounds and says happy birthday and John attempted theft is theft! Which oh, <laughs> is just demonstrably not true. Um, is there such a crime as attempted theft? No, but I was also going to point out that attempted murder and murder ain't the same crime. That's true. Um, so there you go. Uh, Hampus gave us a hundred Swedish kroner. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. Here's some money so you don't have to bake your own cake. Luckily, Claire already did, Wait, so we're under control. Wait, can I get baking you a cake? <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't be in the birthday spirit. No, exactly. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, Mountain Molly gave us uh, $10 and says, I hope you have a day full of cake and a year full of happiness. Thank you for all that you do. And happy birthday, John. I hope you noticed, by the way, uh, in the background there, the two sarcastic options you can take uh, when you're in Sean in the intro. If you're playing as the male character, yes, you reference to a special uh, special day in the park about a year ago. Obviously, you've got a baby. And the uh, the female protagonist, if you're playing as her, makes it more explicit, saying she doesn't wish to become pregnant again, playfully. Um, and meanwhile, if you're travelling with Codsworth and you go down to... Uh, the uh, the uh, Boston Park, where Swan is, uh, uh, Codsworth does indicate that you have been there before, suggesting possibly we can indeed confirm that maybe in one of the little outbuildings in the Boston Common is where Sean was conceived. That's how I choose to read the game anyway. So, uh, yes, by the way, the apocalypse uh, is, is happening. And uh, Ron Perlman is like, he, he's super sad about it because the world's explodes and he lives in the world. So that's um that's a bit of a shame. And in just a moment, just get over here when we, we're ready. We're ready. All right, we're ready. We're ready to go as soon as the door goes. Any second now. Screw my wife and baby. I'm ready for the vault. All right, let's 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 go. Let's go. Come on. Actually, I'm not sure if, which way does, does the door open in or out? I'm not 100% sure whether the door opens oh, in or out. Please slam in his face. Yes, it did. Yes! Yay! Go, 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 go. Okay, the down. Let's talk about downsides of this build. Which I. With the problem is I'm going to be sprinting. I'm basically at a large number of enemies. I'm just going to be trying to sprint straight past them. But, um. You may notice I've not got much AP. Yeah. With agility of three. And sprinting is not just a matter of AP, it's AP and endurance. Like, AP is how many AP you've got. Sorry, agility is how many AP you've got. Endurance is how fast you burn them when you're sprinting. I have endurance or agility. So as a result of that, I cannot sprint much. Sprinting is not working and I don't have that much health. So you could argue that... 
<laughs> yeah, this is so... I mean, maybe I should have just ignored the intelligence for now and gone for, like, more endurance instead. But if, I, if you do that, then obviously that means your XP gain is really low. You don't have video Savon because you're definitely in this build and in this run not taking luck. If you don't have video Savon and you've got, like, intelligence of one, then you are basically gaining experience so slowly. Almost and when you're gaining it that, okay. I mean, like, and when you're outside of survival mode, XP in this game comes relatively slowly anyway. And bear in mind, if you're not killing, you're not gaining kill XP. Now, every Fallout game has a ratio of how much XP do you get for, like, you know, doing skill checks and completing quests versus how much XP do you get for killing. In Fallout 4, that ratio is heavily in favor of kills. You get, like... You can kill three enemies and have more XP than you get for, like, an entire relatively complicated mission. It is relatively difficult to gain XP in Fallout 4 if you're not killing. It is a slow process. Meaning, and you've also got the problem that the pacification perks don't really come into play, not properly, until about... Uh, it depends. I think, like, animal, animal friend, you can get going about level 12. Some of them, it's more like low 20s. Meaning, basically, we're just going to be exploiting. Like, they, you can't not exploit, because otherwise this is just the slowest, arguably, like... How would you even get to, like, level 20 in Fallout 4 without killing? And, like, without the benefit of... Uh, and when so many quests need you to kill. It would be incredibly difficult. So you kind of have to use XP, well, exploits, but you need to be a little bit cheap. A little bit cheesy. So which is what we're going to do. So Jimmy Cleanhands now just needs to do a little bit more plot. We're just going to go into the vault and get ourselves into the future. And then we're going to discuss why the vault's actually going to be quite tricky to escape from. Claire! Amazing, amazing! Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to fan of cards twenty five who gave us fifty dollars, uh, and uh, says happy birthday, John! Thank you for so many years of entertaining content. And here's to many more. Thank you very, very much indeed, and hopefully so. Yes, indeed. I mean, the bare minimum we got the ten year anniversary coming up next year. Yes, very exciting. Cool. Yes. Got to do some really special stuff for that. Yes. Um, and as you were saying uh, in the patron cast, yes. uh, hopefully for the 10 year anniversary we'll have a more little uh, little furry paws around the house. Hopefully before then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully uh, we'll have yeah, some new animals within this year. Yeah, we even, uh, we even this morning we uh, confirmed, uh, booked, um, booked uh, somebody to come and talk to us about like a... Uh, the best way to organize, you know, our little game plan for, for getting puppy and kittens. Yep, so. look at, you know, the space we've got available and the best way that we can use that to, you know, and, and what that means for what the best option is for getting, you know, pups and kits at the same time, at different times, which comes first, if either, da, 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 da. Anyway, we've got some plot now that's unfortunately unskippable, but we need to do the, like, I could have just loaded a file from just before you leave the vault and then built the character there, because you can do a complete rebuild just we need the vault but then we'd have missed the vault and the vault is actually kind of interesting in its own way so we're gonna do the vault Claire uh, yes indeed shout out to Oman Gaming who uh, gave us five dollars and says happy birthday John uh, did you like that Crux Shadow song's birthday uh, that I recommended to you last week remind me um yeah just a song called uh, birthday by the band Crux Shadows that's a uh, they recommended in the last stream. I think probably we didn't get have a chance. To I'm get. not sure I'm familiar with the band either. No, no, no. I think I think we said that we were going to check it out, and then we forgot to check it out because it was super late. Scribble it down on the thing. We'll listen to it after this, Definitely. especially as if it is birthday related. It is my birthday. Uh, and Oman Gaming uh, actually also gave us uh, fifty dollars. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and says, John, you share a birthday with my mom. Can I get a birthday shout out for Amy? Happy birthday, Amy! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. There we go. Uh, Dave gave us fifty dollars. And says, happy birthday, John. I hope that you and Clara are doing well. 
Uh, I think we're doing much better uh, since we've started uh, kind of get, getting getting the gears moving uh, for 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 puppies and kittens. Yes. Well, for puppy and kittens, um, because you know we we, we, we miss having. Um, we do. Poor little Tibbs. Yeah. We miss we miss having a little fluffy butt around. Come right, on, on, out of time. On. There we go. Oh, We're now God. in control. Though obviously, yes, you don't actually get full control immediately because without the pit boy, your functionality is limited and uh, all sorts of things don't work in the vault. Like, you don't have... Uh, like, the Vats trigger is picking up a baton. So, like, I really hope you, like, happen to interact with that baton because if you don't, then you just don't get Vats till the end of the thing, which is kind Sorry, of funny. What? Huh? Huh? I, I don't have Vats right now. Vats is not an option. Oh, because it it's does... a weapon thing? Uh, well, I suppose so, yes, but if you simply miss, hang on, there's, there's a baton right here. If you don't pick up this baton, you don't get vats. You don't get vats till you pick up a different weapon. So you have to deal with the first bunch of rad roaches without it, because, and you can't use um, vats with, with unarmed. Doesn't work. It's so, disabled. Um, but if I pick up this baton, all of a sudden, vats. <laughs> So now remind so weird. me, uh, when you say no kill, is it no kill of anybody, no kill of humans? Oh no, anything. We're very clear it means absolutely nothing. So, you know, uh, like creatures, uh, absolutely there are no animals to be killed, no monstrosities to be killed, no people to be killed. And the game has an inbuilt store, uh, scorecard, which I can't show you right now, it's in the pit boy. So we've got to make it to the end of this area and get to the pit boy. The problem is, of course, there are many rad roaches here. And the rad roaches are going to, you know, try and kill me. They're very, very easy to take down. One, one swing with the bat on will do it. We're not going to be doing that. So the problem we've got is there's a lot of there's a lot of um, rad roaches. There's one in this yes. corridor. There's two here. There's two in the next room. There's a good six in the corridor. Then another three by the pit boy. I've got to pick up the pit boy. Once I have picked up the pit boy, it's in my possession. The vault door is opening. All rad roaches despawn. Okay. But while I'm picking it up and looking at it, I'm still in the game. And if they're nibbling at me, they will keep nibbling. This means I've got to find a way to basically lock the door behind them or arrange for them to die. You may notice there is a nice generator ah, right here. I, I can, I basically have a few options. Either I manipulate the doors to just basically, I get through a door and I close the door behind me and I stop them following me. Or if they, there's too many, they become a problem. I can simply, by sheer accident, before I am Jimmy Clean Hands, just happen to run very close by to a generator that might happen for lead to them dying in a terrible industrial accident that I couldn't possibly have foreseen. It's not my fault, Clean Hands Jimmy. All right, I'm pretty sure Jimmy Clean Hands have worked for the mob, FYI. So we're yeah, just we, we, we just are where we are. So there's all these there's all these uh, rad roaches dotted about. It's it's going to be very exciting. So yeah, we're just going to like have to try and basically just hope they just don't see me. I'd like you to go away, please. I'd like you to walk back over that. Please walk back over in that direction. All right, we need we need to start without you. There we go. You just stay over there, buddy. Okay, he's in, he's in caution, but that's fine. And go through and then close the door now he can't follow Giant. me that person just yeah that one just died to demonstrate hey generator dangerous but that's all absolutely fine now we just basically just loop around here they're both coming this way which is absolutely a-okay straight through here they may or may not ultimately get a little bit uh blown up it's hard to say and then just close the door behind me. And they're now stuck behind me. This guy, however, these guys are now in here with me. And obviously, as we're actually playing on very hard mode, they do actually hit pretty hard. Close door. One of them makes it through. Uh, that's all absolutely fine. Grab the stim packs, because of course we can use stim packs. Grab this, because the only way to open the door is the evacuation tunnel. So that is should now be open. And then round two here. And now basically sprint through this tunnel. These guys have to jump off the wall, which is going to get me a moment's pause. And then go. I missed the, the trigger. Okay, one of them made it through, but only one, which is not terrible. And now we just go through here, lead them around in a circle, and kind of hope we can survive this. Go, 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 go. Can't use this one in combat. Okay, this is why we plan these things and why I didn't plan this. I now need to lead these guys away so I'm not in combat. Okay, so I need to lead everyone that's now following me away from that room. So they're now following me over here. I now need to... I'm going to lead them into here. I just need to separate myself from these guys. Go. That's a little bit of a knock there. Right. Through here, through here, through here. And go. Sealed away. Okay. Those three are now sealed over here. 
Danger is now fading. If I do this first time, quite frankly, I'm going to be impressed with myself. Uh, you see, I didn't actually bother. This is why I didn't, I didn't bother checking this in any capacity. May as well take the ammo. Because the bare minimum, I'm going to make a lot of money. Because I can yeah, yeah, sell can all sell ammo. You I can, I can sell ammo. Close this as well. And I'm now in caution, not danger. So yeah, like, this is why, this is, this is basically what you're witnessing right now, is me doing my first, like, test run. This is a run I would normally do without any witnesses, where I just basically learn stuff. So stuff I did not know. Uh, number one, I did not know that you could not interact with the pit boy while you're in combat. And the game basically says, no, while you're in combat, you're simply not allowed to interact with the pit boy. But now I'm in caution. Can't use in combat. Okay, I need to wait. Okay, it, it means properly. Like, I can't even be in caution. There we go. Hidden. Job done. Now I'm back to hidden. And now I can pick up the pit boy And the pit boy I... Actually, that's interesting. I read... I read somewhere that, yes, the... The rad, rad roaches can keep attacking you during this animation. But you can't pick it up if you're in combat. So maybe they check... Maybe this was patched at some point. Like, I may have been using some old out-of-date notes there. So there we go. I actually... I did that first time. And I'm genuinely... Quite, I, I, I'm generally quite impressed that that's actually a thing. Also, apparently I did know that. I mentioned it during the legendary run. I'm very good at forgetting things. Um, 95 hit points. Brilliant. Love the 95 hit points, which is no hit points. And you may notice straight away that now uh, the vault is clear. Radroaches all despawn as soon as the pit boy is uh, picked up. So they're all gone. Meaning now if I want to, I could go and like collect any stuff I missed. So oh, do I'm, some looting. Yeah, I, may yeah. as well, I may as well just get the gun. I don't actually want to use it. But ammo, like nothing in this game can be oh. worth less than one. So as a result of that, like every single like, even the most useless ammo type, like 5mm or 10mm, like the weakest ammo type. It's not useless. Yes, 10mm is actually a good solid early to mid game gun. But you can like, you know, you can sell it like, you know, if you find 100 Five millimeter round jeans on there for a hundred caps, and that's not terrible I have in the a early question. game. Yes. Uh, as the resident, don't know as much about Fallout person. Yeah. Um. So, like, in this game, can you use your gun to do stuff other than killing people? Like, say, you know, break things or explode things or whatever. Uh, in not so much, but yes, in theory, there is some like you know destructible items or items that can be interacted with. It doesn't show up as much as in some other Bethesda games. Like, obviously, like, in Oblivion, we've been, like, you know, using arrows to knock down Welkin stones from high places. Like, it doesn't show up as much as that, to be honest. And, oh, uh, for the sake of arguments, by the way, we do say that turrets and robots count as people. Um, so we can't destroy them. Uh, we can't destroy them. Uh, at all. I could top up my health at the sink as people are saying, but obviously there's going to be a bed down at Sanctuary Hills, so we could just use that as well. Uh, speaking of uh, which, we've also got stats in data. Uh, yes, stats. This is how we keep score as to uh, what's going on. So we've got ourselves uh, basically a bunch of uh, just... Uh, uh, stats that we've got going on. So here we go. Uh, people killed, animals killed, creatures killed. The distinction there, by the way, is an animal is like... It's a bit vague. Like, animals are more traditional animals and are not that mutated. Anything that's, like, deemed to be excessively mutated is now an abomination or monster is a creature. Robots are distinct from since. Turrets are listed here... Uh, as well. Obviously, because we can't kill legendary enemies, we can't get random legendary drops. Only, the only legendary things we could get would be uh, shops or guaranteed rewards. But in all fairness, we don't need legendary weapons. Uh, though, I'd say, like, say, kneecapper might be useful on occasion. But mostly legendary armor would be uh, way, way more useful. Normally, I want legendary weapons and hate legendary armor. Today, the opposite is true. <laughs> so, basically, this lets us keep score and make sure that we are... Uh, that we're not uh, cheating. Now, Fallout 4 is a bit interesting when it comes to uh, how it counts those numbers. I believe in in previous Fallout games in the modern era, companion kills were not put against that number. I believe in 4, they are. So we can't use companions. We don't want to use companions. Like we've always said, we've always said, like pretty much every challenge I ever do, I always say, you know, we're not allowed to use companions. That'll be a little bit. That'll make life a little bit too. Uh, a little bit too on the easy side. So we just say... Can you pickpocket legendaries? In theory, yes, you can pickpocket legendaries. And indeed, pickpocketing will play a role in this... Uh, will play a significant role, Ooh. in fact, in this run. Although not in the way that you... Well. I really hope that that's just left... It's That's just like a, a clash that's been clean. Because level 22 is not... 
Definitely not level 22. Uh, but, 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 question, question, that question. That be... Uh, yes. You can potentially find dead legendaries if you're really lucky. You can, yes. Uh, is there a stun gun in 4? Uh, a stun gun? I don't believe so. No, I'm, def yeah, I'm definitely level 1. Okay, def good. Definitely level 1, just checking. So yes, this is this is what we want. Right here. We've got animal friend uh, one. So basically, if you point to point point at your point, the way it works is you have to be aiming at an enemy. A prompt will be on screen if you are the right distance away, saying you know attempt to. I can't remember what the prompt is. Like pacify or something. Um, so you'll be able to. Um, yes, you can basically aim at it, and you might be able to pacify it. However, there's a few things that affect this. One. It only works for creatures that are a lower level than you. I can't remember whether it's lower and the same or just lower. Uh, we'll be able to verify that. It says below on here. Uh, yes, below. But I'm not sure if it may be the same as allowed. Which is why we want perception 3. Because awareness lets us view basically precisely what's going on with an enemy. We can, we can see... I think awareness lets you see the the level that the enemy is. It doesn't actually say it on the perk description, but I think Awareness 1, you can see the level of the enemy, which you can't normally do otherwise. I think that's the case anyway. But again, this is why we're doing this. This is why we do this sort of testing, and normally it happens off screen, but today you get to take part in it, which is lovely. Um, then we've got Wasteland Whisperer. So, same deal, but Abominations. And Intimidation, same deal, but Human. The problem is, even if the creature is an appropriate level, and you can get up to them and point at them and you do the pacification, there is what I believe is a 40% flat chance it works. Doesn't matter if, like, this is a level 1 creature and you're level 100, 40% chance it works, so therefore, more times than not, it will just fail. And if it fails, which you add no, and you have no way of changing that, and if it fails, I think you that, that creature then goes on to, I think it's a 60 second cooldown timer, before you can try again. This nice. is why this is... Yeah, it's this is why we didn't even entertain the possibility of thinking about this during, say, You Only Live Once. Because there's just too much random chance to it. Yes, Claire's gesturing at me. Yes. Okay, so, uh, questions, questions, questions. Okay, Molly says awareness definitely shows the level. Uh... Da, 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 da. And uh, Jacob and a bunch of other people as well. Uh, would like uh, to bring up the syringe yes. as a non-lethal tool that you can use. The syringe is absolutely legit, though keeping it topped up with ammo can be tricky. Uh, it's it, like some of the it's some of the um, the stuff you need to make syringe ammo is relatively obscure. Um, so when we get down to the chemistry workstation, I'll kind of uh, show. I think I think that's available in the chemistry workstation uh, from the moment you start, so we can uh, have a chat about that. Also, just because I'm not in the habit of doing this, I'm a hundred percent just going to at some point pull out a gun and just kill someone. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, shit! I'm not supposed to be doing that. That's the entire point. Yeah, uh, uh, it's gonna take happen. Take a drink when John does that, by the way. Yeah, that's 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 gonna okay. happen. Let's uh, let's uh, get through a couple of few messages. Go go go! I need to very quickly just set up sanctuary. In particular, pull the uh, chemistry workstation where I need it to go. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Julio, who's been a member for thirty-two months, and says happy birthday to John. Uh, I still never would let you into my kitchen, but still, hooray! <laughs> You know, for some reason, I, I, I thought in my mind that was about to go, oh, I'd still never let you into my kitchen, but I'll always let you into my heart. I, I thought it was going somewhere wow. really sweet like that for some reason. But no. Oh, dear. Uh, shout out to Lauren, who gave us a dollar fifty and a little uh, birthday cake sticker, which is absolutely adorable. Uh, we've got uh, yet more stickers. Uh... Jack gave us the same actual, yeah, birthday cake sticker for, for a pound of 50. Uh, we've also got, let me see, there was lots and lots of super cute, uh, super cute. Yes, indeed, Saku gave us $3 uh, and uh, sends, uh, sends a little how's it going sticker. It's, go well, it's going fine for now. 
We'll see how that lasts. Uh, Tony gave us one Canadian dollar. Excellent dollar. Uh, and uh, there's a little uh, sticker of a little smiling devil. So there you go. I feel like that's very appropriate for Jimmy Clean Hands. Yes. Brianna uh, gave us five dollars and the little higher uh, chibi uh, uh, dog sticker. And uh, speaking of Jimmy Clean Hands, there was a, a Jimmy Clean Hands message. Excellent. Uh, yes, Tabby Zora Vaz Nerdmundy. Oh, it's an excellent username. Uh, gave us uh, five pounds and says, Jimmy Clean Hands, great grandson of Johnny Tight Lips. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, Clearly yeah. related. Clearly related. Uh, dear, oh dear. Okay. And then uh, we've got lots of like super big messages, uh, super big donations as well. Go, go, uh, go, because I need to basically scrap Sanctuary Hills because we need resources. So you are welcome to dig in a little bit while I'm doing that. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Aid Hall who gave us 550 Swedish krona. Excellent krona. Uh, and says, happy birthday. Thank you for everything that you are doing for us. Uh, and let's see. Also, uh, from Rachel, who gave us $50. Excellent dollars. Uh, Rachel says, happy birthday, John. You all got me through a mid-pandemic divorce. Ooh. Uh, it was nice having something to look forward to every day. I love getting new game and book recommendations from one-offs and from patron cast. I can't wait to catch up to this after work. Good. Well, I hope you're having a lovely day at work. Yes, indeed. Now, was that I just picked up? Because there's one thing I was hoping I might kind of get nice and early on. And... No! Yellow fedora is a perception fedora. I was hoping for a charisma hat. For the simple reason that right now, yes, my charisma is 10. Meaning if I boost it by just one, which a hat should be a relatively easy way of doing, that's charisma 11. Charisma 11 means I'm guaranteed to pass every single speech check in the entire game from level 1. No trouble with that whatsoever. Every, every speech check done. Now, okay. In which case, yes, there's going to be a hat somewhere. But unfortunately, there's also going to be one. Actually, you know what? I'm passing by. Your special book. Uh, obviously, I will just take endurance because we can boost the intelligence up to the required eight using uh, Bobblehead in the library in Boston. So that's fine. So I'm just going to take the endurance uh, for that. Don't forget the... Uh, Blast radius, by the way. Blast radius is uh, nuclear material. You don't get very much of that. And you're a screw. So we definitely want that too. Come on, someone have a hat. We need someone to have a hat. The problem is some of these houses are infested with monsters. So we need there to be not monsters. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a nice word with, uh, yes, Codsworth. Right here. Hello, Codsworth. Yeah, it's right. Well, actually, you know what? Before I do, before I do this, I'm going to a quick save. Sometimes temporary companions in this game are really weird. Sometimes temporary companions, the game's like, oh yeah, you are morally responsible for what they do. Sometimes the game's like, nah, it's fine. You told them to do it. Exactly. But what we're going to do now is I'm just dropped a quick save in case this goes wrong. So, oh, glad, glad, glad Codsworth calls me Mr. Jimmy. Game, game has some, uh, has voice lines recorded for common names, which is great. Um, so anyway, Codsworth, your, oh no, my terrible fedora. I look even more evil in my yellow fedora. Oh no. That's somehow even eviler. Claire. <laughs> wow. It's actually more evil. That is um, terrible. Okay. Codsworth, we get the free guaranteed pass of the first skill check, which is fine. And then we'll just basically say, I oh, know, let's, let's explore the... We're going to explore the neighborhood together. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Skip, 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 skip. Are you okay, Codsworth? There we go. So that's my first uh, check right there. There's some free XP. He's very sad because he's been alone for 200 years and he's kind of sentient and it's kind of terrifying when you think about it. The robots in the Fallout universe, most of them do seem to be mostly sentient. So uh, stay with me, Codsworth. We're going to search the neighborhood together. That's what we're going to do. And if you happen to kill some people, yeah, why don't we search the neighborhood? Lead the oh way, Codsworth. We're gonna see whether I get blamed for this. So Codsworth's just gonna go over there, and we're just, we're just, I mean, I've got no reason to assume that there were any bad people in any of these houses. Uh, sneak in front of him. If it says detected, you're good. If it still says hidden, he's considered your companion. That's a very good little tip right there. Uh, yes, indeed, that's from Lofted Aphid. Yeah. So, okay, he's going to go in there. So he's definitely, okay, so he's immediately killed, he's killed some creatures. Let's see if I'm to, officially to blame 
for this right now. So, uh, data, stats, combat. Nope. Cle clean hands. Jimmy Clean Hands oh is fine. Uh, shout out to, uh, uh, shout out to Haka, HKE77, uh, gave us $50. Um, there wasn't a message, but if you meant to leave one, uh, and YouTube ate it somehow, uh, please, please uh, reply me in chat. Um, of course, uh, more than happy to, 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 um, pass the messages along and that goes for obviously everybody who writes uh any any super chats or has any messages that that they want to make sure get seen uh it's not uh it's not uh yeah it's not just for for donations but yes uh, let's see claire, claire yes that's 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 why you're here yes so the people people to, make to, to make sure that there is a a nice little uh, to advocate for chat exactly you are you are chat's advocate chat's union rep yes mm -hmm. so there we go unfortunately it turned out they weren't here <laughs> looks so evil with a fedora and a little twiddly mustache oh god jimmy clean hands is 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 a monster thanks thanks codsworth thanks for doing all the murder so i didn't have to <laughs> This is going to happen a lot. So there we go. He's he's now done that, giving me a bunch of extra houses I can now search and loot. And now I'm just... Basically, I'm just desperately looking for a suave hat. All I want is a nice hat. It's all I want out of life. And the, the odd stim pack wouldn't hurt either. Uh, by the way, if you... If, uh, whatever reason, um, this is always a fun trick. Inside settlements, if you find a safe you can't unlock... Uh, obviously, most of them are novice. Uh, so you can just do them anyway, and they're a very good source of pre-war money, which is worth cloth, which is excellent. But I think there's one in town that you almost certainly won't be able to do the first time you're actually here. Which is, it's the one right by the entrance to town, uh, where there is, I think it's a uh, one, one advanced safe. Uh, and by the way, I'm going to try and activate the other um... rad roaches now. I'm just going to try and get them to follow me. I'm just going to spam a stim pack. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, okay. Number one, shout out to uh, shout out to to the games, uh, who uh, says chatvocate. A chatvocate, excellent. Yeah, which I like. Right, you uh, after me. He's after me. Right. Let's uh -huh. let's get some more people active. I'm just gonna basically now gather up the remaining rad roaches. It wasn't this house? It was the next one over. Don't mind me. Don't wait. What's this house? Wasn't that? Hang on, cock on. What the? What? Hang on. What, what, are you, it's even this house? Am I, I, do I not, I just normally don't approach from this angle. Yes, here we go. Hi, guys, don't mind me. Hi, don't mind me. Just don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Being trapped in there. There we go. I think I've got most of the rad roaches that exist on the streets. Now I'm just going to go over to Codsworth, and Codsworth is going to kill them for me. Codsworth is going to be, I can't, oh no, oh Codsworth. No, Codsworth. We're, we're pacifists. No, Codsworth, don't. Please stop. Oh, no, I couldn't stop him in time. No, everyone's dead. Uh, so that's that was sad. Just uh, just double-check that everyone's still nice and uh, and dead there. Oh, look. <laughs> Jimmy Clean Hands. Jimmy Clean Hands strikes again. Uh, yeah, there is over here. I think it's in this house. I think it's in the room on the right. There is... Am I remembering this correctly? It is... Yeah, it's, it's kind of hidden. So you wouldn't see it. This is an advanced lock safe. There's a good chance you can't do that. But any safe that's inside a settlement, um, if you just break it down, then everything that's in the safe gets transferred to the workbench. So basically it's just been opened because everything that was in there is there. And that's got drugs in it. It's got some relatively elite drugs in it, I believe. So yeah, there we go. That's how you crack into safes you can't crack into. Though seriously, why have I not found like a single outfit or hat yet? Where, where are the hats? Where are my hats, game? I need to, I need to find more hats. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, shout out to... Uh, well, first of all, I want to say, uh, people, um, as you probably know, if you're a live stream regular, uh, we very, very often don't read all the super chats in order, and it will be even more the case today because they are coming in thick and fast because you're all delightful and so generous and so sweet uh and and you know just wanting to say nice things to john so there are a lot of super chats and uh i'm going to be kind of i have a list 
I am crossing them out as I'm reading them. Um, we rarely miss any of them, you know, oftentimes people think maybe mine has been missed because I haven't heard it yet and, and I've heard one that came in more recently or whatever. Mm -hmm. If it gets towards the end of the stream and you are not sure, you can ask me if it's been read, if it's been missed, whatever, I will check. But at this point, it's like 99% because there are so many and there's like yes. pages and pages. Um, I also think we have some people with us who uh, maybe haven't been uh, here that recently. Um, we I've seen a couple of things popping up uh, on the chat about tiblets. Well, this is a, uh, this is you know we should address. You yes, know, as, as is so like a special and a fallout. I can imagine. Yes, some yes. people who might not be regular live streams have just had to pop in for this one. So that does make sense. Yes. So I wanted to shout out Ninja Ops who gave us ten dollars. Uh, and says uh, Tabby for Prime Minister. Yes. And um, I will have to say, I think that... She'd still do a better job. That ghost Tabby would still do a better job than most PMs we've had yeah. uh, recently. But yeah, um, if you've missed if you've missed it in the last uh, few months, we uh, we had to say goodbye to our tabs in, in June. Uh, so that was really hard, but it was just, it was really the right time. Yeah. She was tired, you know, she yeah. was not well. She couldn't uh, even keep down water. There was no question it was her time. And it was just really peaceful, you know. We're very lucky. We have an excellent vet. And they took such good care of her. And then on the day, it was just really... Yeah. You know, we were both thinking like, you know what? If this is how I go, you yeah. know, this peacefully, it'll be good. Yeah. Like, you know, she it's was... Good just, result. It was just, she was sleeping and, and, you know, she deserved a rest. Yeah. Really. So, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm sorry if you came in here and you were saying nice things for Tibbs. And then, um, and, and then you, you are getting bad news, uh, sad news. But yeah, we are, um... Poor little Tibbs. No longer with us, unfortunately. Yeah, we've taken a bit of time to, to grieve and we've done a little, um, a little flower border, um, patch out in the garden where we've, uh, buried her ashes. Um, and it's really nice and full of catnip. Yes. <laughs> so we've planted cat mints, like cat, catnip flowers. Um, and yeah, we are making plans for future or fluffy additions to the family. Yes. Um, so we're going to get somebody to come and see the house, um, at some point soon and yeah. like talk to us about timelines and, and when, you know, like, cause we want to get a puppy and some kittens at the same time so they can be friends. Um, I think this is literally like the worst ever sanctuary clothing run I've seen. I've got like, <laughs> two hats and one dress and that is it that mm. is that is an abysmal absolutely abysmal run for for goods that is wild how nothing i got out of that that is weird uh i i do not like i i genuinely can't remember a worse instance of that that is yeah very very bad luck there very, very bad luck. Also, are you technically outside this, the settlement? Can I not break you down because you're technically outside the settlement? Oh, hang on, can I, can I break you down? No, some of this is... You're inside the settlement. You're outside the settlement. So, okay. Some of the fence I just can't break down. That's that's weird. I never actually... I never... Uh, I can't remember noticing that before. As, I, as I, say, I, I should stop saying, oh, I never knew that before. Because what people would say, John, you knew this like two years ago. Yeah, but I forgot I'm old. I can't cocking or remember anything anymore. Blimey. I can I, 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 clearly, as we've established earlier, I can't remember what's on bloody uh, cards sent to me j earlier today. <laughs> Blimey, heck, I can't remember these things. But yes, wood. That's what we need. We need a whole giant pile of wood because wood is basically a basic construction material and Sanctuary Hills is swimming in wood. There are so, so many logs, so many massive trees uh, you can knock down. That is really useful because we're going to be in this rub. Bloody hell, I'm just going to be, especially as this is like the test run, we're going to be exploiting the shit out of everything. So basically, we're going to be using, say, some of the findings from uh, the Fallout 4 lockdown video, uh, which you may recall was us just basically saying, oh, there was a, there was completely a, uh, a box of, uh, there was a first aid box in that toilet. Yeah, 
did not know that was there off the top of my head. Uh, so we're basically just going to be, we're going to be mass crafting in Sanctuary Hills. This is not going to be the best mass crafting, because yeah, getting yourself to a level 11, taking Idiosa Vaughn 2, and then mass crafting after that point. That's the better way to mass craft in a way, because th then you are just making so much XP. And in particular, like, there is an argument to be made for saying start the game in survival mode, even if you don't mean to stay in survival mode, and then go over to very hard after you've done the Sanctuary Hill craft. Because I believe... Actually, survival mode, you get bonus XP, but is it just bonus XP for, for fighting, or is it bonus XP for everything? Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. Like, I know you get a load of bonus XP in, in survival mode, but I don't know whether it actually applies to all actions, or if it's just bonus fighting XP. I mean, maybe it's just bonus fighting XP, which would make sense if you think about it, because... Uh, yeah, crafting's not any harder. Oh, there you go. I knew you'd be around sooner or later. There was one more who spawns out the pavement, but his spawn can be a bit wibbly. So we're just going to lead him back over to Codsworth. Jimmy Clean Hands will, will not bloody his hands when I can get the robot to do it for me. All right, the hired help will take care of this, and I am morally not to blame. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Wobble who gave us two pounds and says, Sometimes deforestation is justified. <laughs> It's so what we're doing here. There are so like there is so much wood. This is such a big settlement, and there is so much wood. Though mysteriously, like handful of trees, just like nah. That's yeah, just cool. as a little like behind the scene. This you see, for instance, is a super chat that just came in, and it's you know two pounds. You know, sometimes when something comes in, that's like a huge amount of money. We get to it right away because like it's mind-boggling to us that somebody would donate you know such a big amount and and you know you want to acknowledge that it doesn't yes. mean you know that you're not acknowledging everybody else but it's a kind of a big deal but this one because it was commenting on something that's happening right now in the game i'm getting to it now because otherwise if i'm getting to it in like you know an hour's time or whatever it'll be a bit weird and it'll not be any a, sense. Yes, not relevant uh, so it's kind of the 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 reasoning behind all of that mm. um, so hopefully that is making sense uh, for people and uh, as always if you have to get somewhere and if you uh, can't stick around yes uh, let claire know please let me know at reply me in chat uh and i will make sure to get your super chat read uh, before you've got to leave. All right. That is not like absolutely not a full clean sweep of the settlement at all. There's loads more. There's so many resources in Sanctuary Hills just slapping you down. Do get the um the street lamps, by the way. The street lamps are just swimming uh, in resources. They have got so, 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 so much in them, including like fuses, uh, broken light bulbs, all the rest of it, which is super cool. Just bring the, uh, the food around here as well, just so all my... Uh, Things are vaguely nearby to each other, which is great. Deforest the entire area. You can't take down, I think, like, the big mega tree in the center. But, like, all the others just like, yeah, sure, why not? Just, you may as well. There's also, like, fallen trees everywhere. This is just... There's so much wood in this settlement. It's, it's crazy. But, yeah, you can't take down the... No, you can't take down the big central tree. You can't take the big central tree, but you, you can you can annihilate everything else and all the street lights. Like you are swimming in in so much. Like yeah, we've got over we've got a thousand two hundred wood, five hundred steel already. This is not even like all of it. This is this is a very small amount in the grand scheme of things. I'm still just fighting. Like you know, there's so many trees in all the back gardens. Like that's gonna be another like yeah, that that's only twelve. This one's twenty. The trees, I feel like they, they might have benefited from another pass as to how much wood they represent. Because <laughs> sometimes giant trees are twelve and smaller trees are like twenty. Uh, it's like yeah, small. Yeah, you're twenty. You're twenty, and probably you're gonna be, you're gonna be like you're also twenty, and you're not inside the settlement. But we've seen like bigger ones that are. Is that invisible. Invisible maple tree. All right, that's fine. You want to be an invisible maple tree? I'm not going to stand in your way, buddy. You do whatever makes you happy. But yeah, we got like a whole bunch of very useful resources, including, well, okay, you know what? Let's just check the resource uh, panel here. Oh, there's more. Oh, God, there's another big tree. I missed around the side here. There's, and, and more trash. There's, 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 more, there's more trash here as well. There's all of you guys. That's another 20. 
That's another 20. That's another 20. That's that. That's going to be... That's 20. That one is 20. Then there's more here. You're going to be another one. There's... Oh, God. There's so many trees. I can't, I can't keep up with the number of trees here. That one's 20 as well. Then there's all this paneling could, in theory... All this paneling could, in theory... Be, uh, be that. So yes, now we just basically find the most sensible things we can find. We need to find, like, the cheapest things to produce. Uh, the cheapest thing in terms of wood, I believe, that you can make in order just to basically mass produce something uh, is, I think it's over in, it's fences. Where are fences? Are fences officially structures? Are they structures are miscellaneous? Uh, not totem. Is that where fences live? No. Where do fences live? Ah, they probably live in fences, John. That would make sense. Yeah, just a basic uh, fence. And I don't want any of you. I want the... Here we go. Post. That requires two wood to construct. I need two wood to construct a fence. So we can just basically... Uh, we can just basically... We can just basically produce them. And we can just pr produce them on, on mass. And we can see that straight away we're just going to get straight to... There we go. There's level two. Uh, and we can take these down for one. So you can't you can't perfectly recreate them. But you can, if you've got the patience, do that over and over. There's other things you can make as well. Uh, another good one is a basic rug. A rugs and miscellaneous. Where are basic rugs? I know I know I want a basic rug here. Basic rugs are pretty good. And mysteriously, yes, yeah, some of the um the Volt Tech stuff is super cheap on the uh on the everything front. Like some of the, the DLC stuff is weirdly cheap. So you can build a lot of that stuff. Uh, which is pretty good. And yeah, you can build stuff like weight benches. You, just because of DLC, you, you get a lot of stuff immediately. Uh, where are you? Where's just a basic... Oh, decorations. That'll be... There we go. Floor coverings. So you got ourselves a mat there. I want the basic rug, actually. There we go. Basic rug. Uh, there we go. Small rug. That one's three. Is that the, the smallest one we've got? Oh, yeah, we've also got floor mats. That's rubber. Obviously, we're swimming in rubber right now. And the nice thing about these is you can actually, um, you can stack them. You can see that the pile of floor mats is just getting, is just getting taller. And we're swimming in rubber because this place has got, there we are. I've reached level three and the tower of hey. floor mats has just gone up. Whilst you're doing uh, <laughs> piles of things that are very repetitive. Yes. Do you think this would be a good time for, like, someone to tell you nice things? I mean, uh, theoretically, yes, but mm. I'm enjoying my giant pyramid of torments. <laughs> but that's one, so that one uses up rubber. And then, obviously, you're like, what? Well, this is, and then we've got, yes, the basic rug. Can they stay? They stack, too. So I'm just going to make, I'm just going to make a pile of rugs. Th those are made out of money, by the way. Because the yeah. only source of cloth I've got is money. I... So I've literally made, this is, this is, I've turned money into rugs. I have seven pages of super chats. <laughs> Then why don't you do that while I build some wooden posts and then we can do some leveling up? Yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Sydney who gave us ten, uh, fifteen dollars even. Sorry, uh, Sydney said after five years, uh, after nearly five years, I finally catch a live stream and it's Fallout Four, which holds a special place in my heart since it helped me choose my new name, Trans Rights. Ah, Trans Rights. Yes, and congratulations uh, on uh, coming out and and choosing your new name. Mm -hmm. Sydney's a very cool name. Um. Let's see, Molly, uh, who uh, was of course talking to us about uh, Fallout 4. Hubris Comics is it the same Molly? We have several more. <clears throat> anyway, Molly gave us ten dollars. I hope I wasn't just a terrible uh, chat advocate right there. Uh, Molly says, "Happy as the birthdays, John. Uh, I hope it's been a good one so far, and that you get to eat some delicious food." Thank you for all the entertainment and the knowledge. Thank you very, very much indeed. I've still got a slice of uh, carrot cake later. I'm not sure if Claire's got like a surprise for after the stream for dinner, but I suspect not, given it will be very late. Uh, no, we just have like burgers, I suppose. Fair uh, enough. We can do. But you know, we've got uh, we've uh, got a lot of uh, tomatoes that we've uh, picked from the garden. Uh, so at some point, I was gonna make like a really nice pasta ragu with some tomatoes from the garden. Just thought, by the way, mm. as I'm just building all these posts, I'm going to build. Uh, I'm going to build a Codsworth cage. Okay, well that's rude, but sure. Um, okay, <laughs> wood posts are OP. 
Yeah. Oh shit. You monster! I can't believe you killed those rad roaches. You deserve this. You're going into robot prison for your crimes. Double okay. layer of robot prison. Uh, shout out to Anthony who uh, has been a member for 27 months. Uh, and Anthony says uh, Leo and Annie would like to send their birthday which it wishes in the best way that they know with photos of them on the Twitter. Happy Aww. birthday, John. Thank you very, very much indeed. Yes, indeed. I would love to see those photos at some point. Yes. Uh, we, we'll have a photo m moment. Um, let's see. I need a warning. I need a, a good warning picture here. Just so everyone knows that Codsworth is a monster. Uh, yes, Codsworth is a tool. <laughs> what a tool he is. <laughs> Well, thankfully, it says tools plural, so it's accurate. Yeah, and there's there's a biohazard sign. He is indeed a, ha a hazard to, to the bios. Cautious, yeah, cautious material, right there. We got we got to be careful. <laughs> He's a monster. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Codsworth, you absolute dick! How could you do this, you monster? How could you? They were just innocent rad roaches. Yes, Clap. Can't Clap. wait for John to find another roach and now Codsworth can't get to it. Uh, thank you, Sir Roderick, Quincy Fawn, Thunderbottom, the Magnificent Hanking of Australia. Uh, let's see. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, any live unboxing of presents planned? Uh, no, because we've already... We did those. We did them last We presents. did them last night. Mm -hmm. Claire got me some Pokemon stuff and some Lego stuff. It was very nice. We did them uh, after midnight last night. Yes. Because uh, there are rules. Dear, oh dear. Uh, he's not taken Idiot Savant. No, I've not, because I don't have any luck. I've got luck of one. Uh, because you do not need luck in this build, because you're not going to be doing any critical building. So that's just, uh, that just is what it, I'm going to be really, like, I really hope there's, I, I'm, I'm like 99% sure there's no more creatures in this, uh, in this area. Amazing. If there are, then I'm going to need to let him out. Hashtag free Codsworth. <laughs> no, he isn't literally a biohazard. He can't come out. Codsworth is, is banned. From there, there we go. Just, just. Oh, sh shout out to Brian who gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday, John, and happy John's birthday to Claire. <laughs> there we go. I feel like I've officially managed to to box in Codsworth. He's not coming. It's gonna be hilarious. I'm gonna come back and he's just gonna he's just gonna reload it over there outside of his prison, despite the fact this is where he's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, Codsworth. I'm so sorry. I feel like you're being blamed for things that aren't really your fault there. Right, so that's that's ba and that's well, you say this, but what you did really is you've built a giant rainbow around Codsworth it's because true. you are an ally and you celebrate him. Damn straight. Yes, indeed. So that only got me up to level six. You can one percent do way better than that, like with Idios of Orm and like if I properly scrap the entire town. Uh, like, it would not be too difficult, especially if I was, like, to now... I could now re basically tear all those down and build it over again. Uh, but I don't actually need to, like, as a priority. I could build a whole bunch of steel stuff and etc, etc, etc. But the point is, I'm up to... Uh, it gets me some levels. It gets me up to level 7, because, yeah, I've got 6 level ups, uh, in hand. So, the problem we've got here is, yes, until I get to level 12, like, right away I can pacify an animal by pointing a gun at it and attempting a pacification. So this is enough to basically get me the first rank of Animal Friend, the first rank of Wasteland Whisperer, and the, fa and the first rank of Intimidation. So now, theoretically, I can point my guns at anything in the game, well, okay, with the exception of, um... Robots. Robots don't work that way because robots you have to literally run up to them and hack them, which is good because it's way more reliable. You can't. There's no forty percent failure. Like, sorry, sixty percent failure chance, forty percent success chance. Ro so robots are way easier to deal with. It's fine. And I do want to take one rank off awareness, uh, so I can actually see what's going on uh, in that regard. Uh, I'm actually going to take 
pickpocketing. I'm going to get that moving in the right direction. Unless there's anything like I need more urgently. Like you could just argue, you know what? Just keep endurance moving in the right direction. Damn it. Um, sneaking would not hurt. To be honest, that wouldn't hurt at all. Until I've taken an intelligence uh, to get the intelligence bobblehead. I can't do any of that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take one. I'm going to take a sneak. And I'm going to take a pickpocket. Now, pickpocketing, we don't want to, yeah, like, take anything off anybody else. What we might want to do instead is, uh, bearing in mind, of course, put, put the pieces together here. I can now pick a random NPC, point a gun at them, and say, hey, you potentially, if I get up to a high enough level, you work for me. You're like, you know, you're going to follow commands, you're going to be attacking who I tell you to attack, etc. But they might be flimsy. But what if before I did that, I pickpocketed? But in pickpocketing, you have the option of placing something back in someone's infantry. Generally, in this game, that's used for putting a grenade on that person, which you're assumed to pull the pin off as you do it and leading them to explode. It's hilarious. But there's nothing to stop you arming people mm -hmm. if you want to. I can put a nuke launcher in someone's hands, right? And basically, they've got that nuke launcher. They will use it. Then after I've done that secretly, I then pull out my gun, tell them, you work for me now. They'll be like, all right, all right, shut up, buddy. I'll do it. And then go attack that person. Oh, look, I've got, I have I happen to have found this nuke launcher in my pocket. Pew! And all of a sudden, congratulations. You are, Jimmy Clean Hands is innocent. He didn't fire that nuke. He held someone up at gunpoint, gave them a loot launcher, and said, fire the loot launcher over there or I will shoot you. But he's obviously not to blame. He's, his, his hands are clean in all of this. Obviously. So. Oh, God. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so we could take some of that or we could take alternatively... You know, I'm going to take the pickpocket because it's just too hilarious not to do. So, we're okay. going to get one rank of pickpocketing right now. Uh, yes, and also whilst you do that, shout out to uh, Tom and Myra and Malachi. Uh, who gave us fifty dollars? Uh, Malachi says I I'm super chatting for Tom, uh, ah. which is really really sweet. That's very sweet. Um, uh, and says so, so. Tom says happy birthday, John. A shout out to Myra, who on your birthday got cured of COVID. Oh no, he's tested negative. Yes, indeed. Uh, I think so. Very good. And you took so long to test negative for COVID. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Myra, who on your birthday uh, tested negative for COVID and found herself a new job. Oh, sweet. Very, very good. Now we know where to find a house because we're going to move in together. Nice. Nice. Uh, we met on your birthday stream, so thank you so much. What? Oh, that's so cool. That's oh, such that's a cool really, story. that's really, really cool. <laughs> I wish there was a mass scrap button that would... I know, I'm sure there's a mod for it. I wish there was just like a scrap everything in front of you button. That would make life much easier. Otherwise, yes, setting up the post is easy. Scrapping them is hard. But I didn't actually... I'm not scrapping all these. I'm not it's bothering. It's not hard, John. It just takes a while, which can be used productively by reading Super Chat. I'm not just going to scrap posts for the next hour so that you can catch up, Claire. Fuck. That's not what we're doing. I just <laughs> want... I just needed a bed. And obviously, we go over to the vault Tech bed because for some reason, it's like cheaper than all the other beds despite being nicer because they were determined to make all the dlc items easy to build like so you could use them straight away so they're all cheaper than the regular items but i want it to be light so i'm going to just uh skim forward to oh there's the a next console day. command for that john yeah i'm not going to use console commands though like it's one thing to like be a bit a bit cheeky and like mass build wooden posts for the sake of level, hard leveling up. I wouldn't normally do it. Though, yeah, being well rested, that's extra 10% XP as well, which is which is fine. But I think it's I think it's a different level to then at that point, like, uh, yeah, start actually like using console commands. Uh, I, I feel like that's that's over the line right there. So, okay. Ah, but the console command also scraps unscrappable things. So. Ah, Potentially, potentially yeah. this, there'll just be a hole where my house used to be. Yeah, basically. And we shouldn't have just... done that. I need to be really careful, by the way, because now I need to get my gun out. Because I need to aim at somebody. <laughs> I, need to aim, I need to aim at them to do the pacification attempt. So, uh, this is going to be good. So, shout out, by the way, to Urban Cohort, who's been a member for 57 months. Wow. Uh, and says, John, scrap one post for every month I've been a member. <laughs> No. Just no. Basically. 
it's not even a question of wanting to maintain like the uh, the momentum of the stream at that point. He just could not be bothered to scrap this many posts. So let's see if we can let's see if we can demonstrate this and like also demonstrate it failing, which it, you know statistically will happen. There's a dog who spawns around here around the corner. Uh, he's going to be by the shore. We should catch sight of him in a moment. And uh, having taken that, there we go. Wild Mongrel. Thanks to awareness, I am aware that he is level 3. So, therefore, I know he is a lower level than me. He is an acceptable target to be pacified because I have Animal Friend. Because I only have Animal Friend level 1, that means I can't go... I Then, after he's been pacified, I can't basically say, Now go and attack someone. This is basically... This is illusion magic. It's illusion magic in Fallout. I can basically do a calm spell. It lasts longer than a calm spell in the Elder Scrolls, because it is effectively permanent. Though I think if you put the gun away, the spell breaks, because, like, the, the idea is supposed to be he's been intimidated by you. You've pacified them, but if he sees, like, you've put the weapon away that he was scared of, then he, he'll go back to being hostile. But, like, at that point, he'll just be neutral to you. He'll just be, like, a neutral NPC. But even though he's level 3 and I'm level 7, that doesn't mean this is guaranteed. This is 100% probably going to fail. So, and I don't, I haven't really done this much, so we're just going to attempt this right now. And obviously, I can't use vats for this. So, we need to get as close to him as we can. If you can, there we go. So, I've got a pretty good range on him. Like, he hasn't even detected me yet. Don't move. It's all right. Pacification attempt failed. And as the result, as a result of that, one, I can't do it again uh, for 60 cocky seconds. And two, attempting pacification basically draws the creature's attention. So we've got this this weird ass situation right here where this is why it this is such a messy playstyle. It's so damn messy. But actually, you know what? I want to check how far I can be to someone to make it work. Like, what's the acceptable range? Assuming I've got clean line of sight. Like, I think I ideally might need like a. Come on, buddy. Hey, there you go. Stop right there. Failed. So we failed twice in a row. And I just quick save, didn't I? Lol, okay, I meant to load, not save. So he's now just, he's now just going, Cod, oh no! Cod's worth save me! Why would, <laughs> why would you be saving me right now, Codsworth? You monster! I think he's lost interest. I think he's lost, I think he's he's got lost and can't follow me. I, that's not what a danger sign says. It's, oh, he's in the river. He's just down in the river, he's fine. He, 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 it's, it's, it's 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 all a okay. He'll lose he'll lose me in a second. So I just I just um I just uh yeah basically hit quick save rather than quick load. And as a result of that uh we're now we're now locked behind that. Oh he's coming. He's he's on the he's on he's on the he's on the, he's on the bridge. He's on the br he's gonna get bored. He'll get bored in a second. He'll wander off. This is all good. This is there we go. You see it's fine. And if, after it's been done, sixty seconds can't do it again. And even if it does work, I'm determined to make it work. Can I, can I, can I load that? No, that was straight, that was straight out. Actually, you know, I could, no, that was, that was in the bed. That was in the bed. So he's probably now not, not accessible. Now, the problem I've also got is, yeah, he, he, he toddles back to where he goes. I don't know if I'm allowed to meet dog. Because once I've greeted dog, that can spawn mole rats. And I'm not sure whether dog counts as a temporary companion. For the sake of... Also, I don't know whether defences in a base count as your kills or not. Oh, that's interesting. I don't actually know whether that's the case or not. Okay, so am I allowed to... We might. I don't know whether we're in 60 seconds or not right now. We may or may not, but he's just walking away. So you can attempt this. Assuming he's out of his cooldown period. There we go. Now let's try this again. Quick save. And buddy... Don't move. Failed. Okay. Low. We're gonna we're gonna do this at least once. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this once. It's going to work. Okay. Uh, you have to enter the off the office to spawn the more rats. Is it the mo or the office is part of the trigger? Is that? Good job. Yeah. Pacification attempt failed. This is. I'm gonna. This is. It's so unreliable. Just. This is why. Like. This is. <laughs> this is an interesting thing. But it's such a mess. Come on. Stop right there. Why are you not waiting? It's 
This should have worked at least Does once. Does it, like, figure out what you're doing and try to stop you do it? I don't... It shouldn't. Good. There we go! That was a 40% chance! So that... There we go. And either hilariously, I don't get, like, any XP for that or anything. Um, so now he now he's just neutral to me. As long as the gun's out, he's a neutral. You need to get closer, apparently? Is... Is... Distance, a, is distance a function of it? I've never seen that written down. Mm. So you see, now he, now he's just, now he's just best dog friend. No, look at him. He's such a good boy. He good dog. And now he's just friend. Uh, although I think if I do anything like put the gun away, he'll he'll go hostile again. Um, so he's now just, um, he's just super chill, and that's all absolutely a okay. I am curious. So you can't pet him, unfortunately. Uh, I am curious whether, yeah, sanct whether defences count against you. As long as I don't greet dog, they definitely can't spawn. Like, you, you definitely have to, yeah, uh, you definitely, definitely 100% have to have, uh, yeah, greet a dog before more rats can spawn. Because there is, they're like, supposed, it's supposed to be like the tutorial for you and dog meat fighting together. So we can drop a quick save here. Uh, do I even have the ability to build a basic, uh, turret here? I'd need a circuitry. Something around here must have a circuitry, probably. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Pathia, uh, who gave us 20 euros. Uh, and Pathia says, happy birthday to you. Happy uh, birthday. I hope this and all the other super chats and donations will get you, uh, uh, or the two of you, rather, the things that you wished for. Enjoy your special day. Uh, your parents were X years and nine months horny ago. Oh, oh, I didn't want to know that. I was happier not thinking that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure any amount of money is enough amount of money Lol. to be reminded of that, to be honest. Lol. Uh, but what I will say is, uh, what I will say is actually the, um, I mean, obviously it's never a direct thing, right? Because the, the donations, uh, go to like a proper business account on which we pay proper business taxes and such. You Correct. Know, because you, that's what you have to do when you run a business. Uh, but, um, yes, I suppose in, in the broad scheme of things uh one of the biggest uh one of the biggest like things we're spending on soon is gonna be like getting the house ready for pup pup yeah we gotta keys. yeah do a bit of fencing to make sure our little garden is safe uh for them we don't want any uh you know any escapes or anything so we've got to make sure the fences are nice and set up and everything so that's gonna be a big thing that's gonna obviously I don't know. If you ask me to kind of guess, how much does it cost to put up some fence? Oh, Kong. How? I don't know. 10 quid? Maybe 12? It's like, no. It's quite a lot. <laughs> how much can it cost? It's a banana, Michael. It's, it's one fence. Just, I mean, fences are apparently expensive to put up. I think it's more like the work of the person putting them up, to be honest. Like Reasonable, the yes. <laughs> so, okay. Let's, let's verify this. We're going to check this right now. Because what we've got is, yeah, there's a couple of uh, little flies down on the ground. I've now got enough materials to make, yeah, two two machine gun turrets right now. So I could make, you know, two, deal with them, and then maybe deal with the mole rats. I just don't know whether you are morally accountable for automated gun turrets that you construct. Jimmy Cleanads just builds automatic turrets that leads his enemies into them. Go around, well, not my fault, Garf. It was the automated turrets that I just built for this exact purpose. Obviously, I'm in no way to blame for this. How could you even suggest this? Okay, so we've got that set up. We've got that set up. Let's just make sure we're all we're all as we should do. So combat, no, nothing's been killed. Nothing's been killed. All right, let's let's get two turrets set up right here. We've got enough material in terms of oil for two turrets. So you and you. All right, that's that down. 
Now we go and lead some enemies into the turret and we see whether or not this is allowed. I don't know whether it is or not. Hi, guys. Hi, it's me, Jimmy Clean Hands. The guy who's definitely not there. We go bang, 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 bang. They dead already. That was fast. Well done, lads. Uh, okay, so they just both... Wow, that was, that was really, really fast, actually. So they're both dead. Am I morally... Okay, place bets now. Am I morally accountable for murders committed by automated murder machines that I built to do murder? All right, place bets. And the answer is... Three, two, one. Not morally accountable! Yay! <laughs> Welcome to Fallout 4 Pacifism. Shaking my head. Welcome to Fallout 4 Pacifism, where nothing is actually your fault. No XP, no murder, apparently. <laughs> All right, dog mate. No, okay, time, to, time, time for the next. Time to figure out if I have... If I... Okay. Let, let's talk about this. Companion kills are your kills. However, this is one of the big exploits that some of the earliest pacifism runs uh, took advantage of. If you recruit, if you um, tell a companion that you, they're dismissed and to go home, in earlier Fallout games, they just faded out of existence. They just go... They just disappear into the ether like they've been cocking Thanos snapped by your disapproval. Uh, but in Fallout 4, they literally walk back to the settlement. But as you dismiss them, they're not your companions anymore. So people could very elaborately set up scenarios where they found a base. They got the base set up. They found an enemy nearby they wanted dead. They loaded up their companions with guns and armor. Stood the far side of their base from the thing they wanted cleared out. And then said, you should go home. I don't want you here anymore. Oh, okay. I guess I'll do it. And I guess I'll walk in a straight line because I'm a cocking idiot. Oh, no. Enemies. Oh, they're all dead and it's not my fault. This, and I, I think that's too far. I say building automated gun turrets. I have to draw the line somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. I have to, I have to walk and draw a line somewhere. So, dog me, you're going to be recruited, and then we're going to send you home. Though I'm worried you might run into that dog on the way back. That would be a shame. So, there's no option to do anything but recruit him. And now I'm going to immediately deploy him a home. So, we're going to talk. How are you doing? We're going to dismiss you. I'm going to send you to Sanctuary Hills. Yeah. So he's now going to, he's not going to fade out of existence. He's going to literally walk to Sanctuary Hills. And if he happens to run into anything on the way, he'll attack it. So like uh, one of the ways that many people take care of um, early game, say, uh, blah, 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 early game Concord is to very simply just take dog meat around the back of the church and then dismiss him. And then he'll walk through town and he'll kill all the enemies because um, he can't not. Eventually he'll win. He's unkillable. Um, so yeah, that's... That's the thing. That's that's where we are. So okay, as we're about to spawn some lovely creatures, I'm, I I need something to uh, I need something to stand on. So I'm going to be safe from any of these uh, these nice creatures right here. So just a nice box for me to stand on nearby to the creatures will do uh, very nicely. Some stairs nearby, but not actually connected, uh, so that I can basically uh, yes, just take advantage of this. Oh. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Jump! Okay, they just spawned. You see, I knew it wasn't actually connected to the office spawn. Some people say, oh, it's the office spawn. The office the office does it. I wasn't in the office and they spawned. All right, and now see if we could pacify anything. Attempt pacification. That was a successful pacification, but you, you died anyway. So they've been... Wait, he was pacified, then he died. That That's all absolutely... Yeah. All I okay. So there are so now there's a giant pile of corpses. Giant pile of corpses. But as we can see, Jimmy Cleaner Hands rides again. So and because Dogbeat was dismissed, he didn't do any of that. So that's all absolutely uh that's all I okay. So that's the mole rats taken care of. <laughs> Base belongs to me. Okay, so the only way I can so this is one way I can engineer deaths. Anyone I can lure into a settlement, I can I can build the shit out of settlements. I can build ludicrous mega death turrets and murder everyone with them. So that's not, no, not murder. We've, we've just established not murder. 
Alright, so we're just going to move the turrets to the edge of town in case I need to bring some raiders in this direction. It's going to be great. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Evil Jacqueline Clone 666, Queen of the Turrets, who's been a member for a whole year now. Ah. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. I'm super happy for you. I also recently got a job at the Carabas opening in Wesley Chapel as a dishwasher. Ah, super cool. Congrats. So, very, very cool indeed. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed a new job. Mm. Uh, and let's see. Mason gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. I hope it's a great one. Uh, Sir Roderick Quinty Fonts on the bottom, the Magnificent High King of Australia, who's been a member for 59 months. Uh, says, happy birthday, John. I hope you have a good day. It has been a good day so far. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Jimmy Mentor has been a member for 14 months. Says, happy birthday, John. You absolute legend. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. And uh, from Tabby Zora Vaz Nerdimundi, who gave us another five pounds. Says, happy John Day birth weight. Seems perfectly reasonable to me. Uh-huh. Happy John Day to you too, Tabby. Mm -hmm. Zora. Vaz Nerdmundi. Yeah, I actually realised I forgot to check whether there were any good clothes in Sanctuary Hills. Because I scrapped some containers. And there might have been good clothes. Uh, what I really need is I need a charisma hat. Like, I, I do actually need a charisma hat pretty soon. That's actually kind of important. Because we're going to start getting some checks at some point. And, uh, like, say, Drumlin Diner has got speech checks. And speech checks, unlike pacifications, do actually provide XP. So, therefore, having access to them would not be the worst thing you want. So, I'm just going to go check the Sanctuary Hills inventory for them. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Jake, who gave us $5 and says, uh, Love from the States. You guys are a bright spot in my life. And I appreciate the effort that you both put into the content that you create. Love Did back to the States, too. Yes, indeed. Uh, happy birthday, says Cricket. Uh, this made my day, so many, many happy returns. And it gave us $2. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, yes, indeed. We've also got $5 from Rob, who says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, what have you unexpectedly liked in Oblivion so far? Unexpectedly is a... I mean, I suppose, like, the thing perhaps most... Uh, perhaps be the most, like unusual it's lots of people were like oh john you the the leveling system's really weird and it's uh, it's horrible and i hate it and here's the here's the link to mods that just mean you get guaranteed plus five on everything if you want to i really enjoy just like being a dumbass and being like okay i'm approaching the next level so i'm gonna take some time out to make some sandwiches and like you know go flower picking and stuff i'm just really enjoying getting into it like in skyrim i very often like think oh yeah i'm gonna diversify i'm gonna have this character who's good at all sorts of different no, things no. and it drops out because like ultimately it, everything falls behind like my core skills keep rising and it gets to the point where I think, well, it's just pointless for me doing these minor things because specializing in a small number of elite skills is clearly getting me way more powerful. So that's the way to go. And like, you know, we're now in Skyrim, like I, like every game of Skyrim, I always begin by picking like every flower between a Helgen and Riverwood because I want to do alchemy. But it always drops off. Because there's no re- because there comes a point where there's not enough benefit. But when doing, like, dumb little extra minor skills is actually also really, really useful for, like, uh, buh, 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 buh. Is that really, really useful for, like, boosting how powerful you are when you level up? Then there's an incentive to do it. And that incentive has been keeping me going on the minor skills. And now, like, alchemy is literally my most powerful skill. Like, in terms of just sheer numbers. And, like, I'm getting to the stage where I'm actually producing decent posting. Oh, shit, this isn't just a sandwich meme anymore. I've accidentally stumbled across something I'm actually really enjoying using that's actually quite good. Uh, it's not just, like, it's not just sandwich memes and money anymore. I'm actually making decent potions. So, yeah. Like, I, I think that's probably it. And, yes, it looks like the clothing I missed was suspenders and slacks, which is honestly not terrible because suspenders and slacks is plus two endurance. So, yeah, right now I'm on 127 hit points. If I put on the suspenders and slacks, then I go up to 143. Like, that's an extra, what, uh, 10, 10, 15%? So maybe even more like, yeah, 15, 20% uh, hit points. Uh, no, I don't want a 15%. Not bad So for endurance plus two. And I, the only hat I've got available is either a perception hat or a luck hat. So I may as well take the perception hat, I guess. 
Uh, but yes, right now, unfortunately, I do not. I don't have a charisma headwear. I might need to actually avoid. I mean, you know what? I I could, in theory, just take the risk. I'm not even sure with there is there even a red check at Drumlin Diner. I don't know whether there even is. You know, uh, I think there might be a red check ultimately. Uh, but I've still got even a charisma. Yeah, charisma of ten. I've got an 85% chance of passing it anyway. It's not like I'm just going to fail. Um, but you know what? I also may as well, while I'm uh, passing by, while I'm just passing by, there is like, there are so many ties because this is a garage here. So I may as well convert those into, hang on, uh, decorations, floor coverings. Uh, where was the basic rubber one? It was the... Not you, not you, not you. I want the... Yes, I want the floor mat. Give me the smallest floor mat going. Here we go. I'm now just going to create a tower of floor mats. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Axel Fax says you've got a laundered green dress that's plus two charisma, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, I, I, I do have that. That's actually true. I could just put that on. I just don't want to have to, like, change in and out of, like, actual useful armor. Also, apparently I found the, the, the maximum height of stacked items you could have in Fallout 4. Oh, no, that one went higher. Why, why didn't you go higher? Because I think it started higher on the ground, look. Oh, I think it's floating. I think you're right. Yeah, I, think, I mean, I think it might be listen, just. Listen, I've played a lot of Sims 4. I, I can tell when floating. shit's floating off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to Breadsticks who gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John! Uh, not great at gaming, uh, gave us $2.50 and this came in. I thought that was a extension of the same message. Like, Happy birthday, John. You're not great at gaming, but. <laughs> Jerry you thought that's where that was going. person saying about themselves. Yes. Their username's not great at gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, and they gave us $2.50 and it came after a really, really big super chat. Ah. Uh, so they said uh, this is 100th uh, of the previous happy birthday. Oh, we love you anyway. It's fine. Don't Absolutely. you ever worry about that. You know what? I'll take Lone Wanderer just because I am going to be mostly free of companions and 15% damage reduction is really good. Uh, that will help keep me alive in a world where I don't have that much endurance. That will be, you know, of use. So, uh, yeah, that will be not bad at all. That'll that'll keep me going. You see, you know, I, I guess, well, you know what, the, the dress is a good idea. We can use the dress to go straight to Stromlin Diner. I want to... Here's the thing. I, I would like the Perception Bobblehead, but I think getting to it is going to be tricky because you cannot get to the Minutemen until you have actually killed all the raiders who are inside the uh, Museum of Freedom. So as a result of that, that's actually going to be quite tricky because I can kind of, at a high enough level, I can get them to murder each other, but there's always going to be one left over I'm going to have to awkwardly deal with one way or another. I don't know whether if the final one is pacified, that's... What am I stuck on? I don't know. Whether that's good enough or not, I genuinely don't know. Um, and then, like, once that's done, I can get the Raiders and the Deathclaw to mostly kill each other, uh, which is fine. That's not my fault, obviously. So, all the really... I, I just need the ability to make them turn each other. And to do that, I need to be about level 21. So, we can't, like, do some of that immediately. Uh, so we're just gonna have to skirt around the edge of Concord. Um, like... There's a question about, like, the old consensus always used to be, do the Minuteman ending, do the Minuteman route for no kill. Like, I don't know whether there's a reason why Railroad wouldn't be the same or easier. Like, Railroad strikes me as, ah, well, you know what, I guess Tradecraft is uh, compulsory, and that's difficult. But is Tradecraft impossible? Because Tradecraft, you can bring down the Brotherhood without ever officially getting your hands dirty. All you do is plant a bomb that blows up their airship and everybody on board it. And then causes the airship to crash into an airport that's also full of people. But aside from that, I don't think that counts as a single kill. As far as the game's concerned. I think that's fine. Uh, which is interesting. So just check there's no trouble here. There's uh, Trash Can Carla. Who, if you flirt with, you'll get a permanent discount. And why wouldn't you? Because she literally just rose out of a out of a pile of trash. <laughs> like she is trash Jesus. So yes, be sarcastic. Just looking for love, sweetheart. 
And there we go. Trash can Carla liked, liked the flirting. I'd like, oh no, I'm done. Clara look even creepier in my suspenders. Oh no. But I'm actually, I'm- In your suspenders hitting on a lady. It, I should really take off the- Cow, get out of the way. Uh, I think if you ask about Diamond City, yeah, she can just, uh, yeah, just point- uh, Does she put that on the map? I don't she puts that on the map officially. Uh, so okay. I'm going to take the, uh, the thing off because unfortunately the bandana is covering up my, my amazing, uh, my amazing moustache, which I think is sad. But like the goggles are somehow even creepier. So this is fine. But unfortunately I need to also put on my laundered green dress. That's charisma plus two. So, oh, look at that. That's, that's fabulous. Nice. That's... Uh, also a shout out to no one of consequence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's again their username. Uh, no one of consequence gave us, uh, $10. Uh, and says, uh, there is a dead minute man outside of the Museum of Freedom who has a militia heart that gives plus one charisma. That's true. That does work. And actually, you know what? I've just actually, I've just triggered by virtue of coming this way. And this actually, I did this during Legendary. I just didn't think about it. I've just triggered Trash Kankala to walk towards town where the raiders are still in play. She will eventually deal with them. It'll take a while for her to do it. She's not properly armed or anything. But, like, in theory, this is the point where, like, reverse pickpocketing yeah. becomes a thing. Don't like, you need to take a higher level? Uh, well, it just changes the, the percentage success chance. The problem is she's got mm. a Brahmin, and the Brahmin counts as a witness. The Brahmin would be like, move, you try to pickpocket, move. Uh, so, unfortunately, it doesn't work. But there is actually another corpse. There is another Miniman corpse on the edge of Concord. Um, it is round. I think it might be in this garden. And he might have the same gear on him. And that is Minuteman with... Uh, no, look, that might be a different... Hat. That might be a different hat. But that is... You drop some stuff. Which which hat is that? The Minuteman gear is actually pretty good. The Minuteman gear oh, was that is... that one. Ushanka. Agility. Agility and perception is not bad. That's extra bonus sprinting. Uh, and Ushanka is... It's an intelligence hat! Unfortunately, not the hat I need. But you know what? Trash Can Carla might be able to just beat them. If I could just... If if her Brahmin would stop snitching on me, then I might be able to, sni to slip her a better gun. I could slip her the 10mm, and then she'd be more effective in combat. The problem is, she's going to object to this, I think. I'm going to just see if I can... The problem is, it's the cow. The cow genuinely, like, snitches on you. If you try and, like, do anything. Like, if, if I try and give her something. Yeah, looking at the inventory doesn't count as a problem. If I try and place something. Is she going to object? 44%. Okay, if I'm trying to... fifty. Okay, so, yeah, I can place. The problem is, is the cow going to tell her I did this? She needs a bullet as well. She needs one bullet to be able to use a gun. Just one. Then she can use it forever. Okay, so I've given her the, the pistol... And around. But is the cow going to snitch? Okay, the cow appears to have not snitched. So if we're lucky, she'll now... Now that I've got the pickpocketing perks, what she'll now do is... I imagine that's her going to be her new most powerful gun. 10 millimeters, not bad. You can see around the corner. Preston is dying to do that. She's now going this direction. There was also another trader over here. I don't know which direction that trader was going in. If that trader also comes in this direction, there will be two traders. But I think the other trader was going the other way. Uh, so that's fine. So Trash Can Carla's now walking into town. And if we're lucky, then we'll get our first example of weapon placing. Which is when she detects there's trouble, she will pull out her most powerful weapon she's got. Which is probably the 10mm. So she's just going to walk into town. There's a bunch of raiders around here. She has no other route she can go. I'm surprised she hasn't actually... There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's using the 10mm. So Trash Can Carla is now just being whacked with a stick. She's not changed her target onto anyone else. She's going to eventually fall down, but she can't die. So she'll just get back up again. Someone else is potentially going to start shooting at me, but that's fine. She's taken... Okay, she's... One, one person's down. She's taken out one. Where's everyone... Wait, where the cook is everyone else? Did Preston Garvey kill everyone else? Yeah, yeah Preston Garvey's yelling at me, so everyone else is... Okay, so that's them all dead. <laughs> Minnie can help myself now to leather. I'm wearing a dress right now, aren't I? No, I'm wearing the Minuteman outfit. I'm wearing the Minuteman outfit. I didn't remember to put that on. Is that what Preston Garvey's yelling at you? Uh, no, he's not yelling about the dress. He, he's, not, he's not impressed by my moustache. But that completes out of time, which is a good amount of XP. 
And now when freedom calls, I need to, uh, yes, deal with all this nonsense. But the bare minimum, at least this gets me some various bits of armor. It gets me a laser musket I can sell, fusion cells I can sell. And this guy is... Oh, I think his, his loadout's random because he does not have a charisma hat. He's got a mining helmet. Uh, that is... Uh, yeah, why does no one have a charisma hat? Does nobody... Is no one interested in a charisma hat? Not one person? Trash Cat Carla, are you selling a charisma hat? So the but guy it, outside of the museum didn't have it? No, he had a helmet. I think his loadout must be randomized. I think someone must have just happened to have seen that. Hey, Carla. Carla? Uh, J Jimmy Cleanerhands needs himself a new hat. <laughs> oh, God. Why is he so evil? Uh, charisma hat, charisma hat, charisma hat. Charisma glasses! That is, that's all I need. Fashionable glasses was not what I was expecting, but it'll do. Uh, that's fine. Uh, if there is a charisma hat, that will be uh, A-OK. -okay. Uh, what do your current goggles do? They are perception. They're ah. perception goggles. Uh, also, I've got a nice tuxedo, but I think I, I like my, my laundered vest. Actually, no, because tuxedo is actually perception and charisma, uh, not a charisma too. But then again, I don't, need, I never, I never need charisma. I never need charisma too. So, you know, I'm going to take the, I'm going to, oh, that was expensive. Jesus. Jesus, that was more expensive than I was expecting. Uh, it said the price right there. Yeah, but like, I just kind of assumed it would be cheap because it's clothing from Trash Can Carla, who gets her clothes from the trash. It's a tux, though. So okay, that's that's fine. I've now got I've now got that's what I need So now I can just leave the fashionable glasses on all the time and that means yeah I've now got charisma 11 meaning I am now at like level 8 I can now pass every check in the entire game for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. I literally can't fail um, So that means now I can basically put on anything I I want the laundered green dress is now not necessary So we can dump that we can dump basically anything. I mean as Pointed out in the chat, a tuxedo would really fit this dude. Uh-huh. I think he wishes it would. I'm not sure it actually does at all. Uh, the Yushanka hat, meanwhile, is bonus intelligence. That's more XP, which is probably worth more to me than perception. So mm. we can dump the fedora. We can dump the glasses. Um, we can dump the bandana because I don't want to cover up my beautiful moustache. And yeah, the Hashtag minute man... get a tux. Boo, get the tux with your ammo. Fine, we'll get the tux. Yes. I literally don't need the tux. I'm as char charismatic as a human needs to be. But we will, we will sell, we will get the tux. I, I know, uh, John, I know you're beautiful, but... I mean, I don't know, what if you need to, like, go to France to someone's brother's wedding, huh? Uh-huh. Then you would wear a nice suit. It's true. He did look very fetching. I wasn't actually wearing a matching suit, though. I was just wearing a nice suit well, top. Well, you were matching me and my dress. Yes. All so right. We were super so I've, cute, got, I've got money. There um, we go. What the... Oh, that was just... A, what the cock was that? He just walked through on the sandbags. They explode if you walk through them. And then uh, uh, these guys are deemed to have enough mass that they cause them to explode. So, okay. Now, if I need to, I do indeed have a tuxedo. I mean, that is good. Between the the the, the, the sun, the sunnies and the tuxedo. Yeah. With the pit boy. Yeah, it's, it's great. Um, hey, shout out to Roman Tali. Oh, hello, uh, Roman Totale. Who um who gave us two hundred dollars? Oh wow! Uh, thank you so thank much, you Roman. Very, very much indeed. Uh, Roman says it's been a while since I've been able to catch a live stream. I've just received an offer for a new job with a big promotion and a substantial raise, so I wanted to show my appreciation for all the good work that you do. Thank you for everything. Well, congratulations on the big old promotion. I hope it really works out for you. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the new. Um, I hope you enjoy the new uh, position. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the problem we've got People now is... I'm really enjoying the new outfit. The new... Uh, the, the next step officially is, hey, go inside the Museum of Freedom and defeat the Raiders. Until you defeat the Raiders, all it doesn't matter whether you come in. Like, I've tried in the past, going up to the church and hopping over to the roof to come in via the upstairs back door. Doesn't matter. All doors are locked until all Raiders have been defeated. And right now, I have no way of defeating those Raiders. So, um... Everyone in chat really wants you to go to Nuka World now and get Oswald's top hat. <laughs> it's a long way to go. I'm not sure we're going to have time for that. 
Oh dear. I need a chest piece as well. Uh, have you got a chest piece? Leather chest piece! Good. So now I've... Okay, I've also got some now defense on me. I've actually got some damage resistance. Not much, but then again, I'm not going to be being shot by anything too ridiculously uh, ridiculously dangerous. And again, just keep on keep... Wait, were you the guy with the, the sniper? The thing is, I, I wouldn't mind having a sniper weapon. Do you have the thing? I could have sworn this house had a guaranteed uh, weapon with a scope. Am I... Have I got... You can get a top hat from the hotel in Far Harbour 2. From the hotel... Oh, Far Harbour's easier to get to. That's that's much easier. It's Thank not a magic... Thank you, Bear. Okay, that... Far Harbour, in theory, we could do. That, that in theory, we could... Oh, God. We th theoretically could. It's a bad idea, but we could... And yeah, pre-war money is just a source of... Well, it's either a source of money, those do sell well, or they're a source of cloth. So you can just convert them into rugs, uh, which is also very good. But yes, now that I've got this, now that I've got this, now we can basically just run down the road to Drumlin Dino. You may say, screw you, Preston Garvey. We may or may not come back for you later, <laughs> depending on whether we have any interest in the Minutemen. What's up? I don't need the Minutemen. I can sequence break. As long as I make it back to... I uh, make it to Diamond City, then I can pick up the mission at Diamond City with Nick Valentine. You do not need the Minutemen to tell you where Diamond City is. You do not need Mama Murphy to tell you to go to Diamond City. You can just skip it. Um, what you do, however, need to do is... Is that that trader I saw earlier? Are you still here, buddy? Oh my goodness, Axelfag. Yes? Axelfag gave us $100. Oh, thank you, Axel Fax. Uh, and says, Hamdog hey, says, happy birthday. Hey, Dogface says, snore, because he's old and it says nap time. Oh. Axel Fack, uh, why don't you tell us, um, you know, later, whenever Dogface wakes up, yeah. you let us know so we can uh, tell him he's a good boy. i tell uh, you what, this is and, wild. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at this, I'm level eight and this just spawned on a random trader. Suppressor, reflex sight... Comfort grip, long porter barrel, hardened. That is a wild spawn of a weapon. Right there. That is cocking wild. So you're just a junk trader. Okay. That's a really advanced gun for just a random store. Like, that's a. Some, like, like, literally, the most. The reason generally you come to Drumlin Diner early is because what you want is uh, an early game suppressor. And she just came up with a better one off the top of her head. That is wild. Okay. I mean, okay, this raises the question. If I shoot someone with a silencer on my gun, does that count as shooting them? Yes, it does. Uh, let's see. Oh, dear. Um, a gaming monkey says, um, the game knows you're not killing anybody. <laughs> Which I think is a joke and yes. not like a... Compensation. Oh, Axel Fax says he heard his name just now and he rolled over, so I think he's awake. Dogfish! Dogfish, who's a good boy? Who's a good dog? Oh, Dogfish, you're good a good boy. Dog. Oh, Ham Dog, you're a good girl. Ham Dog, good dog. Best Hello! Girl, dog. Hi! There we go. So, yeah, we made it to Drumlin Dynamo. And what we're now going to do, despite being like a level, like a basic character, we're just going to say to them, no, lower your gun. You For I am fabulous. Or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it there easy. we go. So he lowers his weapon. Great, but we're not done yet. So now I'm going to demand money off them. Now hand over your money. All of it. Just keep calm. <laughs> That's everything I have. Now he just hands me all his money. And now I tell him to just walk away. Now get the hell out of here, both of you. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Fine. We'll leave. Just my goddamn luck. That this man with this moustache just came out of nowhere. So there we are. That's that's order up started. And they're just gone. You're welcome, by the way. I've just solved your problem. Situation resolved. <laughs> the moustache compels you, says Jimmy. Pretty much, yes. Uh, <laughs> now you ever need 
So now I just get a hundred. I just get a hundred caps, and I just get a giant pile, of, like not a bad pile of XP for that. So that's you know that's that's okay XP. That's okay. Job it. done. Order up completed. Sure. Just it's yeah. The charisma system was for speech in Fallout Four was wild because it did just mean that like a level like two character, like a level one character wearing a hat who just happened to stay called Charisma could just walk up to like you know the most fearsome approach to the game and just be like no. Off you go. I am here now. They're like, all right, all right. Let's keep your shirt on. Uh, it was it was a system that was uh, imperfect. Little bit of an imperfect uh, system in some ways. We, we we admit. We we must admit this. Anything else I want to get off you, by the way? Like in particular, yeah, an under outfit that gave me uh, agility for running would not be the worst thing in the world. But this looks mostly uninteresting. Uh, to me, at this point, uh, I mean, yeah, the right, the right legendary gear, maybe, but I think we're okay for now. We'll just leave you be. So there we go. That's that's you taken care of. I wonder if they despawn, by the way, if they actually do genuinely just run away down the road, and if so, whether they could be useful for anything. Because next step on the road would be, yeah, probably it's really quiet in this bit of the world. If I just follow the road now, I could probably just bypass Lexington entirely and make it straight to Cambridge where I can check in with Brotherhood of Steel. Because you can just stand by and let that happen. Yes, Claire? Yeah, I've got at least three or four people in chat saying, uh, and now I mustache you to leave. Ah, that's very good. It's <laughs> very good. Oh, oh dear. So yeah, we just loop yes, around indeed. here. Uh, and uh, just, uh, just, uh, an apparently Dogface and Hamdog are both, uh, D Dogface was looking a little sleepy and startled oh. at being told he's a good boy, but uh, Hamdog rushed into the room oh. and came and gave him snuggles on hearing her name. Oh. Dogs are so good. Hey, is that you? That is Wolfgang. Wolfgang is still on the map. Where is he going? We're, 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 we're pursuing. We're pursuing Wolfgang. Yeah, that's right. I'm not done with you yet. You better. I told, I know I told you to run, but it turns out it doesn't matter. I'm coming after you anyway. How far does he go? Wolfgang does not... Wolfgang has not ceased to exist. He's also not running that fast. I can catch up with him. Even with my, my sprinting not being that good. I'm just curious where the cocky's going. Where is Wolfgang off to? He's... Oh, he's... He's, 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 he's gone off the road. Fire support's begun. He's, he's gone off. No, he's, he's changed tack. He's going onto a dirt track. We're following him. I'm dropping a save here in case he doesn't go anywhere interesting. But we're, we're, we're going after him. Wait, where's he? There he is. He's still there. He's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you better run. Where are you going? What's your next move? Hello, it's me. I can attempt to pacify him if I want to. I can basically turn him into my new friend. Uh, what if I try and talk to him? Hey there. Huh? He just says, huh? Okay, now he's going back round. He's now going back in towards Cambridge. <laughs> just, I think like I'm just bullying this poor man. Okay, I'm going to drop a quick save. I'm going to try. Can we pacify him? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no, that makes him hostile again because that was a failure. I don't know. We're going to do it. Load, load the quick save. We're, we're going to pacify him. Well, while you uh, actually we don't even need to. I I'm just more curious where he goes. Yeah. <laughs> while you uh, pacify him, shout out to uh, we've got a lot of new channel members. Go go today. go! Uh, shout out to uh, Jonisolis, uh, Psycho Girl, Hugh, Alice Crane, Warbringer one 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 two eight, and Sub Peckin. Who uh, all became uh, new channel members? Is he walking into? Is, he's he's walking into Cambridge. Welcome to the new channel members. But you, buddy, you're in trouble. Okay, this is crazy. He's going to die. He he's going to die in Cambridge. There's no way in hell he survives this. I know. I, 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 there's so many ghouls here. He's going to. He's going to die. I just leveled up from fighting College Square. There are so many ghouls here. I'm going to run into a lot of trouble myself because they're all going to. Yeah, they're coming for me now. The ghouls are coming for. Okay, this is fine. This is. This is fine. I'm just going to. 
hop from thing to thing. And, oh, dear, this is, this is, it's a lot of ghouls here. A lot of ghouls. Uh, I just need to lead all these ghouls down to the Brotherhood. It's, it's all under control. And then I just need to get up top and then, hey, guys, I brought more ghouls. I bet you don't have enough ghouls right now. Right, now I just hop here. And now they can't get to me. And now we just, now we just wait. Although, okay, in, in theory, this is, we're getting into very dubious territory now. We're getting into really dubious territory. In the event that I shoot a ghoul, but I do not finish it off, do I? I should get XP, but I might not get blamed for it. Okay, so we'll just drop a save here. Okay, just wait for a good shot at any ghoul. That one will do. Like, just one shot. Okay, I've shot that ghoul. So, right, that's fine. I've shot that ghoul. That's cool. Uh, right now, I'm officially got, yep, no kills. Wait for that ghoul to... That ghoul's just run away. Now, guys, guys, I need you, I need everyone here. Oh, God, Paladin Dance, I'm so sorry about this, by the way. I feel like I, I've led more of them to you. And are you back? Okay, I need, I need, oh, God, there's so many ghouls. And they're all, all of the Brotherhood is dead. Okay, you, I'm going to put some bullets in you. Right, I'm just going to shoot you. Right, it's, it's fine. And then we're just going to... No, I need you to stay. I need you to stay. I need you to stay. I need them to stay. Otherwise, I can't verify whether they're dead or not. Are you going to... Okay, let them keep going. Keep going. You're you're now dead. One. Okay, now that was a mess. He's taking them down. Okay, take a shot at this guy. Right. One. Two. Complete mess. It's fine. That was also a mess. Okay, good. We've definitely got a hit on some of these guys. I'm not seeing XP right now. Another miss. Jesus Christ. Come on, Jimmy. This is this is clearly not your specialization. But he's slowly finishing them off. He is slowly finishing them off. I've got a hit on you now. Alright, this is all this is all absolutely fine. Still no official kills. We're just doing a little bit of damage. Now this guy needs to die. Okay, now the one I shot definitely is dead. Not a kill. Okay, but I, did I not get XP either? I think I just didn't get XP. Right, and... Oh, hang on, was that... Did I officially just kill that guy? No, I did get XP, but that was not a kill. So, okay, um, wounding is fine. So, as long as we do that, one, two... Okay, so he's now dead. Uh, or rather, he's he's been slightly, slightly damaged. So he's just going to take him down. These guys are now officially being marked with skulls. They've completely knocked over Dance, who once again has spawned without a helmet today. Which is absolutely fine. I mean, I guess I could take their legs down for Dance. That would be a nice thing for me to do. Just, you know, take their legs out. And if we can, come on. Come on, Dance. Finish him off. Come on, Dance. I believe in you. We're going to work together in this, in this pacifist way that we are. Come on, pacifism. Let's go, pacifism. Pacifism, yes. Where have they gone? They've naffed off. Okay, I need to go and get their attention. Oh, there they are, there they are, there they are. One of them should have, like, no legs. Because I've shot them repeatedly in the leg. Uh, you're a re You're a... No, not a Reaver. You're a Roma. That's, that's all absolutely fine. Let's get over two here. Two bullets should do that. There we go. That's all absolutely fine. Let's put some bullets in you. Hide to the back. Oh, paladin dance. Oh, blimey explosions. It's okay. The ones that are really, really uh, strong. We just take out their legs. Take a leg. There we go. There's a leg down. Right. Paladin dance. I've, I've softened one of them up for you. I wouldn't prioritize him, though. I'd maybe shoot the other ones first. There you go. You're dead. You're dead. I should definitely get some credit for this guy. Come on, paladin dance. I believe in you. How... Paladin dance, how are you missing? This is... Uh, I didn't get XP for him. That's... The when I do and don't get XP is so weird. So, so weird. That was very literally a kneecap right there. But that is fire support complete. That's XP at the bare minimum. So we can just skim all of this now. And in theory, we could just follow Dance and let him complete. Actually, ooh. Well, may as well always go for the uh, the speech options. After all, uh, that will just get me yet more XP, which is absolutely fine. So he just tells me basically nothing. Also, I want money, by the way. There we go. I lost it. Doesn't get me any money. No sure it gets you any extra money. It's just you acting as a mercenary for some reason. So he'll invite you to join the Brotherhood. But more importantly, he will now, uh, yes, uh, complete fire support and invite you inside to have a chat about the facility. 
The problem is, I believe he counts as a companion while he is doing that. So I believe any kills he gets once I begin, if I choose to do the First Brotherhood mission, I believe at that point his kills are my fault. But I'm, I want to verify that. Uh, we're learning. We're learning today. We're learning what you can and can't get away with in this uh, in this run. Also, before we do go inside, we need to. There we are. There's fire support complete. Lovely. Not need. I don't actually need. Uh, yeah, idiot savant or anything. What happened to Wolfgang? Is Wolf Wolfgang's corpse still here? Did did crazy Wolfgang finally end up very dead? Because I'm pretty sure this might be. No, that was a generic raider. That's generic raider. That's generic feral. Was he over here somewhere? I know I've leveled up. I'll get to you in a second. Feral. Feral. Surely he didn't survive. Could Wolfgang be not dead? Or maybe he despawned because I just got too far away from him. Oh, it's hard to... Run! Okay, there's a few more, there's a few more ferals here. But that's fine. We can't really do anything about any of uh, any of them. So we'll just we'll just keep on keeping on. Am I still being followed, by the way? I mean, if need be, how tough are you, by the way? I could just bring down your legs, but you might die before I actually successfully do so. So let's just lose you by uh, stepping inside nice and fast into the police station. I heard the growl there. <laughs> we got out the way. We got out the way before it happened. So it's fine. Wolfgang runs to good neighbours, someone says. Well, I don't know if he made it, though. So, I assume the ghoul can't get inside. So that's all absolutely fine. So, okay. I'm going to drop a save here because I do not know for certain yet precisely how the attribution of moral culpability for murders committed while doing mercenary work for the Brotherhood of Steel is attributed. Okay, we're going to have to figure that one out together. Also, there's some good stuff in the little back room over here. As you know, there's a nice, uh, there's a nice uh, ammo box, which is just free money. There's stim packs, there's handcuffs, there's a whole bunch of... Uh, yeah, there's military fatigues, which is never going to hurt. There's drugs, which is great. Military fatigues are just, you know, the go-to. Military fatigues are 100% like one of the things you just want to see. Uh, experimental fatigues are proper under armor, agility plus two, great for sprinting, which I do a lot. They actually have some damage resistance on them, which plenty of under armors just does, uh, just does. I mean, it's energy resistance, but it's still not bad. Like, it's just, it's, it's good. Like, army fatigues and military fatigues are just solid, solid options. Take the economy. Uh, yeah, was blue that, well. um, was that, uh, were you reading the super chat from, uh, Jack of the Frost who gave us two dollars, uh, Wolfgang runs all the way to Good Neighbor. Uh, I did see that, yes. Yeah? I did see that, you, yes. You did see that, but, but you didn't actually say. I thought it was I thought it was a normal chat, but that must have yeah, been, what, that must have been uh, what caught my eye. Yes, there are a number Like of at super least chats. three. Now you're feeling big, guy. <laughs> Claire doesn't like me oh, today. Yeah? <laughs> Claire's, I like you every day. Claire's done with my bullshit already. Okay, I think uh, I think he offers me. Uh, he actually says, "Paladin dance." Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Am I ready to move out? Um, not quite yet. I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the save, just in case he's. I he is. Uh, this is a problem. So I'm ready. You, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna follow you. He does put his helmet on this time. He bugged out and forgot to put his helmet on uh, during legendary, and as a result, got cooked without his helmet, which is excellent. So just to confirm, right now the sitch is. No kills. All right. So we're going to go and see whether Paladin Dance... Because right now he's not a companion. The game does not say Paladin Dance is available to be your companion until such time as you have completed... Uh... Bibbly Boop. Uh, I think it's uh, Shadow in the Sky. Uh, when you've... Oh, no, it's the ship's tour. Tour of Duty, I think that's called. Um, so once you've done that, it says Paladin Dance could be your companion. But I'm pretty sure the, one of the big problems people who've attempted this in the past have run into is Nick Valentine, when you're running out of uh, Vault 118, he does count. His kills are yours, which is a problem. Um, 
So yes, that's that that could be an issue. So I'm not like I assume he's the right now. He's in the same state as uh, Nick Valentine because Nick Valentine isn't officially a companion until such time as um, yeah, you've completed. I think until you've actually, yes, completed, uh, what's it called? The mission where you get him out and then talk to him in his office afterwards. Then he can be your companion going forward. So as a result of that, I suspect right now Dance is in the same game state. Meaning his kills are probably mine. And we're going to be able to verify that very fast. He's going to run into a bunch of raiders and then dogs underneath that. If so, we just have to revert to a previous save and acknowledge that Arc Jet can't functionally be done. Because there's basically no way for me to get him there. And then there's no way to avoid a whole bunch of death. Because literally, like... No, that... I mean, in theory, enough, like, pacifism, syringe rifles, etc. Might be able to put it off. But functionally not. Speaking of the syringe rifle, I believe the first and most easy reliable to get one is in Diamond City. The Doctor sells one. One of the two Doctors does, I'm pretty sure. So we should probably go there next because we're already at Cambridge. We're basically at Diamond City already. So he's going to go over there. He, they just executed, yeah, a, um, they just executed a lovely, lovely uh, traitor. He kills those three people. I suspect I'm about to be told. No. Okay. Officially, he's not. I wonder if Nick Valentine's in a weird, unique state. Because I was assuming you, these two would be in the same state as each other. But to date, not. Which is very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Okay, well, in that case, we're following Dance. Because, uh, yeah, this is just a way of getting a huge amount of fusion cells and uh, some free XP at the end. He can handle all of this by himself and there's going to be a lot of XP to be uh to be gone out of it so all right clap well dance just basically uh completes this mission by himself and i just stand and watch like a giant asshole uh yes yeah, shout out to age hole who gave us 550 swedish krona excellent krona uh, and says happy birthday thank you for everything that you are doing for us uh, shout out also to zombie collapse who uh gave us 50 swiss francs uh, and says, happy birthday to, to you. Thank you. That That's was very kind. Mode, so. Yeah. Um, ooh, and Helena gave us $50 and says, I just got a promotion, so have some money. This channel got me through some not great times and things are much better now. So I appreciate everything that you'll do. Good. Well, I hope you're feeling much better and it stays that way. Yes, I'm glad that things are much better indeed. Uh, and we've got uh, also $50 from that girl, Nikki, who uh, says, Happy birthday. My dogs say hi. The best kind oh. of hi. That is the best high. Uh, Nikki says, I've been watching for three years. Thank you for all the great content. And um, if I recall correctly, yeah, Nikki, uh, let us know uh, how the family is doing uh, in uh, in chat. Because uh, there were some uh, changes around that. So I hope everybody is uh, doing good and, and healthy and happy. Uh, and that you're not too sleep deprived, eh? <laughs> ah, that sort of addition to the family. <laughs> Anyway, shout out to Josh, who uh, gave us $50 uh, and says, Happy birthday, now you get your very own pit boy. <laughs> oh, I'm decades too late for that pit boy. Mm -hmm. You get it at 10, according to yeah. Fallout 3. Though I'm not sure, I think that's just a Vault 101 thing. I don't believe it's ever been specified elsewhere that typical Vault, like Vault Tech procedure was that there was a given age people received their pit boy and thus were deemed to be now fit to receive some form of uh, vault duty. I think that's purely a vault 101 idea. Right, and Josh also said thank you for your YOLOs as they got me through college and some rough days at my old job. Now I'm at a new and better job. Oh, Just good. I was like, doing very like, because part of what we hear a lot is like people, you know, saying, oh, I've got a better job. I've had a big promotion. I've got yeah. this. I've got that. I like, like, I like hearing the big positive news. That's always very exciting. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Mm. 
Yes, indeed. And uh, Malachi also sent a uh, super chat uh, before on behalf of uh, Sleepy Frog because Malachi is, you know, lovely. Uh, let's yeah, see. Let me just find it. That's as... fine. I need to do the. As this apparently is going to stand, I need the level up now. So, sure. Pickpocket is, yeah, oh. it, you need Pickpocket 2 for grenade placement. But that's, it's level 6. Pickpocket level, like. This is something like it's really easy to overlook, which is how fast some perks level up. Like, say, if you want to, like, you know, get explosives up to as good as they can get, that camps out at level 34. Whereas Rifleman, you're waiting till level 46 for capping out. Pickpocketing, you can max that level 30. Max it at 30 and also take everything, which is pretty darn cool indeed. We need to go into Boston for the library, so don't worry about uh, that right yet. Yeah, 23, 21, I believe 12? Yep, 12. Those are the critical level, yeah, critical levels for Animal Friend. Once I get to 12, I can start getting animals fighting for me. At that point, again, not my responsibility, not companions, not an issue. So, on which basis? Yeah, I could just be more sneaky. I could just take straight up more endurance. But I feel like, yeah, increasing, I mean... The game says picking pockets is now 50% easier. I assume this applies to placement as well as theft. I don't know, but I'm assuming that would be the case. So we're just going to keep going in that direction. Because honestly, pretty soon I'll be able to take it up to level 3. Then I can start taking equipped weapons. Which I don't need, because it's the opposite. I'm, I'm putting equipped weapons in. Also, I will okay, say... Two, two things. Because yes. you were saying you were leveling up and then you just carried on. Uh-huh. You know, after I started saying a thing. Yeah. Uh, yes, so shout out to uh, Malachi and Sleepy Frog. Uh, Malachi gave us $20 and Sleepy Frog says, uh, Happy birthday, John. I'm too young to give money, but I do love the channel. My birthday is in a few weeks, so this is awesome. My fur babies are here with me and we are about to get uh, another Jeremy. And I have two cats. Oh, is that German Shepherd? Uh, I think maybe yes. Oh, good. I think it might they well can be, be such sweethearts, but yeah, the thing is, I don't think we're going it's to. It's a toss of the dice. Exactly, isn't it? they can. You just you can't you can't be certain. So it's one of the breeds. Unfortunately, we're not going to get just because you can get unlucky, and then yeah, like I think we're going to go for a breed that's more reliably soft as tripe. Just to make sure everything's yeah, as mean, it should be. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know. I mean, I've known some love... I mean, you you, you oh, yeah. love German Shepherds. You, your I do uncle love German Shepherds, one, right? and, I've lo and I've known a particularly really sweet, lovely German Shepherd. But at the same time, you know, like... Yeah. I'm not gonna say that, like, I'm 100% that she would have been perfectly fine living with a cat. Because, like, I don't know that. And yeah. I was a kid, you know? Um, but yeah, love a German Shepherd. Unfortunately, for living with cats, we just want to be extra, extra safe. Exactly. Um, and go for a breed that's not been like bred for hunting. <laughs> yeah. And 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 aggression, you know. Okay. Um, so we're gonna yeah, get and, you. Um, Open you. Now we're about to cause some trouble, but and now I'm just gonna try and get the flip out of dodge and then immediately get stuck on a. A thing and then step the way and being caution not danger if I'm lucky. Yep, they don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here, so Dance is just gonna take care of all of this. He's done very well today. This is actually a this is this is smooth. This is very, very smooth indeed, just in terms of uh, no involvement in me whatsoever. I'm just, just kind of hiding in the door frame in the shadows, being like, oh god, I hope they don't see me. Uh so yeah, I'm going to mop up uh, Institute weaponry that looks good. Obviously, I want all of the Institute things. Uh, uh, and also, if I see any, like, decent Institute rifles, I will take them. Because, uh, yeah, together with the fusion cells, I can pickpocket those uh, onto NPCs. Uh, I would like to be able to uh, defend themselves a little bit more effectively. But for the most part, we're just going to be uh, letting dads take care of this. It's it's going to be magnificent. Clap. Uh, okay, so number one, uh, Amanda, um, Skylock Landing says, uh, I'm off work now, do you, what do you want for a birthday drawing? Ooh! Uh, I'm off work now for my own birthday, even, she says. Uh, what would you like for a birthday drawing? Do you have any requests? Interesting. Uh, while you think about that, we have a lot. <laughs> 
of people defending German Shepherd dogs in the um, in the chat mm -hmm. uh, and saying, you know, they're naturally very sweet tempered and they're only bad tempered when they're trained that way and whatever. Like here, what we're talking about is not the temperament of an individual dog. Yeah. What we're saying is like dogs, all dogs. We messed with them for thousands of years for special character characteristics. Yeah. And like German Shepherds, we mess with them to select for more aggression. That's just what it is, you know? Yeah. And of course, it's more complicated than that. But you can't, you yeah. know? We, we, we are currently thinking more about maybe retriever labrador retriever or golden retriever maybe i'd love a great pyrenees but they are mm. there's very few of them in the world you don't stumble across them very often at all yeah i mean people are saying get a newfoundland or a bernese mountain dog which yeah get the livestock guardian dogs absolutely but there are so very great, few of them you know, around yeah so basically, you don't you don't stumble onto them very often I mean, also, the thing is, we work all the time. So high-energy breeds that need a lot of attention, otherwise they get really bored and they're not as happy. Yeah. They're not a good fit for us just because we work a lot. Hmm. Um, but, yes, we, uh, we, we are going to get a... We are going to get a dog that if it, for whatever reason, decides it's going to pick up a cat in its mouth... It's instinct that we've drilled in its head for thousands of years is going to be bring cat, bring Claire the cat very gently. Yes. In a way that's not going to hurt it because my mouth is not shaped for hurting anything. Yeah, a soft, yeah, soft mouth Basically. is what it's called. Yeah, soft mouth dogs. Oh dear, oh dear. At the end of this, by the way, Paladin Dance is going to congratulate me on my amazingly well done job and how well we work, we work as a team. I said he's literally walking behind him, like grabbing all the loot and not doing anything to assist whatsoever. There we go. I mean, I've heard good things about beagles as well. Beagles being remarkably gentle. Uh, and just cute. Huh? Oh, Claire, how dare you? Beagles are sweet. Jasper had beagle colorings. One of my old dogs, he was possibly half beagle. Half, really? Yeah. He had incredibly strong beagle colorings and he had incredibly soft nature that well, would be consistent with beagle. Cute. There you go. Now you know you've slandered my beloved childhood dog, you feel bad. He was probably the best at ship. Well, there was probably a bit of everything in there, but I'd say the most predominant breeds in one of my most beloved childhood dogs was Greyhound and Beagle. And he was soft as anything. Beagles are very loud, apparently. Mm -hmm. That can vary you Beagle to Beagle, I think. I think that varies a lot, Beagle to Beagle. Right, grab the Fusion Core. Get the McJibble sorted out, facilities, terminals. And now just sort. Now, now, now we play Wordle. Now we play Wordle, so no no matches at all. Hey, got lucky on that occasion. Start the auxiliary generators. And now now we find out, am I morally responsible if I push a button that I know is about to start an engine in a room full of sentient creatures? Am I morally responsible for their deaths if that happens? Place bets now! Also, drop a quick save because there's sometimes there's just straight up crashes. Like this, this, this could just straight up crash. I'm not sure if these guys can be legendary, by the way. Like I know the legendary mod makes them legendary. I don't think these guys are allowed to spawn as legendary otherwise. So there we go. Just push the button and basically just fry them all. And if we're very lucky, then what's going to happen is it, it, I'm not going to be morally accountable for the deaths of these. Actually, they are Gen twos. Are Gen 2 sentient? Interesting. I'm not sure whether they are. I think these guys are still... The game considers them... Okay, interesting fact. The game considers these guys are robots for the sake of damage calculation. Troubleshooters does work on them. However, Robotics Expert does not. For the sake of pacification, they are abominations, not robots. Uh, Wasteland, uh, Wasteland Whisperer works on them. It's really weird. I don't know why that is, uh, but yeah, it's, it's Wasteland, uh, it's Wasteland Whisperer, not robotics experts on a synth, even though damage calculation says they are robots, then everyone else says they're not. So as a result of that, Jimmy Clean Hands. 
<laughs> Nothing. Not my out. fault. They didn't get any XP for that either. Though I do, however, get a giant pile of, uh, yes, various uh, weapons. So I'll take various automatic weapons. Automatic weapons are never a bad thing. Because we can just uh, slip them in other people's hands down the line. And they are pretty light. And obviously the fusion cells are basically uh, free piece. And I'm, yeah, I assume outside of me forcing it with a mod, uh, these things cannot spawn as, uh, yeah, these things just can't spawn as legendaries. Otherwise, you could just farm legendaries in here all day, every day. So I'm going to guess that's not the case. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, oh shout out God. to uh, Normac, who uh, gave us 10 Australian dollars. High level dollars. Uh, and says, happy birthday. The stream is helping me get through the last of my night shift. I've only got three hours to go. Good luck. You must be almost finished, if not finished by now, buddy. Lol. Uh, Alana uh, gave us five pounds, uh, and they say, happy birthday, John. Congrats on getting older. Help, I might do a PhD in classic with a focus on video games. What have you done to me? Sounds pretty badass to and me. how are you both? That sounds pretty badass. I had a degree in classics with a specialization in puns. So, you know, I can't say anything. Lol. I did. I specialized in comedy. And I'd say, I, 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 I would say, to this day, I'm one of very few people in the world who has ever specialized in cross, in cross linguistic joke translation, both linguistic and cultural, mm -hmm. and written extensively on that topic. Uh, but uh, that's, that's a thing I did. I'm very glad about that. Right? No, no kills. Sid's not dead. Everything's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Was that the rifle? No, that was the pistol. They've just got to do it the basics. But some of them have got the automatics, which might be uh, better than nothing. And it's you, isn't it? Yep, deep range transmitter. There we go. I contributed to the mission. You're welcome, Paladin Dance. But you're really glad you uh, you brought me. Yes, he is. He's, he's delighted he brought me, and he gives me a special rifle. That I completely don't need in any way whatsoever. And oh, you just want me to leave, do you? Sorry, I thought you wanted to talk at this point, but you do not. I'll just take the stim packs, be on my way. Then just take the elevator, just like leave him here. He'll like, he'll, 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 he might warp into the t elevator. We might push it. There we go. His flashlight light arrived before he did, <laughs> which is excellent. So he's now just going. Now we're just going to go out. He's going to give me righteous authority, and that's going to be this mission complete. Probably getting me a straight up to. He just walked. That was a good trek. That was that was a good horror movie trek right there. Him just uh, appearing right there like that. That was that was excellent. Well done, Palace and Dads. So okay, I joined the Brotherhood because there's literally no reason not to. It doesn't exclude you from anything. I get right to authority. Yeah, mission accomplished. And there we go. And smoother. We did fine. I did nothing but whatever. The sweet was sloppy. You're not wrong. I did literally cocking nothing. Your extra gun! I didn't fire a bullet! <laughs> oh, we weren't great as a team. Why don't you give me the gun and recommend me to be brought straight in at the level of night to Elder Maxon, you stupid loser. There we go. Thank you. I'll be taking the money of the righteous authority, which I do not need in any capacity. But he's going to insist, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it and trade it for any old trash I feel like. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll join the brother to seal. I'm on board. Agreed to join. There we go. Lovely. He wants to go back to the police. I'm not sure whether we need to go back to the police station. Yeah, call cool to arms is already complete. Should be enough to push me, yeah, easily. Straight up to uh, next level. Is that 10? We're at, uh, we're at 10 now. Uh, yeah, that's level 10. So, uh, another two levels until... Yeah, we've got another two levels until we hit Animal Friend. But we're making fast progress up the uh, up the old levels here. I could hold this for Robotics Expert, to be honest. Which probably wouldn't be a, a terrible idea. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just going to boost Endurance. We get to Endurance 5. Endurance 5 is not going to be bad. Plus, then if I need Aqua Boy, I can take it. But, like, obviously, I just lost so much XP just by virtue of... Like, not killing those synths. Like, would have made life a lot easier. Yeah, Semper and Victor is weirdly hard. Because not least is actually you've got, um, uh, what's it called? So that's, that's not gonna fly. That's not gonna fly. Instead, we're just gonna fast travel back to the police station. Then we should just be able to basically mosey straight down to Diamond City. And then we just sequence break and, uh, skip the Minutemen entirely. Then we can go back there later when we have the ability to make them turn on each other. 
So it's going to be fine. Clap! Yes, indeed. Sorry, I need to scroll back up all the way to the beginning. I see. Um, a shout out to uh, Mark, who's been a member for 38 months and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, Grey Morality has been a member for 59 months and also says, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Alex gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, hello, John and Claire. Happy birthday, John. I hope you are doing well. Uh, Ravi uh, gave us $5 and says, uh, yay for the same birthday week. Happy birthday, John. You inspired me to go after my dream job. That's Marketing? Exciting. Hmm? Marketing? I, I, I don't know. They didn't say, but mm -hmm. uh, but uh, please uh, tell us more. And, uh, uh, yeah, tell us the job. Got the job. Yeah. Uh, if you, you know... Uh, where, where you kind of are in the process. Uh, let's see. Lots of dog discussions. Mm -hmm. I know. I feel, I, feel like, I feel like we've upset the German Shepherd contingent. I mean, it's just... We've, we've, we've both known the most adorable German Shepherds that have lived with... In fact, I knew, I knew two German... I used to know two German Shepherds. They're long since gone out. This was, like, decades ago. Uh, who lived with five cats and were extraordinary... And they knew who the boss was. They were very gentle and they knew I mean, precisely... literally any dog I've ever met who's ever lived with a cat knew who the boss was. Yeah. That's not something that I'm worried about, you know, yeah. the dog knowing who the boss is. It's just that, like... I mean, you know... We we understand that we're probably being way too overcautious and it would probably be fine. Yeah. But like as someone who takes on the responsibility to be a caretaker for mm. creatures that like will rely on us for their safety and, and, and happiness, like we you know yeah like we have to be over cautious about it like i think you know? like the the i think like the where german shepherd theoretically co could come in is in the event that say there was a german shepherd who was a young rescue who had previously lived with a cat and thus was known to be friends with cats based on previously observed behavior at that point i think that'd be fine oh yeah totally i yeah. mean it depends it always depends like what what's gonna happen you know like are uh, we're just keeping our eyes open for like any you know we're just we're looking at rescue yeah <laughs> we're looking at rescue uh at rescue websites all the time basically yeah it's true too much given we're yes, too early so too much yeah um but yeah <laughs> Okay, so let's just before we drop the full save, let's just make sure we're a hundred percent where we should be here. Uh, so combat, yep, we're all zeros on the combat. So this is fine, right? Drop a new save, and now we start attempting to assist. My pacification effect failed on you, but you're dead now. Pacification on super muted. Ah, uh, oh, that's a legend. Yeah, I think there's guaranteed legendary there. And this is one of those guaranteed legendary spots. I'm going to try and get a bit closer. I'm going to see if I can pacify a mutant. Oh, that was a mine. There's a nice. Definitely, definitely that was. There was definitely a mine there. That's a lovely way of saying that. It's fine. Pacify! You work for me now! He didn't work for me now. Why didn't that show up as. Oh, I bet you were too high level. I should have scanned the levels with that. Which I didn't. The reason that didn't show up as an option would have been if he was too high a level. Uh, if he was the same or a higher level than me, then... No! I've successfully pacified. Then you killed him, you bastard. Uh, yeah, you're level 16. You're level 20. Yeah, so I can't pacify you. I can't... Pa I can... Oh, I don't know whether I can pacify you. Let's find out. We need to, we need to find out. Hello, can I pacify you? Or is it only... It looks like it is only, yeah, has to be lower, not lower or equal. Because I'm level 10, he's level 10. Now, the problem in Fallout 4 with that system, of course, is many enemies are tied to your level. Meaning very often, if you're level 10, you're into other level 10s. And very often, because of the way difficulty works, especially on high difficulties, if you're level 10, the game will start spawning in, like, you know, the next level up, and then they're going to be a higher level than you. A lot of the time, you're going to be running into enemies that are simply higher level than you. And they cannot be pacified. There is simply a hard block saying, no, not allowed. Simply not allowed. 
And the cooldown, by the way, in case it was not specific earlier, or someone's just, I saw someone just asking about that, is unique to the enemy, not to you. You can try and, like, pacify five different people in a row and fail all of them, and they're all on their own 60-second uh, timers. So there's, there's actually two legendaries here, which is bad luck for Diamond City Security. I think they're going to be in a bit of trouble, actually. So I'm, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to hope that they can maybe get one. I have no way of healing. Actually, you're doing very well. You're a little bit more in trouble right now. I need to watch out for the uh, the mine, wherever the mine is. They're definitely aware of me now. Where's the mine that was here? There was a mine here, wasn't there? Where was the mine? Well, seriously, where was the, where was the mine? These guys seem very not aware of me. At the moment. Uh, a good legendary weapon might theoretically be useful anyway. So I'm just going to we're just gonna hang out and see if Diamond's in security happened to win. You've already mutated, haven't you? Yeah, you've mutated. Which is fine. But right now I'm not actually engaged in a fight with you. I'm just kind of standing nearby watching. And sort of hoping that maybe the Diamond City guys win. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to... Uh... Shout out to uh, Daniel who gave us 20 euros and says happy birthday, happy birthday, John, you, magni you magnificent bastard. You're a bastard. I think maybe you were in the bar at the time. Oh, I see. Bastard. Very British. Uh-huh. Approve, yeah. Uh, thank you for all the awesome content uh, and uh, uh, so many games that I discovered and that I enjoyed thanks to you. I've been here since YOLO, but Oblivion is quickly becoming your crowning masterpiece. I, I, I think it's such a good series. There are so oh, many episodes good. I look at and think these are actually kind of amazing standout episodes to my mind. A crippling submachine gun, I tell you what. For literally the first drop in the game, that is... Wait, hang on. Oh, no, it's submachine gun. It's submachine gun. I thought submachine gun was like a 10. I didn't realize. Maybe it's a 5. Maybe it's a level 5 linked one so that's all absolutely fine just always you know keep half an eye on the uh the data but i didn't even get involved with that they've got board suggesting super mutant up here is dead what have you got on you buddy you had that was the skirmish hang on i saw the second legendary we all saw the second legendary right there were definitely two legendaries i'm the second legendary was he elsewhere oh that might have been him right there hang on check the trunk Help myself to all of this lightweight metal chest piece. I'll take it. You know what? That's that's decent armor pieces that I could not afford to give up right now. Punishing! My greatest enemy. No, not punishing. The last thing you want is armor that damages people. That's that's literally the last thing I want. I need armor that doesn't damage people. I need armor that uh, I need armor that protects me. That's that. Uh, that was that was not not useful as it turns out. But this this is even though it's actually you know what that's actually yeah now it's it's set to um that's set to light build which is actually good. That's AP that lets me run more so that's actually pretty solid. Uh, I'll take that. We will dump the punishing uh left leg and the strength and good and leather right is better than my raid right and it also is actually it's not light because it's been worked on a bit. But I will not say no. To any of that and that means we can just move straight up to diamond city and i'm pretty sure just getting to diamond city gets me actually that's interesting if i've never been given the mission to go to diamond city do i get the quest reward for getting to diamond city question mark question mark question mark uh i don't know normally you get what is it the green no is, is it the green jewel what do you is it the green jewel? I, can't, I think it's the, uh, the great. Is it the, yeah, the green the green jewel of the Commonwealth? But I've never been given green jewel of the Commonwealth. So okay, we've got to let Piper just do her business because even if you speak to her, she insists on just doing her business and kind of. She also insists on kind of acting at the micro, which I always find hilarious. Given she, it's clearly not got a camera, but she sort of acts at it. I find Piper very amusing in that little animation she does at the start of the game. It's fine. We'll 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 we'll, we'll j jazz our way in, and then she'll ask me about freedom of the press. It's it's all very awkward. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, more uh, more new channel members. Shout out to uh, Marco, R, Dustin, Enoch, and Is Gudin. Uh, who all became uh, new channel members and uh, 
Uh, I that, think that's, yes, we've also in, got uh, Asia Yeager uh, as a well. new channel member. So uh, welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, there's just a lot. It's, it's a lot to deal with. Uh, Vaidores has been a member for 28 months. Oh, ah, if you get lucky, you can get stuck on that door and get dragged up into the sky. That's cool. But I did not manage to get stuck on the door. You can, you might have seen I got sticky for a second there, but I was not able to spider man up to the top, unfortunately. But you can, if you if you get the angle just right, you can kind of stick to that door, which is kind of funny. Vaidores has been a member for 28 months. Excellent. Which is the thing I was saying. Yes. Uh, I've been a member for over a year, but I'm so happy to be part of the fun. Happy flipping birthday, you amazing man, and hello to Claire. I will have the best flipping birthday I can. Yes, indeed. Oh, it's hang on, that's interesting. That conversation just ran short, because I don't know I'm in Diamond City to ask after the help of... Nick Valentine, because I don't know this is where I'm supposed to be going to get help for my sana. So I didn't get the freedom of the press discussion. That's You're cool. Started, I didn't know that yeah. didn't trigger if you just ran straight here. But I skipped like half that conversation. And yes, I'm a traitor, as, as it turns out. Okay, every, everyone just believes everything I say. Oh, I just got given a giant pile of money. Oh, that's nice. It's, I'm just I'm just running up to people and they just give me money. Looking for my son, it's all fine. Everything's under control. So please help me. And you're gonna tell me about Nick Valentine. And there we go. So Valentine's Detective Agency. I now know to go to there and that's it. Because uh, you just pass any speech check, you just basically bypass needing Mama Murphy to tell you. And yeah, we're now just in Diamond City. Uh which is great. So, yeah, the problem is, well, unless this has been changed, maybe this got changed in a patch at some point. I read in the past that companions in their temporary state, their kills count against you. I And the biggest problem is Valentine. I don't know whether that might not be true anymore. Maybe it isn't true. Maybe that changed with a patch in the same way that Dancer's temporary companion kills were not mine. What I will say, however, is if I just very quickly just spam whatever it is I want to say, it doesn't matter what you answer, to Piper, Story of the Century is some easy XP, like, straight away. Uh, there's a few just sources of just that like, easy little mini XP just tossed around Diamond City. So those that we can do to, yeah, get to level 12, and then for the first time, I can start commanding things to attack, which could theoretically be a bit useful. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Griffin, who gave us $26 and says, Happy birthday, John. Mine is next week. Ooh, happy birthday to you ahead of time, then. Uh, yes, indeed. Riven, uh, Riven gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday, John. This should be a fantastic ride. Uh, Paul gave us $2 and says, Happy birthday. I'm at work for another four hours, but I will catch up. Um should be almost time for you to get home now. Excellent. Uh, Dioxid gave us five euros and says, uh, Happy birthday, John. I give you some blocked ad revenue. Very nice. Thank, thank, you. You, thank you. Thank you for, you for the, the ad revenue tax. tax. The ad block tax. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, back when we were setting up our character, or maybe they're just catching up. Lol. Uh, Ernesto uh, has been a member for five months and says, oh, you should go for Ginger, obviously. We need a soulless swave swindler. Mm-hmm. Excellent. So there you go. I, I, I think that the moustache tells you everything you need to know. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to spam answers to Piper because I don't really, the answer doesn't actually matter. All that matters is, uh, yes, we just need uh, <laughs> fun destroying things. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm blowing things, I'm not blowing things up. I'm lying to you. All right. And uh, Diamond City, I'm looking for someone, just a family member. Let's just keep it vague. And no one. There we go. D apparently, you you cannot not tell her. You need to tell her that Sean was kidnapped. And there we go. That's all we do. Yes, it was the Institute. It's it's they might be, you know. What a bunch of bastards. I have no evidence for that whatsoever. I need to make a statement to Diamond City 
and get revenge. Murder people. Get re Yeah, I'm going to tell everyone else to get revenge because that way I don't have to. So it's going to be great. So there we go. That should be everything with that. And uh, pipe is available. Story of the century is complete. How many? How much XP is that? Only 186, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. There is also the yes. If he's actually, you know what? Now that time has passed, I'm hoping the doctor might be present at his stall, because in the event that the doctor is at his stall, I think he's a he's a syringe salesman. Oh, hang on. There's also sorry. There's 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 drama happening. There's, there's drama happening, which I think you can... Can I, can I literally block the bullet? No, don't shoot. I will stand in the way. But I, I, I won't let you shoot this man. I'm going to literally try and block the bullet. I was blocking the wrong bullet. I forgot that he shot him and he did. <laughs> I was trying to block... I was blocking the wrong bullet. But on the plus side, everyone's going to think I'm a big damn hero. Because I was attempting to save this man. You're welcome. But I, I forgot which. I'm just going to have the, the money and uh, ammo off his corpse, by the way. Are you cool now, by the way? I, I need Doctor. to do business. Oh, what a mess. C can we do business? Oh, what a mess. Okay, fine. I'll go and speak to Valentine. But you better be selling again by the time we get back. <laughs> I tried to block the bullet. All right, I did my best. I was a big damn hero. I did my best trying to be a big damn hero. <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. Excellent. <laughs> you tried cake, TM. Yes. I did indeed. I did indeed. You tried cake, dot gif. It was fine. Now, Ellie's going to tell me about where Nick is. Just around the corner in 118. Getting to him is going to be a bit tricky, but I can just, yeah, speech check everybody. Uh, which is great. Don't I'm going to go rescue Valentine. No problem. She's going to tell me to go to Park Street Station. I'm going to want money up front. And 125. I'm going to be needing more than that. 150. I'm going to be needing more than that. 200. All right. I'm willing to help in that case. Give me the 200. Nice. Uh, do I get it up front? I want it up front. There. Oh, that's Jewel of the Commonwealth. Jewel of the Commonwealth finally completed. I'm actually surprised it's that low. I was expecting more than that. Are you, but she, she'll be annoyed if I take the desk fam. Detected. Hidden. There we go. So yeah, now we're up to 90% chance to steal. And in terms of planting, if I wanted her to be good at fighting. Okay, I think place might be... I don't know whether place is affected by the pickpocket perk. Because 22% chance... Actually, I don't know why that's like 22. Like, it's a small pistol is 22. Way to five. This thing, which is much heavier, and a legendary submachine gun is 66. That's that's really weird. What's righteous authority? If I want to give you that. 70% meanwhile for a for a pipe pistol. 82 for righteous What? So weird. I've got this scoped institute rifle, which I should probably use. Yeah, 82% on the scoped institute rifle. 22%? Why? Am I planting all six? Is that what I'm is that what I'm trying to plant? Security batons 86. See, I can reliably arm people with various weapons at the moment. If I want to arm people, I can. Which is excellent. I, I greatly approve of that. Uh, I'm also just gonna take all the ammo because that's just uh free money down the line. Uh any other bits and pieces I can help myself to. There are two stim packs. I'll be helping myself to that as well. So yes, now I can just completely skip the minute man and just crack on with the main plot. To try and get me to uh yes, to try and get me to uh flipping oh god, Kellogg. Uh Kellogg is interesting because Kellogg obviously you can't lure anyone else in there with you. So Kellogg you've basically got no choice but to turn his robots against him. Now, there is a fat man inside Fort Hagen. So, you can just basically give the fat man... The, the, the plan A is give the fat man to the robots, get the robot on side, incite robot to attack his own boss, boom, bada-bing, bada-boom, you're done. Uh, that's that's kind of plan A, but there is, of course, a secondary plan. Are you guys still standing around being nervous? And are you actually ready to... Yay! He's ready to do business. Are you syringer man? Am I? Yeah, short syringer rifle. It's a bit pricey, but I don't care. 
uh, I can get it. So short syringe rifle. I have now got a syringe rifle, which is great. I will pay for that using uh, ammunition because I do not need ammunition. That's all absolutely fine. I just need a little bit of ammunition to keep my guns going, uh, to be honest. So that's all absolutely okay. And then, no, I need the chemistry station to actually get out of my way. So, okay, let's talk syringe ammo. Syringe ammo is tricky. So, yes, uh, berserk syringes are, yes, the chance to frenzy enemies are for two minutes. These do not actually work that well. They don't work that well at all. There are real limitations on who it works on. Uh, bleed out is, yeah, bleed damage. That's got counters as murder. Reduced enemies' damage resistance. Could, in theory, be useful for simply helping. And, like, at the bare minimum, it's easy to make. Which is, quite frankly, welcome. Um, what you want is, yeah, paral um, paralyze is good. So, uh, dirty water, lead, uh, stingwing, bar stingwing barbs you need for that. Uh, ma mind cloud is basically, yes, once again, that's just another form of calming. It's another way of basically just believing the enemy have disappeared. So, if you're being chased, mind cloud can be useful. Pax is just straight up calm magic. That is just, yeah, calming. This is basically bad illusion magic. Uh, rad scorpions, that's just poison. Yellow belly, flee. So, turn undead, but for everybody. Yeah, um, people obviously want you to do yellow belly. That's coming up a bunch. Yeah. Uh, also, Molly points out uh, the fat man has aerial effect, so do you need to bother inciting the sins against Kellogg? The what has aerial effect? The fat man. In fit, you know what? That's well, assuming that would be assuming I could I could tank a hit from a fat man, which I guess you in theory could if you absolutely double stacked up your resistances to explosion you can kind of ridiculously that's really interesting i hadn't actually even thought about that before but you could not even uh, in theory you could just not bother by slipping the synth of fat man and then excuse me get off the armor workbench i need to look at this like then all you need to do is just yeah slap padded on yeah like one bit of gear and then, like, on another bit of gear, you just need to... Oh, what's the other... The other thing you need to do uh, in that case? There's padded and... Oh, fuck, what's the other half of the padded combo? I need to I need to remember. Uh, I hadn't even thought about that, so I've not been even thinking about it. But yes, in theory, if you could reduce your damage from explosions enough, you could tank a fat man shot using a padded combo. And then, as a result, just feed the guy the thing, get him to attack you, and then once he attacks you, then at that point, he takes out Kellogg in the splash. Dense! Yeah, that's it. Dense and padded. Dense and padded, I think, is 75% explosion reduction. And I don't think any of those can stack. And yes, it needs to be on a metal or combat armor, not leather. That's why. Uh, that's why it wasn't showing up there. So, okay. This is... That's interesting. Whether it's... How feasible that is, is... Ooh, oh, that's that's fascinating. Uh, it, it's, it's not impossible. It's not impossible, but it's certainly a wild one. Okay. That is... That's interesting. Getting the Protectron tape is certainly an interesting idea. Getting the turret tape is an idea. Whether those counters kills... No clue. Never tested it. That's kind of the, the sort of things I'm trying to figure out today. Like whether hacked protectrons, who are actually my temporary companions, count for the sake of these calculations or not. They may or may not do. Uh, and also, John... Yes? Um, Molly says the rads would be the other concern with area of effect of the fat man. I think the rads would be fine. I think you'd be taking more damage than the rads you take. You'd never take enough rad damage to just die of rads from fat man exposure. That's never going to be what kills you. If you can tank the explosion, you're golden. Uh, yes, and we've got some uh, big donations that have just come in uh, from some uh, from some lovely regulars. Uh, shout out to Patty, who's uh, given us a hundred Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and uh, Patty says happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
It's just, happy I, birthday to you too, Paddy. I don't know if it's your birthday, but happy birthday. Uh, and also we have $50 from Suddenly Steve. It's very dramatic. Yeah, I promised uh, Steve and also Myra to read it exactly like that. I see. Uh, all caps uh, with uh, with uh, exclamation mark. Steve says happy birthday to you, John. Uh, and uh, yes, also uh, a shout out to Daniel and Axel Fack who kindly donated to my coffee thing. Oh. Daniel says YouTube's messing around and not letting me do any donations over there. So this is instead of a super chat, I'm starting to get help with my mental health. Oh, good. And I've started a new job, so these, along with John's birthday, seem like the perfect reason to celebrate both of you. Oh, that sounds like a good thing. Excellent. Well done. Uh, so well done and good luck. There you go. Thank you very, very much indeed. Axel Fax has lots of caffeine, so you can keep up with John on his birthday. <laughs> keep up the good work. Um, yes. I mean, it is... 9 p.m. right now, so I haven't done caffeine, you know. But we did have a very late lunch on purpose, uh, and and some late coffee on purpose as well. So yes, indeed. I've attempted to pacify dogs, but it's not working desperately well. So I'm going to hide on top no. of this truck. And the Diamond City security is going to take care of the dogs for me. I attempted to pacify them. It didn't go very well. I wonder if you legendary, by the way. Because everyone loves legendary dogs. And yeah, that's right. You go and just take care of this guy. And you were just... You were just a normal dog. You are... Oh, you're the Alpha Vicious Mongrel level 20. So yeah, you just can't be... Can't be pacified. Just, just doesn't work. And that guy's just biting you right now. This guy theoretically could go down. He's been bitten, so that just kind of keeps him. He's just being perma staggered. Oh, he takes out the alpha, and then once the alpha's dead, he's fine to just crack on. So that's lovely. You were struggling a bit there, buddy. You were struggling. Uh, but yeah, they're level 20, so you just can't do anything uh, to them. But yeah, all I was doing was. Oh, that's just uh, presumably a side gate to a. Uh... Is that a little radar thing? No, there's this little side area for a trader, presumably. Probably a now dead trader, given it appears to be a little bit on the end. Oh, sequin dress! Yes, better than a tuxedo. Definitely better than a tuxedo. Also, I should cook food. Cook food is just uh, free right there. I swear I picked up some. Oh, maybe I just didn't bother picking up the mole rat uh, meat earlier. Uh, but yeah, cook food is actually a really good healing item. Uh, just in general. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're in survival mode or not. It's great. You should cook food all the time. So, just cut through to the police precinct. This is... Oh, I've cut through a little bit early here. This is... Don't really want to be here. I think this is fine. Cut through to, yes, the police precinct right here. Tag that. There's definitely going to be... Yep, you're tagged, but I don't need to upset the them. And then there's... I'm pretty sure I just heard a very loud bang. There's the Boston Library. And there's the level up. And this is another one of those you cannot fail speech checks, which is because uh, it's just a space balls joke. I work, here. Uh, I work here. Let me in. And then if I just say my ID number is um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. Welcome, Mr. Mayor. The same password, of course, he uses on his luggage. Uh, don't activate that. All I want is the intelligence bobblehead. And the robot should be able to, yeah, uh, take care of anything uh, that shows up. The robots, actually, it was hilarious. The ro In Legendary Roulette, the robots did so well. <laughs> the higher level robots annihilated the super mutants. They generally don't do that well. Uh, but no, that, that worked. Oh, I just released the grenades. Sorry, should have left those. That would have been really useful. For, uh, for the rest of it. But, oh, hang on. You had stingweed meat. Any chance about No, no bard, though. The bard would have been useful. Uh, so, you. You, you, you. Just basic super mutants here. They've been doing an excellent job. Uh, hello there, fellow robots. How are you doing? Beep boop. Uh, yep, that's right. Little robot bro fest. Right. Straight in here. Straight over to here. Help myself to all of the... This Tarbury is uninteresting and unremarkable. This is all fairly basic stuff. And yeah, grab the thing and let the robots do most of the work. 
And there we go. That's my intelligence where it needs to uh, to be. So they're now just going to go and take care of this. Drop a quick save in case this goes wrong. If these guys happen to be the right level, I might be able to pacify, yeah, the basic ones at the bare minimum. Uh, which will be... There we go. There's also hilarious voice lines attached to all of them. So that guy is now just a friend. Uh, and he's just going to stand there and chill. Uh, so yeah, there's there's every creature in the game has its own voice line that you say to them. Sometimes you like you imitate a particular animal. So that guy's now just standing there. He's now just my friend. Uh, he is just friend. And if we are lucky, I see more over there. I should I should definitely go over to the scope. By the way, the scope to weapon. I don't know if like if you can see them better as a result of that. You've got better pacification. Can I pacify through a scope? I've seen a reason why I shouldn't. Like, some of you, you're level 10. There's a hound over there. Wait, go for the hound. As soon as we see the hound, go for the pacify. Where's the pacify? Oh, pacify. Failed miserably, but the robot's taking you out. That's fine. The robot's pretty tough. There we go. He goes down. No trouble. Then just use that. Okay, so yeah, using the using the scope. This is this gun is ridiculous. It, it looks like it's huge. It's not, but it just fills up like a third of the screen. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay, I didn't see any legendaries there, though. This is... I might need a smaller gun with a scope. Might need a slightly smaller gun scope here. Take the meat, damn it. Take the meat. I kind of may as well, quite frankly. Uh, but go over to Ted. So catastrophically weirdly big. And this guy's now just my friend. He's my friend now. Hi. No funny business. And there we go. He, j he just stands here. He's just chill. He's chill now. So, uh, yes... Uh, I think he, he goes angry if I if I put the gun away. But now he's just literally calm. But I can't give him any instructions no or anything. He's officially um, under Wasteland Whisperer. But he'll now just uh, chill forever. Oh, there was. Oh, flip me. Assassin's hunting rifle. That's actually quite good. Obviously, that showed up here. But I can't use it because it's literally an assassin weapon. So it feels like the sort of thing I shouldn't use. Like, in many ways, that's, uh, that's, that is hilarious. The, like, after all the bad luck we had Legendary Roulette, in this version of the world, I immediately got an assassin sniper rifle in the world where I can't kill. Cocky brilliant. Oh, this is, this, this, this game. This cocky game. Claire! You of it. Uh, shout out to D-Man Woo Woo. Who uh, gave us 140 South Africa rands. Uh, and so I just want you to know that in my mind's eye, Claire is a fiery redhead and John sports a regal set of mutton chops. Yeah. Don't take this away from me. <laughs> oh, and happy birthday, of course. Uh, Seems true to me. I see no reason why that wouldn't be true. Yeah, and John, what are your hopes for the upcoming, uh, the upcoming Fallout TV series? I hope that they are a bit more experimental than what we've seen so far. Like, so far, all the screenshots that have come out have just been, like... Like, you could not imagine a more, like, fallout -y thing. And I know that sounds like that should be good, but I'm worried they're being uncreative and just being, like... It's more like cosplay, where it's just the most precise, you know, series matching they can as opposed to like you know doing interesting new ideas uh, it feels like they're just taking like the first harry potter movie yeah it just feels like there's just not enough interesting new ideas going on here so i'm kind of hoping that as time goes by there might be pacify pacify attempt pacify did any of those work they didn't but they drew their attention i think all those pacifications failed uh, so the robots are one down the bottom there, but none of them were legendaries. Uh, there's such a giant pile of corpses here. Amazing. Uh, okay, we've got the intelligence bobblehead and we can leave, which is just good in general. And yes, if I need to loop around the side way, there's another stim pack right there. We've got the bobby pin and the key uh, right here. That's the storeroom that's here, isn't it? Yeah, that's the storeroom that's here. Which is actually nice. There's a free bottle cap mine, which I will not be using for anything. There's ammo flare. Odd to see that spawning in a world where I haven't even actually found the Minutemen yet. But I guess that there's nothing technically wrong with that. And there we go. This guy's my friend. Now, if I put my gun away, does he go aggro? 
Yep, there we go. Now he immediately re -aggroed, Um, Because the threat has been removed. Uh, but now he's just going to get himself murdered. So, I don't know that you can re-pacify him. Well, I don't know, because now he's dead. But yeah, you keep your gun out after you've pacified someone, or they will take the opportunity to... Uh, there was a stealth boy in there. Was there? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go get that. Clap! Yeah, that seems useful for this run. Yes, it anyway. does, you know. Uh, all right. Shout out to Shesher the Cat. Uh, who gave us yeah, 10 Canadian dollars. High level dollars. Uh, and says, I first came across this channel when I was in grade 8 and I saw Fallout New Vegas kill everything. Oh no. Now I'm taking a gap year before going to university. Oh god, we're so old. <laughs> Thank you for the years of great content. <laughs> we're Lord. so old. Right, and now we get to level I mean, up. you're older than me, so it's fine. Only slightly. Yeah, right, but there we go. I'll take the... I'm not going to start talking about it for those, what, five months? Yeah. Robotics expert, there we go. So the final pacification perk. Though I say, it works differently to the others. You can't point a gun at a robot and be like, Hey, robot, you better do what I said. I'll be like, okay, I agree. Uh, sadly, as, as fun as that would be. Instead, yes, uh, robots you turn on and off. And apparently you can initiate self-destruct, which... May or may not count as that. In fact, you know, I'm just going to see if I can find... Can I just find one isolated robot? Like, if I, if I go here... Yeah, there we go. I can hack him. But hacking him is a crime. Do turrets count for that? Or is it just protectrons? Turrets don't count for that. If there's one isolated protectron out of the corridor, but I'm not sure. I think they all died. I'm pretty sure all the uh, all the protectrons died. But if I find a protectron on by himself, I, I might see if I could uh, hack him. At some point, uh, that would be that would be fun, right there. Uh, but okay, that is that. Next up, probably just run straight down the road. The raiders will never uh, catch me properly, and then I can, yeah, I can at bare minimum I can tag Park Street Station. I don't feel like I want to go in there just yet. When I do, it will be a sprint straight through. We are just sprinting straight through, and it will be fine. Uh, we just need to get to Valentine, get him out, and then check whether his kills do count as mine or not. Um, yeah, the magazines. The magazines for the robots will definitely be of use too. I can see the advantage of maybe sweeping around to what's consumer, because that is, you know, very easy, very accessible. I'm pretty sure it's actually pretty much empty as well, just to get the Protectron. Right, is that turrets? No, turrets in the graveyard just the north. They're actually really close to each other, which is weird. You can very easily walk from Watts Electronics to that graveyard, and, like, they're just around the corner, and there's, like, nothing between the two. So you can get, like, the two most important magazines, because the, the searchlight magazine is literally useless. Don't don't bother. With that, we don't really know whether robot frame counters... You were wibbling for a second. Don't pretend you weren't. We all saw you. But yeah, if I think if I just go this way, I think I can stay far enough away from that truck. The two uh, ghouls that come out of there will never spawn. So that's all absolutely fine. So then, yeah, then we can just basically mosey on down the road nice and quiet. Maybe taking some locations for some free XP en route. But we should be absolutely golden. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Silent Stalker who gave us $5 uh, and says, uh, I think this is some cake advice, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, says, get a pan that has a clear bottom and a thick mat of styrofoam to set it on. And put holes in the mat uh, for remote control lights. And then you can make the cake glow. Mm. Presumably to make like rad cake or something. Interesting. Uh, Fascinating idea. A Chaz Cab gave us $10 and says, Happy, happy birthday, John. I hope you get to sing to yourself a lot today. I hope so too. Oh, he already has. I do. Um, I do in general, yeah. Yeah, that is true. It's not a birthday uh, thing. Saku gave us five dollars and says happy birthday. Noel gave us uh five dollars and sixty nine cents, which is very nice. Yeah. Um, and wants to know if you will do a birthday shout out for yourself. Happy birthday, John. Happy birthday to John! Yay, Yay John! I kind of began the stream with that, so it's fine. Yes. Uh, Lasse uh, gave us 50 Danish kroner and says uh, in John's over-the-top singing voice as an indicator 
Happy birthday to you! Can't believe that's your impression of me. How offensive! It's not in my impression of you. It's more an over-the-top singing voice in general. I, I can't see. really do an impression of you. Swan is level fifty, so would you believe we can't pacify Swan? Though I think Swan is fixed at level fifty. So in theory, if you were to come back at level fifty-one, you could pacify Swan if you just get the forty percent, which is hilarious. I see no reason why that wouldn't be true. So there we go. There's Park Street Station. No trouble with that whatsoever. There's just there's like like. 10 locations around the common, which is funny. So you can just tag them for like 250 XP, uh, which is good. And then obviously good neighbors just up the road too. So, okay, we've got you tagged. I feel like I want power armor before we even think. I like power sprinting with power armor will mean, yeah, their submachine guns are just going to bounce clean off. That's not going to do a thing to me. So that's probably sensible right there. I feel like that's, you know, a, a good compromise. So, okay, we can now, we are now in theory ready to go in. But, okay, where's the easiest power armor in On the point game? impression, Claire, was it offensive because it was so accurate? Uh, Actually, you know what? I know precisely where I think we could find some good excellent stuff. Excellent singing John impression. <laughs> wow. Lies. Oh, lies. Dear Just Oflipi. ignoring me. Shh. It's International John Day. Yep, that strikes me as a good day. Yeah, you'll enjoy that. Yeah, I enjoy International John Day. Yes, indeed. Uh, dear, oh dear. We've got a message from Hannah, uh, who's been a member for three months. And yep. this is a setting up the character message. Okay. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hi, Claire. Happy birthday, John. Uh, this guy looks like Nigel Thorne, but he's gone grey in the apocalypse. <laughs> So I'm not sure this is exactly like where we are time-wise or if this is people catching up, but the fact that it's plausible that this might be where we are time-wise. Love it. Because at the beginning of the stream, there was like more than one super chat every minute. Like I could see the minutes, you know, coming in. Yeah. Well, there's no reason not to use the mm -hmm. troubleshooters 10, 10 millimeter over the normal one, to be honest. Can I craft a very simple scope on my troubleshooters 10? Is, is that allowed? No, I'm allowed a, a reflex. Uh, I wouldn't be allowed anything else. I need, like, something small I can just hold in my hand that's just got a really simple scope on it. Um, can I build... A short scope on rights authority would apparently be allowed. Rights authority is not that big, so it would be slightly less, slightly less ridiculous than what I've got. So, yeah, you know what? I'll do that. Uh, that on that, so that's all absolutely fine. So we'll just make rights authority a pretty standard day-to-day oh. -day weapon right there. Oh, shit. Uh, rights authority. So the range on that is... Hey, John. Yeah? Um, Hannah came back in chat and says this yeah. uh, message does come from exactly when you were building the beautiful nice. face of Jamie Clean Hands. Hey, guess who's, uh, guess who's still in prison? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can't escape, can you, you robot bastard? Don't worry, Carla. He, he, the, the things he did to the local radroach population. It was horrible, Carla. And it he was... decided to do it on, on his own. It's it, true. I, as you can check my pit boy. My pit boy says I'm an innocent good boy, which obviously you can trust. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, you know what? There's, there's a few things around here. That would be useful. Uh, I need to get power arm and some XP. And I think I know precisely how to do it. Now I'm going to do it to, in daytime. Because YouTube doesn't always like the night. So right now this might like a bit blurry to you all. So I'm going to sleep till morning. Then I'm going to go over to the robotics disposal ground. Because it's time for another Excite Everyone's favourite game show. Am I morally culpable for this murder? It's currently a rad storm. So nope. Two more hours should sort that out. There we go. Bit of a grim day, but it's a bit brighter at least. Um, if I go to a robotics junkyard, find a giant killbot, load the killbot activate tape onto my personal computer, the killbot activate tape specifically says, please not activate me. This will activate the killbot. And I click yes, I would like the killbot to activate. And then the killbot goes on to kill some creatures, despite the warning specifically saying, this will activate the killbot. Am I morally culpable? Let's talk about all the things that Joe got morally wrong. 
love it. Uh, I think this should get me in roughly the right position. I'm going to take a, I'm taking a ton of rad damage here, by the way. Uh, I'm going to pass by some Myloaks potentially. You know, I'm going to do some flipping Radex. I've not taken uh, Aqua Boy or Aqua Girl. Radex and a Radaway should do the job nice. There we go. That makes a world of difference. So I'm just going to swim over to bypass all the rest of, uh, all the rest of, yeah, there's a dog. There's some Raiders. There's the dog right there, in fact. Uh, so I'm just going to bypass all of that. And if I land about here, I should be able to oh bypass God. the Milo gates too. <laughs> Check the chat. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Clean hands, no robots fault. Yes, yes, you are morally. Oh, you really? Yes. What would a Greek god do? Well, we're about to find out at everyone's favourite game show. Am I morally accountable for this murder? It's a good game show. All right, so here we go. Let's 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 find out how morally accountable I am for the following murders. Uh, there's my hot rodder magazine, which is always welcome. Help myself to a few bits and pieces. Never going to flipping hurt. Help myself to stim pack. There was no stim pack, but I helped myself to it anyway. It's fine. Uh, and yeah, now I've got this is this is slightly less ridiculous. I mean, it's still pretty. It's still a bit dumb big, but it's not as big as the ridiculous institute rifle that is just so ridiculously dumb big. Uh, okay. Get over here. Pop out the tape. So, combat sentry protocol tape. Uh, we're literally going to, uh, pop that in. No, it's in miscellaneous in this, isn't it? So, we're just going to pop the, uh, the tape into my personal computer. And, yep, there we go. I'm going to activate the sentry bot. And the, uh, the thing's going to say, yep, uh, there's specifically a warning saying, hey, this, this unit it could kill some shit. Are you sure you want to do this? And the answer is yes. I'm going to see uh, whether I'm mo whether officially I am morally culpable for what just happened. And now it's been activated. I'm going to engage the protocols. I'm going to send it to Olivia, which is nearby. And we're going to see how that works. There we go. We're just going to map you over there. He's just mapping that. So he's just going to wake up in a second. There we go. So time to check for moral culpability levels. There's another fusion cop. Which I could actually use to just... In fact, I don't even need that. There's the fat man, by the way. I'm going to take a fat man. Because handing out fat men is actually going to be a really good strategy. So I'm just going to gather as many fat men as I can find. Um, and in a minute, he's going to... All his free yeah, all your friends are going to pop up, which is great. I'm going to hide over here. On top of this here car. And you probably... Never mind, you can climb... Robot! Robot friend, I command you to assist! Robot friend! Robot friend. Robot friend needs to cool down for a second. So she needs to run in a circle around robot friend. There we go. Now robot friend will protect me. Ro robot friend. Robot friend. Robot friend. Yeah. That's robot friend. No! Robot friend, there were there were there were more rats. I need you to. Robot friend! That, I think they've, somehow we lost them. Okay, well, you just go in that direction then, and we'll test you against some humans. There we go, they finally caught up. Right, so he killed that, he killed the mole rat. Let's check. Am I morally culpable for this murder? And the answer is, no! I was not morally culpable for that murder. It was just done by the Doom robot I activated in order to specifically murder things. Uh, which means I am completely innocent uh, and have never done anything wrong in my life. So there we go. He just needs to calm down for a second, but they'll never get through his bloody armor. So that's fine. Someone, someone just tossed him. That was a really long range Molotov. That must have been from that guy over there. Uh, Raider, who I might be able to attempt pacification. There we go, Jimmy Clean Hands. Hey, he has surrendered. The rate, the fun thing about pacifying humans is they do actually uh, sur He'd surrendered, and they say I'm the monster. Uh, yeah, shout out to Mike, uh, who gave us fifty Swedish krona, and uh, says I know this moral philosophy that says this is fine. Something about not actively harming someone. I forgot the name, but John would know. Also, happy birthday. I, I, I'm genuinely shocked that that guy surrendered and then Robot just slapped him dead. Uh, <laughs> it's hilarious. Let's see. Also, um, 
Also, Wobo gave us another two pound and says, uh, John, you're only morally accountable if you have morals. That's that's true. That strikes me as reasonable. You can't say fairer than that, eh? Yeah, that seems eminently fair and reasonable. Right, he's going to go back to the road and he's going to take care of the rest of this. There should be a suit of power armor uh, by this vertebrate, so I don't need to bother going and getting the one inside the hall of McJibbles. Now, you guys just go. Go away, Radstag Doe. Yeah, no, no trouble with you. This is... Oh, I tell you what, that is... That is excluding one leg. That's a full set of T45B. Nice. That is not actually bad. I mean, what you need is a lot of armor. So this is great. I mean, that's actually... That's perfectly acceptable. Get in there. There we go. That is... You know what? That is better than I was expecting. That is only missing one limb. For, but for this crash site, that's actually a, not a bad drop at all. That is a solid drop. I don't have much in the way of spare anything. Uh, what happened to Robot Friend, by the way? There's Robot Friend. He's level 30. Though, yeah, the level restriction doesn't doesn't affect him. So he's now over over here. I can take this back to base, so because I don't need it right this second. Um, so I, I think I can... Can I rechange his... McJibble now. Can I actually now, at this point, reassign him? Because sometimes he kind of bugs out a bit. So if I say change that, and now oh, yeah. go only to Fort Hagen. Yeah. Only the torso is 45B, the rest is T45. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. It's not bad. It's still power armor, though. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah, you know, it was, t it was T45. I mean, that's still better than the T41s. Uh, so I'll take that. But yeah, sometimes he just sort of seems to break. So, yeah, I think he just sort of, uh, if you, if you reassign him, like, I often find this, like, I don't know if the game ever, like, if this is a bug, but like, if you send him somewhere, then you send him somewhere else, he's just like, nah. He, he just doesn't seem to acknowledge it anymore. Um, so yeah, if I, like, you know, try sending him the other way, say, hey, go to, um, go to Revere. Activate defense protocol. Head to Revere. Revere's fun. Mapping route. And then, yep, yeah, there we are. Wait for it to calculate. And he just sort of moseys back towards the thing. Revere is not this way. Revere's the other way. 100%. But he just sort of, yeah, he just doesn't seem to work. Uh, which is a shame. But he, as you understand, we can hack him. So yeah, we just get the pit boy out. And now I can hack him. So now I can shut down the unit if I want to. You can just shut down any robot. And there we go. That's just him down. You just need to, you just, and you can do this in combat. Like, Robotics Expert is really powerful. Just straight up walk up to him. And just like, you can just deactivate. Okay, I think we need to reactivate him. Because there's actually there's actually another mole rat. Activate Hello. unit, please. Activate unit. Thank you. That turns out there were mole. Robot friend. Robot friend. Robot friend, I need you to I need you to more I need you to I need you to get rid of this moral conundrum for me. Robot friend, pull the lever! Pull the lever and send the tram at my enemies, robot friend! There we go. Robot friend has solved the trolley problem. Robot friend simply fired a missile launcher at the trolley, thereby eliminating it. Because there's never anyone drawn on the trolley, is there? Situation solved. Ah, you see. And by the way, there is the sometimes often hard to actually get out fat man nuke. Because it can be very hard. This, this this thing just gets stuck and sometimes you just can't get to it. So it's officially under the scenery. It's, oh, oh, hang on. It flicked out. It flicked out. Where'd it go? It just I just nudged it out, but where'd it just go? Buddy? Where'd the nuke? Does anyone see the nuke? Claire, my no legendarily bad perception means I can't see the nuke. Hun, I'm sorry. I'm doing a thing right now. Okay, I need to... I wasn't looking at the screen. I was actually doing my job. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it flicked off in this direction. Must have been here. You grabbed it. Huh? Somebody says you grabbed it. Did I? Is it really in my inventory? Oh, it is as well. Yeah. Usually when the chat says you've done a thing. Yeah, well that's surprising, I'll admit. Uh so what we're gonna do now, as now Robot uh, Friend you, is now you have you just have you you have 
You have mad skills. Like skills with a Z at the end. That so, now the robot friend has helped me and helped us all solve this moral conundrum. Uh, what we're going to do instead is we're now going to have a brand new episode of Let's Talk All About Whether You're Morally Culpable for the Murder You're About to Commit. Which is, if I literally walk up to a robot, plug my personal computer into his back, and push the Please Self Destruct button on him, and then walk away, causing his death directly as an immediate consequence of me pushing that button... Am I morally culpable for him exploding and dying? Let's... That does seem like murder. I feel like this is the point where we've crossed the line and where this is going to be too far. Place In your bets on whether it's murder now. Initiate self-destruct. So we've just activated the self-destruct. He's now going to go kaboom. In just a second, there's that self-destruct. And... Was I morally culpable for pushing the please die button? I don't think you got any XP though. No, I don't think there was any XP, you're right. And the answer is... Holy shit, no! Oh, I am on. not morally culpable! <laughs> robots killed, zero. Zero robots killed. Not morally culpable for doing that. I can... That was like... <laughs> That was like Homelander talking a person of the ledge level of murder. That was... I, I honestly thought I had to reset that because there was no chance in hell that one was going to be legit. But that one was legit. I can literally... Fallout 4, we need to talk about your morals. <laughs> Fallout 4, designed by Psychopath. <laughs> Welcome to Fort... This, this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I never like did a serious series on Fallout 4 No Kill. Because the number of exploits is insanity. It's absolutely insan... Like, the game is say, yeah, I see no reason why running up to a robot, pushing the please die button and causing it to die would count as killing a robot. Absolutely f <laughs> Completely, 100% fine. No, pro no, no ethical issue with this. At all. <laughs> what the absolute cock? Um, okay. What we're, we're going to do is we're going to go back to Concord. And we're going to go around the corner. To, uh, we're going to go around the corner to, uh, Flibbly Jibble. Uh, Glitch Quarry. Which I can't remember the actual real name of anymore. So. Because <laughs> we can do, uh, pulling the plug. Uh, they're super easy. Uh, admittedly, I don't actually have the relevant... There's no there's no people here, right? Actually, no, the, the raiders might have respawned. Because this is not survival mode, it's entirely possible the raiders have uh, respawned. So we'll have to watch out for them. But then again, actually, maybe they can't because this mission is still active. So maybe that re um, suppresses respawns in that area until the death claw's dealt with. Yes, Claire? Right, my darling. Uh-huh. I'm going to go to the loo yeah i'm gonna refill some water do you want some water? i would well? love some yeah. water would mm. you like any kind of a snack or anything nope i'm good just I fresh water out the snack. filter yep you take your um, time there are seven and a half pages of super chats that can't be true because you said there was seven like an hour ago and i've been letting you do the occasional one so you must be incorrect <laughs> An hour ago, I was uh, not up to date with uh, keeping my uh, page. Lol. Um, having stuff on my page. Anyway. I see. Oh, there's a settler here. Are you the guy who tells me about um, the cannery? I think you might be, stay back, I'm farting. Here's a cannery on your map situation. Is that you? Hey. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's the stay back, I'm farting man. Who just wants to know about, who just wants to tell you about the, uh, the cannery, uh, which is fine. So that's fine. He just puts that on your map. It is not a problem at all. And no problem with him. He's friendly. There can be bad things in this bit of the world, but on this occasion, he's a perfectly, uh, fine individual. So yes, we can just go and do, uh, pulling the plug. Even though I don't actually have Aqua Boy or Aqua Girl. In fact, do I have a... Yeah, okay, next level is 12. Next level, next level we can start actually commanding some creatures. Next level we get Animal Friend. 
up to level 12. And then we can finally start doing some... I say finally. Like we haven't been doing a huge amount of murder this entire time. But uh, yeah, that's Farting Man. He just, he just, um, he warns you about his, he has, he has, I run into him so often. I've run into, I've seen him like four times or so. So he's just, uh, he just does his own thing. He's, he's lovely. Uh, he's just a, he's just a random spawn character and he puts, um, the cannery on your map. Uh, which is good for him. So, yes, we're just going to, we'll, we'll put the armor somewhere safe to make sure Garrus can't get it, obviously. Also, I assume this, this is where Garrus lives. Like... But he doesn't seem to care about you, like, stealing his stuff. So maybe it's not? Maybe this isn't Garrus's stuff. Oh, great mentats. That is... It never hurts. Then again, to be honest, I don't need great mentats. My great mentats are, like... Actually, you know what? This this is... This will be able to verify whether this is actually Garrus. So shipment log. No, that's actually real. Uh, there's also... Ah! Sully's journal. Yep. So that is... Okay, Sully is using this place. I am just stealing Sully's drugs right now. But he just doesn't seem to, like care like maybe the drugs were there before him and he's he's just you know maybe he's just clean maybe that's just not his scene damn it uh sully hello garros just tell me about the thing and i'll fix it for you all right looking to earn some cash there we go yes 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 but i'm going to want money and i'm going to want more money and i'm going to want even more money than that there we go i i'm just showing up and just dealing with that one, two, five is nothing. But but can I just ask for even more money again? No, I've already done that. It's fine. Uh, so there we go. You can tell me about the pump. Pull the plug. Leaks are underwater. They're all... They're not deep. You do not need Aqua Boy or Aqua Girl for this. Uh, just make sure I leave my armor, like, out of the way where an NPC can't get at it. Because otherwise they might run into it. I should be... You should be safe about that. Uh, yeah. So hang about, hang about, hang about. Make sure I just do one dose of... Radex? Should have, should have plenty of Radex. Radex. Go. There's one right here. Just make sure we get that. Just down to the thing. Valve turn. You don't even need to like be on the valve. The valve is like non-existent. I think the next one is over. Yep, there it is. Over here. Then just complete the triangle. So round to here. And go. There we go. Go. Very, very nice indeed. Do you actually not get an oxygen meter in Fallout 4? I never even thought about this, but like, did you just not get one? Like, do you just start taking damage at some point and just like, all right, fine. <laughs> it is strange in Fallout 4 how easy it is to just breathe underwater. I feel like this should be like, you know, further down the endurance tree and like, I feel like, you know, maybe rank one of Aqua Boy should be don't take rants from swimming. You shouldn't get water. I don't think you should get water breathing till till rank two. I feel like that seems reasonable to me. Now, Sully. Sully, 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 Sully. Sully. Where's, wait, I swear he was just here. He's, there he is. I could I could give him a better gun. Let's drop a quick save. I could give him. Yeah, he's, he uses a... Sh Actually, you know what? He uses a shotgun. He uses a shotgun, which is okay. But I could place him a crippling submachine. Am I ever going to use that? Like, can I just, you know, it's, it's, his shotgun's pretty good. Hey there. So we're going to say that's fine. Just uh, hit the switch. Oh, I think I could have just done that anyway, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, he's actually in a good position. Hit the switch. Back off. And this is now Sully's problem, basically. I think the Myalurks need to die before it's all over. But Sully, I think, can't die. I think Sully's essential for the, uh, for the duration of this quest. So that's fine. Uh, he's going to shoot some of these guys. Uh, they are... You know what? I don't know why I'm not pacifying them. I can verify the pacify range actually on this occasion and... Go! Right there. That failed! Go! That also failed or it just I just didn't trigger. Well, you know what? You guys can't navigate up things so it's fine. Stop right there. One down. Okay, one is down. You're going to... And then he's going to get back up. So one's dead. But is, is he going to immediately kill him anyway? So you're taking out that guy. He shoots... The shotgun's pretty effective. Shotgun's a good weapon. Uh, but the cooldown is now not in play. So I just need to wait on the cooldown. Is he knocked down? Yeah, he's knocked down Sully. But now I just jump over here. And he probably can't hop down the ledge. So he has to go the long way around. You're now my best friend. Yep, he's just... He's just chill out. Be like... Jesus, oh, dude. Dude, I, I did too many Myalurk drugs. 
and then just get over to here. And now we just basically find a good spot to just loop around in a circle. And you can just keep him looping all day long every day. Because uh, either Sully will wake up and kill him. Yep, Sully's woken up. I think I, I thought I heard a shotgun anyway. Then I just jump down. And you just do that over and over again. Uh, enemies in this game, so they can't really jump and they can't really drop down. You can just keep them going like this for a long time. Stop Pass right fine. There. there we go. Both are now pacified. The problem we've got, however, is... Sully. There we go. Sully's going to keep firing on them anyway. But Sully attacking them doesn't break the trance. The Radex has worn off. Sully. I'm going to be honest, buddy. You could you could be a bit... Sully! Sully, you don't need to... You, you don't need to cower. Of, I'm going to be honest. They're now my pets. But he doesn't acknowledge that. The AI can't deal with... Sully. Sully, that 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 they're standing there not doing anything, Sully. They get come on, Garrus. Come on, Garrus. I believe in you. There we go. He's going in. Yeah, there we go. He's going in. Number one's down. Go on, Sully. You can do it. Number two. They're just my pet, Sully. You just Sully, he's right. Sully. Sully, Sully. Sully Sully! Sully! No, Sully! <laughs> He can't... What? What if I read the record book? Sully! Are we friends? Is that fine? Hey, there should be some way to... Ah, there it is. He's not... Wait, hang on. What's the current quest stage of pulling the plug? I need to talk to Sully. Maybe if I close off this... But now he's not... I think he can't... Okay, I'm going to put the gun away to break the... To break the Milo out of his trance. That's going to make the Milo... Okay, now now Sully's back up to murder mode, which is great. And that's going to be fine. So now now he's going to... I think that the, the, the quest log doesn't say it, but I think he's got to die. Now he's going to take him down. And now you're going to kill him. Now they're dead. Now he might be willing to speak. Have I broken the mission? No, there we go. That's it. That was the trigger. The Myalurks have to die before he'll speak to you, even though the game doesn't acknowledge that. And there's my 125. There's pull the plug. <laughs> Just verify. I mean, if this is... If I'm morally accountable for this, I'll be shocked. No, nope. Obviously not. So, there we go. That's, that's you taken care of. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Now... This one, this one, ooh, flipping chrome just crashed on me there. All my chromes just crashed on me. Hang oh on. yeah, that happened to me earlier today. I need to restart my thingies. Uh, hang on, I don't think I don't think that should break the stream though, right? Uh oh, the, I'm seeing. I'm. I think. Hopefully, I think that's fine. Is anyone saying that anything's gone horribly wrong? I oh. think. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I just need to put everything back where it was. Uh, that's... Yeah, I'm not seeing any... Okay, cool. Just because the YouTube page crashed, it doesn't actually matter mm. for the sake of... Okay, that's that's all A-OK -okay in that case. That's that's all... We're all under control in that case. <laughs> dear, a flipping dear. Okay, so Sully Matthews is... Oh, no, I mean, I've lost my... I've lost the Super Chat tracker, but I'm sure it will top itself up, so that's all absolutely fine. There we go. It's all fine. Airing's under control. So, okay. Let, let's let's have a brand... Now that there's... Let's, let's be here and just drop a quick save. Let's have a brand new episode of... Uh, let's figure out whether I'm morally culpable for this murder. Which is episode 27. If I walk up to Sully, I crouch behind him, and I put a grenade into his pocket, causing him to explode and die... Am I morally culpable for that death? Place bets now. So, Sully. No, 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 don't attack me, Sully. Sully. No, no, no. Just walk away, Sully. Come on, Sully. Let's, let's play ball, Sully. You're part of an exciting game show right now. An exciting game show. All right, and go. That was not okay. So, I, I should have a grenade. I'm pretty sure I've got a grenade on me, right? And that's... Yeah, one frag grenade. 90% chance to place. So, live frag grenade. Walk away. Sully Matthews explodes and is 
dead as a result of the action that we have taken. Was I morally culpable for that murder? I bet a hundred dollar that it counts, says Malachi. Must be The done. answer is yes! We have finally found something that you are morally accountable for! You are morally responsible for shoving a grenade into somebody's pocket. That there is indeed murder. So you cannot do that. Alright, we have learnt a valuable lesson about what is and isn't morally acceptable. But yes, there was no XP. And you were still culpable. Mm. So that's not a hard and fast rule. You see, we're learning. We're all learning fun things about the weird moral universe of Fallout 4 here today. Which is excellent. So, okay. With the power armor in play, and as it's going to make no difference whatsoever, because there's no animals in there, with this power armor, I'm going to attempt... The I'm gonna attempt the Vault 1 the Vault 118 run. Uh this is going to be wild. Uh though actually we're very close to uh to the next level as well. If I just yeah go straight down to to there. We're just going, yeah, straight to there we go, Park Street Station. Uh there's no tricks, there's no anything here. What I'm going to do is I am going to run. I am basically just going to sprint straight through with the intention being get to various points that may reset the enemies. So, for example, if I can get through a load zone, some enemies will not follow me. Um, I may need more impacts than what I've got. This might this might need to be something I, I reset from. Uh, I don't know whether this is possible. And then, of course, we have to deal with the probability that I know for a fact at some point during the development of this game, at some point during its lifetime after it was on, uh, Valentine's kills did count as yours. And it was very tricky to deal with that. I have reason to believe, based on the behaviour of dance, that may have been patched at some point or another. Possibly as a result of that. So, we need to figure that out. I don't think you need to kill the guard in front of Nick, because you can just hack the terminal or maybe pickpocket the uh pickpocket the code or the key off him we're gonna find out like this is this is what we're here to do tonight we're here to do some experiments uh today i'm i am allowing everyone to take part in my big experimental test run uh so yeah obviously the biggest threat to everything is going to be um yeah if there happens to be a legendary who happens to have a good weapon uh, but for the most part, these guys should be pretty easy to run straight past. They're going to mostly be armed with basic pipe weaponry and uh, basic submachine guns. And those are just not going to do much damage to me. Uh, there will be instances where I might be able to sneak past them. This is not one of those instances. This is just a uh, YOLO charge moment. So just wait for them to become available. And go, 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 go. Right. So long, losers. And then straight down the stairs. Go, 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 go. This is going to burn fusion cores fast, but I have some spare fusion cores. There are some, uh, there are mines on the stairs. I don't care. Uh, just get through here. The problem is, yeah, if I need to, I can use nuke quantum to get some AP back in a hurry. My AP refresh rate is really, really low. But you can see here, they're just not doing much damage to me, like, at all. So we've kind of made it to already up to this point. By the way, there's a nuke quantum over over here. I'll take the quantum. We're still at 80% health. Let's just jump through here. Bypass all of this. There's going to be some enemies over there. Uh, they're going to be a little bit close to me than I'd like. You can do this in power... Wait, do I have to step out of power armor to do this? No. No, you don't. Uh, the game's just like, well, I guess I, I guess you probably have a, 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 a pit boy, even though it can't do the animation. So, yeah, we've already made it here. Hey, this is a good chance for my AP to refresh. Just dance and kind of hope that they miss a lot. Loop around, jump over to here, and we're into the vault. They're probably not going to be able to follow me particularly effectively. Once we get down to about 60%, we could pit boy. He gets some good shots in at me. It must... Ow! He did loads of damage to me. What a dick. And then he's... The guy with the baseball bat is coming at me hardcore. Okay, so I'd say... Uh, actually, no reason to use uh, stim packs. To be honest, like, you're just, you're absolutely fine just with, uh, you know, food. Food is fine. Just, I'm just gonna drink some cola. It's gonna be a-okay. 
And now we just mosey on through here. I mean, it's the man with the baseball bat. He's just following me. What a day. Uh, close the door. Straight past you, because this is... I just want to get straight past you as fast as possible. At this point, probably... I think I can just jump off here, right? Yeah, I can just jump off here to bypass all the guys on the walkways. That's going to get me to here. That's going to get me to here. I can drop down, and I assume after I drop down, they can't follow me, right? Drop down. Drop down again. And I should be entering a new load zone in a second. Uh, and I don't know how many of them can follow me. Not Vault 118. Vault 114. Which one's Vault 118? I don't know, but we have some art. Oh, it's the Skylar cast. <laughs> I feel like that's a generous moral quandary. I feel like at this point, I'm just start, I'm trying to find a way to make the lever go both. I'm trying to like run over one track, make the tram reverse, then ride, drive on. Oh, several. Okay, two of them were able to follow me. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, this is the underground when it gets to, uh, to Heathrow. And it does, like, platform, it does, a uh, Terminal 1, 2, 3, and then it goes to 4, and it comes right back. It's now, can I, like, potentially sneak up on this it. guy? Because I know I'm being shot, but everyone else doesn't know about this, so, go. I'm gonna retweet this from the- Holy yeah. shit, it worked! He doesn't know about the people following me around! Yeah, do it. Right, go, go, go. Lock door, door, door. Yeah, time is frozen. There we go. This is fine. Override door controls. God, that fucking worked. Door is open. Uh, I now need, I'm now going to save and drop a new save. And I'm going to get this. Uh, so that's, that's that. Now, the problem is Nick Valentine's going to insist on talking. Holy shit, they just attacked Nick Valentine. He's never going to fight back. <laughs> Status right now. I need to talk to Nick Valentine, and if I don't. Oh no, Nick Valentine's unconscious. Okay, I need to lead everyone away so that they don't. Oh, everyone else is after me now. Okay, so I need Nick Valentine to be calm. I need to lose these guys. The only way is for me to lose these guys at this point. I have to lose these guys. Uh, otherwise, this doesn't work. So, okay. I, I need to I need to get them away. I okay. This could be you know what this could be a really good time for the stealth boy. If I disappear, then I stealth boy. I might be able. I might be able to lose them. Speak to Nick and then GTF. At the bare minimum, get Nick moving. Because once Nick's moving, he's fine. Okay. I think this is stealth boy territory or kneecapping territory. If I kneecap all of them where they're not in sight of me, I've got no ammo for this thing because I didn't bring any. Um, what's the weakest gun I've got right now? The weakest gun I've got is uh, there's not much ammo for that, to be honest. Um, I don't, I mean, in theory, if I had enough, if I had enough syringe rifle, that would work. I mean, I've got rights to authority. It's, it's, the problem is it's too powerful. It's too powerful. Um, okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna I'm drop to save. I'm gonna see if the stealth boy will do the job. Yeah. Where are they? I think they must be on the floor above, right? Yeah, okay, cool. The problem is stealth boys aren't that effective in Fallout 4. Okay. The problem is, where are they gonna go next? Like, once they lose interest, where are they going to go? Precisely. Like, are they going to return to their original starting location? Because their starting location... Might be... Would bring them back to the previous area. Stealth Boy wears off. I'm in caution. So they, they, they have lost me. That's good. But... In the event... The, yeah, they actually go into hidden. Do they actually leave this area or do they stay? Hmm. No. Thank you. No. No. Thank you. Thank you for not. No. Everyone just. Gosh darn it. Okay. Now we lose them back the other way. That's. Ow. He hit me with a baseball bat. What a dick. 
Uh, there we go. Now, get, now we just disappear upstairs as fast as possible. Right. And now we just have to not get spotted on the way in. Okay, go, 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 go. Stay, stay. Can I close this door behind me? No! Oh, is there, is there actually a button there? Is there a... There's no button to let me... Oh, this guy's still in here! He's just wacky! Nick! 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 Nick, we need to talk! Nick, we have to talk! Okay, I think it, I think it might be kneecaps. I think the answer might be kneecaps. Okay, buddy. How, how tough are you and how tough are your legs? Oh, this is... Oh, I've got like... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Oh, God. This is not... Okay, I don't really have the ex... I don't really have the anything for this. Um... Crippling submachine gun. Go! No, yeah, this. This. Da down here. There we go. I think I broke one leg. But I need to break... The problem is enemies recover from broken legs. I need to... Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're, we're going to... Just don't... Stop shooting. Run away! Yeah, we're going to... We're going to go back to the previous area. And I'm going to see if I can bait them back into the previous area. Like... No, more enemies just followed me into that. But maybe if I can bait them back into here, then I need to pacify them all. Oh, yeah. If I pacify literally, well, assuming they're all at appropriate level for intimidation. If they're an appropriate level for intimidation, then that's true. Yeah, lead them away and then stealth boy. Yeah, that's probably the best bet we've got. They're all going to come here. My health is low. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, 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 take a new controller quantum, which is great, and then back to here. And then. No, 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 no. All my pacification failed that. Uh, I need to pacify everyone. And there, some of them aren't going to be allowed, and some of them aren't going to be. Uh, I don't think I have a shockwave yet on landing. Isn't that tied to pain train? Is that tied to pain train? I thought that was tied to pain train. I think I had a shockwave. Uh, okay. This is fine. All I need to do is just have a nice, nice gun and point it at them and then it's all going to be a-okay. If I lure them all over here, or at least some of them out of the way, that might lose some of them in the long run. So, alright guys, 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 guys. Dino is too high level. Dino's level 13. Dino has got to be, I think Dino, we've got to cripple his legs. Um, Dino? Dino. Okay, Dino's got one damaged leg at this point. Uh, meaning he's now going to be slow. Dino, it's fine. The problem we've got is the people who... Okay, Nick Valentine is now actually... Oh no, he came back! Where were you? You finally left him alone. Pacify. Pass attempt failed. Okay. I need to... I need to take out... Okay, so I need to wait for... Okay, I need to pacify you. I think some of them have got lost. I think some of them at this point are lost. Okay, reload. This guy's just taking... Excuse me. Don't you dare. Stop, stop it. This guy's over there. I need to, I need Dino's legs to go down. Okay. One, two, three, four. His legs are almost done. Keep... keep. If I think I... If I, if I can pacify this guy. Drink all the water. Just drink all that water. That's lovely right there. Okay, I need... Dino, I need you to be outside when you go down. Though, unfortunately, I think you will recover over time. Uh, you, buddy. Pacify. Don't move. Don't move. Don't do anything stupid. Two surrenders. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Three surrenders. Don't Holy shit, we've had so many just people just surrendered. Okay, I think we just got three of them down. Where's Dino? Okay, are you now fit to... You are not... You're not off cooldown. We got a bunch of people surrendering right now. Bunch of people surrendering. I just need... I need Dino. And I need Dino to be down on the ground, not in there. I need him to be elsewhere. Valentine is refusing to fight back. Several of these individuals are fighting. Okay, have we already attempted on you? We've already attempted on you. Okay, we've got some of them down. Dino, I need you to be over here. I'm going to be honest, Dino. I need you to be... Then again, I could lock the door from the terminal. I'm not sure that would be good enough. Dino, I need you to come with me. Because I can't have you here. I need you to be... The problem is limb condition for AI does recover. I need this guy to come with me. I need him to pacify. Darn it, failed. Should have quick save for him, actually. Dino, no. 
No, no, no. Oh, wait, that is, is that Dino? Oh, that's good. Dino's in good position. Dino, chill out, buddy. Okay, go. Don't kill him. Go. Is that legs? Dino's down, but he'll recover. But I need this guy to be pacified. Uh, if I could just... If I could lock myself in the office, that'd be great. I wonder if I can... Hang on. Drop the books over here. If I, if I can close the door fast enough. Override the door. Accessing the door. That's... Oh, no, that just opens the door. It can't be used to close it again. Nick! Nick! We need to talk! Or at the bare minimum, you need to fight back. Okay. He's now back on Nick, which is good. Because that means he's not hitting me right now. Which is... Which is fine. Drink another... Wait, what did I just take? I think I brought it. No, I think I just... I think I just took Psycho. Oh, I think Nick's limbs got crippled. Eh, Nick will be fine. Dino's back, I think. Dino is not back on the thing. Okay. Pacify... Oh, no! I... Did I... Wait, did I put the gun away? Did I put the gun away for a second? Because they're all waking up. They're all awake. Maybe you put the gun away when you went into the terminal. Oh, I bet I did. Yeah, which is not good. That's the opposite of what we want to do. So we're going to load that quick save. Yes, you're right. Going into the terminal, put the gun away. Mm. So that broke the spell. This is so stupid. I love it, says Derpy Sweet. Yeah, now they're all. Now they're back to surrendering. Mm. One more surrender there. Surrender. Okay, we got another surrender to add to the pile. You should now be as you should be. Quick save. Go out. Surrender. Okay, we've got the entire gang surrendered right now, with the exception of this guy. So now we just go, surrender, done, 40%. Next, okay, we've got basically the entire gang at this point is almost surrendered, with the exception, I think, of Dino. Also, I'm, I'm about to die. Uh, there we go, that's nice, glad I noticed that. Now, at this point, I think there might be enough people gone that I can just run and just basically get a bit of attention away. Because it doesn't matter if you break line of sight. As long as the gun's out. People in the local cell will just do their own thing. You see? They're all just surrendering. This is this is fine. I did have literally zero. Uh, Dino, however, will not surrender. This means Dino needs to be manipulated around. So if I can just lead Dino. Well, actually, in offense, I think Dino's about to. Okay, I think. But if I go into hide mode. He, they stay surrendered regardless. They don't care about that. It doesn't matter to them. So now, with this entire gang neutral and surrendered, I just need to, this is going very well in the dumbest way possible. I just need to make it to the top and to Nick. Assuming Nick isn't just being wailed on by the guy with the, the bat. Which is entirely possible. Okay, and... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this is good. And now, quick save. Put your hands up. This guy refuses to go down. Put your hands up. They both refuse to go down. They are aggressively refused. The, it's the baseball bat men that are the problem here. Okay, can I just get far enough away from them? They don't care. Can we just lose them? Like, if I just get up here, out the way, and then just hide in this room. Wait. Wait. If I can get enough distance. Come on. Lose me. Gosh darn it. And this guy's back to here. Though he did he did lose me for a second. Okay. Reload the quick save. There's two guys with baseball bats. If we can get them down. I don't even know where Dino is. I do not know where Dino is right now. All I need to do is. Okay. Oh just... yeah. Do what you just did. But then uh, use the stealth boy as soon as you get in the room with Valentine. Stealth boy I've already burnt now. I'd have to go way back in time for the stealth boy. Get uh... out of the way. I'm trying to pacify your friends. Why are these guys resistant to it? This is really weird. Like, the other guys went down way easier. I'm not aware. I think it's... I, I'm almost certain it should be a flat 40%. You okay. can't pacify Batman, somebody said. But I'm not why? sure if they're making a Batman joke. It's... I don't understand why you can't pacify Batman. I mean, they do seem to be weirdly resistant to it. I will give them. I just don't understand why. Like, I genuinely don't know why these guys are... Dino's chilling with Wolfgang. Entirely possible, you know. No, okay. Is, is this actually true? Put your hands up. They are refusing to surrender. They are absolutely... Okay, you know what? 
There's two guys here. Oh, if I leave this cell, does that reset all these guys? I bet it does. I'm going to get these guys as far as I can into this area. Okay, now what we're going to do is... Oh, these guys are... The problem we've got is if I, if I break their legs... I need to break a leg. And then, okay, break one leg there. Break a leg. If I break... Oh, their legs are taking a lot of damage, by the way. Uh, what else do I have? That might be able to do bad leg damage. I mean, a Molotov, but that would just straight up kill them. That would 100% just kill them. Uh, I mean, I do have a crippling submachine gun. We've got no ammo for it anymore. These guys are said to be aggressive no matter what. Is that true? Somebody said that. Also, uh, has changing the gun do, Don't broken you have a the... crippling gun? I do, but I've got no ammo for it. Ah. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to lead these guys way down to the bottom by just jumping down. To try and lose them a little bit in a position that's not normal. And I'm just going to hide over here. They're probably going to find their way to me. But it's going to get them down to the bottom of the room. Which is going to give me enough space to run away. Shock that I... baton. Shock baton is interesting. I'm just going to eat a steak in here. And I'm expecting they're going to make their way down to find me. But what I'm expecting is that's going to bring them so far. Okay, you see danger is fading. The longer they take to find me... The... It's fading quick. It just seems like they've stopped. Yeah, but after it gets to caution, they will still be hunting. Okay, so they're around. This is this is good. I'll take this as a little quick save point. There we go. And now we'll just see... Does mining up an area and leading them into it count as murder? If grenade in the pocket does mining, will yes. Did they even make it downstairs? Or are they still upstairs? Well, if you jumped off of something and they need to pass to uh, yeah. stairs... Yeah, pathing to stairs is tricky for them. Um, anyway, while we wait, I've yeah. got one from Shockingly Stinky Kitten who has to leave soon. Excellent name, love that. Uh, who gave us $10 and says, Hey John, happy birthday. At least once a month I go back and watch, and watch you smashed a water beggar's skull with a sledgehammer in front of ten penny tower Excellent. in your fallout three kill everything run love funniest it. thing ever absolutely love it ah oh, just randomly caving that man's skull in marvelous happy days lol nothing am i freaking seeing things okay we just need like i i don't know why the special Can behavior you steal their bats from them i mean it would make them less dangerous <laughs> Where are you? Did you just come downstairs to chase me, buddy? I thought I just saw you come downstairs. Hey there, bat boy. Going to steal. Actually, no, it's an equipped weapon. I can't take an equipped weapon yet. That's him there. I think that's him. Yeah, because he can't be pacified, apparently, due to reasons. But he's blocking the only path to the upstairs. If he just walked away over there, I could sneak past him in this power armor. This massive robotic power armor. If only I had the ability to order these guys to kill their friends. Then we'd be golden. Why? Why are you standing right there? Do of you not have any ammo for the syringer? I do, but I've got... Oh. Oh, he's, okay, he's going over there. I've got, uh, I think the only ammo I've got for the syringe was one instant solver. Yeah, it reduces target damage resistance. It's not going to help against him. Fair enough. Come on, walk over there. Walk over there. Just be out of the way. That's Just walk to somewhere gone. else. Okay, he's vaguely facing away. My guys. for a jetpack, says Kara. Guys, don't tell him. Don't what do you want? fucking tell him. Don't shoot me. Tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Fucking hell. He's right there. I just need... I don't know where the other one is. I don't know where the other one cocky is. I just need to get around to up those stairs. But he's right behind this pillar. He's right there. I don't know where the other one is. You're right though. I'm actually tempted to try and pickpocket him. <laughs> no, I can't take the weapon. I can steal his random anomalous trash, uh, but that doesn't work. Oh. Okay, he became, he went into caution there, and then he's into... Okay, well, that's that's fine. I'm just load. Maybe I could just 
If I could, like, pull him into caution and then move away before he sees anything. Have you considered getting out of power armor so you're stealthier? It's, it's, I mean, does that seems like, that seems like madness to me. I mean, there's only one. I wonder one. if you're changing clothes would reset everybody, though. Yeah, I think so. No, 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 no. We're just going to destroy your legs, buddy. That was all the legs you've got. Okay, he does. He doesn't want to stop. That's. I don't know if. I, ah, the other. I think the other one was upstairs. I think the other one just retreats to batter Nick some more. So the other one's upstairs too. This is. This is insane. Oh, can you give him another weapon so that he drops the bat? So that then you can pickpocket the bat. Holy shit! Yes. That act. Give him. Well, but you have to give him something better. At most, lots of stuff's gonna be better than the bats. All I need to, that's actually genius. That's actually genius. Dad, yeah, don't look at me like that. It was chat. It wasn't me. <laughs> Get close enough to do this. I should have taken. Uh, I should have taken credit for that. But um. okay, give him. I'm going to give him an assassin's hunting rifle. All right, there you go. Six, seven chance percent to place. What? Isn't he going to use that to murder you? Don't care. Uh, he'll, he'll, if, 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 literally, the following things need to happen in the same universe. I need to give him the gun, give him a bullet for it, so that he goes over to it, then I pacify him. So that's about 67%, 90%, 40%. All those things need to happen in a row. If yeah. those happen in a row, then he's pacified. And shout out to Google <laughs> who suggested it. Yeah. You cannot shoot weapons out of people's hands in Fallout 4. I mean, people have been saying that you should give him a fat man for a while, <laughs> but I assume that's because they were kidding and they wanted you to get murdered. Yes, that seems reason. That seems like a thing that they would do. Being in the power armor is not helping. It's very heavy. Okay, come on. Everything in a row. Assassin. He, I wonder if he's just like he's. I wonder if this guy's got some weird ass rules to him because he seems he's. I was very unlucky to fail on that pickpocket twice in a row. So, come on. I need to sneak up really slowly. Because <laughs> the power arm is really big and heavy and loud. I wonder if he's immune to that. Okay, I need him to be more over... Mm. If I could just break his legs or something. Like, I need him to be more like over... Over here. I need, I need to come over here. And to be more over on this side. Is this door even openable, by the way? Oh, there's an advanced locked door there. Wait, what even is that? I don't know. Wait, if I if I hop over here, can you can you cross that? Wait a second. Hang on. Is there a loop he can't complete up here? Okay, hang on. Where's where's he just gone? Hang on, where the cock is he just gone? He's just run off over there. Where's he going? Where's he just gone? Where's he just gone? Probably flip. There's you. What the fuck? 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 What the- Ah, oh, he heard me behind him, but then he- Wait, what? What? What the fuck just- What the fuck just ha- what, There was just a series of what the fuck character movements. <gasps> Please. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, game. I'm begging you, game. It's his birthday game. Holy shit, is it actually my birthday today? What the actual fuck just happened? What the actual fuck just happened? What the actual fuck just happened? Drop a new save. L lock the door, people are you saying. Can't. You can't. You can't. There's no way to do it Bethesda, in this room. Best tested. Best tested. What the actual fuck just occurred? What did they do? What? He saw me and then he ran away in a different direction! Don't look a gift bug in the mouth! He just ran off! Why did he run off? Holy shit, Nick! Is your birthday? Nick, we need to talk, 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 we need to talk. Yes, yes, yes! Skip this conversation as fast as possible! Nick, we need to have this conversation right and fuck now! Yes! Follow Nick Valentine! Holy shit, we did it! Woo! Holy shit! Uh, the problem is this might be about to go wrong because uh, the you long have running. Been blessed by Todd Howard. <laughs> Thank you, Bethesda. <laughs> Bethesda engine go. Brrr. 
<laughs> the problem is, Nick Valentine's about to start killing people, and when he does, it's entirely possible that this is, he's going to, they're going to count against me. We're about to find out. We're about to find out whether Nick Valentine's about to start killing, whether he's about to start killing the people who I got to surrender. Because Robot Fred did. <laughs> I mean, he seems to be walking around them. Yeah, he seems chill about them. I heard you. Let's just stay calm. Okay, Nick Valentine's over there. Okay, he, Nick Valentine's being battered in the head. Nick Valentine's... Okay, Nick Valentine is fighting back. He is fighting back. I'm just going to stay at the back. It's fine. So Nick Valentine is going to attempt to fight with his gun. He's gonna do. He's got gonna. I mean, he's gonna possibly knock him down eventually. Nick Valentine has got like. Is his gun real bad or? Yeah, he's just got a basic pipe weapon. Uh, but at this point, I can basically just dance and wait for them to for Nick Valentine to get back up again. He's essential, so he'll just he'll just get back up. So you're gonna come to me right now, aren't you? Bye. Boop. Right, Nick Valentine will get back up in a minute. Uh, and when he does, he'll just keep fighting. I mean, I could slip Nick a better weapon. If I, as a, actually, no, uh, right now he's a temporary companion, so I can't access his infantry. But I could pickpocket a superior weapon onto him if he's allowed to kill without it actually counting as a like murder assassin thing. assassin rifle. Precisely. That assassin rifle might be really good for Nick if he's, if I can get it on him. So that's, hello. Don't mind me. I'm just waiting for Nick to, Nick's just down on the ground again. Hi. Oh, hang on. There's more people. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay, the people who spawn into this room have now spawned in. I thought they waited for Nick, for, to, a trigger from Nick Valentine to do that, but I need to get over this railing. This is kind of um, embarrassing. I'm, I'm stuck on a railing. I'm stuck on a railing right now. This is all, this is all very, very old. Just get, get. Can't get over this railing. There we go. Don't mind me. It's fine. Running out of, actually, you know, I've got plenty of stim packs. Uh, Nick Valentine is supposed to insist that he, I think this door might be so well locked, Nick Valentine needs to unlock it. Oh, yeah, this is a key door. Nick Valentine is the only one who can do this. So I need everyone to chill out, or I need to pacify everyone again. Uh, with the exception But your head is broken. Uh, that's just armor, it's fine. So that's fine, that's fine. People with guns I can potentially take care of. Right, one surrender. One failed over there. So you're on a cooldown. And there's another person over there. There's... There's another two surrenders. That's good. That was a failure. So I've got two... Well, he has a bat. Oh, that's another Batman, is it? Yeah. Well, I've yeah. got more space to run around in. But Nick Valentine is going to get up at some point. When Nick Valentine gets up, eventually he'll be able to do something. Just, you know, just, uh, do some bubble gum. Eat, eat some meat. It's all absolutely fine. Taking some rads, but that's okay. Some of these guys have... Oh, it's Dino! Dino's back, and Dino cannot... De Dino has to die, and that's fine. Batman is there again. Uh, I can't close this door. What I can do is just run upstairs. Oh, Nick Valentine's back up. Nick! Nick, Nick, I'm going to be honest, Nick. I'm going to need you to deal with Batman. And I can help you by weakening Batman. As long as I don't get the killing blow... It's fine. I'm going to need something stronger than that. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I've got Righteous Authority. We'll get Righteous Authority up and about. And then we'll just get you... Yeah, there we go. There we go. How's Nick doing? Nick should be fine. Nick. Shoot him, Nick. Nick. Nick, shoot him with a gun, Nick. I just got XP, which worries me. Hugely. Well, it's not a 100% rule, is it? Let's find out. I've killed... Creature? What? Is he a ghoul? What? Huh. The... Does anyone know what the creature was? Is the creature a Batman? <laughs> eh? Eh? One creature? 
Hang on, let's let's figure out when that changed. Hang on, let's let's go back to some earlier instances. Yeah, I think the the game is racist against non-feral ghouls. Oh, he was a ghoul, but not a feral ghoul. Okay. Now this yeah. creates a really interesting problem. Uh, let's just make sure, yeah, let's just roll back to the previous instance. Which is, yes, I'm guessing ghouls are considered creatures. Let's just make sure the moment we released Nick Valentine... He was, uh, yeah, data stats. Yep, it's because he's a ghoul. It's because he's, he's he's not a person, according to, wow, racist pit boy. Um, okay. So. In the event, that means that when Nick Valentine is freed, it's still true. Anyone he kills counts towards... The murder. Anyone, yeah, anyone, anyone killed counts towards the murder total. Anyone he kills, because I didn't get that kill, he got that kill. Therefore, as a result of that, I need, but we've also established he walks straight past people who don't have, uh, who, people who've surrendered. He walks past the surrendered. So that would suggest that literally everybody needs to surrender however we've also established that no it can't have been dino because dino's not a creature it had to be that ghoul it must have been that guy because we also got the xp which well, suggests also it's like if nick kills somebody and it counts it's gonna count for creatures and people as well so it must be the only person he killed yeah i mean let's let's go into let's go into the quick save just before i helped nick kill that guy is it because you shot him yeah let's find out if i do not assist nick at all okay. whether that changes anything i have an important thing to add to this yes he was a ghoul he had a bat can i make it any more obvious <laughs> Okay, Nick took oh that- Oh my god. Nick took that guy down. Wow. Yep, Nick's kills count. Nick's kills still 100% count. So eventually, the only option is... But if I can get the surrender... Now this creates a problem, because this leads to the issue of Dino. Dino... I cannot pacify. He's level 13. He spawns, I believe, at a higher level than me. Okay, Dino just died. Meaning, people killed one. I have shot Dino, that's true. So, we're in a situation now where is everyone else already dead? Where was the other Batman? Where was the other Batman? And I cannot just skip ahead. Because it's impossible to skip ahead. Because this door is a is a special door. It needs a key. And the key is Nick Valentine does this little weird finger thing to demonstrate, I ha hey, I have lockpicking powers. So as a result of that... Okay, can I manipulate the behavior of anybody around this? What I think I'm... One answer might be... To try and despawn these people. Because what is my... If I go into the previous area... Uh, Daniel says, no, it's anyone you also damage. Wait and see if other creatures that Nick kills count towards you, even if you don't touch them. You know it, what? That's it fair. It is possible Let's... that you previously shot that dude. Almost certainly I did. Let's go verify this. Let's just follow Nick around. And, and apparently you pacified the other Batman. Did I now? Yeah. Well, that's good. I don't know whether that was sheer coincidence or not, or whether I was just staggeringly unlucky. Oh. Let's just get Nick in here. The problem is Nick just sort of... Nick is also weirdly invisible, and sometimes just decides he can't be asked to fight. Like, Nick just walks straight past people sometimes. It's, it's very peculiar. Like, Nick Nick just sneaks forward and then sometimes isn't aware of people and sometimes he is. But then, then, okay, now he's fighting. This trigger man, definitely, I did not... Wow, Nick just bodied that guy. 
so I'm literally not only am I not involved, I'm not even involved in the fight. The trigger man doesn't even know I'm here. So I'm just saying Nick fight that guy. Lights out for you. More fighting. Trigger man is probably a high yeah. Just back off, back off, back off. I definitely haven't fought this guy. And Nick is, yep, yeah, take him out. And punching him. He's almost dead. Come on, Nick. Down he goes. Okay, so that was a human who just went down to Nick. And, yeah, I didn't touch that guy. Anybody Nick kills. The old the old one, I'm not sure whether it's a bug. But, yeah, Dancer's kills did not count towards mine. Nick Valentine's do. So, wait, is it because Dancer's a person and Nick Valentine is a sin? I doubt it. That shouldn't make any difference. Well, I mean... It's not impossible, but it's very strange that it's inconsistent. They are a different category. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying it in terms of, like, that they programmed it mm. with, like, a thought mm. that, you know... Yeah. So, no, okay. I'm not saying they programmed it thinking there is a difference between synth and people in terms of, like, mm. the way that they decide their moralities or whatever i'm just saying it is possible no 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 i've i've got a catastrophically dumb idea oh wait it's gonna... dance is a synth too it's true but the game mm -hmm. he's a he's a synth and disguise and whether it counts i have a really really fucking dumb idea claire uh -huh. and i don't know whether this would possibly work but i've got an idea for a sequence break Okay, let's reload back to the world where we just spoken to Nick Valentine for the first time. All right, we've just got him out. Now, the reason you have to go the way he goes is because it's the only way out because you can't go back the way you came because you dropped down a hole. However, what if that wasn't the case? What if we found a way to simply get back up out of the Don't hole? Shoot me. What do you want? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you thinking what I'm Stop thinking? Right okay, that Batman I mean. just surrendered, by the way. That Batman did just surrender. I don't know why that guy was aggressive, but now he's not. Also, I'm now in danger. I don't know what from. Uh, But okay. All I'm going to... Trigger Man just randomly yells. Bah! Nick, we're not going that way. We're going back this way. We're going back the way we came. Now, I may have to literally revert to an earlier an earlier version of this universe to make this work. But what if I had a jetpack? With a jetpack, I could get back to the starting area, but I don't know whether the game would accept that because the game might say, well, no, you've got to follow Nick because Nick won't get to the end of the dungeon himself unless he's, like, at the point where... I don't know whether the game would accept that. No. 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 That's one sudden and then... Okay, Nick Valentine does follow. Which is interesting that Nick Valentine does follow into this area. I don't know whether at the bare minimum I could despawn the guys in that first room. So give me the, yeah, the first, the first thing right here. Give me this right here. And then, yeah, this is right here. Now I just need all these guys to surrender. Nick Valentine follows me into this load zone. And I need a double surrender off these guys. Because uh, I need these guys to both surrender. In fact, I need a triple surrender. I need another surrender off Batman. So those are all those are all failures. But if I could get a triple surrender in here, which is 40% times 40% times 40%, which is... What? 40% times 40% times 40%, Claire. I don't know. <laughs> Not high. And that depends if Batman is even... Okay, we can do it one by one, though. Quick save. No, Nick, what are you doing? Nick, he'd surrendered. Nick, what have you done? He'd surrendered, you monster. Holy shit, Nick, he'd, he'd given up. Nick, no, why did you have to dance at me? No, Nick. And he wasn't a creature, you monster. Oh, fuck. Okay. The problem is, once Nick's decided someone's an enemy, he just goes. Okay. Nick, I need you to not kill that guy. 6.4%, but I can save after each success. So, Nick, don't... No, Nick! No, Nick. Don't do it, Nick. No. If I can kill him fast... If I can pacify him the moment he comes through the door, Nick, 
Step away from the door, please. Nick, step away from the door. Nick, step away from the door. The moment- Go, 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 go. If I can pacify him before he hits Nick, Nick might not be aggroed. I need to do all of this so fast. Every single one of these needs to happen incredibly quickly. You can't pickpocket Nick's gun. It's an equipped item and he's a companion. I need I need Nick to be out the way. And the moment the, this guy spawns in. Go, 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 go. Nick. Why did you just step in, murder this guy, then step out? Oh no. Oh no, this guy. Why did I do this? Oh, I need to take out I need to take out Nick. Do I need to take out Nick? Is that where we are? Nick, I need to step away. Step away, Nick. Shoot step away, Nick. No, 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 no. Okay, if I step forward, Nick follows me. If I step forward, Nick follows me. And then I can pacify the guy before he hits Nick. And that means Nick won't uh, uh, won't go for him. Okay, it's not perfect. But okay, so if I just step forward to about here. Nick steps forward too. And then this guy appears. And it's like, go, 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 go. Nick! Stop it! Why? Why would you do this to me, Nick? Why? Stop it, Nick. Then, then just get the pacifications on you. Those were fa that was double fail right there. He's oh. hostile from the last room. Are we certain? Are we certain we can't I reset his aggression? I don't know, but what if you repeatedly knock Nick unconscious? Okay, get over to here. Nick, I need you to step right forward, please, buddy. Right forward. Ah, go, 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 go. No, he's not! Look, he's not! He's 100% not! Holy shit. Yes, yes. Now I just need these both to work. Put your hands up. But I got the quick I got the quick save down. Load this. That's now a quick saver after the first guy was taken out because he was not hostile. The aggression does not carry from room to room. No. Nick, no. Stop. Pacify. That's acceptable. Quick save. That's fine. No. Okay, quick load. Do you have jet? Yes, but I'm not sure whether it's going to help much in this scenario. Now I just need person number three to surrender. And then, yeah, go, go, go. Person number three. No, Nick! Why did you shoot his head off? Why would you have shot his head off? No, Nick! We don't shoot people's head off! We don't! No, Nick! No! Nick! Nick! No! If we can- I don't know whether we can break the aggression. I mean, we've broken the aggression previously. If we could just get right, this- shall we uh, read some messages whilst you try and uh... It's- yeah, go! <laughs> Force this shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, question from Nick, who uh, gave us 25 Canadian dollars. It worked. It broke the aggression. What do you want? My plan worked. I'm going to save everybody. Okay. Nick Valentine. It doesn't matter if he was actually Just aggressive. Just stop a quick save before he kills somebody else. It's true. It's not a bad idea. If I had a jetpack, I might be able to j get out here. But, like, for the time being... now I would like to point out to everybody that I made this happen because I started reading Super Chats and the moment I started reading Super Chats, it worked and we could therefore move forward and stop letting me read Super Chats. We have a bigger problem, though, which is Dino. How do we solve the Dino problem? Because Dino's level 13. He can't be pacified. He cannot be pacified. And he's just, like, locked, right? Like, if you level up, he's gonna level up. I don't know, actually. Okay, but these guys are still... Wait, are you guys now not surrendered? I think these guys might have just de-surrendered. I think everyone might have, in this room might have de-surrendered. I what think, are you... What the crap? When I left the room they were in. So that's, that's well, fair. that's just silly, John. That's reasonable. Go, go, get Nick! Nick, don't kill anybody. We just have to go, Nick. Nick. Nick just, no, 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 it's fine. That none of these guys have got the key. Okay, well, let's see if you get any XP. The situation is getting worse, not better. I'm going to hide it here, just close the curtain. Oh, yeah, that's going to help against bullets. It is. They can't see me. There we go, you see. They can't see me as long as I'm hiding behind this curtain. This is very dumb. I can't run out of the vault because without a... I think I might need to come back with a jetpack. Um, 
in theory, if I could find a way of making, I suspect I- Can you power armor glitch through the Nick door? Theoretically, yes. Whether Nick- and then Nick might auto-catch up. Uh, that's from Ace Reynolds. Thank you very, very much. Nick might auto- okay, let's- let's revert to a much earlier state. Let's revert to Nick's only just been- I think this is the- I can't remember what stage this is right now. Yeah, if I can, if I, I've not, I've not practiced the power armor door glitch. Uh, uh, this is... Mr. Ben gave us two dollars and says, "Happy birthday!" Can you kneecap Nick to stop him? <laughs> I think he just recovers everything, so I don't think that works. Um, wait, what stage are we at right now? Oh no, which which save is which? Mm, you should have labeled them. Huh? Uh, you can't label them. Um, is this just before we leave? We leave the thing. If I can just, yeah, get... I could maybe force Nick to teleport to me fast enough. What is... Wait, what, what step is this at right now? Yeah, this is follow Nick Valentine. Okay, this is fine. Drop a new save here. I have not practiced the power armor door glitch at all. Uh, what this is, is you, because you force yourself back backwards out of the door, um, you can... Uh, you, you step out of the power armor backwards. You can, and this is this is something I've not practiced at all. Um, quick save here. Like, if you just press stuff against the door, then I don't know how to even, I don't even know how to reliably execute this glitch. Uh, <laughs> because oh god, this is it is a door, it is a door, but if there's not enough space for you to do this, I do not. As a backward step, but it's nowhere near close enough. It's I... the one that says Bolt 114. Huh? Uh. Can't pick this. What? I think they meant the save. Yes. I think they. Don't they all say that? I don't know. Power armor glitch is not working combat. Uh. Hmm. I think we might have come here too early. I think we might need to come back here at a later point. With I a jet pack. this is whether a jetpack is the right option is a question. Yes, this is definitely the most difficult dumb bet. This is ooh. Okay, also do I have in this universe any kills on me right now? Nick doesn't have any kills on him right now. If Nick just goes down enough, there's no kills. But Nick is the only one that can open that door. Nick is the only one that can open that door. So I can't just go forward. In theory, I could wait for... Yeah, the bad people now are responding quite well to that. If I could just... The problem is I can... I can pacify everyone by just quick saving in a world apart from Dino. And eventually Dino has to die. And when Dino dies, that's that's it. That's your lot. Unless Dino ends up Okay. Wait, a, a scenario exists where Dino ends up falling behind and is simply not in the same place and Nick just never sees Dino and just walks away from him. Theoretically, that's possible. So if I think I just go back to the point where I've just started, for some reason the Batmen are now willing to be pacified, the same as anyone else, when previously they were just refusing. If I just quick save through everybody, one by one, then it is theoretically possible that at that point we could just, yeah, just by virtue of quick save scumming. But this is why this is a very weird series that's not as elegant as New Vegas is at all, because there is a lot of quick save scumming. Uh, or you could go and get some pack syringe ammo. Pack syringe ammo is interesting. Yeah, to deal with um, to deal uh, with Dino. And that is from uh, Stan. Yeah. All right. Let's just slow. Let's just literally quick save our way forward, step by step here. So you need to now be the first. There we go. Quick save. All right. You need to be the next. No, you don't. Sorry. This universe, this entire game is based around just basically... It's going to be perfect. It's mani it's just manipulating things until they're absolutely perfect, even if they are... Put your hands up. No. You're going to do it. I know Batman are now willing to do it. So you're going to behave. Claire. 
Uh, yeah, shout out to Urban Cohort who gave us five dollars and says uh, Nick has seen Nick has seen too much during it's the It's true. War. Nick is Nick has decided to go full on murder murder today. I don't know why, but he has. Yes, indeed. And there we also, go. Uh, shout out to uh, so Carter gave us five dollars and says I can't stick around now, but boy, am I excited to watch the VOD. Happy birthday, John, and cheers to another great year. Uh, Roman Blood gave us uh, twenty dollars and uh, says happy birthday, John. I wish I could stay, but I just got off work and I need to get some sleep. I uh, can't wait to see the video of the live stream later. Uh, and then we've got a couple of questions. Uh, yes. Yeah, we're gonna maybe need to take some time where you're not in the middle of something. Uh, this is actually not that intensive on the thing. It's just a question of waiting for okay. the right moment where they all happen to line up right. Uh, so, yes, as I was uh, trying to say earlier, Nick uh, gave us 25 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. I'm just writing, I'm just starting my first playthrough of Fallout 1. Any tips to get the most enjoyable experience out of the game? Ooh, interesting. Agility. Like, I think all builds rely on agility. So I think it's just one of those things you just have to accept you need. Build a high agility character. You need agility. It doesn't matter whether you're fighting or whether you're running away from fighting because you don't want to fight. You need agility. Agility is how you engage with the world in any meaningful sense. So there's just no choice. But I, I, I think a high agility character is kind of essential. Uh, and uh, another question from I'm too lazy for a proper name. Excellent. Who gave us twenty dollars uh, and says, uh, John, you've mentioned the idea of preserve, not restore, in archaeology. Yeah. And I have to ask, um, since there's revivalists taking up ancient faith, should temples maybe uh, be in the hands of modern practitioners to preserve and restore as they will? Hmm. That's a very tricky question because you can't necessarily be confident that people who are choosing to, given there's been like, this is not a case of a, a religion that has somewhat lapsed and then, you know, do come stupid. back. This is a case of there has been an absolute clean break. There has been a break of thousands of years and many of the ancient religions, basically the Hellenic religions, uh, built around the idea of the mysteries. We simply do not know how they were worshipped or what was done or a huge amount of information is simply lost forever because by their nature they were supposed to be secret. So if people come back and say we want to bring this back, well, you know, I think it's reasonable to ask, okay, when you say that, what do you mean? Because you have no idea what you're bringing back. You're just bringing back something that's got the same name that's completely wildly different. And I don't think that should be adequate qualification to be a custodian of part of our ancient history. Um, so I think that it's a difficult question. It's a very difficult question to answer, but I would d do it on a day-by-day -day basis. Okay. That's those three dead. I don't know where Dino is. Where the fuck is Dino? Is I mean, Dino... I would also say that it also kind of depends on the, the, the site itself and yeah. whether it's a site that, like, is, you know... Like, if there are other com comparable sites that are being preserved... Wait, What? Nick just shouts hard and loud, implying I'd just done the negative. Okay, he must read Surrender People as dead. Because he just, well, I, I'm going to be honest, we've done it. I think step one is actually complete here. This is actually... Quick save, quick save. Yeah, there's the auto save right there. Nick goes in. Okay, we have actually made... I don't know where the fuck Dino is, but he's not dead. I don't know where he's gone, but he's not dead. Okay, this is where things get a bit tricky. Because I think now, I think this area might just be, if I just sprint to the end and just hope Nick doesn't, and just teleports to me and doesn't get too involved in anything. So drop a new save. We've actually done it. So okay, this is, this is now just fuck it run territory. This is now, screw you, we're just going. I don't care. So don't mind me. Uh, and Nick will hopefully not cause too much trouble either. We're just going to go and we're going to see how many kills there are against my name at the end. Uh, fortunately, lots of people, when they get uh, up close to you, will use the the boop rather than anything else. So, okay, if we just go to here. Yep, there we go. You're two here. Don't mind me, guys. Just passing through. Just passing through. 
I'm kind of hoping they Nick will just teleport to me because I'm hearing things. Okay. Danger. What are the what's the stats? Currently zero, but I think there's another door here that we need a Nick for. This is another Nick door, but can I teleport anyone to me? No, the problem is someone's catching up. Okay. But that's failed. So okay, where's Nick? I just, this was just a test run. Like, in theory, if all these people are level 7, which they appear to be locked to, we might just be able to, like, you know, quick save through them. And I'm seeing most people looking calm. Nick is way down there. It looks like we cannot simply teleport Nick to us. It looks like it's going to have to be just a quick save shuffle. The biggest problem was and remains Dino. But I simply do not know for what reason Dino didn't cause us trouble. So, okay, I think we're going to have to go over to... It's going to work. It's just going to be... It's just going to be a slow process. Um, so, I'm just going to, yeah, at this point, now quick save step my way. Yeah, just going to quick step my way uh, through surrenders. Yes? So, Tim in chat says uh, you can use charisma to get past Dino in several ways. Can you? Yeah, Tim, can you say more about that in chat, please? I didn't know this. And no, 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 Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick. We just have to... Nick, we're not shooting these people. We're being friendly, super awesome, nice people who aren't shooting people with guns. You stupid robot bastards. Claire! Yes, indeed. We're now, yes, gonna, just going to slowly quick step our way past these guys one by one. So this should be quite a good time for you to get a little bit caught up. Yeah, shout out to Simone who gave us five dollars uh and says uh, happy birthday and thank you for the much needed entertainment and joy while i'm lesson planning for the upcoming school year well good luck with the school year uh yes indeed and thank you uh, for your message uh let's see to get back to the top of this list uh king charles the crusader gave nice. us 10 pounds uh, and says, I shall be on crusade until the day of Mon, uh, and I wish you the best uh, on this day of John. I assume they mean Scarlet and uh, Scarlet and Violet's launch day there. Yes, uh, probably. Yeah. Probably, probably. I shall be on crusade until the day of Mon, uh, and wish you the best on this day of John. The quest of pacifism is strange to us Danes, but we wish you the best. He was a Danish boy. She said, see you later, boy. Put your hands up. Surrender. Next. It's, it's, I, I'm loving the amount of Avril Lavigne. The amount of Avril Lavigne is excellent. Put your hands up. There we go. It, now we get- That was the first Avril Lavigne that wasn't a thing said by me, which you completely ignored, but sure. I, I, I was not. I'm aware of you. T it's, it's, I don't like you massacring Avril Lavigne. My dear Avril. I think it's just a sad point in my life that I've never married Avril Lavigne. I just feel like it's not right. Can we... Well, I can't Stop believe you would right marry now. Melissa over me. <laughs> right, surrender. Um, Quick save. Also, be nice. Uh huh. About the things. Uh huh. <laughs> Love this guy to the car. It's like, you know, what? I feel like surrendering today. I feel like I'm going to surrender. Nick, do not get in the way. Uh -huh. Stop right there. Both of those failed. All right, keep going. We're almost there, actually. This weirdly, wildly sort of is working. Like, as long as you can just get Dino out the way, it's not actually a problem. And Dino... Goodness sake, guys. Come on, behave. Tell me... Please tell me you're not being Batman. Tell me you're not being bloody Batman again. All right. Let's not have Batman problems. And... Don't move. There we go. That's a double. Quick save. I think that's it. Yeah, don't let Nick get too much ahead of you in case he aggros. No, no, the fact he stood up means that he's out of the area where he acknowledges the existence of enemies. Oh, cool. So we've got them. Let's just double check that the stats still... Now, the problem is I don't have the password from Mama Murphy because we don't have the Minutemen yet. I assume there's a charisma check that will work for the peaceful... I think there's a charisma check that I can use to make one of them kill the other and then they we just walk out, right? I mean, I think that's, that's normally true. how you go through life. I assume there's a charisma check for this. I mean, I, pff, you charmer. 
Uh, okay. I think there's a check I can use to make one of them kill the other, and then we just get to walk away. Um. Uh, shout out to Pseudo Rose, who says, uh, us to Nick, why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? <laughs> Nick has caused a huge amount of trouble for me. It's certainly true. Okay, this is fine. I just can't remember what the exact options are when you don't. Donna has a charisma check. You it's can Donna. get her to go home. Yeah, I'm just not, yeah, but does that cause trouble for Skinny? Mm -hmm. I feel like Skinny's not going to be delighted about this. Alright, hi Skinny. I can't remember what any of your options are, but I'm just going to click anything that's not green and we're going to be fine. So let's just take care of this. Yeah, we're surrounded by enemies right now. We're not going to get them to surrender. But admittedly, no, he's level 13. She's only level 1. I get her to surrender. That'd be hilarious. Uh, so this is going to be absolutely fine. What about the other hench people? Uh, they will. They just gonna, if Skinny doesn't open fire, they won't. They work for him. So they will only open fire if we begin a combat. But there's plenty of instances for us to to deal with this. So come on, come on, come on, come on. This is fine. This is easier with the Mama Murphy thing. But come on. There we go. Skinny's got it under control. It's all fine. It's all fine. Here we go. So, I could encourage violence or convince... Let's try convincing her to leave. If she just goes, then that feels like the best option. Darla, listen to me. There we go. You have home to go back to. Yeah, don't throw your life away. Alright. She agrees with her terrible, terrible hair. I've gotten all mixed up. Darla. Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. All right, on, so Nick. there we go. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. Uh oh. Your friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad well. women. Now that she's not around to feed. Now maybe we'll her, get that. Can we walk, walk out of this point? You still owe me for two. Weeks. Can we just walk out of this? Yay! Count of ten! That's probably enough! Woo! Okay, that's that's good. Uh, time for us to go. Time for us to go. Time for us to go. There we- Wait, what? Who's opening fire? Who's opening fire on who and why? Probably Nick, to be honest. Probably Nick the cocking psychopath. Um, well, no one's dead yet. Just run out and as soon as you get to a lodge zone, he should come with you now. Yep, yeah, that's true. But he, someone opened fire. I just don't know who. Who's ever? So a lot of people are opening fire right now. Um. Well, go, 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 go. Why did Nick open fire? Why? Why? Why, Nick? Why did they? Why would you do this, Nick? Why did you do that? Why did you start shooting your own friends? Now, if we step out of here, Nick should teleport to me. But. Is that... No, it's not because I put the gun away. Because these guys weren't under the effect of pacification. These guys weren't pacified. So, in which case... Nick is hopefully going to teleport to me and have his conversation. And Skinny hopefully isn't. But Nick is just... Nick is just bloodthirsty. Alright, he's, he's not got the message. Alright. Jimmy Clean Hands doesn't do the murder. from the beginning was in the room to the right and still hostile, says Aaron. Oh! Uh-oh, Nick. Nick. Yeah! Okay, is, is he out and are we safe? Holy shit, yes! We're safe, we've we're got safe, him out! We've got him out! Yes! We've got Nick out with no kills! I don't know what the fuck happened to Dino, but in the end it was just a matter of just, yeah, charging through the first bed, and then it was just complete pacification, with the exception of the first section where for some baffling reason, the Batman refused to be pacified. Oh, my poor battered armor. It's so battered. Oh, no. Oh no, I'll meet, I'll meet you there. Let's, I'll see you in Diamond City. And now he's no longer part of my team. Unlikely Valentine is literally just shy, but that's absolutely fine because getting a clue's next and that's easy for a high charisma character. So now just teleport back home before that happens. So okay, getting a clue is literally a case of uh, some speech, then just go and speech <laughs> check people to get a key. 
Job done. Shout out to Jake who says just to confirm that worked far better than it had any right to. It did you I know. Mean, to be fair, we did spend a bunch of time on that. Yeah. <laughs> it is the trick. Like it's famously been. Uh, Nate Valentine has famously been one of the most difficult bits of this uh, this particular uh, challenge run for a long long time uh, it's always been known he was weird and like for some reason his kills were yours so this has been the only solution like this weird solution has always been the only solution literally you just go through either you have so much ammo for the syringer although actually the syringe is only like a 30 second thing it's not like a permanent pacification uh, intimidation is better but we got it we figured it out, and now we're just going to talk for a long time about plot stuff, and then he's going to tell me to go to Kellogg's house, and we'll go to Kellogg's house, and I'll charisma check people to get the key, and then we'll find the cigars, and uh, 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 reunion to begin. So, uh, Clap, this is an excellent time for you, because this is all very interesting plot stuff. Also, Solaris, he asked me to sit down, I literally can't, because <laughs> I've been power armor. So step out of my power armor to do any of that. Claire! Uh, yeah, shout out to Smooth Doof, who gave us uh, 15 Australian dollars. Uh, <laughs> Excellent dollars. And says, uh, no, I was literally just about to start catching up on three weeks of uni study that I've been procrastinating doing. But now you're streaming, so I guess I'll be putting it off a little bit longer. Oh, I encourage you to do your academic -y stuff first. Uh, yeah, and shout out to uh, Art Jackson, who gave us five uh, pounds. And uh, Art says, uh, happy birthday. I'm just getting over a heart attack at 39. Oh, no. 90% blockage in left artery. Now I've got a stent. Your videos ke kept me sane during recovery. My goodness, Art, I'm so glad to hear you're doing okay. Yeah, I hope uh, you recover. That's very scary. Yeah, that's super scary. Yes, indeed. And uh, shout out also to uh, Emma Jackson, who was in chat as well. Uh, so I'm assuming related. Uh, Grubinski. Gave us twenty dollars. Excellent. Uh, Thank you very, very much indeed. And uh, wants to know: Are you doing the IMFA method? YMFA. I think that's a YouTuber who did one of the earlier runs of this, but I'm afraid I'm not familiar from the top of my head with all of the tactics that different runners used at different times. Or are you not counting companion kills? Uh, well, companion kills. Like, I'm, I'm not using the system, which I think the info method... That's just wrong, but okay. I think the info method refers to getting a companion, moving them into a position, and then dismissing them so they walk through an area, clearing it for you. That I'm not doing. That, I think, is a little bit too, too much on the uh, the hands of taking, it, of, of taking advantage of exploits. So, if that's the method you're referring to, then we are not doing that, no. Uh, yes, indeed, and shout out also to Nicopole, who gave us 20 Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. And says, happy birthday from soggy, wet Australia. Well, we're, we're soggy and wet here, and we're bloody thrilled about it. All right, it's great. The minute it took me less than one day to be muttering bloody rain. Because, like, it was, we, we, we were hoping it would be cooling and raining for weeks and weeks and weeks, but it's too hot. But then it was raining, and, like, I needed to go outside briefly, and it wouldn't stop raining. So I had to go outside when it was wet, and I was like, bloody rain. Never stops bloody raining in this bloody country. So we've now we've now passed the bit where we're complaining it's too hot, straight back to the bit where we're complaining it's too wet, which is the only two st you know, states of being that exist for, you know, uh, British Inga people. Land. Yeah. Complain all the time. It's just a whole we like to complain. Just anyway, a hole in the world through there. That Nicopol wall. says, uh, so happy to catch another stream. Recently rewatch your Kodo series again. And I was wondering if you've had a look at Kodo 2 yet, or do you plan to go in blind for your first time? We'll be going in blind. Uh, I think it, uh, I think with RPGs in particular, it's really important mm. to go in blind. Because, like, you know, very often they're very story heavy. And, you know, you can come up with the most interesting dumb builds if you go in completely blind and you don't know, like, what the meta is. So, you know, uh, how, how many other first playthroughs of KOTOR ended with, you know, the protagonist, the great Jedi, tossing a glue grenade at the ground and accidentally gluing both their feet and Revan's feet to the ground and then just shooting them with a gun. All right. 
That's that's the that's the gold right there. Hey, Valentine. So now, yes, now he says we need to find a key. All sorts of keys dotted around. Um, if you've spoke to Mama Murphy, you'll literally find one down in the stands over here. One just drops out, but it's only there if you've spoken. If you go and speak to Mama Murphy now, but honestly, the easier option is just to uh, yeah go and sweet talk uh the mayor or someone else. You can just bribe them too. I think actually the bribe for her is pretty cheap. Uh, but it's, uh, it's absolutely fine. We can just sweet talk everybody because I have... Uh, actually, people were saying, is my charisma currently reduced? Because, yeah, my charisma is currently 10. It's not 11. But I think these are not red checks, so I will pass them anyway. So, yeah, I could have actually failed a red check because the power armor is, uh, uh suppressing the plus one off the glasses. Uh, but I'm pretty sure... The check with uh, the receptionist is not a red check. Like, one of them isn't a red check. It's fine. There's definitely at least one orange check in there. So we'll be fine. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Amy, who gave us nine pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. I hope you are both feeling better. I can't beat, uh, can't beat spending your birthday with all of us. It is a nice, I think it's a nice tradition. I enjoy doing it. It is very, very nice. Um, and we are feeling much better, thank you. Yes, much improved. Though, as I say, the, the mystery remains whether I've had COVID once, twice, or not at all. Mm -hmm. Kind of skipped you, by the way. I know I have to reply to you. Fair enough. Clap! Yep. Oh, there's the level up from a speech check with Piper. Yay! Very nice. Uh, shout out to Jai, who gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, Joan. I wish I could give you guys more, but I'm saving my pennies for the down payment on my house at the end of the month. Oh, good. congratulations. I assume as you're saying that, you already have found the house. So you already know what it is and all the rest mm. of it. So that's very exciting right there. Uh, and they say much love to uh, you both. Jai, please, um, no more donations to us until you have... Put a down payment on your house, okay? You yes, exactly. Please, please, please. Um, Psyker Girl gave us £10. Hey, Psyker. Hey, hey, Psyker. Uh, says, happy birthday from myself and final render. Hope you've had a special day. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Lol. All right, in fact, you know, I don't need to wait for the thing. I'm in power armor. Yeah, screw you. Screw you, legs. You don't need legs to jump. You can just sort of vaguely hop down and it's fine. Uh, but, but, oi, oi, over the top. There we go. I should not be burning uh, AP this fast with a bit of power armor, but I'm sure it's fine. After this, I'm going to go dump the power armor back in Sanctuary Hills till we need it again. Now it's been so trashed. It was in such a lovely condition when we found it. Now, now it's all, now it's all trashed. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Aaron, who gave us uh, five dollars. And says, happy birthday if you jump onto the elevator that takes you down to the vault and get, and get as close to your wife as possible, she will walk off. <laughs> so dumb. So nice. dumb, I love it. And secret oh, button. Dear. Love how flimsy the flap is. It just goes, whoop. Like, it's like it weighs nothing. It's great. Oh. Um... Sydney gave us $5 and says, happy birthday, John. Uh, Curtis gave us $10 and says, happy birthday, John. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and many more. I love your videos and I've been watching uh, since the OG nice. Very lovely indeed. Yes. Sorry, just checking on chat. Uh, ooh, Shasplat. That's a fun name. Uh, gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday to you. Thank you for all the laughs. I enjoy your channel so, so much. I'll enjoy your channel too. <laughs> I enjoy just saying things back to people. It always just feels like the right thing to do. You know, it's like people say they're very awkward. You know, if someone ever says, like, you know, they're buying tickets. And, you know, someone says, oh, enjoy the show. And they reply, oh, yeah, you too. And then spend the rest of the week thinking about it. I just think that's, I think that's fine and a lovely thing to do, in fact. Dear, dear, shout out to Rachel, who gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. Your first playthrough of Fallout 4 Nuka World was the first video of yours that I watched and also encouraged me to start playing Fallout for myself. Oh, nice. Thank you for making me waste all my free time since. 
Very good boy doing big yawn. Take me to him, boy. Uh, but we don't actually need him because as soon as he officially gets going, yeah, getting a clue now completes and reunions begins and the dog now starts moving on. We don't want to be traveling with dog meat because dog meat may or may not start killing creatures and his kills may or may not count for me. So that's fine. We do not need to because he's not actually my companion. I'm his companion. Can we not like test that for science? Uh, I mean, we could do, but it's going to take a while for him to get to uh, a creature. That actually, uh, he would be Can we compatible. give him a cuddle? I think we can tell him he's a good dog. But actually, I think right now we can't. Because right now he's in the mode where he's going to just run ahead and find creatures. So, dog mate. Dog mate. No, we, uh, his, his current commands are disabled for the time being. So, what we want to do is we just want to let him do his own thing. And we want to basically now jog back. He'll catch up with us later. Uh, we want to go back to Sanctuary, which has no one living in it, uh, because why would it? But actually, this is kind of good timing, because we're about to head out into the waste, where there might be various creatures, and we've just hit level 12. So in a second, we'll get to what that means. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to the Magnificent Mobius, who's been a member for 25 months, and says uh, sometimes the best weapons are not those of steel, but those of cheese. That's completely true. I've long thought that, yes. Yes, I agree with the cheese comment. <laughs> Once a nerd gave us five Australian dollars and says, uh, happy birthday from down under. <laughs> Love it. Jono gave us five uh, New Zealand dollars. Speaking of down under. Uh, happy birthday, John. Thanks for the entertainment that you always provide me. I'm slowly watching through all your old series as I work every day. I don't go too far back in time. They get terrible at one point. <laughs> oh, there's Codsworth still in robot jail for his Jesus murder. Christ, for his murder. What a tool he is. <laughs> Love he's just sitting next to the giant tool side. Oh, happy days. Right. Dump that ship. That's all fine. Everything's under control. Carla's just visiting. Yeah, you you just sit there and think about what you did, you stupid robot dick. And now all we need to do is, yeah, okay. Step one, level 12. And that means the first rank two of Animal Friend nice. comes into play. So that means now we can't, it's not just a case of pacifying an animal. We can actually tell it, hey, go kill. Uh, which is very exciting. So let's go find that dog. So yeah, you can now attempt to incite pacified target by aiming my gun at them and pressing A. So let's go test this. I'm not sure if I, I can't remember. I must have done this at some point, but I honestly can't remember the exact interface for how it works. So that dog that was right there, this will cause them to attack anyone nearby except you. But there might well be no one nearby. So okay, it's not like you could direct them like with a companion. You need level three for them to actually act like a proper companion. Like, at that point, they will act like a proper companion, which is very exciting, because then they'll follow you around a little bit, and you can then direct them properly. That makes life much easier. But the bare minimum, there's there's the dog. All right, we got the dog. The dog is in play. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to see if we can make this happen. And maybe we can get the dog to attack, say, a rad stack. And there's, I thought I saw a bloat fly there, but it was just a piece of flipping scenery. So it's fine. It's all right, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go nice and close. Stop Pacified. Right That's failed. I don't know if you, for some reason, why do you keep failing? Why are you mysteriously resistant to this? So, all right. Good dog. Failed again. What the? Is this dog mysteriously resistant to being pacified? Or have I just been catastrophically unlucky? Stop right there. No, don't stop right there. Don't. Okay, let's go and find someone else to go and fight the dog. You, Radstag, I need you on my team. Don't move. That failed as well. Why is none of this? Why is none of this working? Okay, this is this is fine. I don't. I, there's, there's a reason I took Animal. I feel like also if you take the second rank of Animal Friend, your chance to succeed in basic pacification should rise. All right, I don't think that's unreasonable. There we go. Right. We finally cocky gotcha. So you're now pacified. Oh, hello. Who's a good boy? And now if I aim at him again, I can incite him. So, kill. do that. I tell him to kill. And he basically now just patrols the local area and tries to find stuff. Does he, like, follow you? No. 
he he basically searches for stuff he wants to die in the immediate vicinity around him. Uh, though if you if I lured something into him, then he would then attack it. Uh, at that point, although where's he just gone? I think he's detected the existence of I think he detected the existence of uh, a rad stag over there and attempted to find it. So he's, he's basically just patrolling. He's basically just patrolling the area where he's pacified. Rather than just standing stock still because he was pacified, now he is attempting to find something. So it's basically a way of turning an, an enemy creature into, you know, like a proximity mine around them where they will attack anything. So it, it's the first step towards enemies firing for, fighting for you. And while he's doing that, he most definitely... Does not count as your companion. His kills are not yours. Great. Like, turning, basically, yes. Taking people hostage and then forcing them to kill their friends is, uh, that uh, that's definitely morally justified and not murder. Great. That is 100% oh, legit. So, the plan is basically, yes. Find an isolated radar, or rather, when we do get to that up to human level, find an isolated uh, human. Slip them a really powerful gun. You know, fat man, legendary, whatever. Doesn't matter. Then capture them. Then incite them to kill their friends. And they will do it. Because they've got by far the better weapon. That's that's basically how it all fits together. And the only trick is getting yourself up to a high enough level fast enough. Now, if, you were really, if you're willing to manipulate difficulty settings, I believe the easy way to do that would be, yeah, use survival mode to level up faster for the early levels because you absolutely have to basically get to level 20 what is the the key there 21 23 23 is the golden level once you get to level 23 you've got intimidation you've got intimidation too and then all of a sudden humans start behaving 21 you've got wasteland uh whisperer which is yeah since weirdly enough uh, but also a giant pile of uh, other stuff. But once again, the rules, the basic rules do still apply. The creature still has to be lower level than you. Uh, which is very, very tricky because the most powerful creatures, or the most powerful enemies, are the ones who have spawned at variants where they are higher level than you by default all the time. And if you level up and come back later, they'll have just respawned at higher level variants too, especially on the high difficulties. Meaning you've really got to tip the balance in your favor because the only people you're going to be able to get on your side are the enemies who aren't the strongest, which is why they need to be given the best guns. It's the only way to offset that. Like it's, it's a funny old system, but that's how it fits together. So next up, I need to make my way to, yes, uh, Fort Hagen, because at the bare minimum, I can do the same system I've done already to some extent. I can, uh, yeah, I can just uh, straight up use my, oh, interesting. I could use Arcjet straight down just to get onto the, the road. I've done that before, and it was actually pretty easy to do, to be honest. Yeah, if I want to get to, um, if I want to get up to Fort Hagen, easiest way to do that would be start at arc jet watch out for any creatures at the front but basically just sneak down the road go around the back of the plant where there's all the super mutants which is fine from the back of the super mutant plant i can just basically follow the road straight around to fort hagen front door then there's just a handful of turrets we can just work around them shouldn't actually be too difficult at all should be a-okay so yeah just watch out for trouble at the front it's looking quiet to me is that just corpses is that just dead Brahmin? There's just a dead Brahmin here. What event is this? Random scavenger. Random Brahmin meat. No clue what event that is, but there's been... Oh! Event with a feral ghoul. Okay. Save. Pacify. Failed. So that means we just load because in this you just load. Okay, it must have just been a ghoul. Killed a random traitor. It's fine. And... Calm down. No. No, no, no. You're just going to calm down and be my zombie friend, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. Even if it takes a few attempts. Claire, well, we just wander around to Fort Hagen. Good chance for you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout calm out down. to Hannah, who gave us a uh, fifty and uh, a little rainbow sticker. We've also got uh, $1 from Half Demon 43 uh, And let's see. Um, 
Anony Mouseling gave Love us it. ten pounds. It's cute. Uh, and says, I've rewatched almost all of your series dozens of times. My ADHD means I have to have something playing in the background. And so for the last seven-ish years you've been with me, please keep being amazing. Oh, and that's, that's lovely. Danny. Love it. Uh, thank you so much, Danny. Uh, and yeah, on the same, uh, yeah, Wolf Ripper gave us uh, five pounds and says, I'm finally getting my mental health uh, in check and starting uh, to learn to become a swim teacher. That's cool. Uh, plus, John's birthday seems like the perfect time to celebrate. Nice. That's uh, very, very cool. Congratulations. Uh, I hope you got a qualification nice and easy. Yes, indeed. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. I know there's some black bloat flies on the left here, and I think that that presumably still going to be there. But I think if you just keep your distance, they shouldn't be a problem. I'm just going to basically get down to the road and just follow it straight round. And there's the bloat flies. I mean, they're level ones, but the thing is that it is strange that it's just a flat 40%. Like you really would think that some point at some point would have said, uh, "Okay, fine." Like if the person's like the same level as you, or like barely any weaker than you, 40% is fine. But surely, like if you're level 70 and they're level one bloat fly. It should be more of a sure thing. Like, that should be... And that does your charisma... Does your charisma level change it at all? No. Straight... They just, it just changes the access to the perk, which is how most of Fallout 4 works. Which, ah. conceptually, I'm absolutely fine with. It just... It strikes me that, like, it's... It's a mechanic begging to be a bit more complicated than a flat 40%. It's a mechanic that's begging for relative levels, luck, etc. to feed into it. It just feels like it, there should be more to it than what there is in it. Uh, it just feels like it's 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 an underdeveloped mechanically is, is what it feels like to me. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, shout out to Clayton who gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday, John. Hi, Claire. I wish you well. Uh, and uh, in oblivion, paintbrushes don't evade. Don't obey gravity. <laughs> Drop one, and it will just hang there. Nice. I mean, it, it, Lol. It, 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 that just sounds like typical Bethesda one. I probably wouldn't even consider that noteworthy. Basically. <laughs> uh, the Geek Cupboard gave us five pounds uh, and says, Happy birthday. Please use these funds to purchase some more pink, fluffy, bunny gaming chairs. <laughs> TM. For they are the only way to park one's backside. I wonder, Geek Cupboard, if you've got yet another one of those ads at the front of this stream. Be hilarious if you did. Lol. Uh, and, and just so you know, by the way, if you don't know how YouTube works, we don't get to decide what ads go in front of our videos. I mean, it would be hilarious if we did. I'd, I'd spend all day just abusing that system if I could. Yeah. Uh, but no, we don't get a say in that. It's, it's an open auction that's entirely uh, settled between Google and the advertisers. It, though, irritating, we don't even get the option to, like, you know, have, like... Uh, a wide veto category is like, hey, never show ads of this nature. We do not get that option. Yeah, like very... you know, certain political things. Yeah, or no political Sometimes thing. Hear... No, you know, like religious proselytizing of any description. You know, we don't get that option. And sometimes, therefore, really weird, dumb ads do just show up, uh, and we don't get a say in that. Unfortunately, it's just not. It's not in the remit of a YouTuber to control what ads actually appear in front of the channel. Google make, reserves the right to make those decisions. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, oof. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, I was just getting something in chat. Uh, Golden Giggy Knox. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Golden Jiggy Knox, I'm not quite sure. Gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday to John. Also, Rob Robert De Niro. You're both good fellas. Yeah. Did not know we'd shared a birthday with Robert De Niro. Clearly. And then, uh... Ah. The abstruse one says, YouTube you used to have ad categories you could set to allow and prohibit in AdSense, but they got rid of that several years ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shame. I seem to remember that, though. I think it was always a bit dubious how well yeah. it actually worked. I'm not sure it ever worked that well. So, okay. The advantage to this area, of course, is I don't have to do the full-on everyone pacification system because I've got nobody with me. 
all I've got to do is get from point A to point B. Now, there are certain things I could do to assist myself, one of which, of course, would be, uh, yes, Robot Friend. Uh, I cannot use Robotics Expert on the synths, as hilarious as that would be. Uh, but I can use, if I've got the right, uh, magazine to support it, I can, uh, yes, access the beautiful, beautiful, uh, robot friend, uh, who's just upstairs from the lower entrance, if, but only if I've got the total hack magazine. So now I've got Hagen tagged, and yeah, that was a nice easy walk over there. I might go, I might just quickly nip over to Watts Electronics, because I feel like that is the safest, easiest, uh, oh, 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 oh. Then it exploded. That was, oh, yeah. That was a bottle cap mine there. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I saved at some point in the fairly recent past. Lol. Probably. I've been pretty good with the quick saves, given this the, the, the nature of this run. Oh, dear. Back to Nick Valentine. Mm-hmm. There we go. We're just barely round the corner. It's fine. Claire. <laughs> Lol. Lol. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Marika, who gave us 170 South African rands uh, and says, Hey, John and Claire, happy birthday! Uh, I wanted to give so much more for all that you guys do, but I'm having a hard time at the moment. I wish I could give you guys back in proportion to all that you do for us. Never worry about that, oh. guys. Always only ever support up to what you can comfortably afford and never ever feel bad if you can't yes never. also like please don't apologize for like the amount that you give because according to youtube it was like pretty decent i yeah. don't know about south african runs but like you know youtube put it in a color that made it seem pretty darn good so yeah. like please don't you know like even if people give like one dollar one time, it's like more than we get in ad revenue anyway. So yeah, like for a lot of views. And and you know we we. It's also like wild, you know, like just the amount of people who want to like give us a little bit of something, kick us a little bit of a tip. Yeah. It's just, just like the 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 thought of. Just, like, the thought that there are so many of you that want to contribute, like, whatever the amount, that doesn't, you know, it's, it's incredible. I think Watts is about here. I think that's roughly where Watts is. Although, if I start at Thicket, then, assuming Thicket hasn't already turned into a massive raider in camp, which it shouldn't, it hasn't been long enough, I could go over to the graveyard. Uh, that can have a large number of ghouls at night. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's, it, I don't know if it's, like intentionally like a dice roll if it's just sometimes bugs out a bit uh but if i go to yeah I, i'm gonna swing by and pick up both magazines having both magazines is not a bad thing for this character 100 percent, it's not bad uh so there we go follow dog meat and check on dog meat so having gone there and then teleported there dog meat's now in sight dog meat's just uh dog meat's just there now so i need to just okay it's Wait, hang on. Am I misremembering whether... If that's Thicket, then... No, it's if it, it's beyond Bedford. It's 100% beyond Bedford. It's the far side of Bedford. I will see it at some point. It's going to be fine. I think I just need to walk in roughly in this direction. If I just skim around the north of Bedford, I should avoid all the ghouls. Which should be A-OK. -okay. And then it's just a case of... Yeah, which I think is... I think it's about this angle should be fine. Clap! Uh, yeah, absolutely. Shout out to um, shout out to Excelsius, who's been a member for fifty nine months, which I think is the longest. It sounds like, given that we've heard that a few times, I'm guessing that's now the current longest. Yes, indeed. Um, and uh, Excelsius says, uh, "Here's my monthly member message. Happy birthday, John! You are not the fat murderer, not the murderer." <laughs> Very nice stream. It's true. We've 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 settled a lot of questions about moral philosophy today, which is very always very exciting. Very exciting moral philosophy. It turns out nothing's wrong. Nothing's evil. There's there's nothing wrong or evil like at all. Am I going there it is? It'll be that dead ahead of me. I knew I was going in roughly the right direction. Like, wait, am I way, way, way too far north? But then I thought, no, because if you go south to below Bedford, you have to 
go back up again to the left, suggesting that if I just go in a straight line from here, it should be fine. So we should be able to get straight to the graveyard nice and easy. Clap. Uh, I'm just getting people in chat to stop uh, stop peeling some onions in here. Oh. Uh, cause, you know. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Watch the plane crash, by the way. The plane crash will be really nasty. There can be some really high level stuff that spawns there. It's really weird. Watch some very misty weather today, which is not ideal. I mean, yeah, it makes, it makes for nice, it makes for a really beautiful, like, seriously, this game is about seven, eight years old at this point. It is so attractive. I think it's, the, I think this is the best looking game in 2015. I think this is the best looking game in 2015. I think it has aged spectacularly well. And I think, like, no, no world I've ever seen has better created, like, the, the sense of a world that is both old and worn down and broken, but is also extraordinarily colourful. Like, mm -hmm. Fallout 4 does a wonderful job at creating a world where... Oh, I'm about to be chased by a rad roach or something, but that's not really... Yeah, because the, the New world. Vegas palette is quite muted. Yes. Like, New Vegas, like... It may be, like, in a few places you get the the sense of the fact that, you know, the world used to be colourful. But very often you don't. Fallout 4 does a great job. You feel like this used to be a super colourful world... And and you still get that sense now, even though you can tell it's faded and it's chipped and whatnot. But you still get that sense. It's somewhere around this tree, isn't it? Hang on. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? I could have sworn you were right about here-ish. Am I misremembering where you are? There's a bench. I'm just walking around this tree in a circle. I could have sworn it was right here by the tree. That's just hub flower. Is it just nearby to the tree? Now, if I looked at it several times and not realised, maybe the bench? No. Hmm. Hang on. It's not inside the build. It's definitely not inside the build. It's not inside the building, is it? No. And this is this this like spawns a person to. If you go in here, it spawns a raider behind you. Oh bloody hell! Where are you? Are you by one of the gravestones? Oh, flip me. You're somewhere around here. You're somewhere... That was the wrong tree! It's a different tree. It was... I. It was by the tree. It was just the wrong tree. It's fine. So that's the turret one. That's fine. So now I could head due south. Uh, my next destination is there. I could go to College Square, but I feel like travelling fr from College Square is actually going to be more tricky than just heading south because i'm passing by covenant which is pretty safe yeah i'm just gonna head due south from here i think covenant should make that pretty safe i can't be just... wrong tree it was i, I just i just went to this graveyard that it's a, by a tree i know it's by a tree why is it up by the tree but it wasn't it wasn't that tree claire uh yeah shout out to tyler who gave us 50 dollars uh, and says, happy birthday. Your recent video convinced me to get Total War Warhammer 3. It's such a beautiful game. It is very, very beautiful. But I apologize because I basically, in the long run, probably the not that long run, uh, kind of compelled you towards get Warhammer 1 and 2. And also potentially quite a bit of DLC. Because ultimately you're going to want that Immortal Empires experience. So, oh. Oh, no, that's Lucas Miller. That's fine. He's he's well, cool. not said that they didn't have those before. Oh, though. fair enough. Yes, that you might well already have those. That's true. It is. It's got some lovely. I mean, like it's. Oh wait, I can talk about. I'm. I don't think I'm allowed to review. So I've got to be a bit careful what I say because I'm not allowed to review the game. What I can say is yes. Obviously, you're aware. I've played a lot of Immortal Empires. I, I've played like a good eighty hours of it. Holy shit! There's some good shit in there. That's not a review. That there was no score or indication as to overall objective quality. I didn't just review the game. Just said it was good. That's legal. I'm allowed to do that. That's 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 legal right there. Boom. It's not a review, but I will say there was quite a bit of um. Oh, just one more turn go. There was a little bit of one more turn going on, which actually weirdly I've been doing recently with um with Xenoblade. Rather than uh, rather than uh, Warhammer Three, I've been I've been back in Xenoblade One, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles One. I think you're allowed to review Xenoblade One. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you know, you know, my biggest thought of just replaying the opening act of Xenoblade One. Like I'm only just like barely at Colony Six. That does, you know, that does bring you quite a long. That does, that can be quite a long time. It's it's Shulk and Rhine is my favorite male friendship in all of gaming. 
they just absolutely adore respect and appreciate each other and there's no dumb false bravado there's no like dumb jealousy or anything there's no like you know banter you know to make sure we know oh yeah like no homo or anything it's just like no they're just two guys that absolutely love each other platonically like absolutely and there's like you know it's not you know, there's absolutely no element to which it is, like, you know, there has to be, uh, you know, any, any, uh, no homo nonsense. And there's also no element to which it's in any way, like, you know, queer baiting and, like, you know, it's clearly, you know, it's designed to appeal or be read as a gay relationship. It just straight up reads as, this is two guys who fucking love each other and are just so, so good to each other and good for each other. And it's lovely. It's really, really, really bloody lovely. Uh, so yeah, I, I love Shulk and Ryan's relationship uh, in, in, in Xenoblade Chronicles 1. It's great. It's just a really lovely, wholesome relationship. It's just, just a perfect model of like a male friendship. It's great. I love it. Absolutely great. Uh, so okay. Into Watts. I think there's no enemies in Watts if you don't do anything to wake them up. Uh, so we're just going to... Uh, Nip it. Oh yeah, there's there's uh there's some rad there's some rad roaches in the side cupboards. There's 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 actually um yeah jump scare rad roach. There is jump scare rad roach. So we're just going to uh we're just going to avoid him. We just need to go down to the bottom. I think this is safe. I think there's there's I don't think there's anyone in the in the these rooms over here. Terminal is just straight up door. Uh remote open. Fine. I don't think there's any rad roaches in here. Oh, there is one. Okay, but that's fine. Don't care. 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 Shut door. Bye. Did he make it out? He did make it. Oh, he's so tiny. He's so little. Oh my goodness. He's adorable. Uh, but that's fine. We won't get through here. Close that door. Rad roaches can't open doors. He's now trapped. Just in case he's not. There we go. Danger's already fading. And we're good. These guys can't do anything to me. I might be able to just help myself with some pre-war money and other forms of like uh, scavenging. There's always some good stuff here. I can actually use the hack function. Oh, in fact, that's actually interesting. As I've got the hack function, I'm just going to save in case this makes them hostile or anything. I've got the hack. You're currently deactivated. What happens if I wake you up? Do you attack? Or are you just... That's nice. Hi. Oh, no. Dick. No. Stop attacking me. Well, you don't get to be awake anymore. All right. Shouldn't have woken him up as it turns out. He just slapped me with a thing. Looks really strong. What a penis. Uh, I could just explode him. But I don't. I've decided I don't want to. Just love, just love, love the protectrons. But look at the protectron, Claire. Mm. Look at the little shit in his head. You can see all the shit in his head right there. Oh, he's lovely. He's, he's absolute little star. He's just so beautiful, the Protectron. Especially as, yes, this is a universe that doesn't have circuitry. Uh, yes, you can see that because he's got egg beaters in his head. Yeah, it's all like, uh, it's all supposed to be like uh, vacuum tubes. There's not actually like an, uh, I think it's like, it's not, there's, oh, there's Jump Scare Rad Roach. I forgot about him. We're just going to leave him in there. Every time. I feel, Why do I go in that cu cupboard every time and always get mildly surprised? That was probably the least jump scare jump scare Rad Roach has ever done to me. So there we go. That's the controls I need to disable the turrets and even get them on my side. And also get a uh, robot friend onto my side who can do an excellent job distracting. But right up to the final section... I can basically just sprint through, and it shouldn't be a major problem. I think there's only one, one robot friend. I think there's one robot friend. Uh, is yes, vacuum tubes are semiconductors, and that there, that's science. Don't a hundred percent sure what what that means, but like it means technology different. Like, all right, don't a hundred percent know what why. Uh, it's fine. There's talk of resistant to EMP, so military grade, something, something, something. I'm sure that's, that's, I'm sure that's true. Don't know, but I'm going to work under the assumption it is. So, I just love Protectron. Protectron friend is excellent. Uh, yeah, and uh, also Red Sev in chat wanted to know uh, how YouTube premium views contribute to creators. 
Um, they contribute because basically, excluding the cut Google themselves take, the funds are allocated to all the channels you watch on a basis of watch minutes. So, uh, basically it works out well. It's, it's a good system, it, you know, I think it's a, it's a good fair deal for creators, and we get a lot more than we would do off ad revenue. So, I'd say, you know, it, it's a good deal, and dog me, can we not And, like, we are a channel nice. that makes longer Is videos. Here, boys? Yes. You know, we're on the longer end, so it benefits us. Hey. Uh, quite well. There we go. Now we're back to dog meat proper, meaning I can... Oh, I can actually pet him. There's not actually a pet. There's a... Tell him to fetch. There's... Ask him if he does hey, tricks. Know any tricks. And then he does... <gasps> oh, good boy. But I'm not sure there's actually a pet command. Well, that's... Stay, yeah. Talk, trade. Oh, the talk commands is just fetch, dismiss, never mind, and tricks. Actually, you know, I'd never specifically noted that. But there is indeed is not actually a pet dog meat. So he's just going to be sent back to Sanctuary. And hopefully he's not going to run into anything en route. But if he does, it's not actually my problem. Uh, so that's fine. Just, you know, I haven't actually looked at the... Th I mean, I can't think what would be a problem. But uh, check the stats. Nope, zeros across the board. Uh, which is fine. We're going to go in the bottom route through the garage. Because we want to get to the... Uh, yeah, we want to get to Protectron Friend as early as possible. Going in through the roof is arguably a bit cleaner. But if you do that, then I think I was detected by a turret, but it doesn't actually matter. Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. Worst game. You can't even pet dog. It's true. You can't. Uh, you it is, get it is to weird. pet him when you first meet him. That's true. You do get a pet when you first meet, I assume. Yeah, grab Yeah, all. but apparently there's a mod so that you can pet dog meat all the time. And, oh. other, and there's another mod so that you can give him a baseball to play catch. That sounds excellent, doesn't it? Right. Synced animations are a lot of work. I can see why they didn't add that. Yeah, I mean, fair enough, but I just want to pet the dog. I feel like, yeah. Oh, they do a lot. They did a huge amount of work on the animations of dog meat. I'm surprised they didn't like have as a priority look we have to have i the mean dog meat is gorgeous dog meat is gorgeous this is some of the animation work is some of the finest animation work in any game ever dog meat i i think the uh, the way they've animated dog meat is absolutely spectacular the way that he interacts with the world and with you and the variety you get out of him is beautiful just absolutely beautiful so okay we can pacify these guys there's nothing to stop me doing a very slow pacify stacker like we did, what well, we had to do. But we don't have to do it here for the simple reason that, yeah, uh, it's not necessary. Because I don't have Nick following me around being a cocking monster. So instead, we are going to hack this terminal and we're going to get Robot Friend on the side. So I'm just going to quickly play Wordle. Uh, literally, it's actually the five-letter Wordle. So you're better at this than me. Actually, okay, it's not Wordle. Plant. Mm-hmm. Uh, plant. Pouch and today... You go, you go ahead while I figure this out. Okay, uh, shout out to Site42 who uh, gave us $50 and says, uh, Happy birthday, fellow nice. August buddy. Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the SCP Foundation oh. sends their regard. Excellent. <laughs> Indeed. And uh, Motor Rider gave us $50 Australian dollars. High level dollars. Uh, and says, good morning, Claire, and happy birthday, John. I hope you have an excellent day and a wonderful stream. I'll be catching up on the VOD uh, as I have to go to work. Keep being awesome and have some dollar -idos. Oh, Thank you for the dollar -idos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, indeed. All right, we got you on VIP, right? Yep, he should be on VIP. What are you, by the way? Oh, you're a basic level 5 Protectron. I feel like this isn't going to end desperately well for you, buddy. But he's just going to go do his own thing. He's just... I did put him into VIP mode, didn't I? Because he's just wandering off. But to be honest, that's fine. If he just wanders off and does his own thing, he'll take out some. And then he'll he'll do a lot of distraction. I just need to wait for the right moment to charge forward. There we go. So he's going to take out some of them. He's going to keep them busy. And then he's going to come over here. I'm currently in caution right now. And how's your health doing, buddy? You're not doing great. So now's, now, now's the time to just go and just basically YOLO straight past all these guys while they're distracted by him. There's going to be a squad leader over here, uh, which is fine. I'm going to be attacked by the turret into the elevator, into the elevator. Dance, dance, dance. Uh, the turret hits pretty hard. 
Go for a bit of that. Go for a bit of that. Go for a bit of that. Go, 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 bye! Ah, that's... That's the first section done. Uh, just double check, by the way, that the robot didn't do anything. Robot did nothing. There we go. And there we go. That that was stage one of the end of act one completed. Uh, just basically YOLO charging straight through. Uh, it's particularly manageable for the simple reason that, yes, you just need to go, like, I don't think enemies can follow you through, um, they can't follow you through elevator load zones. Door load zones? Yeah, they can. Elevator load zones? No, they can't. Uh, so this next one might be a little bit on the, uh, the trickier side, especially if I run low on supplies. I don't know whether this one's going to a door. So I feel like, and also there's way more of them. So, YOLO charging this one might be a lot more dangerous. But I've got Quantums. So we should be A-OK, -okay, hopefully. I'm, I'm going to at least try a YOLO charge. This gets me back out to the front. So, okay. Now we've got now we've got the loop complete. The problem is you're now coming out, which is going to make me a little bit vulnerable. The Synth Leader is present. Yeah, you just decided not to follow me up the corridor, which is weird. But okay. Dive straight in here. Loop around the outside. But they look at that. Like they hit really hard. These guys hit a lot harder. But I'm just going to attempt to just, st just stagger my way through this. Through here. Uh, that's going to hopefully damage them more than it damages me. Straight through here. Straight through here. Down, through. And if we're lucky, none of them will follow. Stage two complete so we're gonna be fine then yeah this i mean the sense could cut from upstairs but they won't be they won't they won't follow me downstairs they've they've long since those ones have long since lost me now the question is how many are you now going to spawn in this room none oh flip and love it that's that's the shit i wanted to see admittedly i am like i've got like no health okay three stim packs and i'm be needing to get back up to full health so none of them have followed me but this is where this starts getting uh, tricky. This is the, the, this is where this starts getting very tricky. Also, hang on, did, did someone follow me? How on earth are you detecting me from that far away? That doesn't seem right. Well, no one's followed me back this way. So it must be the ones up ahead, which is really weird. And Wait, what? What the shit? Hang on, what am I... I'm losing health. Have I been poisoned? No, bye! Was I, was I hit by a bleeding weapon? Did someone have... I don't know what effect I'm being hit by right now, but someone's hit me with something quite strong. Down. Closed doors. Fuck you. Uh, down. Left. Down. Just move past the turrets before they have a chance to start firing. Go in this direction. Ignore the kitchen. Straight through here. Uh, this is, this is actually looking... Three hits again. Straight through. Don't mind me. Bye, 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 bye. Straight through. Straight through. Bye. Straight up, straight through. This is oh, this is okay. Now we're up to the end bit, but I've already. You know what? It's fine because I've got the fat man. Do they? I think they might. If we're lucky, poison we, laser guns, maybe. Must be because somebody just killed me at the end there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the that. shit was that? Why was I? Why was I keeping taking damage that long? That was really weird. Uh, that was so weird. Well, I'm not taking it now. Okay, some people are saying permanent fire damage bug from the oil slick on the previous map, which is possible. Right, straight past. Don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me. Right, same again. It went pretty well last time. Straight through. Closed door. Straight through. Left. Straight through. Right. We're past before they even fire. Just keep spamming the stems. Uh, straight through, don't mind me. I don't need any of the rest of that. Straight through, I'm gonna need another stem right there. Keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Hi guys, don't mind me. And... Nope. How's the health? It's fine. I think possibly they're going to, if we're lucky, despawn when I reach this room. Because he's going to... This is the point where he says, okay, you've made it, let's talk. So I'm kind of hoping they won't be able to follow me. They just won't be able to. My synths are standing down. Does that mean all the synths or just the one standing right next to him? Okay. Hide right here. Just let them chill out for a second. I'd like to chill out. Caution. 
can't sleep when enemies are nearby, so I'm still too close for that. But, I will say the bare minimum. Those turrets, yeah, I think we've lost the synths. I think the turrets are still active, but the synths aren't. So, okay. Straight through. Straight through right there. I'm hearing, wait, what? I think that's just a physics object. I'm hearing a click, a click, a clatter. I don't know if it's just a physics object. All zeros. Okay, so here's the plan. Here's here's the, the best plan that we've got right now. Which is, in this room, we've got uh, Kellogg. And we've got ourselves uh, two cents. Now, we might need to... I kind of came here a little bit early now, I think about it. Kind of came here more than a bit too early. Hmm. Claire, mm. I may have made a miscalculation here. What do you mean? Well, I can't help but have a think. That what I've done is I've come here before I've actually got the ability to incite <laughs> the, 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 the sense. And also something is going flickery flicker. And also, of yeah, it's the turret fire sound. It's just bugged apparently. Okay, if I just reload, will that get rid of that? Can we get rid of that right there? Can we get rid of the turret sound? Yep, that's got rid of that. What I need is, I think I need to be the uh, okay. Also, are all the synths gone? Okay, if I if I retrace my steps now, are the synths now gone? Go. No. No, 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 it's fine. Are the synths gone? The synths are not gone. They just decided they felt like standing down. Okay, they just didn't feel like pursuing. So that's absolutely fine. Get in here. This gives me the... The code's in here, isn't it? Uh, I swear, well, one, bare minimum, at least I get a covert ops manual, which is never going to hurt. Uh, but Ooh. it... Yes. Jolly Otter says, if you leave now, the security doors will lock behind you and soft lock the game. Is that true? No, no. Interesting. I mean, all I need is the ability to tank nuke fire. Which is admittedly, you know, not, not the easiest thing in the world, actually. I thought the tape was in here, the security pass. Oh, no, the security password's in the previous area behind the thing. That is not where I, I thought that was going to be. So that's absolutely fine. Okay. Close you. There's no actual security thing in here. Hmm. Those synths are non-hostile for the time being. But yes, I can pacify the synths. That's fine. I cannot pacify... Actually, you know, I might have been able to pacify the synths. Okay. Let's just drop a safe here. And let's just... Let's investigate this room. Let's investigate this room. Level 5. Level 18. Level 5. Since can, in theory, be pacified. He can. So that's interesting. I mean, I'm guessing... Pa and you guys are just up there too. That's that's hilarious. You guys are just doing your own thing up there. So that's fine. There is no charisma solution to any of this. Which is unfortunate. Is there any, by any chance, has anyone... In this, is this chest got... Uh, no, is this chest does not have dense armor or padded armor. Which is unfortunate. Okay, how else could I... No, pickpocket grenade's not going to do the job well enough. Okay. What we could do is, is... Does he mind if I just walk away? If I just walk away, he's fine with that. I think the best plan I've got is to try and use scenery to trick this guy into, into firing when he's going to hit his friend. Okay, we could still potentially make this happen. Okay, drop a safe here. Step one. This guy is going to be my killer. He's going to be the guy who gets the kill. Zero percent chance to place. Amazing. Oh it no. It is quite a big thing to just stick in somebody's pocket. Oh no. This is this is unfortunate. This this wasn't supposed to happen. Zero percent chance to place. Try it anyway. It doesn't happen. And then he then he attacks. Then then this guy attacks me. Then Kellogg. Okay, then Kellogg also attacks. Uh so that's that's not flying. 
That's not gonna fly. Zero. Oh, it's based on weight. The fat man is too big. What could I give him? In t okay, okay, okay. There's still there's still options. What weapon does he have? He's got. Well, I can give him grenades. He'll he'll use grenades if he gets given grenades. It's possible he could blow up his friend by mistake. He could blow up his friend by mistake if I just give him some grenades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's live grenades. Oh, the first grenades. Okay, hang on. If I give him the grenade, okay, then I take the live frag grenade back. I can't take the life frag grenade back. Can you exit? Yeah, but then he's got the life frag grenade on his person. Yeah, and then you have killed him. That's a kill. Though mysteriously Kellogg doesn't mind his, his own bodyguard blatantly being exploded. Yeah, that's going to be a kill against him. Yeah, yeah one synth killed. I, the thing is, I'm trying to give him grenades to use. I don't want him to actually explode. I can't pickpocket the life one back. <laughs> oh, no. Um, This is interesting. Pickpocket. No, no, not detected. Hidden. There is no give all button, which is amazing. I don't want to... If you place a mine, is that live? Oh, that's live too. You can't take it back. Uh, presumably because at that point it is live. So he's about to explode. He just dies to the mine right there. I help myself to... Yes, hello. Yes, it's lovely to see you there. If I pacify your friend, do you care? Stop right there. It doesn't seem to annoy you that much. Okay, if we just pacify... If we, if we pacify his friend, just to get his friends out of the way. That um, will... Can you drop stuff on the ground and will they pick it up? Interesting. Yes, that might be the better option. Just basically give them bait. But if I do that, I need to also drop the ammo, I think. I don't know if they pick up if they pick up a gun, the game just gives them that. So I'm just gonna drop this right here. So there's the fat man, and there's where's the where'd the mini nuke go? I mean, there's the mini nuke. Okay. Right. Definitely don't pick this up. Whatever you do. Well reverse psychology. Eh? <laughs> God, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. Now what we do is we go over here to this side of the room. And what we try and do is we pacify this guy. Oh, can you can put the mini nuke in his pocket because it's weight base. If you give That's him a mini true. nuke and drop a fat man in front of him. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, that seems reasonable. That's a reasonable thing right there. Don't mind me, buddy. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Just to turn away. Yeah, this is... This now is, you're so hidden. This is such a sensible thing that's, that makes sense. Uh, right, give him give him the mini nuke. The mini, the mini nuke has away. Yeah, 90%, which I assume is the cap. Okay, he's got the mini nuke. He now has a mini nuke, and there is a fat man sitting in front of him. This is the toughest thing. <laughs> Keep dropping saves. Keep dropping a series of saves. Now, the now the next plan is I'm going to now be round the back in the hope that he fires at me, but he gets caught on the scenery and takes out Kellogg instead. But I need this guy to be disabled, and that might trigger the fight. Okay. So the plan is, step, step the next, is just drop a save here and pacify this guy. Stop right there. And that will trigger the rest of them to fight. And now I, just want, I, want, I need this guy to fight. Yeah, he's, he's doing it. Holy shit, he picked, so he picked it up. up. He 100% picked it up. Cool. I need to, to, buddy, I need you to do, I need you to do this. Okay. Fire him once. Get his attention. Go. Fire. Fire Fire in my direction. Fire in this direction. Fire in this direction. Fire at Kellogg. Holy shit, he actually did it. Wait, who did he fire at? Where's Kellogg? Is, is Kellogg okay? Where's, where the fuck is Kellogg? What's, okay, um. Well, I mean, if you can't find him in that. Well, I mean, that's sort of do jet to figure out what the fuck is happening. Where is Kellogg? Where is Kellogg? Is is Kellogg? I think Kellogg. Might, I think it might have worked. Where the fuck Holy is Kellogg? Shit. Where is Kellogg? Keep doing jet. I need to find his body. Where's he gone? Oh shit! Is he invisible? Oh shit! Is he used the stealth boy? He might have just stealthed. I think he's stealth. 
Well, but where's the other guy? Did he blow himself up? Did he only, is it because he only had the one mini nuke? Yeah, there's you. Hi. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Is Kellogg, is Kellogg around? I, I, I think he must be invisible. I think he's activated as a stealth boy. Oh. Yeah, you'd get a quest update if he was dead. There's people tossing grenades. There's, there he is. He's, he's literally full health. Lol. And what happened, what happened to the mini nuke, man? What happened to the mini nuke? Did it work? Did it, I mean, did he, did he hit it? Maybe he's stealth boy. I don't know. We need, we need to. This... Can you pickpocket the stealth boy off of him? In theory, uh, yes. I think that, Actually, I don't know if he turns to face me all the time. Okay, this is so dumb. His, this, it's so dumb. Uh, I think somebody that... says they saw his health bar very briefly. Did it in any way go down? I don't know. I think he just always turns they to. They can't hit each other. Can they not? Also, I think I can't pickpocket him because he's engaging me in conversation. So I'm not sure I can pickpocket him. They don't take friendly fire. Do they not? Oh no! My genius plan! Do we have a plan B? I can't I can't pickpocket him because we're engaged in conversation. So. So yeah. there's there's no conf like when you're in conference when he he wants to engage in conversation every time I face him. I can't do that oh no oh no oh no we need to do we actually need to run stand beside kellogg then turn a corner <laughs> lol this is Let's... so dumb this oh. is the dumbest ship but it's 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 the best bet i've got drop a save here attempt Vincent pacification says... hi Vincent... hi yeah pick it up 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 now just Oh no, I went into conversation with Kellogg! <laughs> um, okay, so, uh. Uh, Vincent says, John, I've tried this before. The only way through is to bring a companion, dismiss him, and start the fight. That's no. There's, there's, there's a different way. We've got to be able to, to pacify and incite these guys. Pacifying and inciting has got to be Can viable. Can you pickpocket the password? I can't pickpocket him at all. I mean, I don't know whether I could... And during combat, you can't pickpocket. And during conversations, you can't pickpocket. So there's no pickpocketing this guy. Pickpocketing these guys, that's fine. Looking at their infantry, not a problem. Uh, the problem... Yeah, I cannot pickpocket him at all. Uh, the Circus Syringer. The what? The Syringer with Berserker ammo. Uh, it theoretically might work, but it seems very unreliable. Uh, I mean, I guess it could. Okay, best bet I've got is just start the fight. Right here. Yeah, there we go. That's going to get... Oh, blimey, it's been immediately shot. Okay, just go into... Just stack everything. Go into Jad. He's going to try and fire at me, so I'm just going to stand next to him. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yep, yeah, fire. Fire at me, you dicks. Fire. I know he's here. I, I can see him right there. Yeah, fire at me. Fire at me. Boom! Well, it got me. We've officially managed to confirm I can persuade them to fire at me. The question is, can I persuade I'm them? Sorry, were we were were we wondering whether or not we could get them to fire at you? Because I thought that was the thing we knew about already. The question is whether I can stack enough combination of damage resistances. Uh, yeah, Malachi says uh, I think your original thought that you need to be able to insight is likely true. I agree. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spam every stim pack simultaneously and also eat all the meat and everything and also I'm gonna psycho and I'm just gonna stay right next to Kellogg and you're gonna pick up that. Alright, and then you're gonna fire it at- oh fuck, where's Kellogg? He's right there. And go, go, fire it, fire it! I feel like you might be right on that whole friendly fire thing but they're not friends anymore if i incite them to not be part of the same team yeah so okay now people are suggesting there's a soft lock but then again we've got plenty of earlier we've got saves, pl yeah. plenty of earlier saves if need be so okay we can't come back here yet although okay how do we feel about cheating Define the cheating. I could just give myself enough XP to get up to level 21 and have access to the insight per the the insight for these guys. Okay, well, 
it is officially no longer your birthday. Uh huh. Uh, so happy unbirthday to you. I'm going to. Oh fuck! What is it? Uh, is it player dot reward or is it no? Is it player? It's. It's mod AV. Is it player dot mod AV experience? I think it's player dot mod AV experience, etc. Um, in theory, if I can, yes, cheating isn't murder. This is an experimental run, so I'm going to cheat right now. Uh, I mean, this is just this is this is for science. This is definitely for science. Yeah. Uh, this is. Uh, Do it. We'll pretend. We'll pretend that you gr that you did grinding. I believe it's player dot. Is it mod AV experience? Then a number. Is that right? Yeah. There we go. That's. I. I remember my. I know my things. It's different. It's player dot reward XP in three and four. So okay. Just pret Oh no. I've. I've. I, I've just reached level twenty. That's literally short of just what I needed. Uh, yeah, but saying, you did a lot of points, so... I think, I don't, I think set level sometimes mess the game. I think mod AV is that. I know, I'm sorry. But I need to, I, I'm just curious whether this works. Like, the actual way you do this is you literally grind your way to level 20 in, uh, flipping, uh, like, yeah. settlement building before you oh, even player leave. player dot set level 21. Huh? Player dot set level 21. Uh, that's one way of doing it. I think set level can sometimes mess things up. Yes, this is testing. You're actually watching a test run right now. So this is legit and fine and definitely not a crime. Uh, don't, no one oh, tell you. you can straight up go to player.adperk. I could do that. I don't, I, I often forget to do that. So as soon as that's done, like sometimes the game could be a bit fussy if you do that. So okay, I think I need another, another 2,000 should do it. So all I need is the, um... Wait. Mm. What? Well, it just seemed like the XP bar had gone up a bunch of times. Yeah, it's leveled up multiple times. I was at level like 13 or something, I need, but I need to be 21 ah. for this to actually work. So, okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, I've leveled up a few times. So now we now we can make this work. It's going to be fine. So, successfully pacify Wasteland Creature. We've now got that. Uh, we can't do that for Intimidation. Uh, just yet. We can also make it easier to pickpocket. Now, I'm not sure whether that might allow me, now I've got that, to potentially get the new launch onto him. Whether, it, despite its weight, we could do that anyway. I do not know. And the rest probably wants to go into, yeah, a little bit of stealth to help me out with stealthing. That's fine. A little bit more damage reduction. Yes, brilliant. Um, any of the rest of this actually useful, or should the rest go into endurance? Okay, now I'm a oh, bit. Oh, that's tougher. so funny. Uh, yes. Steve uh, in chat. Uh, so, uh, do you know if uh, Idiot Savant can trigger on that comment? Here we are. Sorry. Can Idiot Sav can Idiot Savant trigger on that command? No, because it's, it's yourself... no, you definitely No, I can't. know it's not, it's a joke, it's funny, because yeah. you gave yourself 10,000 XP. It is still zero chance to hit. It is still zero chance uh, to, to place that. But I could give this guy the assassin's hunting rifle. That's 90%. Like, I've got to assume that's better at taking out a human. So if we give him that, and then I give him some ammo for it, which is the 308 mm. rounds... So just just give him that. There we go. Okay, there you go, buddy. Let's... He's now got the assassin's hunting rifle. So you're now you're now well set up, buddy. Um, so you've got you've got that. Wait. Did yes, you... that was the game's birthday gift to you. Mhm. Mm so he's still with the mini nuke. I'm going to take the wow. mini nuke back, and then I'm going to maybe I should actually you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should have given that to the other guy. Yeah, I might just take that back, and then oh, what, wait, what did I just take off him? Wait, if I take your ammo... Oh, then you've got no choice but to basically pick that up. Sorry. Um, yes, I feel like actually if you've got no gun at all, you've got the mini nuke. Now, yeah, I can literally... I've take. Wait, why was I able to take your gun off you? That was... Oh, because le level three pickpocket, uh, which is quite useful. Um, so, okay, drop this right here. So that's there for you. You don't have a gun right now. So now what we should be able to do is, yeah, we should be able to pacify him the pacification will cause him to go uh will cause him yeah will cause everyone else to attack me but not him meanwhile i can tell him to go into aggro mode the problem is kellogg may well kill him 
too fast. That's the problem we've got here. So we've got to drop a save Yeah, here. but if he aggros first and he has the fat man... Attempt failed. Though that weirdly didn't aggro anyone. Uh, but this is fine. Actually, I probably should have come in power armor. Maybe power armor would help me tank one nuke. Right. Pacify. Yeah. And now... Now what I want you to do, buddy, is incite. Kill. And now, yeah, pick it up, 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 pick it up. Holy shit, he's doing it. Holy shit, it worked! Yeah! Holy fucking shit! Holy yes! fucking shit! Holy Woo! fucking shit! Happy birthday! Yeah. Now, bear in mind, that would work perfectly normally, even if, if you were just level 21. So if I just, like, you know, come and decided to grind, my, grind a bit here, that would have worked. Holy fucking shit! He just painted up and fucking nuked Kellogg! <laughs> nice. Good work. Now, the, the question is, what else is here? Did, 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 did he die? Did everybody die? Well, there's the fat man. Okay, I think... Well, there's a fat man and there's a pile of blue goo. I think the other one shot him, but where's he? Maybe he shot himself with that nuke as well. Like, maybe the nuke... Where's the other... Oh, hang on. Oh, there's the there's, there's things who are up there who are now get, uh, allowed to be hostile again, which is weird. But okay, let's just also verify this to make sure we haven't ruined everything. Nice. Jimmy Cleaner Hands! The synth got vaporized, but not by. I Oh, he must have been vaporized by his friends up there. The problem we've got now is okay, now he I. He shot the boss. Yeah, no, no, he got vaporized by his friends up there who I didn't take out earlier. Yeah. So now I'm just hiding up back here. I need to get the... There he is. Kellogg's Terminal Password. There's the Brain Augmenter. Take all the things. Stim packs. All like the rest of it. stealth boys. Yeah. There's, this is good. fine. Now, I need now to, you can stealth if you like. Now I need to use this terminal, which I can do even in combat. Which is fine. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Security door controls. Open the doors. That's fine. Uh, access logs. And yep, there we are. Delivered to institute payment received. So now I know I now I need to go back to Nick. Oh, this is so ridiculous. The doors are now open. Save. Because now I need to get out. No, no, it's fine. Bye, 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 bye. That door doesn't close. This this door might open. Go, 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 go. Bye! No kills! Woo! Zero kills! Okay, so we had to we had to So clean For the sake of cheating for the sake for the sake of cheating. For the sake of actually doing this relatively efficiently and not just grinding for ten levels. We did have to uh, you know console command ourselves some experience. But if you just wait until you were level 21 to come here, that works pretty cleanly. Just straight up give him the nuke launcher, incite him, he just fucking nukes Kellogg. Works like a charm. Absolute works like a char. Shout out to Malachi Jesus. who gave us ten dollars and says, "Jimmy, motherfucking clean hands." His hands are indeed clean. The yeah, the pit indeed. boy, the pit boy that is smeared with blood and ash, ah. clearly states zero, zero, uh, zero uh, kills. As you can see from my own computer, as you can see from this thing on my own wrist, I am clearly innocent and have never done anything wrong at any point in my life. There we go. Vault tech calling. Apparently, yes, we've done. Uh, Alex says that shouldn't work. I've always had that method give me a kill count. Well, mm. it did. It, it, it worked. It worked. Deactivate all the turrets because we never killed them. Uh, so that's fine. Then security door. Yeah, that's all absolutely fine. Open door. That's absolutely okay. Yep, the turret should now be down. And with that. Hey, it's everyone's favorites, the Brotherhood of Steel, making the best entrance in the entire franchise. And as we have previously established, if you have uh, got all of these speed boosting items, you can beat them to the airport. You can outrun their airship. In fact, it's not even close. If you've got the right speedy runny items, you can just absolutely annihilate them in the speed. Also, it's really nice when they come at night. Because at night, you get all the spotlights. Which I think looks really, really nice indeed. So there we go. That is Act 1 of, uh, yes, uh, Fallout 4. Uh, including the escape, Nick's bloody escape. Uh, despite Nick being an absolute cocky monster. 
and also Ke and killing Kellogg, who cannot be negotiated or talked down in any way. <laughs> all taken care of. Absolutely all taken care of. No trouble. Every everything is fine. The world is under control. But yeah, I think like the way you the old and admittedly the reason I didn't do it this way is because honestly it's boring. Um, the old like technique to optimize this method is uh, hey, literally just break down everything in Sanctuary Hills and build all the most efficient things. Break them back down and build half the same number again. Break them back down, build half the same number again. Break them back down, build half the same number again. And then keep doing that indefinitely. And there's the UFO, by the way, arriving literally past the Brotherhood. Nice. Brotherhood probably should be interested in that, but they're not. Um, also, the, the blimp is slightly... Guys, is your blimp okay? Guys, the blimp's... Blimps? Never mind, I'm sure it's fine. There we go, it loaded the low poly version though. It's just a slight uh, slight bit of latency there. I've never seen the UFO actually uh, d downing alongside the bridge web. That's excellent. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's where we are with that. And now there's a whole bunch of very easy XP uh, to be picked up like in no time whatsoever. Uh, so that's good if you got if you know if you need to get a bit high because obviously next up is intimidation and with intimidation we can finally get the cocking minute men on side. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Julian who gave us a hundred and sixty Australian dollars uh, and says keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on, indeed. How many pages are you on, by the way? Just so I know how bad the situation is. Uh, this is page eight and this is the end, but there's <laughs> more on. Yeah. Oh no, I, I assumed it would be significantly down from 7 at this point. No. No. No, it got more because you got really excited about the various exploits and you were talking a lot. <laughs> and then uh, we started cheating. Anyway, shout out to Foster who gave us $100 and says, Happy birthday, John. Hi, Claire. Enjoy some birthday money to spend on something fun. Thank you always for all the videos, analysis, and fun times. I look forward to many more years. Indeed. Or at least bare minimum one. I think it would be sad if we didn't make it to ten at this point. <laughs> yeah, I mean... But eleven is just a weird number. Maybe we'll wrap the channel up after ten years. That'll be the end. No more channel. Claire has to go, you know, work to work back at the fish gutting factory. God, I'd be terrible at that. Really? I think you'd be good at fish gutting. You're practical and handy. I think you'd do a really good job gutting fish. That's true. You might cut your own hand off. It is possible. I'm sorry. Anyway, mm. uh, let's see. I need to find a way to start an urban homestead. Yeah. Uh, get some goats. Shout out oh, goats! I want goats. Jacobs, who gave a shout out to Jacob, who gave us forty-five Danish krona, uh, and says uh, plus one for crew shadows. Uh, that's the the band we were talking about. Oh yeah, here. they're one of my favorites. I often use their birthday song to say happy birthday. Oh, then we shall listen to that after the stream. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Caleb gave us ten dollars and says I completely forgot about this stream, but holy hell, I'm so excited now. Uh, I'm so excited that I've got the Actually, day off now. Uh, happy birthday, John. Happy birthday to you too. Lol. I'll head down. Uh, All right. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just uh, completely out of context, Claire would be covered in cats. That's true. The cats would like the smell of the fish. That makes sense. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And Dangerous Mind is another... In fact, yeah, Dangerous Mind... Yeah, Reunions Wrapped Up is a freebie. Dangerous Mind is a freebie. Shadow of the Sky and Tour of Duty are freebies. The moment you've wrapped up Reunions, there's a lot of just freebie quests for just free XP, uh, which is important in No Kill. Because when you're doing No Kill, you simply do not have the ability to grind XP. Piper, you're... Piper! Walk, Piper! You don't have the ability to grind XP in the same way that other characters do, because other characters can just go and kill. It's super easy. But you level up so slowly as pacifist, just because the balance of combat XP to everything else XP is so not in your favor, uh, which is a real shame. Uh, so yes, we've now got double insight, but we need the triple insight. We need the human insight to have uh, any chance of dealing with... Uh, Yes, uh, the Minuteman. Though, I'm not sure what we do with the last surviving Minuteman. 
question mark, question mark, question mark right there. Not 100% sure. I mean, maybe... I mean, okay, interesting observation. Nick Valentine, when he walked past all the people who had been pacified, said, oh, uh, loud, loud and violent or something, indicating that as far as the AI is concerned, when it witnesses a pacified individual, it views them as a corpse. The way that they... Uh, the way that they... That's what he says when everybody's dead? Well, he can... He basically, when you come downstairs from rescuing Nick, he hides and says, hey, there's more of them coming. How do you want to play this? Do you want to be... Do you want to sneak around them or do you want to kill them? And like, depending on which option you go for, whether ah, you sneak or kill, yes. he says a different line. And when we were walking out, he used the, oh, fast and violent line, like to indicate, hey, you shot them. Oh, we didn't, that's how you want to play it. But we didn't shoot anybody. Yeah. So that suggests that as far as the AI is concerned, the way that the game is programmed... The reason that people leave surrender people alone is because it thinks they're already dead. They're basically tagged as uh, this is a corpse, so that the end uh, they get left alone. Yeah. I assume that's what's going on in the background. That would suggest that because the rules say, hey, in order to get into the final room of the Museum of Freedom, you have to kill all the raiders. If they've surrendered and they work for me, is that good enough? Question. Question, question, question. Yeah, we need to do a science around that. Some people say it's just bugged and that's just his one line. Oh, I just that that's also possible. It could be a very Bethesda! It could, it could be a Bethesda game or it could be a really intricate method of programming. Probably the <laughs> Who knows? Ah, oh, Bethesda games, lovely. Uh okay. It's all under control. We got a whole bunch of stuff we can do in a hurry. Though Shadow of Steel is going to be the easiest option. Just basically getting a free ride and then a free tour round the uh, around the bridge web. That will be all absolutely fine too. Claire. Uh, yes, a shout out to, let's see, shout out to Steve who gave us £25 uh, and says, Hey John, hey Claire, I'm visiting London for a week to visit the Pokemon World Championships. Which I saw that on Twitter. Tomorrow. I saw that on Twitter. I think some people have started arriving already because I definitely saw pictures from inside today. Yeah, and that's the case for Steve. Steve says, my first donation in pounds. Also, of course, happy birthday Day to John. You. Me, in fact. Yes. Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, and also, uh, also, yes. Uh, on the on the ten years thing, uh, Foster has been a member for thirteen months, um, and uh, says, uh, John, could you really stop at ten years? Dan's still going, and you can't be outdone by him, can ya? Well, for a certain volume of going. Wow. I mean, you know, I have made more videos in the last week than he has in the last two years, so, you know. <laughs> I like being a dick to Dan. Mm -hmm. That's true, you're right. I've got to kill Dan and then keep going long enough to overtake him. That's... Sorry, I'm just more used to you being a dick to Matt. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's, 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 it is, it's, it's definitely more a Matt thing. <laughs> All right, lads, we're going for a ride upstairs. So, yes, there's now just going to be a giant part of plot. I'm just going to get a ride to the Pridwin. Then we're going to do a tour around the Pridwin. It's just free experience. And then uh, once that's done, we're also just going to get to Good Neighbor, which is a pretty easy run up the street. And then uh, the Memory Den, which is literally just running through plot. So there's now going to be a giant pile of plot in a row. But it's going to be worth XP that will hopefully be enough. To get me up to level uh, 23, uh, which will be enough for, yes, the inciting humans, a rank 2 of intimidation. So, yeah, we'll see if that all uh, works right there. Don't worry. So, uh, yeah, Claire, all yours while we're doing the plot. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Jake, who gave us $10 and says, I found your channel when my long term partner left me. Oh, no. You guys have been a constant source of good vibes and a continuing bright point for me and thousands of others. I greatly appreciate you both. Oh. Well, we're glad we could help in any way. Yes. That was actually Semper and Victor, wasn't it? I don't actually have to do Semper and Victor. Yes, there we go. I can skip Semper and Victor. Semper and Victor is wild because, like, the, the weird thing is, I think what's going on is the the chap always sends you, or seems to always send you to just Claret College Square, 
which is just around the corner. And the woman can send you anywhere and has a weird habit of sending you to Far Harbor. Let's just verify that. Are you going to send me to... Yeah, 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 I don't care. Everything's fine. Are you going to actually... Yeah, there we go. Are you going to send me straight away to... Yes, I am. Just give me the dab aside, but stop backstorying me. So, yeah, clear the trash, ghouls, etc. All the details. And the mission was... Cleansing. Yeah, he always says College Square. She seems to want to send me up the bloody coast to Acadia. Speaking of which, where's she just gone? Oi, get back here. Where have you just gone? Excuse me. I was after a mission. I've been sent to the Far Harbor by her so many times. Okay, you know what? It's fine. I know your mission was going to be trash. You didn't get to even give it to me. Let's do some plot. Claire. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to Jean who gave us uh, five dollars uh, and says, "Happy birthday, John! Thank you so much for all the years of entertainment." I was curious, what are you playing off screen these days? Xenoblade Chronicles One replay uh, is the big thing at the moment that's eating some time, and obviously um, uh, a lot of uh, Immortal Empires and Warhammer Three, which I've got, and you don't. Nin 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 nin. Uh, <laughs> it's really good. Uh, I think you get it. I think I think everyone gets in like five days. I think it's five. I think it's the twenty. No, six days. I think it's the twenty third, August twenty third. Um, so yeah, uh, everyone's gonna get that in just six days. It's it it's it's good in a not review sort of way. It in, in a, like in a non specific, not numerical, and non evaluational sort of way. It's good. <laughs> that's that's all I can say legally. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Hugh, who gave us five pounds, uh, and says, Hello, John and Claire. I'm a long-time fan of the channel, and today seemed like an appropriate time to become a channel member. Happy birthday, John. Happy birthday to me, too. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, Jason, uh, gave us five dollars. Says, Happy birthday, John. Today is also my grandma's 92nd birthday. I can't wait to see what game you'll be playing at that age. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, at some point, uh, this whole thing will turn out to be a very long con where I've just picked up so many games and so many review codes that when I decide to retire, I can just spend the rest of my life playing video games and I'll never get through them all. It's going to be great. Yeah, but they'll keep coming out and you'll want some new ones, wouldn't it? It's true. But then again, you know, sometimes sometimes gaming goes backwards as well as forwards. Sometimes, you know, we get into bad habits. And maybe in the future, gaming will be about nothing but NFTs. And we'll just be, you know, very, and we'll just be all wishing we still had the old stuff. Hard to say. I'm trying to provoke everyone, by the way, because I'm curious if it's even if it's theoretically possible for this vertebrate to be shot down. If I cause enough trouble with literally everyone, whether this vertebrate could be destroyed. I don't know, and I've never seen it done, but I don't know if it's... Oh, I'm going to shoot the other vertebrate. Where's the other vertebrate? Go. Screw you, other vertebrate. Come get me, you stupid loser. I think that vertebrate's. Uh, I think that vertebrate can't be here. I think that vertebrate might not really be that sad as it is. Screw you, robot! Yeah, that's right. That's right. Shoot my stupid vertebrate down, you dicks! There we go. That's gonna have done some damage. I, I, I suspect this vertebrate is unkillable, but I've done my best to try and bring her down. Damn it! Including shooting her in the engine, but you cannot shoot your own vertebrate. As sad as that is, you can shoot dance when he gets out, but you can't shoot your own vertebrate. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. David uh, gave us six dollars and two cents, uh, and the usual, uh, the usual, um, uh, um, mm, mm, update on the finance. Oh, currency situation. Yes, indeed. The currency markets. Yes. Sorry, I am. It is a bit late, so I'm losing words. Uh, David says the pound is down forty-one percent against the dollar. Harsh. Uh, let's. Ignore uh, DGIA wishing you guys a joyous natal anniversary and unlike the markets, many happy returns. <laughs> yes, the inflation is not. The inflation is good. The yeah. currency situation is not bad because the strange thing is uh, Google, uh, Google and Patreon do not trade in pounds. So when the pound goes down, it, it doesn't hurt us. It it's actually helps. Uh. I mean, yes, but we do have to 
you know, spent pounds yes. in our lives. <laughs> And it's but not yes, like there's no inflation in the US, you know. But yes, Google officially we deal with um, Google Era, who deal who work yes. in in euros and in the. Are you gonna? Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. What just happened? Vertibud just said, "I'm gonna fly straight through the bridge." Went, "Fuck you!" And just, just straight up just embossed me with the rotor blades. Oh dear. Dear oh flipping dear. Clap! Uh, yeah, we've got a message from Taka who gave us 25 bolishes lotty and says, uh, Good John, well that ain't happening. Uh, good luck and happy birthday. The string or right, the stringer rifle might be helpful for this run. The what? Stringer rifle? I think it might be syringer. Syringer, I think that's, yeah, autocorrected for syringer. Oh, autocorrected, of course. Yeah, I that's not, I think that's a syringer autocorrect, I think. Good old yeah. stringer rifle. Captain Kells? I mean, I don't well, know. It could be. You're the one and uh, I, I, I'm not aware of such a weapon. I'm almost I mean, certain that's syringer. What Somebody asked Looks earlier in chat, like, how well do I know Fallout from just, like, you know, seeing all the streams and editing some videos and whatever. This is what you get. It's a weird kind of mix where, like, I'm able to, you know, immediately intuit things like... Well, if you go through a load zone, it's going to follow you and, like, stop the enemies and whatever. And load like, zone following you with enemies is so inconsistent. I, I am not, I wouldn't confidently state that one way or the other. Sure, but you Aside know from I, elevators, where they just can't. Okay, but, like, what I was saying is, earlier, I made some points that, like, turned out to be true. And whether or not that's true always, like, I had an idea, like, hey, actually, they probably stopped... They probably aggroed because you went into the monitor. Yeah. And so they stopped being... But no, that like, makes sense, yeah. I don't know that there's not a stringer rifle, you know what I mean? Like, so it's a bit... It's a bit... Oh. Okay, uh, shout out to Ambrose, who gave us $25 and says, It's your birthday! It is, you know. Uh, I was really hoping to just put a grenade up to Max during the meeting, but no. You, you can't do that. No. I can, put a, I can put a grenade onto this person and then move straight on to the next. Well, I mean, yes, you can, but that is a murder. <laughs> Does well, anyone else can? Hey, that. everyone decides I was to blame. Yes, because that's a murder. I think if I put it on the person in the middle of the room, it might get everybody. And if I had uh, Explosion 3, it might just... I think, yeah, the, the person who's most in the middle yeah, would be one of these. Well. Yeah. If I just put you in, right about here, just one, one frag grenade. Right here. Back off. Back off. No. <laughs> I mean, that's a good, that's a good, um. And now everyone's decided, everyone's decided, well, everyone's decided, oh, I'm the bad guy all of a sudden. What did I do, you dicks? All I did was try and plant a grenade on your leader. It's fine. It's not a problem at all. Fine, I'll just let you speak, I suppose. And this is cute. If you bring dog meat to the scene, by the way, when they salute, he gets upon his hind legs and his little dog salute. It's very That's cute. very cute. Cla! Yes, silly Spartan gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, there's a bug with dualist effect that causes enemies to drop their ranged weapons. Interesting. Oh, yeah, if, you're, if they... Yes. Okay, I, I think I've heard of that before, but I've never witnessed it in action. Uh, Draken Mensch Silverflare gave us ten Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, says, Happy birthday, John. Have some Canadian hitchy and scratchy fun bucks. I do enjoy Canada money. Canada money's lovely. Uh, Sunshine, uh, yes, Sunshine Tidings gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! I hope that Mr. Handy doesn't ruin your cake." Uh, <laughs> very, very cute. Plasma Storm gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday!" Connor gave us ten Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. And says, "Happy birthday, John! Maybe you can figure out my problem." I've been eating all kinds of yogurt, trying to gain psychic powers, but it's not working. The label says it's supposed to be probiotic. Uh, boo. Lol. Anyway. Uh, 
We've got a message from Julianne who gave us 30 euros uh, and says, Happy birthday, you magnificent bastard. Thank you for this. Uh, what, only, what can only turn into a collateral damage special. It's actually a philosophical stream and I love it. Uh, so also, happy John Day to Flair. Oh. I've enjoyed John Day. It's been I mean, a I've good enjoyed day. John Week, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I believe in birthdays be being, being a week-long thing, so I'm implementing I that. certainly have been receiving cake and, and other Thanks. kind gestures. This is certainly true. Yes, and we're, we're going to have a, a really nice... Uh, I mean, not tonight, because it's going to be so late, but yes. at some point this week, we're going to have a really swish, like, um, Turkish food mm. dinner. Yes, um, I do love Turkish food. Yes, like indeed. Turkish, Lebanese, like all the food for like that region mm. of the world. Absolutely love it. It's delicious. Anyway, we have filo pas a pastry and lamb mince in the fridge is all I'm saying. Mm. Um, so that's going to be uh, me. And this is... It's one of you, isn't it? No. This is my container, isn't it? Yes, there it is. That's my personal storage container. Part of the sniper rifle, etc. Life is good. Check in with dance. Do the tour of the ship, etc., etc. Just more and more piles of free XP. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Big Man Murzo gave us £10 and says, Happy birthday, John! I've been watching since the old no kill and kill everything days, and I've been loving. Oh, that's the a long time. Ever since. I won't let you down. Uh, love to you both, and Claire, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you were there for the original no kill, which you may recall. We we did our best to stick to the spirit of the rules and not like manipulate. Which I uh, hopefully this stream has kind of helped indicate why I've never like rushed into. Fallout 4 no kill because it definitely feels like it's more of a like manipulation and exploit exhibition than an actual true pacifist rub. There is very like little actual pacifism. It's just a question of doing like you know. I mean, what the streamers taught me is if I did that series, it would have to be done as like a you know a comedy series. It would have to be straight up done as a comedy, like the opposite of kill everything. Like, which yeah. are all like, the, the kill everything's twin. That simultaneously somehow kill everything twin. and no kill. Yes, if you will. But the thing is, like, that's fine if it's an exploit showing run, as long as, like, you're introducing it. Yes. That, and that's the idea growing in, and people know that. Mm. Uh, let's see. Hey. Shout out to Southern Hello. Blackstar, hey. who gave us $10, and says, Happy celebration of John's birthday! Uh, and uh, James also gave us ten dollars and says it's my birthday too. Have a good one, man. Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! I guess you said that to person with it. it's actually been correct. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, Galadian uh, gave us five dollars and says I'm an hour late watching on one point five speed to catch up. And John has just announced that he has no plan, which is terrifying. Happy birthday! Mm. It's, 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 it's the, the plan, like, there was a very loose plan, but the plan, but the lack of plan led to situations like, oh yeah, I wasn't supposed to come to Kellogg until I had the ability to incite the synths, which I don't have. So now, in order to not just, you know, spend the next two hours grinding really boringly, I have to do a little bit of light cheating. This is why we plan before we do series, to avoid running into really boring roadblocks. Uh, yes. Which, when we're live, we just fix by using console commands. But in a full series, you couldn't do that. You do instead. We'd have to fix by just grinding for several hours, then editing it out. <laughs> One of those Sweet. beautiful episodes that John calls me to his office when he's done recording it, and oh, you're gonna like this one. It's gappy as hell. It's Here's eight hours. A four hour episode. It's eight. It's eight hours of footage. But when you edit it down, it's only gonna be thirty five minutes. As happened only once during YOLO, during the bloody uh, Nuka world, you come back to the Commonwealth, conquering the Commonwealth missions. God, those are boring. What were you thinking, Bethesda? Oh, Looks dear. Dear, oh, <laughs> flipping dear. Uh, shout out to Torberg, who uh, gave us $10 and says, uh, um, I'm about an hour behind the stream because I was in a meeting, but I'm looking forward to catching up. There you go, and then uh, let's see. Uh, also with ten dollars, we've got Fubuki, who uh, says, "Happy birthday, John! I've loved your content for a really long time. 
Uh, and Tabby will be missed, but I'm glad to hear that you're looking to get new pets eventually. Yes, I'd say, you know, probably within the next few months, hopefully. Though, obviously, you know, we'll do it at whatever speed is best for them. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. But we're starting to plan it just so that we're doing it right, you know. Yes. Um, however... <laughs> Yes, Delinear gave us five uh, pounds and says, I never usually get to catch the streams live, so I'm doubly happy to catch at least some of the birthday stream. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you too. Rose says, happy birthday. Have a great day and a great stream and gave us two pounds. Uh, Dustin gave us five dollars and says, happy birthday. I just wanted to thank you. For the nearly endless work. hours of You're entertainment. Anyway, so uh, John and Claire for Prime Minister. <laughs> Joint Pro. I think we could do a better job than the incumbent. Fucking well, hell. Yes, but that's no, like the bar. Number one, the bar is on the floor. The bar is so low. Um, Number two, you know, well, probably we really wouldn't have done too many videos. Mm -hmm. so. would you have any John would try <laughs> to do it all, but yes. Excellent. Um, I see no reason. If you Demon Runner gave us five Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, happy birthday, John, and hello, Claire. Uh, my work with a dog meat and a strong strategy uh, before you become a charisma Please god. Mm. Excellent. I don't know, it's pretty hard for you not to become a charisma god. Oh, you charmer. Mm. Right, and now we meet up with Elder Maxim, but we're not going to be doing Show No Mercy. Obviously, Show No Mercy is... Uh, that one's, hmm, well, I assume the behemoth can't possibly be, uh, take careable, right? I mean, the behemoth's gotta always be, actually, I think the behemoths might be, like, tied to, like, 50 or 70 or something. In theory, you could get, you could incite the behemoth and have the behemoth take out everything. I don't know whether you can incite from, no, you can't, you can't possibly be able to incite from the vertebird. Then again, show no mercy, you don't actually have to use the vertebird. The quest will just update, say, okay, take out the mutants if you get close enough to the fort. So, and you, therefore, just do that, because it's so much safer and easier. Using, are you about to do it again? You're about to, ah, oh, you're about to buzz, mate. No, I think he's keeping his distance on this occasion. You, you're gonna come in, or you just get to, oh, here he comes. Oh, no. No, no, not again! Not again! Stop it! Stop doing it! Stop passing straight through the bridge with your dick! And there's this one rogue vertebrae that just keeps doing loops straight through the bridge web. What a dick. Right, now we just speak to this guy and he will just give me the update related to, uh, yes, uh, Fort Strong. Lovely. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed, a uh, shout out to uh, Mixie who gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday! Have you seen that bug in Ten Pines where a settler spawns as a rad roach? It's hilarious. I've never seen that. I've seen plenty of rad roaches in Ten Pines and normally I just shoot them straight away. Really hope I haven't just been shooting settlers all these years. That'd be sad. Lol. Uh, moving bastards has been a member for three months. And says, happy birthday, John. Mine is in three days, so feel free to reply the way that your instinct tells you to. Happy Christmas. Nice. Uh, and uh, also, uh, the line, the thing that uh, Moon Boss had mentioned in Patron Cast. Yes. Uh, it's actually a uh, 170 kilometers long Saudi skyscraper project. Uh. It's like a super big thing, apparently. Super cool. Uh, yeah, it says the thing that they're obsessed with, so. Alright. Um, Egg with Legs gave us $5. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and. <laughs> Happy birthday, what's been your personal favourite playthrough of Fallout on the channel? Ooh, that's really hard. Oh, no. I mean, I really like Fallout 4 YOLO. Fallout 4 YOLO was, uh, I, I just found really interesting how much different stuff got led on top of each other by the end. Fallout 3 Kill Everything will always have a special place in my heart. Because so much of it was just improvised on the go. Like, you know, uh, one of my favourite episodes of all time in the history of the channel, Part 7 of Practical Guide to Parenting... Uh, none of that was, was planned. I just happened to be walking and I passed by and I thought, oh shit, I could do some fun stuff in Andale. And we came up with the entire Andale skit. Just, just, just came up with it live. Um, you know, I think that's, you know, and, and that's, that's kind of the things I do. I think some of the strongest stuff I do is when I'm just improvising as I go. Like, I do see, like, some of the, the strongest stuff this channel does is when effectively it's like stand-up comedy. 
Like, I think sometimes yeah. it, it is very much like um, improvised improvised comedy. And I think that's where some of the strongest stuff actually is. Okay, fine, it's a little bit... Scr you can zoom in on this table? I had no clue! You use the analog stick to zoom in! What the hell? That's... Well, that's news to me. I'm shocked. I had no idea that was a thing. Yeah. so cute. <laughs> Didn't know you could zoom in on it's the table. So happy it's that it doesn't even say it on the thing. It doesn't say it. Look, look at it zoom. Now that's not going to get annoying for people watching at home. I did not know that was a thing. That's really cool. You're adorable. Uh-huh. Okay. So that's, that's a thing. Okay. Okay, we're not doing no, no, show no mercy though. Instead, yes, we're gonna do dangerous minds. Dangerous minds is just free XP. So all we need to do is run up the road to good neighbor. So that should be nice and simple. Clap. Yeah, shout out to uh, Dragons uh, Gaming who gave us five pounds and says happy birthday, Joan. Four years ago, I met my partner. They introduced me to you, and we've been watching together every morning ever since. Every morning. That's so. That sweet. feels wrong. I feel like evening isn't acceptable. Like, and I say good afternoon, so afternoon is fine. Morning feels wrong to me. I, I feel like people should just shouldn't watch Media True Dead in the morning. It just doesn't feel like the right time. I don't feel like I've got morning energy. Thank you, Dragon <laughs> Gaming, and thank you to your partner. That's a lovely thing to hear. Uh, you do you, guys. You do you. Yes, you do you. I feel like I don't have morning energy. Like I feel like I feel like maybe if they're morning people, you have morning energy. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. you know what that because we're not morning that tracks people. that tracks right there. Uh, Kelsey uh, Kelsey Joe gave us uh, five dollars and says uh, this section. I have no idea what section you're talking about, but uh, it's reminding me uh, of your Voltec videos that were one of the first of yours that made me laugh until I cried. Happy birthday. Voltec was oh okay, I'd be I'd be I'd be pursued presumably by zombies right now. Voltec was a really weird DLC to put to, to put together uh the videos for because the thing about Voltec was there was a huge there was like the what was actually there was it was basically just a, a, a building, a base building DLC that didn't want to admit it was a base building DLC. This led to some really weird stuff. Like the actual missions are really, really uninteresting and linear, like for the most part. And if you want to, you can just like, you know, as I did during YOLO, you can just hack them together for some free XP and free goodies in like no time whatsoever, which is what I did. Um, in, in YOLO. So, like, when I was originally putting together the video, I was like, I really had to go all out, like, weaving my own completely non-existent narrative to make a better DLC than what it actually was. Because <laughs> Nuka World, Automatron, and Far Harbor are all fine, but the others are a little bit on the, uh, the lazy side, I think. Uh, okay, wait, who are you guys? Oh, it's Wolfgang! Holy shit, it's Wolfgang! He's here! That's that's interesting. Also, Finn's about to try and shake me down. And that's going to trigger... Yeah, um, that's going to try and trigger you. If I pacify you before you shake me down, what happens? Uh, uh, uh. So, he's supposed to be shaking me down, but he can't. Because he's surrendered. So, what's about to happen? Hey, hold up there. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is gonna fuck with the animation so bad. This is gonna because he's he's still surrendered and he's about he's about to come and stab this guy, I think, and it's going to fuck this is gonna fuck with the animation, I think. Oh no, what's about to he's just standing there with his arms up. And, oh no, he put he put his arms down for the stabbing. Get stabbed, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> now I know you had old Finn handle that thing. He, he wasn't actually you know 
The thing is, he wasn't actually raising his hands to, to surrender. He was going like, girl, I'm so big. I'm trying to make myself look bigger, yeah. yeah. There we go. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Good. I oh. almost spit my drink. <laughs> Best ever. I'm crying. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that. Oh, dear. There's a level two. Okay, and meanwhile... Yeah, when you run into the person who's actually uh, Deacon in disguise, he's always the same level as you. You can verify that with awareness. So you can't pacify Deacon, uh, which is very sad. Though, okay, I'm, I'm going to admit, I'm now curious. So Cleo, the local shopkeeper, savings, this this is just rude of me. I, I, can, I can hack her. I, I, I saw the hack command. I'm going to hack Cleo. Oh no. Oh, this is not going to go down well with, with the local population. I'm going to hack her. Just stick a little, stick the USB up her. And now, wait, in sight? Oh yes, I've got in sight now. I can't self-destruct her, but I can incite her. And I can, I can shut down Cleo. If I shut down Cleo, what the? Oh, Cleo, I'm so sorry. Can I still chop? You can't. No one seems to mind that I just walked into town, shoved a USB up Cleo's bum, and then, then deactivated her. Can she, is she not aware of me anymore? Well, I tell you what, I do need the mini nukes. I need the mini nukes. I'm just going to take advantage of this opportunity to rob her store. <laughs> I feel bad about yeah, you this. You can't shop, but you can rob her entire store. I'm, I'm just, just going to turn her off while I rob her store. Just going to rob the store. Just check for anything else I want to uh, to steal. Nothing else up there by the Luxie of it. Okay, now that I've robbed the store of everything I want, and I could have the other fat man too. Oh, I just need to wait till I'm not not detected. Go away. What? I need everyone to naff off for a second. Go. Right. Now we just now we just hack Cleo again. Now we just turn her back on. And now is she going to object? <laughs> She's fine. Cleo. Yeah, she's okay with that. I can't believe you can just turn her off and on again. And she doesn't know. And nobody minds. She said I need mini nukes, by the way. I might need mini nukes down the line. I, I, I need more Wait, mini nukes. can you buy the mini nukes from her you just stole from her shell? Yeah, but she might have more in her inventory. She yeah. does it on this occasion. Wow. Okay, we're, we're gonna do another win. Shutting down Cleo has to be at least 10 murders easy. Okay, we're now going to, we're gonna incite Cleo. And then, okay, what, I mean, in theory, what's gonna happen now is, okay, if we hack Cleo, which appears to not be a crime, I'm gonna incite her, I've got to save. So I've injected, I've injected a, a hostile subroutine into Cleo. And now Cleo's, okay, now Cleo's, Cleo's turned on the entire town. Wait, why, why have you attacked the entire town? Why? I, they're not my enemies. There's, she's about to activate her head laser. Holy fuck. Ah, she's cursed at everybody. <laughs> Cleo's gone bananas. She's killed everyone. Oh no. Oh, Wolfgang. Oh, it's Wolfgang. Wolf, is Wolfgang finally going to die after all this time? Is Wolfgang about to be eliminated by by flipping Cleo? Is he? Oh, he can't die. He can't. Wow, she's just a she's just annihilating everybody. C can I stop this? Can can I can I turn her off? And is every does everyone is everyone cool if I do that? Why is everyone getting? I think I was getting burnt by her head laser. Oh no! There's so many. I hi. How are you guys doing, by the way? Hey. It's lovely to see oh, you guys guy here, by the way. Ah! Uh-oh, they're about to, she's about to head lace them. This is what the actual fuck is going- ah! Can you just not die? Apparently not, they're essential, even having made it to town. They're- No, Cleo, come back! Cleo! Cleo, it's time to stop! Oh no, Cleo! No, no, Cleo! Oh no, she's just murdered everybody! Check your kills! That's true, actually. Oh, Cleo's about to die. Um, this is, this is, this is... No! Oh, for fuck's sake! Cle no, Cle Cleo, you need to stop now before they kill you! Cleo! Uh-oh. Cleo, I need you to shut down. 
Cleo shut down. Uh oh. I'm slightly worried Cleo's making a big beeping noise. Is is she okay? Cle oh, never mind. No, she's fine. I think Cleo can't die. Oh yeah, Cleo can't die. Cleo's just going to. Cleo's never going to stop. Um. Okay. I've I've, I've come up with there's, there's a small problem with the Cleo protocol, which is I'm just gonna plug plug myself in. There's there's no. There's, there's no, no off switch on Cleo. She will keep exterminating. I can shut her down. But I don't think she could ever be a shop again. I think I've just ruined her life forever. Um, I don't think I, I can now check. Yes, I think I think if you shut her down and you turn her on again and she's not on inside, she will be sad about murdering all her friends. I think at this point, oh, I think she's she can't kill she can't kill like she can't she can't kill her. like Hancock is is a companion. She can't kill. Her. Yeah, she's going to. Go down, but then she's just going to. She's acting like a companion, so she's going to wake up in a second. But while she's there, she's she's going to wake up, and now her laser's fully charged. And uh, that's, yeah, you need to reload. I don't think we need to reload at all. Why do we need to reload? Because you've ruined her entire life, and everybody in the chat loves her. Well, I've slightly ruined. I, I think I've 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 unleashed her true potential. Is what I've done. Is what I like to think. Well, I think this is what she would want. I think, really, this is what Cleo wants. And I don't think there's a lot of, there's a lot of free ammo. There's a lot of free. Brug! There's a lot of free ammo in the town right now as a result of this. I think I. This is. I think this is fine. I think this is not something we need. And I, don't, I think we should not ask follow-up questions like, "Hey, who?" Gave the bug to Cleo that meant that she started murdering everybody. I think questions like that we just shouldn't. Oh, she, she's she's still she's just oh she's killing more people. There's more people who need to die yet. Anyone who can die. I think everyone who's left at this point are people who cannot. Are people who oh you just dropped your gun. No, I think you're dead. Oh yeah, you're dead. You're a random drifter. I think anyone now who is oh dear. Yeah, I think anyone who's left now are people who simply can't die. Um, so this is, this is, this is, I've enjoyed this hugely. This is, this is going very well. So you're now, can you even die? Can, I mean, you're just a, a generic drifter, which makes me think you ought to be able to die. And then you're, he's just, she's just determined to take out Hancock. But as soon as the laser activates, then Hancock goes down and she goes for someone else. I think maybe we should spare this one, this one drifter. This one. It's okay. I'm going to be the big damn hero now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the town from the menace of robots. That's what I'm going to do. I can. Just going to plug, plug the, plug the cable where the cable goes. I'm going to shut down the unit. You're all welcome. You're all very welcome. I saved you from this robot that went berserk. It's hard to say why the robot went berserk. It's very hard to say. But um, this robot went berserk. But don't worry, guys. I've I've definitely sorted this for you. And as we can clearly see... Fuck's my hands are completely clean. <laughs> I walked up to a kill bot, jammed my personal computer up its arse, inserted a kill program, and told it... And gave it the kill command. And it killed 19 people... And officially, that is not a problem. Not a problem at all. So there we go. <laughs> I this is this is it. This is the no kill run. And as you can see, I have clearly no killed anyone. <laughs> so uh so um shout out to 42 mushrooms who gave us five pounds and says happy birthday. I'll watch you have a nice time later. Time check, I'm sending this at 7.20 p.m. while John makes a Codworth robot prison. LOL. This is the next on the list. Okay. Luke gave us five pounds and says, uh, <laughs> Codsworth is like, if I had hands, I'd strangle the life out of you. <laughs> we need your help. Doctor. He says that, I we think, if you make him angry. But he's not angry, he's just in prison. He knows what he did. I know it, John. Are you two in the side of that? So anyway, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we've got 10 Canadian dollars from Slurry Dude who says, Happy birthday. That's the whole chat to sing you happy birthday today. Happy birthday. 
To me. To John. Yes. Dear John. Mr. Valentine is an older generation. Oh. So yes, yeah, so we've got a fair bit of catch. Well go, go, go. This is literally boring walking through memories. We don't need it. So we're just going to do a thing. And it's just going to be a plot. We're just going to do a plot right now. It's super easy. Yeah, John, uh, so somebody called John gave us $10 and says nice. happy birthday from one John to another. Fun fact is John was born the same day that the original Fallout was released. Yeah. It seems that John's and Fallout always go together perfectly. Oh, that's a nice little coinky dink. Yes, for sure. Uh, James gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. I just signed a contract for employment today, so allow me to share some love. Oh, well, good luck with the new job. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Ro gave us a five dollars, five pounds even, sorry, and says, uh, so this is no kill run on their quest that you, uh, that want you to kill things like Kellogg. This is going to be very interesting and very fun. Well, we found solutions like yeah. giving a nuke launcher to one of Kellogg's friends and then forcing that friend to blow up Kellogg, which is completely 100% pacifist. Pacifism. Uh, War on Gaming gave us $15 and says, Happy birthday. I love this challenge. Uh, I found your channel when you created your new Vegas no kill run, which was awesome. And I've been watching ever since. Keep up the great videos. Thank you very, very much indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, <coughs> Urban Cohort gave us $10 and says, I give John a solid hour before the inevitable breakdown and killing spree. As you can see, if you look at this computer on my wrist, there has been no killing spray. Because, like, because, <laughs> because the hands, the hands, they be clean. Now, clean. you may, that some other people nearby to me may have done some killing sprays, but I can't be blamed for that. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, shout out to uh, S. Smith who gave us $20 and Mike who gave us 20 Swedish krona. And it's a super long term fan here. Happy birthday. Um, Seth uh, gave us $10 and says, Hey, John and Claire, I can't stick about because I'm at work, uh, but I have some money for tea and coffee. Um, Mike also uh, gave us another 20 Swedish krona and wants to know, are we going to see the return of Toilet Daddy? <laughs> if we need it, I see no reason why we wouldn't. You can, by the way, if you've never noticed this before, you can just skip the memories if you don't want to listen to all the memories because you've seen them before. You can just, the exit is available the moment you arrive, so you can just skip the memories. Uh, so yeah, you can just skim straight from one straight to the next. Clap! How did you think? Um, mm, 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 mm. Mike's Vices gave us $20 and says, Long time, first time, but wanted to wish you a happy birthday from Washington State, USA. Uh, I appreciate all of your work and Fallout is uh, my favorite franchise. Thank you, Claire, for putting up with John. It's a very good franchise. Uh, I wish we just had more of it. I enjoy putting up with John. Oh, I enjoy putting up with Claire. Aside from when she drops things, that's just annoying. Well, um, shout out to Malachi who says uh, I'm paying up my bet on the uh, ethics of pacifism, uh, and also uh, points out that your character found his wife's corpse like 36 hours ago, and he's already flirting with random women in trash piles. Jimmy clean hands, everybody. Oh, by the way, here's a cute touch, by the way. It's much more obvious at uh, the exact moment in time. Um, Sean reflects your uh, various, like, uh, phenotype. Oh, so cool. because I went for really white hair, uh, Sean is also with white hair. Same thing occurs with um, ethnicity, etc. Oh, cool. Sean, like, uh, basically in various ways, like, matches you. Uh, as best as possible. Obviously, in Fallout 3, uh, this was kind of avoided because Liam Neeson just was Liam Neeson, but you never got a clean look at your mum, so it, you're just able to assume, even if your character is, like, you know, the child of Liam Neeson, but you're completely different. This is you say, well, I must take after my mother, who must therefore have looked more like your character does, because uh, you never actually get a clean look at your mum. The, the, the shadowing is done very carefully, so you can't clearly see. So we're not supposed to know. 
but yes, in Fallout 4, they more kind of like, they tweak Sean to resemble you. Uh, which is very, very cool indeed. I've never done, like, a huge experiments into, like, what happens if you change both parents, because you can change both parents and then just not play as the one you've modified. So whether, like, you c whether Sean, like, resembles a cross between the two or whether Sean always resembles you. That might be something that's worth, uh, messing around with, which is kind of cool. Clap! So uh, yeah, shout out to some weird guy who gave us two dollars and wants to know when's the Mortuary's Assistant video releasing? Uh, is that the one that's the straight up horror game or the one that's the, uh, the one that's like the more interesting simulator? I think there's, there's a simulator Mortuary game that sounds quite interesting and then there's a, um, there's like a just straight up horror game that sounds really horrifying. Though you do get a horror game tomorrow, just not the one you're thinking. Some people are saying there's some slight changes to Liam Neeson. Uh, to, to match you, which I did not know. I, I think it's quite subtle. Oh, uh, the abstruse one says I've done that, and Sean draws from both his parents. Oh, it's very cool. Yes, uh, yeah, is. Sean, Sean is a combination of, uh, both of them. Okay, I, yeah, I, 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 I saw that Liam Neeson changed, like, the, some of the touches changed, but I always thought it was very, very subtle. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering, and I need to go back and check that in Fallout 3 at one point. So, alright, there we flipping go. Clap. Uh, yes, Sinister's been a member for two years and says, Hickey Burp Day, Miss True Nerd. Thank you very much indeed. Hickey Burp Day to you. Yep, everybody loves that. Um, Andy gave us £18 uh, and says, uh, I'm spending your birthday in bed with COVID, which I managed to dodge for 29 months. Happy birthday. We did very well for a long time, but eventually we had to go to France. Yeah. That was our mistake, going to France. Great. Uh, Marie gave us £25 and says, a very happy birthday to you, John. We love everything that you do. Your videos and your community make the world a much better place. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. I hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great day too. Yes, that was very sweet. Uh, right, there's Dangerous Mind, 300 on XP. Meaning, of course, Glowing Sea is up next. Which could just be done by a straight up sprint. Because Glowing Sea, there's like no... This has to die, that has to die, the other has to die. It is just a... Straight up, if you make it to Virgil's Cave, you've made it to Virgil's Cave. And there's nothing to stop you just doing... Well, okay, aside from enemy levels. Enemy levels are probably going to make pacification in the Glowing Sea relatively tricky. So, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have, to have a think about that. Uh, I think it might just be a straight up sprint with Radax. I think that might be the best option. Like, I'm, I'm pretty confident I can just find a way through... And now I'm just curious whether the rat scorpions might be friends again. The rat scorpions were weirdly friends. Last time I passed through in Legendary Roulette, I don't know why they were, but they were. So, uh, question mark. Also, you know what? I think I've decided. I think I've decided. Cleo's going to be left on. Cleo's going to, we're, we're going to, we're going to activate Cleo. Let's just activate Cleo again. And, oh no, he's trying to give a speech! Hancock's trying to give his speech! And Cleo's trying to... Cleo's trying to... Wait. Cleo is... Okay, we need to re-incite Cleo. There we go! Brock! There we go, I've screwed his speech up. Hancock just wants to give a really nice speech. But oh no, it turns out there's a kill bot. Oh no, who could have predicted the kill bot? And there we go, that's you. Now. There, we killed the last drifter. I'm just going to leave Good Neighbor with Cleo Berserk here. That's, I'm, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to let, I'm just going to... I can't believe you two are just alive. Yeah, hey there. They're just here, and they don't seem to recognize me. Can I pacify them? Is that a lot? Okay, can I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to pacify them. I'm going to pacify you again. Easy now. Oh, that makes him host. Oh, that makes him hostile. Hang on. If he's hostile, if I'm hostile, I'm gonna lead. Him I'm gonna lead them around the corner. I'm gonna lead them around the corner to Cleo. Now they're hostile because I failed a pacification. Right, Cleo. I've got some people for you. Some actual people. I'd like you to kill. Like actual enemies. Like I need. I need you to kill actual enemies for me now, please. Wait, I thought they were essential. Well, I don't know. They've got a host. They've got. They're. They're attacking me now. 
That's Deacon right there. So that is Rufus is probably essential. Where where are they? Guys, you guys need to follow me. Yeah, that's right. That's flipping right. And now where's where's Simone? Simone pacification that fell too. Right, uh Cleo, I'm going to need you to take them out if you'd be so kind and they may be going to be Come on guys, Cleo your one job is to deal with my enemies. Right now you're just killing literally everyone, which is the opposite of what I need you to do. Clap, all yours. Yeah, shout out to uh, Tanislav, who gave us five Bulgarian left uh, and says, wait, does that mean Virgil was innocent? Oh, because he, because his, yeah, you know what? I may have, I may have unfairly and unjustifiably killed. Oh, flip, Simone's actually dead. Simone is dead. We might actually finally get the kill. Wolfgang might, after his long epic adventure, finally go down to Cleo. After so... He's dead. He's dropped his weapon. That means he's dead. It took so long. But at long last, Wolfgang's epic journey has come to an end. Wolfgang's journey is over. He... Decided to give me all his money. He walked away. I followed him into a ghoul infested nightmare. He slipped away. He made it to good neighbor. He refused to acknowledge me when I ran into him again. He just didn't recognize me. And then finally he was killed by a kill bot. Who I'm just going to leave rampaging around good neighbor. Because why not? <laughs> oh life is good. Life is life is good and happy. Oh dear. What's the best way to make it to the Glowing Sea? Um, Glowing Sea is probably... Yeah, traditional route is probably just start from Diamond City, head to the coast, follow the coast down. Because we're not fighting, so we kind of just got to do what we got to do. So I'm just going to do a Diamond City... Yeah, a straight out Diamond City, straight out to the coast. We'll follow the coast down. We'll go that route. It should be pretty simple. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to Yuri, who gave us uh, two euros and a sticker of a slice of cherry pie. Mm. Very, very cute. Very nice. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of five pound messages. Go, uh, go, go. From Jack. Happy birthday, John. I hope you've had the best of days. I've had a pretty good day, yeah. Uh, I am moving to Japan next week, so I've been stockpiling the Oblivion videos for the flight. Ooh, very good shout. Very nice. Uh, Matt says Jimmy Clean Hands currently looks like Dr. Eggman on his day off. <laughs> uh, also, happy birthday, John. His name is Robotnik. Mm -hmm. um, Claire has strong opinions on this. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Um, Aiden says happy birthday, John. I've been binging your old Kill Every uh, Kill Everything runs. Love them. Uh, and Dogindy, Dogindy. Uh, says, thank you for all the entertainment you've provided and happy birthday. The only issue is that you went to Oxford when Cambridge is obviously far better. Wow. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize this was tab in G, not dog in G. Now, just out of interest, can we now do the same? <laughs> I just want to do the same thing to every city. I'm going to destroy every city in this entire. Oh, you can self-destruct Percy. That's weird. <clears throat> I don't know why you can self-destruct Percy. But not, maybe he's not essential. I'm going to incite Percy. Is this a crime? Right, Percy's now a bananas murder robot. And he's now going to... Yep, there we go. But no, we, we need to get him friends. We need to get him friends. Takahashi? Oh, Takahashi just killed him. We're going to incite Takahashi then. Right, the noodle bot is now on my side. The noodle bot is on my side now. There's more robots yet. No, you. That, you, 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 you're you on my side. There's so many robots in town. Holy shit. We need more robots. Wellington. I'm going to get Wellington on my side. Guys, the robots have all gone bananas just after I interfered with them. I don't understand how or why this could possibly have happened. Well, it, no. Welling, Wellingham. Wellingham, no. I need, I, need to, I need to hack him. Why can I hack Wellingham? Oh, no. I can't hack Wellingham for some reason. Oh, this is sad. I was hoping to have more of a robot army. Oh, the robots all dead. Oh, well, hang on. Someone's still... Oh, Takahashi's still going. Tak he's a noodle-surfing robot, but he's... he's this, this, he's, he's surfing cold justice today. He's also... Oh, no. Oh, Takahashi. Oh, you're only level five. Oh, Takahashi. I'm sorry. Oh, oh Takahashi. I think he maybe he can't die. Can you not die? 
Oh, he can't die. Takash. Okay, so there is now a berserk noodle box that is now just going to wander around town shooting everybody forever. So, okay, basically, my no kill run basically involves me going to every major city in the Commonwealth, walking up to them, and then unleashing a kill bot who will never, ever, ever stop murdering literally everybody. And it is never, ever, ever, ever my fault. Jimmy Clean Hands. Alright. Not my- Oh, he's just shooting children! Oh, no! No! That's not what I programmed you for! I programmed you to go berserk and kill people for good, not evil! Okay, let's wait until morning and see if he's still doing it. I need the ammo store. Oh, the ammo store might- Oh. The ammo store might not deal with me if there's a, ro a genocidal noodle robot. <laughs> there we go. Just get over to here. And now there's... Okay, there's definitely... De okay, ignore ignore the insane noodle robot. I need, I need to do... I need to do... I need to do some trading. We ignore the noodle robot who's got bananas. There we go. Lovely. Feel free. I, I just need mini nukes, man. Have you got any mini nukes? Why is no one selling me mini nukes? Unacceptable. I just need mini nukes, man. What's this? <laughs> Noodle. Oh no, is he killed him? Is he ki He's killed one of the security. Oh no, not the security. How good is how good is his armor? My oh, God, is his armor really good? It's not bad, you know. That's it's, it's all right. That's that's actually okay. Uh, but the oh, he's trying to take it. I think Mo must be essential. Well, at least we got the shopping done before. Th <laughs> just gonna go to every city in them one by one and just make their robots go bananas and now every time we go back and it's never my fault none of it's my fault yay Claire yes uh sorry they keep going thick and f they keep coming in so yes <laughs> I'm having to update my document uh shout out to uh ernesto who gave us five canadian dollars excellent dollars uh and says happy birthday john uh i'm currently on my way to ukraine to help with search and rescue work so you can have the last five dollars in my canadian bank account oh well someone's a, a big damn hero that's a lovely thought i like that it's a lovely thought right there well good luck ernesto yeah um yeah good luck with stuff stay safe yes absolutely um told man gave us a five dollars and says happy birthday john keep up the nerding in game and in real life Best of luck. We'll do what we can. Yes, indeed. Uh, Dan says, I just binge watched 50 hours of Rome Total War. Most amusing. Definitely worth a happy birthday. And thank you. Uh, and gave £10. That was a good series. Yeah. That was a very fun series. I enjoyed putting that together hugely. Ooh, uh, interesting question from Mike, who gave us 50 Swedish krona. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you could re-experience a game uh, with um, with no knowledge of it, what would that be? New Vegas. <laughs> Sorry, easy one. Really, really easy one. I'd love to experience New Vegas fresh. Uh, definitely, yeah. There's, there's, there's no question. No question there <laughs> whatsoever. Nice, easy one. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, from Michael, happy birthday from Brazil, John. Oh, uh, hello to us, Brazil. Yeah, gave us five Brazilian reais and says I was playing Nuka World yesterday and had my first car physics kill. Oh. Uh, yeah, which you spoke so much about in YOLO. We got so lucky, it, 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 like, it never, like, physics never... The fudge... The, yeah, nothing of that nature ever came up in YOLO. Was that a suicider just ex attacking? It must have been a suicider on the edge of the the lifeguard. Yeah, it must have been a suicider attached to the super mutant camp over there. Uh, what was he attacking? Oh, he was attacking a stingwing. No, a blood bug. Blood bug, in fact. Nuclear material. Never, never going to hurt. Oh, it's the entire cluster of them. Ah, well done. Good job there, lads. Well done. Uh, happy days. Clap. Uh, yes, um, somebody says Grey Garden, is that? Grey Garden is a settlement nearby, it might, is, was that I, th a... I think they mean, can you robot murder them? 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, we could probably wipe out the entirety of Grey Garden without too much trouble, in fact. But that would be mean and genocidal and serve no purpose. So uh, we're not yes, going indeed. to do it. Shout out to DJ Soul Life who uh, gave us a hundred dollars. Oh, thank you very, very much thank indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, and says, happy birthday, Jean. Ooh. Uh, hope you've recovered. With, were there instructions to read it French? No, it's just written French. Wait, how do you spell like Jean, Jean but oh. context clues, John. I see. Happy birthday, Jean. Hope you've recovered from your trip to France. Uh, Covid magnifique. Mwah. Okay, I, I see the context clues there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see how, like, if you would let me say the thing, you would have understood it. I see a legendary he's over just there. ignoring that. No, 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 it's fine. I see a legendary dog over there, but he's only level 20. So in theory, you can pacify legendaries. There's no, there's, it's not more or less likely. The flat percentage applies. As long as the legendary is a lower level than you, it's a-okay. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind just having him go berserk. But then again, it's not like it's necessary, to be honest. Uh, is this the bridge we want to cross? This isn't a terrible place to cross, to be honest. Going further south can make life a little bit more difficult. So I honestly may as well just swim across here. Oh, don't mind me. Don't mind me, little Mr. Puppy. We're just going to swim over the water. No trouble. We're not in. Oh, there's a there's a land of water bird there. That's an odd spot. That's not the usual spot for the... I mean, we're not... We're pretty close to the junkyard where the Brotherhood would land, but this is not the usual spot. It's unusual you've... That's a gunner bird. Oh, Betsy. That's Dorothy. That's a gunner bird that's taken off right now. That's a gunner bird that's taken off. That's a gunner bird that knows where I am. That is a gunner bird. That is. Is it actually after me? That is a, a that, that's a, a rare sighting of a gunner I mean, I bird. I think it's turning to shoot you, so... I think it is. Now, okay, let's have another episode of am I morally responsible for this? If I shoot down an aeroplane and all people on board die as a result of that, am I morally accountable? Like, do you think I am? Play, place bets now if I... Oh, fuck. There's a gunner on the ground. Okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. Uh, quick save. Don't move, soldier. All right. The gunner's now going to be on my side. I just need to incite her. Incite. Come on, buddy. You're on my team now. You're, you're on my team. Fuck's sake. Come on. Why are you not... Oh, why am I also almost dead? There we go. A few stim packs, please. Come on, buddy. You're supposed to be incitable. John, you're one level too low to incite. You're, that, that's the entire point. Okay. I think the best bet we've got is to maybe let them flee. They don't. Seem, they seem to be losing interest. If we're lucky, they'll naff off if they go into caution. All right. Oh, what the cock? I think they just crashed into the bridge. That's a way to take care of you. Was it was it me? Hang on, let's let's see if we would do that. Clean hands. <laughs> I don't know if that was so. I, I don't know if that was me that did the damage to it. But what? just to confirm, I think I just did some damage to the engines on the on the flyby, and as a result of that, the vertebird crashed. And as a result of it, it turns out, if you shoot an aircraft and the aircraft crashes as a result, you are not morally responsible for any of the murders. Unless it yeah, was I mean, someone it's else. it's not your fault they sucked at fixing their engine while in flight. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think that's entirely on them. Now we're approaching... Oh my god. So there we go. I Maybe it, it must have been something else. I suspect it was someone else. That I mean, I'm not sure what else is around here. Like, maybe the... Raiders. Raiders psycho. Raiders aware of me. Go. Get down. Get down, get some distance between me and them. I don't want to pick a fight with random raiders. I'd rather just get close enough to trigger the... Oh. Oh, what you want is gain one more uh, level so that is you can that the, the Is that the actual vertebrate? 
That's the actual vertebird. Yep, that's more what we wanted to see right there. That's the real vertebird right there. So that's going to be dropping its crew off. They're going to annihilate them. But to be honest, they're going to be way more interested in the uh, flibbly jibble. The super mutant encampment over here. They love... This is like just a fixed brotherhood spawn. They just love attacking a few places like Libertalia. And they love coming in and unloading here outside the super mutant base. They just cocking love it. So I see no reason why I shouldn't assist if I can find where they're going to land. Uh, assuming they're not going to cause trouble. But hopefully they're going to get their knights on the ground and then I can move in to assist as far as possible. Claire! Yeah, shout out to Yusia who uh, gave us a hundred dollars. Oh, thank you uh, very, and, very much indeed. And says happy birthday. Uh, and uh, yes, shout out also uh, to JD uh, who gave us twenty dollars. Says I just wanted to wish you on a happy birthday. My puppers Vats also send some birthday wishes in the Discord's pets channel. Very oh, nice. excellent channel. Yes, indeed. Luxem says, congratulations on the anniversary of your birth and gave us 20 uh, euros. Uh, Fan of cards. Uh, wants to know if you can get uh, Squirrel Stew to boost leveling XP. If I had any, yes, but not out in the middle of nowhere where I am right now. Sure thing. Now, are the brother going to bother attacking surrendered raiders? I doubt it, to be honest. I think the rest of them should be dead. Though potentially if the raiders to annoyed the Brotherhood so much they've decided not to land their troops to attack the uh, to attack the super mutant base. Because that would be kind of hilarious if that was the case. That the raiders had just upset the Brotherhood so much they didn't actually bother doing their own unloading. Which is like the main thing they do in this area. That would be bloody ridiculous. But it's entirely possible. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, Oak gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday. Thank you for all that you do. Uh, happy birthday also from Renee, who says uh, here's to the next 18 and gave us £10. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, some uh, uh, guys waking up, but that's fine. I know how to deal with these. Anyone around here? Easy. We use the part, protector, part protectrons, we'll sort it out. So we'll just release them, they'll take care of any problem for me, and my hands will be clean. Clap! Lovely. Voight, uh, Watch Tech gave us another 100 Swedish krona. Very generous donations from them today. Says, hey, again, uh, John and Claire, one more happy birthday. Uh, and one uh, thank you for all that you do before I retire for the evening. Take care. Thank you very, very much indeed. And there we go, you see. They just go in. They can take care of everything. These guys are like ridiculous super elites. And as you can see, uh, on this case, no, actually, I'm not even in control of these guys. So this is not even remotely my problem. But these guys just melt everything. And they're very good. Though I will actually take this opportunity, of course, to get Robot Friend Mark II on the team before we head towards the Glowing Sea. Because Robot Friend was very useful during Legendary Roulette. So I see no reason why we wouldn't have Robot Friend uh, Mark II joining us along. But yeah, these guys are just devastatingly powerful. Which is just beautiful. Especially the fire one. His cryo spray is just ludicrous. So, alright. Buddy, 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 buddy. Hi. Yes. Let's just get you into position. And, oh. Try and, uh, no need to try and pacify you. Let's just jump out the way. And then let them take care of this. Just Alpha Death Claw is going to be absolutely annihilated because why wouldn't he be? And yeah, he's too high a level. He's 31, which is why we can't uh, pacify him. But just look at that. Look at the Cryo Spray. Look at the Cryo Spray just melts Alpha Death Claw's level 13. And he's going, he's level 14. That is a level 14 Cryo Spray. And down he goes into pieces. Love it. Just absolutely ludicrously good. Ludicrously. Good. It's brilliant. I mean, I suppose I could also hack all these guys to go on... Like, in sight would mean they would wander. But it wouldn't necessarily do me that much benefit. Like, I can incite them with Robot Expert. But that's not actually going to do me much good. I think the best option I've got is probably, at this point, just to insert the tape at the control terminal. And do the override program. It'll get me one of them as a friend. Um, and yes, here we go. Uh, override the alliance parameters. That's absolutely fine. Hijack VIP escort protocols. Uh, 
That's absolutely fine. So that'll get me oh. one of them. Is it the same one? Um, so John. Yes. Shout out to Foster in chat who says, uh, I would pay a non-zero amount of money to see a death claw do the pacifier animation. Uh, you need to find a death claw that's the same or lower level as you. I tried to do it on that one, but the problem was he was level 30, so it doesn't work. There might be one that we find in the glowing sea. If we get lucky, we'll try and do it. The problem we've got, however, is I've been inside this Protectron. It looks like it's always the same one. For some reason, maybe like in the order they're listed in like in the files, this is the one with this, the file name first or something. But it's been twice in a row, it's been this guy. But he's got like two hit points left. So he's, he's not going to be, he's not going to be around for too much longer, unfortunately. Which is, but Robot Fred is back. He's back, but I don't think he's making it to Virgil's cave. On this particular occasion. I I really don't think he is. No. Claire. Uh, yes. Um, Golden Wanderer gave us $5. Says, hey John and Claire. I'm first time donator here. I've played way too many hours of Fallout games. Thanks to you. And I'm grateful for it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Why don't I just do two of those? Okay. This is the point where things get. I'm just running. Like guns away. We're not doing anything. We're just running it straight in, straight through. Um, if we see something big that absolutely we can't outrun, then we try and pacify. But for the most part, we just wait for the right moment and we sprint. We're just sprinting straight on through this. Uh, if we go towards the church, that tends to be a pretty quiet bit. That lets us bypass the pool of ghouls, uh, which is good. So we're going to go to the church. Though the church does bring us nearby to... Oh, that brings us close by to Rad Scorpion territory. Maybe I want to bear in a little bit around the edge of this here pool. Uh, that's, yeah, that's Stingwing territory. Don't sprint. Save the AP for when it's time to nip in. The problem is, yeah, visibility is low here, and this place is a bit of a nightmare scape. But I'm just going to try and basically just straight line it, this sort of an angle, and we'll see how it goes. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to William who gave us fifty pounds, uh, and uh, yes, William says a uh, happy belated birthday, Claire. Take that bloke for a drink. Oh, all the best. Speak of the devil, level twenty-two, can't be done. Hey, he's the wrong. He's too high a level, so we cannot do anything about him. Uh, I'm not sure whether we can really outrun him either, but guns away. Use geometry. To my advantage, just if you see things like trees, uh, ledges, etc., just stick close to them. Uh, AI struggles to navigate around that. Other enemies, they'll be hostile to each other. Uh, stick close by to trees, it'll interrupt his grab animations. Uh, we're now the, I've now completed the different side of the sea. I think we've lost him. Yep, we've completely lost him. That's good. But no, unfortunately, I think death claws are tricky to pacify. Because they're pretty much always uh, the same or higher level than you. Uh, finding a lower level one is something you kind of have to do later in the game. Whether it's going to be feasible for us, question mark. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out, uh, shout out to Quiet Kitsune who gave us $50. Ooh, thank uh, you very, very much indeed. Uh, and uh, Quiet Kitsune says, uh, I just heard it's no longer your birthday. But happy birthday anyway, John. I hope it was a good one, and I can't wait to see you get to Kovach in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. I, um, we'll, we'll see. People have been, I, I can confirm, we obviously had the, uh, on Twitter, we had a little kind of bet on when we were going to get to Kovach. I can confirm that someone in there is right. There are some people in there who turned out to be right. So, we're getting to Kovach in the not too distant future, people. That's, uh, uh, yeah. Where are we getting that? We'll be getting there, you know, at some point soonish. It's going to be fine. I mean, yeah, for a given volume of Get Kvatch. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, no one actually said we had to go in to Kvatch or, like, anything. Like, you know, that's, that's, that's fine and acceptable, right? I think that's fine and acceptable. Claire! Uh, yes, Lisa gave us 100 Swedish krona. Uh, and says, uh, I haven't caught you live streaming for ages, but this feels like the best one to rejoin. 
Uh, happy getting old day. I hope your day is excellent. I hope so. T it's about to get a lot worse because I just I just Lol. walked into ghoul territory and feral ghouls are fast as a flip boy. So uh, they're chasing me up the hill right now. I'm about to run out of AP and they ain't. Uh, but if I can get into town, they might lose interest. If I just use a few rocks and then sort of vaguely jump up the hill, I think this might be if we're lucky an entrance into the town. Uh, yeah. This looks good. Now, hopefully, they'll just lose interest once we, when we hit the town. They won't walk into town, right? Really hoping they just won't walk into town. Yep, Crater of Atom. Detected, not in danger. Good. They just lose interest if you get to town. So, okay, she'll give me the updated Virgil's Cave. Then it's just a case of uh, figuring out whether we can pacify or otherwise just bypass the final death claw. Clap! Uh, yeah, that Swedish guy gave us uh, 50 Swedish krona and says, Good evening and happy birthday, John. My first ever super chat, and I just wanted to know if you're going to make uh, any more video essays. I love those. Uh, they take a huge amount of time to put together. So maybe, but like we have to be way further ahead than we are right now. So between COVID, France, Tabby passing away, and potentially getting new cats and, you know, any associated trading, etc., uh, I, I wouldn't expect any in the near future. Though I do have the very first initial sketched outlines for a script discussing the history of dog meat. Uh, kind of in the early planning stages. Let's, let's, let's say that. Uh, yes, absolutely. And, uh, from Shane, who gave us, uh, $20. Happy birthday to one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, I started watching you back in the Fallout 3 Kill Everything run, and I've loved every moment since. Uh, you have a great day and keep up the amazing content, and screw you, Liam Neeson! <laughs> screw you, Liam Neeson, indeed. Although, I, I think actually, killing the robots that were the founding fathers of America is one of my favourites as well, with the slow reveal of the British flag, etc. That always, uh, that always cheered me up hugely. Okay, we've got rad scorpions up ahead. But, like, they're actually low-level rads. So, oh. Which is good, because they're about to attack me. Oh, that one's about to pop up. Right, start sprinting. Or maybe use this one to assist. And go. That failed. Okay, there we go. Nice, giant scorpion. Did that fail or did that work? I didn't see a thing on things appearing on screen. I think if we just sprint past them... I don't know whether maybe they're also... Are they maybe hostile to the... Could I lead them to the death clock? Could I get them to kill each other? I've never tried that before, but theoretically it's possible. But they might just have roaming zones. Like, the roaming zones in this game are not as strict as the ones in Vegas. Vegas has incredibly strict restrictions on who can and can't roam in a particular direction. But I think if we... Yeah, if you approach from this angle and you just kind of climb up, then we should be coming up on death claw. No, he's a 22... Meaning Deathclaw cannot be pacified. We simply have to just run straight past him. Although I think you can just climb around him, to be honest. Are we, we're in danger officially. What from? Are the Deathclaw, are the Rad Scorpions still on me? I mean, that seems like that's a thing. He's asleep right now. I mean, I think we can just, I think we can just sneak around him. I mean, he's actually, he's very easy to just sneak around. If we just spot him with Vats, then yeah, he's just asleep there right now. So he's just asleep. Then we just... Whoa, oh, I think he just woke up. But I'm not sure he's aware of me. He woke up there, but he is not... He's facing the wrong way. But yeah, no pacify option. So if we just get over here. Sneak up behind him. Yep, there we go. Caution. Rocky cave. In. Job done. Now, I don't know whether I'll be allowed to fast travel out. We'll have to see. But yeah. More plots. Let's just get the information from Virgil. Clap! Yeah, um, Urban Cohort says, I don't know what it is about him, but your character is coming off as, like, really pacifist aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Lol, love it. Uh, Jacob gave us $5 and says, I was really surprised to open YouTube today and see that one of my favorite YouTubers shares her birthday with me. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us. Yay. Uh, ooh, Wolf Queen gave us five dollars. Uh, says, Wish I had more time to watch and more money to give. Uh, but I had to say happy birthday to my favorite YouTuber. This channel has gotten me through so much. We hear that so much, and it's oh, it's simultaneously terrifying and lovely. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the thing that's gonna, you know, 
Stick with us forever, yes. Yeah, that's the, the biggest takeaway, really. Uh, yes, indeed. Sorry, I'm not used to talking while the game, while plot is happening. We're, skim we're skimming plot, it's fine, I know, I don't know, worry. I know, I know, but we're, it's just... We're skimming plot fast, don't you worry. <laughs> Um, yes, Straka uh, gave us 10 euros and says happy flipping sure. birthday. C. Marano uh, gave us $20 and says happy birthday, John. I can't send a cake, uh, but here, have some bickets. Oh, uh, that's to enjoy sweet. bickies. Uh, yes, indeed. No one of consequence gave us another $10. Uh, and says uh, you can get a free syringe from the Mass Blood Clinic over by Fort Hagen Darts. I think that's down by. Isn't that down in the basement though? So there's a lot of bugs between you and it. That'd be quite a faff mm. to get done. I think that'd be a big, big old faff to actually get done. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, we've also got a message from uh, another regular Jessica who gave us a hundred and uh, um, a hundred Swedish kroner. Excellent kroner. Uh, and says, "I'm so far behind, I probably won't catch up in time to hear this be read, uh, but I can always watch it later." Happy birthday, most knowledgeable of egg cartons. <laughs> we do our best. Very lovely. Okay, I think at this point I need to level. I like. I can't do hunter hunter. To, without being level 23 that is absolutely essential so as a result of that there is bibbly bibbly boop there's a few different bits and pieces uh we could do we could yeah uh hmm we could actually make go to the inst uh sorry the railroad right now Going to the railroad would not be the... I mean, we're going to need to do it sooner or later. So going to the railroad now, because I've already got the ability to uh, do that business then. Then again, you know what? We've probably almost certainly got like 10 million. Uh, actually, Red Rocket Truck Shop, we already used a lot of the materials that were there. But probably a whole lot more, to be honest. Okay, we're doing... We're, we're going back to... We're going back to Red Rocket to do a tiny bit of building. I just need to nudge myself to 23 before we go to Green Tech Genetics. And also, actually, you know what? No. Order of play. Level 23. Uh, Intimidation 2. And then I need to get the... I need to get um, the Minutemen out. The Minutemen must be next. Because I must have Mamma Murphy in order to get the Corsa Code. And when I've got the Corsa Code, then at that point we do CIT Ruins. Because without the Corsa Code, we ain't doing... Uh, no, not CRT Ruins. Uh, without a course code, without that, we ain't doing all the rest of it. So it's gotta be. Minutemen now can't wait. Like, at this point, the Minutemen has to happen. We have to find a way to get the Minutemen out there and either kill or otherwise disable them. So I'm going to use the giant pile of trees around the back of Red Rocket to basically build a secondary backup prison for Codsworth in case he ever escapes his first. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, shout out to Paul who gave us fifty Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says happy birthday, John. Happy birthday to you too. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Lord of Dutch gave us five dollars and says uh, my golden retriever captain is soft as stripe. Also, happy birthday. I think is it soft as stripe in English? No, tripe. Being being a soft thing as it is. Oh, that's disgusting. What? Do, 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 have you never had tripe? I... I've seen it and it didn't make me want to eat it because it looked a bit gross. It's, it's not the nicest food in the world. No. No, I'll give you... It doesn't make me think of a fluffy dog. No. Anyway... But it's soft. Yes. Shout out to Asia who uh, shout out to Asia who uh, gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday to you and many a true more. Uh, I've got to head back to work soon, but I'm excited to watch this back later with the cats and my wonderful husband. Ooh. Much love to you both. Very exciting. Uh, yes, so thanks to them uh, and Arturo also gave us ten dollars. Mm. Says I've enjoyed your content for several years, John. I love that you and Claire also share this platform from time to time. Excellent collaboration. Well, thank you. 
Oh, so many more people uh, talking about their dogs be good. Samir's been a bubba for four months and says, yeah, I have a golden retriever. He's, they're the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> they are surprised to hear it. Yes. Absolutely. Come on, we're almost there. Welcome to the world of why we cheated a bit, because otherwise this, this run does boil down to a lot of in like building manipulation to grind for free xp or using other forms of xp building so then we just take that down and then we just build some more and we're almost there damn it we're almost there come on there's oh you need wood you need a tiny bit of wood for that do you all right well that's 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 fine wait where was the one that didn't need? there was totally one that didn't need that didn't need any wood there we go i know we're almost there lovely I knew we were almost there. Level 23, done incredibly excitingly. And that means we've now got all the tools we need. Because, okay, fine. Level 3 is great, but now we have got level 2 on all four pacification posts. Yeah, people forget Robot Exponents. It is a pacification pack. It works exactly the same as the others. Just, it's it's more reliable. It's better. Uh, but, yes, it's, this, it's basically the same. Uh, but now we've got all four of them at level 2. And that means humans can now be messed with. All right, and that means, yeah, it's time to go in and cause some trouble and figure out a way to rescue the Minutemen. Claire? Uh, yes. Uh, ooh, interesting. From some weird guy who gave us $2, uh, which YOLO was the hardest to plan and which was the worst part? Four was the most complex to plan uh, because there are so many moving pieces. Um, th it's almost three, because three has a lot more random events out in the wasteland that can be really, really problematic. New Vegas was the easiest to plan, which is probably why I also approached it first. New Vegas, for all that it's genius, is also incredibly regular. The same creatures will always be in the same spot, and they will reliably... What the hell was that? There's something really bad over there, and we're going to get inside right now to avoid... That was just some raiders walking into the town. I'm not sure whether they can follow me in here. If so, this might have just got a lot more complicated. Uh, I don't know whether they can follow me. This is a quest building. Which would normally mean they shouldn't really be able to. But, well, well I'm not in danger anymore. I mean, caution not again to the door. Alright, there we go. That, that caution should fade. So, okay. Now it's just a question of finding the right moment and the right people to... Yeah, bring them down and give them the right weapons and get them to murder all of their friends. Clap. Uh, yes, a shout out to Gibbous who gave us £10 and says, Happy birthday, many a true nerd. I'm just re-watching CK3 and Hedra Pator is doing his thing. Oh, very good. CK, CK3. I, that worked out so well. The, the, the last Viking series worked out so well. Uh, I mean, like... It was, some people pointed out, uh, it's hilar it was hilarious that, you know, we did that, and then the moment after we did that, the first, like, you know, flavor pack was a Viking flavor pack. I don't know, I think it was, I don't think it would have made a huge amount of difference. Maybe it would have had a tiny bit of variety, but I think it was, uh, it worked out just fine. So, okay. The trick I want to do now is, this, this is where we start putting all the pieces together. There is one isolated person right here. He should be about around the corner. I think he should be on my left. In fact, I'm going to use the camera. He should be... He's, he's probably in that room over there. That's kind of where he normally lives. I want to sneak up on him. I want to slip a, an assassin's sniper rifle into his infantry. And the ammo for it. Then I want to capture him. Then I want to incite him. Alright. Slipping the weapon should not be too tricky. It's just a question of getting up to him slow and careful. Yeah, he's loose right there. So just keep... Just take it slow move slow. My stealth is reasonable, if not spectacular. Pickpocket. Pick... Why can I not pickpocket him? That's weird. Why, why can I not pickpocket him? I don't know why I couldn't... Okay, his position may have gone a bit weird. Okay, we might just have to... You might... Let's try that again. That was very odd. Why couldn't I pickpocket you? Alright, buddy. I mean, I, I saw it as an option. Slow. Careful. Ah, that's really weird. Okay, well in that case, let's just try pacifying you. That fails, so we just reload. Because that's what we do. 
Because otherwise you're stuck for 60 seconds. And it's it's more like tapping than not. So, pacify. Easy now. There we go. He's on my side. And now, actually, now he's pacified. Actually, can we do this the other way around? Oh, yeah. It's going to be way easier the other way around. Okay. Are you... And now you've been pacified. Are you happy to receive ammo? Uh, and then some 3 -oh. Yeah, shove that. Congratulations, buddy. You've now got a way better hunting rifle. And congratulations, buddy. You've now got in sight. So now I've ordered him to kill. And he's... Go over to your better weapon. You stupid dick. Go over to the... Go over to the better weapon. What is wrong with you? Alright. He's... he's. I, I'm hoping he'll figure out where he's supposed to be in a minute. Hoping he'll figure this out. Come on, buddy. He's... They're, they're, they're right up there. They're right up there. I believe in you. You can do this. You can do it. Oh, he can't figure it out. He's a dumbass. He's just... Oh. Someone's almost aware of me. Okay. All I need to do is just get up behind you. Then we just do the old double pacify into everything. So... That fails. But he actually, even though it's an alert notification, it's not enough for him to actually become aware of me. Try you. Now, can I get you on side? Or do I have to be a bit closer? I might have to be a bit closer for you. Stop shooting him! He's actually on our side now! And you are... Can't pickpocket. That's really weird. I don't know why I can't pickpocket him. Okay, just need to stay on the back of him. I need this guy to... I need this guy... I need to... Oh! In sight! Yes! Now just sneak around the back. Oh, blimey! Was that you? Was that you right there? Well done! No, you're, you're on my side. Why are you... Who are you attacking? Stop going for... Preston! Stop going for him! He's now on our side! Preston! He's on our side now! Okay, there's two more rounds here. Just, just make sure we're fine. You're now both just wandering around trying to do my bidding. There's gonna be two in here. If I just go quickly around here, if I'm lucky we can just get one of them straight away. And... Go. Stop right there! Go, go, get the other one. Try the other one. Stop right there. Scared, huh? Double failure. So we reload. Clap! Uh, yes, shout out to Marshall, who uh, gave us $20 and says, Happiest of birthdays to my favorite familiar voice from afar. All the bestest! Uh, which is very, very sweet. More from some weird guy who uh, gave us $2 and has a question. John, any chance of an Elder Scrolls YOLO? And if so, which one? You know, I have thought about it. Skyrim's the one I know the best. But I'm going to be honest, if I if I keep kind of loving Oblivion, that might end up Just being the one I know the best. Asshole. So we'll have to we'll have to see. We'd have to see after that point. I, I don't know. Yeah, and uh, from Quality Control, who says, I uh, can't stay long, but I thought I'd drop by to say happy birthday. Thank you for the amazing content and Attack. keeping awesome. Thank you very, very much indeed. Okay, those two are now fighting each other. And now I need to lead this guy upstairs. Actually, you know, if I lead him over here, his friend's now waiting for him downstairs. Hey, buddy. Come over here. Guess guess who I've got for you over here. It's it's your former friend who now works for me. Because half the gang's now on my payroll. I'm not sure where he's gone. There's you over there. Yeah, there you go. He's coming over here. Yeah. Buddy. This... Why are you going over there? He's clearly over here. Hey, buddy. Hi. Yeah. Come on. Excuse me. This, I'm going to... No. no get, get out of the way. No, there we go. He's, he's doing it. He's figured it out. He's figured it out. I'm going to hide in here with you. Let me pass. Let me pass. You work for me. And now they're going to take each other out. If we're lucky. Take you out. And even if I, he doesn't. Even if he dies. Then... Wait. Where'd he go? Where'd they go? They both go. Well, they seem to be not here anymore, so I'm going to call the situation resolved. Just make sure we're as we should be. And clean hands. Lovely. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. A shout out to uh, Three Expense. 
uh, who gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. Huge thank you for your videos and thank you, Claire, for your stream work before, because you deserve a mention too. Especially today, poor, <laughs> yeah. poor old Claire. Uh, dear, oh dear. Not as old as you, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Psycho wow. Purple gave us ten pounds and says, Happy birthday. Your work has quickly consumed my waking hours. Uh, that's a very that's a very cool way of saying that. Love it. Uh, I cannot wait for you to reach the Arcane University. You're going to love it. Much love from Tom. Oh, I can pacify. Oh, that's Mama Murphy. What the shit? Did I just pacify Mama Murphy? That that strikes me as a bad thing. Ow. Okay, I feel like all of that went wrong because it just said pacify Mama Murphy. And I didn't mean to pacify Mama Murphy. I just meant to be a badass and pacify these people through the wall. Just mm -hmm. chill out, asshole. Time to get now incite him. Kill them all. There we go. Now both of them. That, that's nice. That's really nice. Just straight through the wall. They go for each other. Unless it was... Were you the only survivor on the other side? Okay. Quick save them. Don't move. Surrender. Now is that good enough? As far as the game's concerned, let's find out. I heard you. Let's just stay calm. All right. I'm concerned it might not be. Can't open the door till all the raiders are dealt with. Kill raiders at fight? No, it is not willing to accept this. So okay, I've got a plan, buddy. You may be willing to just take a little stroll over the other side. Perhaps, if you may be willing to take a little bit of a stroll over the edge. Can we just... I'm ju just trying to push you, buddy. Just trying to push you. Just trying to... Pushing is quite hard in this game. But if I can do full damage on him... Okay. What have we got left? The two people who are left are both on my... Uh, this is... Okay, this is awkward now. So you're dead. Okay. But if I was to kill... If I was to put my gun away, that would break the spell. At that point, I could get one of them on side to kill the other. But I'm still left with one, one left over. Can't pick this. Oh, hello. What? Always get so jumpy after a fight. One of them just killed the other. Me. What? Why did you kill the... Okay, I think he, he was incited, so he decided to kill his friend, his, who'd also surrendered. So at this point... No funny business. I heard you. Let's just stay calm. Okay, so this raid is now... Okay, hang on. Could we maybe... Are you following me? Could... Okay, I need to bring him where Preston's got a shot at him. Buddy, are you following me? That's a... Thing you shouldn't do. Okay, buddy, come over here. Right over here. Come on. I need you to come. I need you to come right over here to me. All right, let's let's get you right over on this side. I I didn't think they followed. He's not supposed to follow. That's supposed to be like a level three thing, but he's just following me. Right, let's get him right over to here, right to the edge. Come on, buddy. Preston, he's he's right there, Preston. I can't kill him, which means you need to. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, they've surrendered, Preston. They've given up. Okay, well. I'm going to keep an eye on the... Chad, how do we make this man die? Claire. Uh, yes. Shout out to Brandon, who says I'm really enjoying the Oblivion playthrough. Uh, and gave us $20. Uh, also with $20, Emperor Palpatine, who says, Happy birthday, John. Your Oblivion series is to die for, but I have to know, will there be a Fallout 4 kill everyone? Uh, I mean, based on tonight, I'm increasingly suspicious that Fallout 4, no kill, kill everyone is actually the better option. Somebody else mentioned that uh, yeah. in the chat earlier as well. Um, let's see, um, ooh, this one's for me from Beleaguered Monk, who gave us $10, uh, and says, Hey, John and Claire, uh, Claire, you've talked a bit about being diagnosed with ADHD as an adult, 
any advice for somebody very recently diagnosed any tips or things that helped with getting stuff done um i'm gonna give you advice that i wish i had given myself it's very hard to follow but you know i'm, I'm so that's the thing for me that stands out is um when you've been very recently diagnosed like it feels you know like it's so helpful to know about and everything it's just like you need to not expect just the knowledge of the adhd and you know whatever treatment plan you might be on you need to not expect it to fix every single thing because you know you will still struggle with uh, getting do things do done and, and focus and all that because this is just the way your brain works um so it's really hard it's really hard to like not have these expectations that everything will be perfect straight away and then like feel disappointed and everything but like yes um okay to confirm he mm -hmm. is he is he is marked as an enemy as far as minds are concerned Lol. so i can't just okay but all right option number two what if it wasn't a mine what if i drop a one grenade okay one grenade right there now grenades are not technically this is just, just line this up here can we even is that even is that even a thing can you shoot a grenade when it's just sitting on the ground? Hmm. Not with a laser weapon. Maybe with an actual gun that's like a gun? Like, is that different? I don't know. We're just going to have to line this up just... No, you, ca you can't shoot a grenade. And mines are hostile to him. Okay. What if I put a mine down that was not close enough to him? Yeah, I need to put a mine down that's not close enough to him, but you can detonate the mine. Okay, so if I put this down, this needs to be put down far enough away it doesn't detonate. But close enough, he's in the splash anyway. Can you shoot a mine in order to blow up a grenade? It's possible. Okay, I think he's close enough to be in range of this mine, but he's not close enough to detonate it. Place bet now. Let's. It's everyone's Did you favorite. Some XP there? Everyone's favorite game. Am I morally accountable if I put a mine near someone and then shoot it, detonating it with the specific aim of assassinating someone, and they do die? If I do that, am I morally responsible? Let's find out if I'm morally responsible for this. And I am. That is something you are morally responsible for. Okay. So the shooting the mine. Drop the mine, don't deploy it. Huh? Interesting. Uh, dropping wait, the mine. So you were morally responsible. I was, but let's try dropping this. Okay, stay there, buddy. Okay, what if rather than laying a mine, we... No, don't move. Stay right there, buddy. What if rather than deploying the mine, we simply drop the mine? Okay, what if I do exactly the same thing again, but we semantically change the name? Can't help but notice we got some XP there. Let's see. Am I morally responsible? Yes. Even dropping the mine makes no difference. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear. Um. Hmm. Jimmy Dirty Hands. Lol. We need to find a way of eliminating the one last remaining man. Yes. Uh. Preston. He's he's right here. He's on the Preston. He's on the bridge. Preston. He's right here, Preston. Okay. If I. Physics. What physics objects could we utilize? Put the gun away so Preston shoots him again. Yeah, we if potentially breaking his thing. Save. He's gonna he's gonna go hostile again in a sec. Don't shoot me. I, I can't, I put the gun away. No funny business. I heard you. Let's just stay calm. What's what's wrong with you? What's wrong with Preston? He's I've put the gun away! There's no gun! Why? I think me and him might just be new best friends, or maybe more. I heard you. Let's just say. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah.
Baltica, wow, wow. Oh, he's, he's, okay, hang on. He appears to be following me, but he's not supposed to be following me. Is he? Oh, what are you doing? Why have you just pulled a gun out? Who are you trying to, why are you trying to shoot Preston now? He appears to be following, but he's not supposed to, which makes me wonder what happens if I leave this building. Will he follow me? Because he appears to be set to a follower protocol. I'm going to just try leaving and see if maybe he comes with me and then I can lead him somewhere where something else kills him. Uh, yes, absolutely. And uh, shout out also to Jennifer who gave us $5 uh, and uh, says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, quiet reflection perk from sitting a little while on pews in the All Faith Chapel. Yeah, that's extra 10. Is it 5 or 10%? Yeah, temporary bonus to XP. Yeah. Uh, yes, indeed. And then, um, and then let's see. Uh, from Kyle. Who Hang the fuck on. Mm -hmm. I think he's just come out to the top door. Because he's not marked as go through door. I think he's trying to follow me, which he's not supposed to do. I think he must have, he's gone through the only, the, the closest door. I think he's, okay, now he's gone back inside. Because you, the marker on the compass changed to I'm standing outside. I think he's, he, he, he was outside. He was outside. A hundred percent he was. Yeah, because he loves you. The hell is going on with this guy? If I get the... I'm bad at this jump, but if I get this jump... Yep, yeah, I'm bad at that jump. Uh, but I, if I go up to the top, I'm wondering if I can corner him into coming into the into the thing. This is so weird. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Come on. Nope! Almost had it. Uh, yes. Yeah, shout out to Kyle, who gave us five pounds. And says, happy birthday, John. You're my favorite uh, outside your lovely lady, Claire. Uh, you got me back into Fallout and the Elder Scrolls. Uh, please do XCOM. Uh, well, XCOM 2 is technically now quite high up the list. I've been done very well in Democracy Week. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it could well do. And, you know, if you haven't seen it, we did, uh, in fact, do XCOM. So. Yeah, we did the original XCOM, XCOM 2. And we did, I think there was an XCOM, like, like highest difficulty live stream at some point, too. Did you just say that we did XCOM 2? Because that's not accurate. Uh, I mean, in the sense that we did, yeah. we did XCOM as well. Yeah. Okay. Where's, um, where's he gone? And is he actually hostile at this point? Hey, buddy. Hi. Are me and you friends now? Oh, no, we're not friends anymore. But I don't really... Okay, there's there's got to be... He, he said we're not friends. We've, we've had a tiff. Okay, just stay. But now... Now, also, he's refusing to be pacified. But, eh? But... Well, this is... Now he's not being pacified at all. Now he's being... What? This guy's being very peculiar. But... Pre Pre Preston! He's right there, Preston! He's on the bridge! Clear shot! Clear shot, Preston! I just did... Okay, I think we need to soften him. I think we can soften him a bit. It's not gonna work if you soften him, it'll count as a kill. No, that I think that's not true. Okay, not that man. Well, science. We can science it anyhow. Okay, one, one more in the arm. There we go. He's got like one hit point remaining. And now... Okay. The question is, what's next on your game plan, buddy? I just need to do like the tiniest chip of physics damage. If I can just do the tiniest dumb amount of physics damage. That's... Oh... <gasps> Explosive canisters. Is it? Mo am I morally accountable, ladies and gentlemen? If I fire a bullet at an explosive canister, causing it to explode right next to somebody's head, if that happens, am I morally accountable? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, this is this is it. This is how we do it. It's this. It's this canister right here, buddy. Hey, buddy. But I, he's, 
Is he shooting at Preston? He's almost dead, though. My God. No! Hi! It's me! Your best friend! Why don't you follow me in this direction? Da -da 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 -da. That's right! I'm right here! You better follow me! You, you better follow me! Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm totally shooting at you! Da -da 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 -da. Do you think he's set to just be on that bridge? Well, he, he's wandered around before. Can I move these? Are these are these movable? Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Right, get a gun. I'm <laughs> Claire. I think we're suicide bombing him. Great. Um, if you die, you can't check whether it was morally reprehensible, though, can you? It's it's true. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's right there. He's right there. He's right next to me. He's he's right there. Okay, okay. drop. Go, go, go. How did you survive that? How did you live through that? Go, go, bring, bring him in. Because he him. was trying to get closer to you because of the wolf. Go, 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 go. Next one. Next one by the door. Next one right by the door. Right, right next to him. Right next to him. Right next to him. Right next to him. I'm moderately concerned that I just saw some XP appear. Am I morally accountable? Da, 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 da. Damn it! Why is this guy so determined to be dead? No! To, to be killed by you, more specifically. What if he shoots it? Okay, hang on. If I run up to him, and yeah, this is this is it. I just need to. I need to. Okay, we 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 we're going, buddy. So what buddy, if you did shoot me? Shoot me! Shoot me! No, shoot me! Shoot me! Shoot! 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 Yeah, there we go. That, yeah. Do it. Shoot me. Do it. Does it need to be on the ground? I don't think so. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's got, I'm seeing bullet holes in it. Come on, buddy. I think, I'm not sure his bullets can even touch it. <gasps> I saw XP, but I, that, that, I feel like I was not morally responsible for that one. I feel like if that... I feel like you were using something very stupid as a shield. <gasps> yes! Not morally accountable if I pick up an explosive item and run at somebody while they're firing a gun at me. I'm not morally accountable. I'm not morally accountable for that. And I get the XP too. Not morally accountable. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy Me shit. She means clean hands. Does it again. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Spontaneous Compulsion who gave us £10 and says, I found your channel while looking for Solaris. <laughs> Tips as uh, stayed for all the amazing content. Happy birthday, John! <laughs> Happy birthday! This is a great birthday. I'm having a great time figuring out ways of not killing people. <laughs> amazing. Zombie Calypse gave us 10 Swiss francs. It says thank you, everybody, for this wonderful stream. It's the most passive aggressive <laughs> evening since my last family <laughs> birthday party. Actually, I already grabbed the oh. uh, Molly uh, gave us five dollars and says, I really commend John for sticking to his challenge rules. Uh, it takes a lot of self control to stick to restrictions, I am finding. I wonder if I could do that same thing oh. by holding a mine in front of me and just running at um, people holding a mine hey using John. the hold command. Yes. Um, Alana says that you can pick up extinguishers as junk and they work in the exact same way. Ooh. She also, uh, sorry, they also said uh, to not tell you this. Uh huh. But, um, you know, I am telling you this. That is true. I think I, I knew that they could explode. I hadn't thought about carrying them around as basically a source of free kill bombs. Oh, life is suddenly good. Okay. So, what we need to do now is. I mean, th this bit, the concept is quite simple. The concept is. Basically, we just go and activate the death claw and then we run for cover. That's it. That's that's the concept. And we just see what happens uh, at that point. Um, 
And I would say. Extinguishers deal cold damage, apparently. Huh? Extinguishers, they deal cold damage. Yep, same as the cryo spray. That yeah. seems fair and reasonable. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we're going to leave that guy. We don't need the minigun, obviously. So, just get at the side here. <laughs> oh, I am a chaos goblin and I love it, says Alana. Well, yeah. Also, by the way, uh, also uh, from. Uh, right, get over to here. Activate you and then get the fudge into cover as fast as possible. Just go and hide in that shop as soon as possible. Is the Death Claw following me? Or is it. Nope, it's definitely not. So we're actually pretty secure for the time being. Now we just step back and basically let trouble take care of itself. Uh, we might need to go and deal with the lad on the top floor, who's unlikely to come down. But for the most part, yeah, now Deathclaw's going to deal with most of our problems for us. And Deathclaw is, yeah, what's it? Oh, that's a level 22 Deathclaw. Oh, hello. I'm level 23. That's Ooh. very interesting, isn't it? Yes. So Deathclaw's just destroying everything. Okay, let's see if we can make this happen. And pacify, pacify. Ow! Ow, he stabbed me instead. That's fine, I'm wearing power armor. So it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. No, hold. That failed. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get a surrender. We're gonna get a surrender. We're gonna get, a, we're gonna get that surrender. All this right, is a while we do this, yeah. uh, shout out to Emma who says, happy birthday, John, and thank you for the years of entertainment uh, and gave 20 right. pounds. Uh, there we go. And now we incite. So now the death claw is not just uh, another death claw is actively on my side. Wait, did we not get to see him raise his arm? It did not do an arm raise that I saw. Ooh. It did not see such a thing. So okay, the death claw that was supposed to be big and angry and terrifying murder boss has instead just um, he's now on my side and he's just killing all the raiders. He's just he's just killing all the raiders for me. So that's good. So there we go. He's just killing all of them. And if we need to kill him, we'll use that. Ooh, that was a good murder. Why did I just get XP for that? I was going to double check that that didn't count. No. Sometimes you just get XP. So that's the... Deathclaw friend. That's the... Oh, there's more the other side. Deathclaw friend. I'm going to be needing more more help for you. For a little bit more help from you yet. He's going gonna, gonna to have to take out more of them. Deathclaw friend, where are you... Deathclaw friend, why don't you just... Okay, Deathclaw friend is struggling a little bit with pathfinding there. Yeah. He, he, he he just sort of... The car blew up, which was not great. Now there's plenty more of them. Does the... He all gonna... Yeah, you could basically one-shot these guys. So you're dead. But he's almost dead. And you actually took that like a champ. Well done, level 9 raider. I think he just got out of the way. Yeah, you can just about take one slash, but you can't take another. His pathfinding is a little bit loose. Does the game just keep spawning more? No, there we go. So what's happened now is, yeah, he's now actually taking care of all the raiders for me. That's, that's, that's nice and simple. So what I need to do now is, I think if he's going to follow, are you going to follow me, buddy? Would you like to follow me? Because if you would, then yeah, uh, Preston can just shoot you. And if you don't, then we're going to need to find maybe another car or something to blow you up. I mean, I could also... I Okay, I think what I need to do potentially is bring him back over here. He's almost... Look at him. He's almost dead. He's really almost dead. Mm. So I think what I need to do is... if we're, Okay, drop a quick save. Gun away. He should now be... That should break the spell. Maybe Insight removes that condition. It's really weird. But you should be... Me and you should now not be friends. Because I put the gun... Maybe Insight break, removes that, that, that filter... Okay. In Maybe which... he just loved you. What the pro? Unfortunately, the car nearby has already exploded. I was planning to explode him with the car, but now the car's gone. I think I need to. I think I need to declare war on him to draw him to this side of the street. If I just hit him with a really light bullet, uh, bu 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 I need to hit him with like a really, really, really light bullet. But now, yeah, I've got to clear Concord of hostiles, and he's what he's officially won. I need something. I need the, the the weakest. You know what? I'm going to get something off you. I need something lighter. Pipe pistol. Great. Give me the pipe pistol. I need the weakest gun. I need to declare war on my own best friend. To lure him in. Uh, I need them to not kill him. Hey, buddy. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm not doing anything to him. This is this is barely hurting him. That he's not. He's not. He's not. I don't like you anymore. I don't want you to be my pet. He's not. He's. Wait, what? Okay, he just. There was no XP. Nope, that was officially a kill, but there was no XP no, from you, it, which um, is weird. Yeah, you, you killed him by being mean. He died of a broken heart. I, why was there no XP? Okay. Where's the nearest fire extinguisher? Lol. Actually, no, I can't because he's not going to shoot at it. But maybe fire extinguishers don't count as... Okay, no, no, no. I can reset him by, by, by leaving the cell. If I leave the cell and re-enter the cell, that'll reset his loyalty. That'll learn towards Preston. Preston gets the kill. That's fine. So, yeah. We're just going to go into the speakeasy. Come straight back out the speakeasy. That should have reset him. And then once that's... Well, there is another explosive right here. But that is not... I need, I need, the, I need the, the fire extinguisher. I don't... Like, I, I literally... If I did this run properly, I would have to memorize where all the fire extinguishers are. That would be part of my build. I'd have to, like, look up where are all the fire extinguishers uh, and memorize them and, like, carry around a selection of them. And then, like, if that... That's incredible. Like, you could actually, like, lay fire extinguishers all around Kellogg and just shoot them, and that might be enough to be like, yeah, the game's fine. If you get enough fire extinguishers. Hey, buddy! Yeah, hey, he's coming! If you can't shoot them, somebody else has to shoot them. Well, we don't know about that about fire extinguishers. That, Preston! Finish him off, Preston! Preston, get him! Preston? 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 Hey! Preston gets the kill. I don't get the kill. I don't get the kill. I don't get the kill. Zero! Jimmy clean hands! Yes! That one was easy, actually. That was a pretty easy solution. There we go. Jimmy clean hands, meaning now we've got access. We can escort these guys back to Sanctuary. We can set up the basics. Mama Murphy on side. Give Mama Murphy the drugs she wants. Mama Murphy gives me the information about the Corsa. And then the Corsa can just be dealt with. Easy. Claire. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to Caleb, who uh, gave us $5.00. And says, uh, I believe this no kill run should get some French narration just for the sake of continuity. Mm -hmm. That's Lol. true. You did do a very brief guest spot uh -huh. uh, during no kill, you may recall, back in late 2013. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I recall that. Mm. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, also from Taka, who gave us 25 Polish uh, Zloty. Uh, two things. You have a very easy power armor set next to Cabot House. Yeah. Uh, and don't try to pacify one of the brothers in DC standoff. He will explode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this game! Lol. This game. Oh, dear. Um, all right. A little poem from... Uh, oh, I love a little poem. 2000, who gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday to you, squashed tomatoes in stew, bread and butter in the gutter. Happy birthday to you. Mama Murphy knows about. Happy birthday to you, too. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, yes, tons of lovely birthday wishes from Dan Kinian, who's been a member 15 months, says happy birthday. Happy Nathan. birthday. <laughs> Nathan says happy birthday, John. Esther uh, gave us 2,000 yen and says happy birthday, John. Also, happy birthday. <laughs> we've got $20 from It Is Lupus. Uh, and 10 from Oman Gaming, uh, who says, uh, the Maya Lurk is all like, dude, I so shouldn't have eaten that stoner. I'm tripping like crazy here and I'm not even walking around. I remember that that Maya Lurk was great. Don't worry. It was great. Now, yeah, now I can just basically set up Sanctuary while I'm waiting for these guys to rock up to Sanctuary. Uh, because all they need is like, you know, handful of defense, handful of beds, food, etc. It's not too difficult to do, though, whether I've got enough food to make it happen i may need to just like yeah i could just swing by um uh abernathy and grab some crops there while i'm uh, on the way which will work out really really nicely Clap. uh yeah we've got uh, henry's first super chat for uh, five dollars 
says, uh, congratulations on surviving another rotations around the sun, John. Um, uh, what are the chances of a survival no guns run as survival has changed since bacon? Uh, well, t um, survival, interesting. Uh, I, I guess, I feel like that wouldn't be distinct enough to make it worthwhile doing, like, a full series of, uh, yeah, the, the survival no guns. Like, I think the, the only no gun variant that I have uh, in the past considered revisiting would be, like, maybe New Vegas YOLO, but with no guns. Like, but, like, purely no melee because like you know i think some of the early yolos three in new vegas especially there's there's a lot of it it boils down to sniping a lot like so if we like removed all the ability to snipe i think yolo would be even more ridiculous if all of a sudden you couldn't snipe anymore so this is there we go the lovely tatoes they're tomato potato hybrids radiation made them in the future they sound uh, no, delicious uh, no, um... they sound delicious come on a tomato potato hybrid that's got the best of both worlds? That sounds great. How dare you? How dare you be cynical of the Tato? I'm not cynical about it. I just think it's a bit... Remember how you felt when you realised that uh, they sell apple slash pear trees that have two fruits growing on one tree? Yeah. Because of the grafting? Mm -hmm. Yes, like but we that. did that intentionally. This was done by the fact mankind blew up the world. And now we just have to deal with what's left. Yeah, but I, I, it must be even more prone to blight. Which is obviously the main issue. Yeah, obviously the main thing I'm concerned about when I think potatoes and, and, and tomatoes is... I, I, man, that, that blight risk. That, yes, that when you blight. think about potatoes that you're growing, that blight risk is important. Ditto tomatoes. Anyway... Uh, tatoes make french fries with their own ketchup mm. built in, says Caleb. Oh, very important. That is a nice. Yeah, that's a very good thought right there. Uh, yeah, and we've got happy birthday. <laughs> Fenwick says uh, happy birthday, but says specifically happy birthday, Claire. I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> I guess John can have an adequate day, I suppose. That seems reasonable. That, uh, that's a fair us compromise. Five Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, Mike gave us £10 and says if only John still had a duelist gear from Legendary Apocalypse. Lol. Finally, a use for it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Dragon Trapper says it just works. Malachi uh, says John truly is a little birthday boy for that glitch. Uh, that was when uh, the... Um, that was when the... The enemy just got bored and yeah, wanted Yeah, they off. just left you alone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with Nick. Mm. Uh, CM gave us five pounds and says, Happy birthday, John. August is the best birthday month. Uh, mine is the Sunday. Uh, begging a Bethesda game to Bethesda is the best gift. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, this is now in the in the moments around that uh, that obviously that glitch, uh, which was a Bethesda game. Bethesda just room. just wonderful, classic Bethesda. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, Doc Tanyan says happy birthday. I hope there is some M N S cake. Ooh, no, hand like handmade cake. Yeah, properly. And Delicious everything. handmade cake. Damn it, good uh, the good shit. Spencer says happy birthday and thank you for all the good times and gave us ten pounds. Uh, Wobbles, Wobbles, didn't John say I that mutants John aren't people? To I think didn't we didn't John here. say before that mutants aren't home. people? Mutants aren't people. Mm. Mutants are not people. Mutants are deemed abominations um, or creatures in the game's lexicon, but that they they still can't be killed. Yes, of course. What do you mean? Yeah. Before uh, and yeah, we've got uh, happy birthday from GB Explorer. Gave us five uh, dollars. Thank you for all the content. Here's anyway, money for how much is a giant cupcake in the UK? Depends where you are. Like the fanciest cupcake shops, like the LZ route for like a tenner for a cupcake. Especially something considered. I don't know what a giant cupcake is, but don't worry, GB Explorer, because with five dollars, I probably can like buy ingredients that will make yeah 
a giant carrot cupcake. Oh, I didn't mean to imply, oh, you didn't give enough, lol. I just meant to say that in London, they will, they, they rip you off. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't mean to imply that either. I just meant to say that, like, I have no idea how much, like, a giant cupcake cost because it's not. Also, it depends how giant are we talking when we're saying giant. I'm not. I'm not sure that I've ever seen like places specifically saying giant selling giant cupcakes. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I'm sure they exist, but like the place that we normally like to get our like uh, baked goods doesn't do them. So I don't know. The price. Sturgis, why are you in the food field? That's not what you do. Also, I need you to... Actually, I literally need to just have an A at Sturgis because I've already built all the things he's going to want me to do. So that's going to be absolutely fine. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Adam gave us five uh, dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. I was on lunch and I popped in for a bit and now I'm off and you're still alive. Fantastic. We've, we've died a few times and killed a few people, but officially it's all fine. Uh, and says hello from, ha from Arizona. Uh, let's see. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. Backstabbeth. Uh, nice. Love it. <laughs> gave us five dollars and says, Happy birthday, John. Yesterday was my 28th. So hello from your birthday neighbor. Uh, and uh, Urban Cohort uh, says, We're safe. Everywhere. What else is safe from Nick? <laughs> Nick truly was like not not taking prisoners. Mm. Nick was not taking prisoners. There we are. Sanctuary gets completed the moment we begin it. Mm. Nice. He's apparently happy with my incredibly ramshackled dumb town. Flip and love it. Right out the power arm. We don't need any of that nonsense. Uh, what do you mean bivouac out here? This is literally my home. You stupid bastard. Uh, right. So that's all of that. Hmm. Very rude to your home. Yeah, damn straight. Now, where's Mum Murphy got herself to? She just sometimes wanders or sits around. I need to find Mama Murphy so I can build her her stupid chair. Once we build her her stupid chair, is that you, Mama Murphy? That's Sturgis. Right, I need to find Mama. Uh, you know, I'm going to build a damn bell. It's going to be fine. Claire! Uh, yeah, shout out to Grey Morality who gave us $10. And says, I wanted to send thanks for helping through some hard times dealing with a job that I hated. Uh, I have a better job now where Mama I feel Murphy. appreciated and I wanted to give back as thanks for the good times. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad you're no longer at a job you don't like. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and uh, yes, poisoned, uh, well, poisoned al or poisoned AI, I'm not quite sure, uh, gave us five pounds and says, uh, I uh, was stuck in hospital for a month with liver failure because of gallstones, which sounds scary. Kept myself sane watching your videos in bed on a switch. Happy birthday. Oh, sweet. That sounds like a cool system. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so there we go. In fact, I'm surprised I didn't need to build her chair. I don't know why I didn't need to build her chair. I thought she always demanded you build her her special chair before she does the things. But no, she was just straight into... oh. Now you want the chair, is it? Hey. Do you want the chair? You know what? I'm going to make you the chair. You just gave me the information to defeat a Corsa without a shot being fired. I'm happy to, to give you the damn chair. That's that's fine. I'll give you the chair. That's in specialist, Ned. There you go. Special special chair in the middle of the road for you. Congratulations. No, it doesn't get stored. There you go, Mama Murphy. I've Mama built your special chair. And there you go. I brought you your special chair, lovely. I, I, I surprised you asked for that first. I could have sworn she demands the chair before she does the drugs for visions. But all right, there we go. That one's fine. The, the first one's free, apparently. Then she needs the chair to recover. Ah, interesting. Thank you much for the confirmation. So okay, we now now have the ability to one control turrets, two control people, and three. Bring down a Corsa without any trouble. Meaning a Hunter Hunter that should now be doable without a single kill. Shouldn't even be that tricky, in fact. Claire? Uh, yes. Shout out to Darren, who gave us $10. Uh, and David gave us $10 also. And says, happy birthday. Uh, I had a dream about watching your Fallout for YOLO. Uh, and at the end of it, uh, someone in uh, Enclave PA spawned in and killed you with the Plasma Tricaster. Oh, no. And then you said, that's just great. That's a good impression of me right there. That mm -hmm. that was a good impression of the cadence. That's mm -hmm. good cadence right there. Good job. Yes, well. 
the one thing I'm like, so you know, I'm, I'm familiar with like how much uh, of a pause you leave between things. Yes. You know. Yes. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Kyle gave us five pounds and says I'm currently being um, moved to uh, HDU in Glasgow since my last chat. No idea what's happening, but at least John and Claire uh, can help me. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. um, well, I hope it all works out for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Peter says happy birthday uh, and gave us 200 Swedish krona. And Rebel Scoundrel says happy birthday, John. Enjoying the No Guns Run or Fallout 4. It's, it's, yes, it's been, it's been a bit wild. It's been, you know, less organized and planned than, you know, New Vegas No Gun. It's been a lot more wild and just killing everything. We've just been killing all the things. No, clean hands, John. Clean hands. Uh, right shout out to Natalia, who gave us uh, $50 uh, and didn't leave a message. But if you're around and if you do want to leave a message, please at reply me in chat. That's always possible. Uh, later, Cater uh, gave us 10 Australian dollars. High level dollars. Uh, says, happy birthday, John, and happy unbirthday, Claire. Yeah, we. Which is just lovely. Straight through the space. Can I hop over here? Oh, I had to say cards and also I'm on fire. Uh, straight through here. Back in this direction. Hang on. I've got myself. I've got myself dumb levels of loss, which is ridiculous. This area is actually quite easy to navigate. Uh, 66. Hang on. Where the. Cockpit. I have a lot of people are throwing things at me right now. I'm trying to get away from them, but then we'll loop round to the. Oh dear. I've overshot. Green Tech. John, it's the giant building that looks like Green Tech Genetics. I'm very close by to the Cambridge Crater right now. Here we go. We've made it. Everything's under control. Clap! Yeah, finally, Tessa's been a member for three months and says, Happy birthday, John. I'm loving the stream. Uh, this may be the last one I can catch uh, live for a little while because I'm going back to college next week to Ooh. study archaeology. Oh, super cool. Very cool. I was never, I never did, I never did many uh, papers and modules in archaeology. It was never my specialization, uh, to be honest. I was never that strong at it. But why on earth did you explode? Lord only knows. Anyway, we're in here. Green Tech Genetics is basically going to fall into a few distinct stages. Let's just make sure before we go in, we are where we are. Uh, we want to be. All zeros. Jimmy Clean Hands doing his job. Uh, turn off the courser signal. Step one, there's turrets on the ground floor. Simply get in and uh, hack them. Because uh, I am pretty confident that if I hack a turret and set it to murder my enemies and it murders my enemies, I am not morally accountable for that. Alright, pretty sure 100% safe. Alright, so we're just going to go and do that, which I think we did. Did we do that in YOLO? I've used that tactic at some point in the past. I can't remember which, uh, where it was. But there's no enemies in the opening section. So you can just sprint through, jump down, and hack if you've got the, um, the hack thing. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to, um, uh, we've got, uh, a few, um, a few messages with $20. Uh, so shout out to Pete, who says, After a stressful day at work, this stream is just what I needed. Happy birthday, and thank you for all the entertainment. Thank you very, very much indeed. <laughs> Labyrinth says, I never know what to get people. I always just go with cash. So happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you very, very, very much indeed. Uh, yes, indeed. Jane uh, says, happy birthday, John. It's my birthday today too, so thank you for letting me spend some time, uh, some of it. With you and Claire, uh, August seventeenth, best birthday. Damn good birthday! Very. very there we good. go. You see, turret friends are doing a good job. I'm pretty sure turret friends have already cleared out the first wave, and I think they're attempting to take out missile launcher person. And the turrets. Okay, that turret I think is hostile to me. I think that one's on a different. Yeah, that one's on a different circuit. That one's on the circuit up top. But you're attempting take out that. So, okay, let's just make sure we are not morally accountable for that. Oh! Ooh. What did you do? Turrets! Hacked turrets do count! Well, that's very surprising. Well, alright. This is why we check. I'm genuinely very surprised that hacked turret 
countered. So okay, if hack turrets count, then I think we're just doing a sprint to the end. Uh, and basically just spamming what we what we can do and just basically hoping that we get through before trouble kicks off. So alright, Claire, all yours while I just desperately attempt to just sprint and drop the quick saves as the opportunity presents itself. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Uh, no one of consequence gave us uh, another $20 and says I'm uh, probably a little late with this. But if you spam the Q key or any key that opens the pit boy as you're loading in, the game will recognize it before your character is loaded in. Interesting. Also interesting, the explosions from the Corsa are not just for show. They are real. And if you run ahead fast enough, you can get caught in them. Although, if you actually run it... Oh, hang on. Oh, this is fascinating. Okay, so the game's pretending that the Corsa is running through this area and it's it's blasting people out the way. In order to make sure that the guards you're supposed to be fighting don't get killed, the game doesn't spawn them until you get close to them. It spawns when you approach. However, if you simply sprint through the area, then the... The Corsa animations are still happening while your enemies are present. And as a result... Hi. <laughs> Hi there. And as a result of that, I'm pretty sure you aren't supposed to be dead. I think you were killed by the Corsa, like the decorative explosions. Oh, that's really fascinating. Hello, don't mind me. Yes, it's fine. I'm just... Oh, you had a powerful gun. Okay, that's fine. I've, I've got, I've got stim packs. It's fine. Run from missile launcher person. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just the missile launcher person. Okay, I feel pretty safe where I am right now. I'm going to drop a save there. We need to go up to the top. The missile launcher person is still live and active. Uh, that's hi. Hi. Don't mind me. It's fine. Missile launcher person is still there. You've just got a bat on. So that's fine. Oh, you're there. Don't fire. Don't fire. Don't. I be. Pretty sure she fired. Oh, missile launcher person. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Claire. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, Paul. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, yes, Paul gave us $5 uh, and says, uh, Your mind will be projected back into the past to control one person for one year. Who do you pick and what do you do? <laughs> Uh, interesting. One person. is. Was there a limit to how far in the past? He's not a fuck with history, because I feel like that no, that doesn't end well. Like, yeah. fucking with history just does not end well. And I don't want to fuck with, like, our own personal histories, because I feel Could like I just put myself in small. myself one year back so I could have an extra year with Tappy? Oh. And have another cuddle oh. with her? Oh. <laughs> Don't fire! Don't fire the missile! Don't fire- We made it through! Yes! Drop a quick save. Oh, I broke Claire. I broke Claire. I- 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 I was too- I was too cute for Claire. There we go, well, go. You were cute, but also I missed Tabby. Wait, where's the- where the fuck am I going? Wait, where's the- where's the way up? Oh, fuck, I can't remember where the way up is. Oh, it's up this way. It's up here. Where's- where's- how much health do I have? Fuck. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is this is fine. Everything's under control. Is it one more floor up or is it? Oh, it's one more floor up. There's, there's, a, there's a grenade trap, but no one cares. It might just take people out behind me. Just make sure we're still safe. Still zeros. Jimmy, Jimmy tight lips. All right, go, go over the top. Go, go. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just coming through. Just coming through. Bye. Job done. Actually, inciting missile lady would have been fun, but also potentially chaotic. Still zeros. There we go. Just oh, I'm sorry. No, that's alright. I'm it sorry. Was so sweet. I would have just loved to have, or maybe myself before Jasper passed. I never got to say goodbye to him. He passed away too quickly. Maybe myself when my little Jasper. I was just thinking Jaspie. about lesser as well. It's that, you know. Now, okay, that should be it. Now, having just basically sprinted through all of that, just step by step with a bit of uh, quick save uh, scamming, uh, scumming, and yeah, honestly, the biggest problem was the um, biggest problem was missile launch person. Now, I suppose, yeah, that would have been the person to just lock down and uh, pacify. But now we're just basically straight in, 
And now we can just basically use the code. Yeah. And now all I say is reset code. Z247 initialized factory reset. And that's it. He just goes straight down. Calls to defeat us. And down he goes. And he pulls out his gun. Then he falls over in a second. There we go. Down you go, buddy. Let's make sure that's not a kill. I mean, it better not be. Nope, not a kill. He's not dead. I just pulled a, I just built a chip out of his brain. And there we go. Just, just to confirm, um, if you, if you specifically give someone a reset code that is designed to incapacitate them and then pull a chip out of their brain, that is not a morally accountable. Then again, was. I mean, he's kind of dead now, but then was he alive to... Well, he was alive to... Okay, you know what? I'm not morally accountable for it. He deserved, no, he didn't. He's not dead. He's fine. He's just resting. Okay, I won't hurt you. It's fine. We'll get you out. No trouble. Right, Claire. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, Original Diddy, who gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. I have lost track of how many years I've been enjoying your content. But it's gotten me through the good years and the not so good years. I'm loving the Oblivion series. Oblivion is so much fun for me to record as well. It's and so edit. much fun. It's so much fun. It's and such a good series. And I think we've we've made it ba much better balance. Like some of the episodes of Kotor um, and Dragon I think went like went on a bit too long and could have been trimmed down a bit. I think Oblivion is just the right amount. It's I think it's just the right pace to it. I think it's working really well. Yeah, uh, Chitara says happy birthday. John Maxwell uh, says woohoo, happy birthday. He gave us 10 Australian dollars. Uh, Eric says it's the same date as me. Happy birthday, John. Happy birthday. Uh, yes, indeed, and gave us five uh, euros. Uh, Nicole gave us $20 and says happy birthday, John. Congrats on another trip around the sun. And thank you for a pl plethora of videos to keep me entertained when I'm working from home. Excellent. Very good indeed. Um, yes, Anthony gave us $20 and says, since aren't, since aren't alive, kills of them don't count. This is brought to you by the Brotherhood at Victorium, John. <laughs> Story checks out. Basically. Uh, okay, almost level 24. Yes, indeed. Which is useful because I do have a plan for level 24. So, in which case, I might just go and do a tiny bit of crafting. Will be the right place to do it. We'll see. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Fictional Tome who uh, gave us five Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, I've never seen anyone play Oblivion like you have. <laughs> I love it, mate. <laughs> it's very hard to tell whether that's a compliment or not, but hopefully so. Yeah, a little bit of colour, mate. <laughs> Uh, does this unit have a soul? Uh, gave us five dollars <laughs> and says happy birthday. Very appropriate. Very appropriate under the circumstances. Uh, we've got ten dollars from Indecisive Wolf who says I can't stay, uh, but I just want to say happy birthday to John and thank you for the countless hours of entertainment. Do not forget to up your perception. We will not. How many pages have you got, by the way? You've started to catch up a little bit. I mean, I am, but they are continuing to write in with nice things. I just saw 19, but I hope that the, the, the most that's not actually real. Yeah, it's like, 19 is the whole document. Itself. Excellent. Nah. Uh... Yeah, I was Three about. I was is what I've got. Oh, now. that's good. Okay, we're making we're making progress. Yes. I was about. Uh, yeah, three, we're just making... like the current time. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that. We don't have dinner ready. <laughs> Would you? And if you'd like to take a break to go and make a bit of food for us, then that I think that would make perfect sense. I mean, I... Then we're gonna be more behind, John. That's true. Fair enough. Do you understand how this works? All right. I can see. Yes. We're gonna. I've... We're gonna. We're have some fresh pasta which we'll cook in like two minutes oh that's fine then yeah i was gonna say oh i'll save up um and get aqua boy and aqua girl next time but actually there's like no point uh because i can just swim like the airport is like right off well i kind of find it quite quite funny i'm not sure whether it's like intentional or not but i kind of like find it kind of funny that like the like the airport is like kind of 
almost opposite over the water. The old North Church, I believe, is that white spire right there. Like, and I don't know whether that's, like, intentional. That, like, you know, the Brotherhood and the Railroad are so odd. But, like, their bases are right opposite each other. Like, I, I don't know whether that's, sort of, like, a bit of an intentional little joke or not. But I find I find it entertaining anyway. Uh, this feels like this is... I want to go the other way. I want to go the other way to avoid any chance of running into raiders. Clap! Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, this is where I want to be. Now it's just a case of ghoul... Uh, pacify, incite, make them kill each other, uh, because I just need to have the catacombs cleared so I can enter the password. Clap! <laughs> yes. Uh, Richard says, uh, happy birthday, John. Uh, now I need to go back to the beginning of the stream and catch up. Uh, so thank you You've got some much. good moments. You've got some good ass moments waiting for you. There's been some brilliant stuff going on here. Yeah, so thank you very much for, uh, ten pounds. Uh, J.O. gave us 10 euros and says, Happy birthday, John. Thank you for always providing uh, for my, what is it this time? Oh my God, John, why? Means. Yeah, I have Calm those two. Down, you... Those, oh my God, John, why? Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, we've, yeah, got yeah. A, we've got a uh -huh. really good candidate here, by the way. Oh yeah. Level 22, legendary reaver. Perfect slave. Stop right there. Okay. Just need to get him on board. Clap. Incited. Yeah. Not slave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's down. not make it weird. There we go. Anyway, Cara, uh, Cara uh, gave us twenty dollars, uh, and uh, and says I'm wishing you a happy birthday uh, in the style of Ovid. Optimi Ovid. Okay. New rule: not correcting my pronunciation at three a.m. <laughs> Acceptable. I love you so much. <laughs> she says in that tone. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Optime Natalis. Uh, but the money is for the fence for the new puppy. Oh. That's so cute. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Cara. Uh, you guys are still allowed to pr correct my pronunciation, by the way, if I get your names wrong, of course. If you don't, if anyone doesn't know this, by the way, you can just um, you can pickpocket legendary gear off people. That's uh, cool. When you get your pickpocketing up, it becomes quite viable. So you don't actually need to kill a legendary in order to uh, to do that. You can one hundred percent just do it this way. It's hilarious. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Kobe gave us twenty dollars. Says happy birthday, John. Uh, I've been watching since the original No Kill and Kill Everything days. I always love to watch your content. It's always it's 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 always a delight to be in back in the world of Fallout. Uh, yeah, shout out to Miss Trang uh, Miss Trangi, who gave us uh, twenty Swedish krona uh, and says happy birthday. Stop right uh, there. Cray uh, gave us twenty year uh, twenty dollars even sorry, uh, and says uh, August birthday is best birthday. Yep, seems reasonable. Uh, double, presumably Calm double, down. super chat. Double if Claire can pronounce my name Avenged. correctly when she gets to this. Well, <laughs> we'll just have to see, but, um, yes. Uh, let me know how it is pronounced if I've messed it up, by the way. Um, and yes, more, uh, more birthday people. Uh, more birthday people. Uh, Rose gave us $37, which I'm not sure if maybe that's their age. Uh, so happy birthday, John, from a fellow birthday person. Mine is on Sunday. Now, uh, what is this that I hear about a puppy? Yeah, there could well be a puppy at some point. It's very well, exciting. But we don't know exactly when. Uh, no, yes. we don't exact time in mind. Obviously, when we rescued Tabby, we knew that uh, she needed to be an only pet, and that was fine for the because we were in an apartment. But um, you Calm know. Down. Um, now that she's gone and we've had a little bit of time to to grieve, we are kind of getting ready for um, adopting the future fluff balls, uh, and we're looking at uh, getting a couple of uh, kittens and a puppy mm -hmm. and raising them together so they can be friends. Made a bit of a miscalculation here. Yeah. The one survivor is the one who is the tougher one. He's got no arms, but I think he can still bite me. Can, can you do anything? Can you do anything to me? Yeah, he can bite me. He bites you. He leans forward and bites you with any, when he's, they've got no arms. But I'm just going to lead him upstairs to my uh, 
my uh, lovely uh, ghoul upstairs who should be. So she should follow me around here. Hey, buddy, why don't you come and meet my legendary Reaver best friend? All right, that'll work for you. Oh, hello. Calm down. You're not supposed to be. It, it's, you should take care of... Okay, you're my friend. Why are you not taking... There we go. Thank you. You take care of... Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Right, that's them taken care of. Clap. Uh, yes, shout out to Ryan, uh, who says, Happy birthday. For years, the content has been A+. Plus. Aww. Uh, Cackling Goblin. That's such a good name. Cackling Goblin uh, gave us 100 Norwegian kroner. And says, happy birthday, John. I'm so happy that you picked up Oblivion. It might be my favorite Bethesda game. And it's so fun to watch you play through it for the first time. It's such a good game. I'm having a whale of a time with it. Yes, I'm very glad uh, that uh, that uh, Democracy Week made that happen. Yes. Uh, absolutely. Uh, shout out to uh, J.O., who is a new channel member. Uh, as well as uh, Adam. Um, so welcome to the Green Club, you guys. We've got quite a few new channel members. I think, uh, yes, the the um, the, um, the little uh, stream studio says 14 new channel members today. So thank you, everybody. Uh, that's uh, that's really great to see. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Elana gave us two pounds. And they said, I went for a nap and you're still going. Have some love. <laughs> dear, oh dear. I'm uh, about to mess with everything, by the way. So, I'm sorry, what were we doing before? So, as you're aware, this is, a, this is an ambush mm -hmm. that takes place. Uh, or we're not an ambush. It's basically, they turn the lights on, like, hey, what, what's going on? But what happens if I pacify them before they, before they do? What if I do that? What 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 happens? Don't move, agent. Oh, I think they just go hostile. Okay, if you pacify any of them, they just go hostile because you threaten one of them. Uh, so fair enough. That just doesn't work on this occasion. But you know what might, in theory, work? What might, 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 in theory, work? No, I don't. Oh, I do. Based on what we saw earlier during this uh, during this playthrough, let's just put the gun away for the time being and spam saying hi. We're all going to be friends, no trouble at all. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, shout out to Carnaverdi who gave us uh, twenty dollars and said, "Hey John, um, are you ever gonna properly finish your let's play uh, of West of Lothering and post it? Uh, you stopped it hanging on a cliff." Why three years ago wow <laughs> that's true like it's it, west of loathing was really difficult because mm. that was um like i felt like there was only like maybe 30 minutes left but i couldn't find that last 30 minutes which was kind of unfortunate so yes that that that, that game ended up in a bit of an odd situation if we're done yes here. I found a course of you have uh, uh, yes and sorry we I've missed Neil talks uh, is also uh, another new channel member. Uh, so uh, welcome welcome welcome, welcome indeed yeah, why did you not we're mm. letting you into our head <laughs> you're the first I don't know control F lied to me mm -hmm. uh, sorry folks um, mm, 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 mm. don't try oh yes Somebody called Hi All gave us uh, 50 Australian dollars. But you know, I got confused because Hi All sounded like it was part of the message. Ah, uh, I see. Yes. Uh, I started watching with the Cleo Chaos. I'll go back to the start to find out how it came to this. Happy birthday! As you can see, we're doing a morally good pacifist uh, beautiful angel yeah. run where we are good people and don't do any bad things whatsoever. Uh, as pointed out by Wobble, who gave us two uh, pounds, it's not murder, it's only red rum. That seems like a reasonable excuse to me, yes. Yes. Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to Daniel, who gave us $20. Uh, and to Matthew, who gave us five, and says, uh, I've watched every Fallout 4 YOLO video twice, once falling asleep to John's smooth voice, and the next day uh, for laughs. 
Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday indeed. <laughs> Happy birthday and also happy uh, for Fallout on the channel, says Double Event, uh, with a little birthday cake icon uh, and $5. Uh, let's see. Seesaw gave us $10 uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. I just got my Steam Deck and this has inspired me to install Fallout 4 on it ASAP. It's, it's a good game. It's a yes. very good game. I hear it's a good game. It, I, I think it's age lovely. I think the, the mm. colours, the aesthetics. Boss really? is beautiful. I think it's a gorgeous game that plays very smoothly, very nicely. I sort of love how Tinker Tom, when he's doing his hacking, is just doing the little Wordle game you do to hack into terminals all the time. It's great. Just beautiful. Clap! Yes! Um, <laughs> Why did I just shout Adventure Painkill at random? <laughs> I'm in the middle. I'm just in the middle of a business meeting right now while they're doing some hacking. I just randomly just set out of nowhere. Avenge your pain. Chill. Which is what you say to the ghouls. But that. This, that was very wild. That was that was that was unexpected. But, but you know, not not clean hands. That that's clean hands. Did 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 I do something? No, no I'm still Jimmy. Hands. Clean hands. Ah, uh, shout out to Bart who gave us uh, 10 euros and says, Happy birthday, John. Here's to another year of fun and success and good health. And you. Yes, those are all very, very important. Mm hmm. Uh, LMK Gaming gave us 10 uh, pounds. Says, Happy birthday, John. It's my birthday on Saturday, too. I discovered your channel in June 2021 through the Fallout 4 YOLO series when I was recovering from my COVID vaccine jab. And I've been a fan ever since. And it's lovely to hear. Yeah. Yoda was a fun one. Yes. So well, now we can go straight back to Virgil. The game was trying to tell me to go back to the memory dam, but screw that. I know where I was going, so it's fine. So I can now go straight back to Virgil to get the schematics. But, 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 but. So remember how we, um, the last time we found an assault tron, we were able to convert it into a kill bot that is now just rampaging around Good Neighbor and will never, ever, ever stop? Lol. <gasps> you can't hack Pam. No. No. I'm, I'm, I'm horrified that you can't hack Pam to make Pam murder the railroad. Oh, that's so sad. I'm, I'm, I'm devastated we can't do the same thing here. I'm, yeah. I'm devastated. Shout out, oh. to, uh, shout out to Uploady McLoderson who gave us five Canadian dollars. Then says, uh, all caps, Pam Page, you're so happy birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm sorry that we can't do that. We sadly can't make Pam go on a mad murder rampage with robotics experts. I did my best. I did my best, damn it, but it just didn't work. We may as well speak to Deacon to get Tradecraft operating. Just to uh, get that on the... Uh... Do you not want to do... Also, why, wait, why are you still here? Are you? I need to make sure that we're on the same page. Did, did, you were just inside. Why are we having this conversation? Okay, fine. It's 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 all fine. Claire. Uh, yes. Sorry, I was just trying to grab the the newest messages. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Chaotic Chicken. Oh, love the name. Excellent username and a very very sweet message. Chaotic Chicken gave us ten Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and would like us to uh, wish uh, to wish Liv, uh, Liv uh, the best of luck. Says, uh, could you please say best of luck, Liv? Um, uh, we broke up after seven years, but I still want the best for her, and we are great friends. That's Happy so birthday, sweet. John! It's best. It's so nice. Good for you, Liv. Best yes, of luck. Best of luck, absolutely, and best of luck also to Chaotic Chicken, because mm -hmm. that's you know. That's sweet. That's very sweet and very mature. Sweet and also just a great choice of username. So you know. Really. Uh, that has to be also recognised. I have a short list. I can't get over this stupid moustache. Mm -hmm. By the way. So Des wants. I'm just. Oh dear. You got my attention. All right. So we are just skimming through that. We'll take a job, and we may or may not do trade craft. Like, it just depends whether ultimately we decide Railroad or Minutemen is the best option uh, in terms of saying that. Like, I think Railroad might seem smoother, but I suspect the Minutemen is actually the correct option for uh, 
for this because there's just two like the Minutemen and lots of their missions are in fact to do little minor missions for settlements and settlement missions are in the overworld where there's the there's the easiest capacity to just mix things up a little bit and just cause trouble basically clap uh yes absolutely shout out to uh sean who gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday john i've been watching and being entertained by your videos for years long may it continue oh. thank you so much love myself that expression Yes, that is lovely. Mm -hmm. um, Kayo gave us 50 bazillion reais and says, Happy birthday and have fun! Have fun! <laughs> yes. Uh, Brayson uh, gave us two Canadian dollars and says, I just celebrated myself on the second. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yes, indeed. I think at this point, by the way, we're going to declare at the absolute bare minimum, you get a half day tomorrow. You can have a free half day. Oh, yeah, day. I was going to say maybe I should take I think a weekend just, I think tomorrow. you could just have a free half day tomorrow at no, the I mean, bare I'm not minimum. Sure it's a free so half a day if I've, like, done the hours today. Mm -hmm. It's just... S same basic principle. In lieu. Okay, fine. Or whatever. Uh-huh. But, yes. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to Laura, who gave us £4.50. Says, happy birthday, John. Um, your videos have got me through some stressful times. Thank you uh, for the videos and for the laughs. Love from up the road in Tamworth. Oh, good old Tamworth. There you go. Never spent too much time in Tamworth myself when I was young, I'll be honest. But yeah, I, I know I passed it by many times. I think you passed by Tamworth on the on one of the big A roads. Uh, around the East Midlands, uh, so I know, I know Tamworth. <laughs> no, don't be sweet, there is not a stream tomorrow, there's a video to <laughs> There's a horror game video tomorrow, in fact. It's very exciting. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, there's a stream tomorrow today, that's true, Malachi. Yeah, there's a stream happening on Thursday right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Adam gave us five Canadian dollars and says, Happy birthday, I cannot believe you are still going. In other news, I just finished your Skyrim series. Keep up the good work. Ah, the ending excellent. of that is just master. I think it, I love. I love it. I love. It. it took so long to put together because clearly they didn't record. Like the people who recorded the the Dragonborn comes, the various singers they got to perform it, weren't clearly not performing to the same music or any music at all because the pace is massively different for each one. So all of them had to be recut to make it even remotely form a harmony which took ages but sometimes i just go to the end of that like to the end of that video just so i can listen to them sing and then of course benor so nice. benor's line at the end because yes, yes benor secretly uh we we kept we kept benor somewhere and it, it, we kept benor locked in a basement somewhere just so we could when you case... say in a basement don't you mean in heaven huh if we're talking behind the scenes, just so oh. we, we kept Benor out the way somewhere in case we ever needed him again in order to set up some of the shots. Uh, particularly, he actually, he lived in, um, he lived in Windhelm. He oh lived yes, in, he lived in he, one of the He lived in the wind. he lived in the house in Windhelm. That's where Benor lived. Uh, in fact, if you see when I'm in the house in Windhelm, occasionally there's some slightly awkward cuts where, like, out of nowhere, and that's because Benor walked into frame and we had to cut him out, because otherwise Benor would have just been in the video. It's like, you're supposed to be dead. Uh, we had to keep him, uh, in case we, so we needed him for the various, uh, further shots and voice lines, which was always good fun. <laughs> anyway. Oh, good old Benor. Shout out to Kim who uh, gave us five dollars and says I actually made it to a stream. Thank you both for all that you do. I can't wait to catch up on all the shenanigans that happened while I was at work. Good old shenanigans. I love the word shenanigans. It's an One excellent word. It's like smithereens. Yes. I think it smithereens. Just has a rhythm smithereens to it. has an excellent rhythm too. I know it's lovely. Mm. Um. Oh, yes, uh, we've got another message from Kara who gave us $20 and said, since it's your birthday, I had to do two super chats. I've been saving the question, though. Will you ever play Witcher 3? It's great. You get emotionally invested and it has the sexiest Netflix series. P.S. Claire is doing a great job. I've said before, I've said again, I need to actually play the Witcher 2 first. 
Uh, and I might like, you know, do a little bit, let's say, like, put my toe in the water on my own time to see whether I think it works for me. Because, yeah, I think sometimes CD Projekt Red doesn't, CD Projekt Red doesn't work for me 100%. Like, the, the, like the, the, some of the design principles they subscribe to and appear, just appear in their games don't always 100% work for me. So... Yeah, we'll have to see whether whether it's uh, whether it's actually one for me or not. We'll have to flip big C one day. Clap. Uh, yes, shout out to uh, Foster who gave us uh, another ten dollars, uh, and uh, and yes, Foster says I was really hopeful for an arms up surrounder from a desk low. Sorry, I was really ho I was really hopeful for an arms up surrender from a death claw, but alas. Here's some funds anyway towards the history of dog meat video. They are my third favorite Fallout character. Ooh, how exciting. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think the Death Claw just goes into its neutral pose uh, during pacification uh, and has no special animations, I'm afraid. Very we sad. We tried, though. We did try. I mean, we could give it another go right here. I'm just going to see while we're actually here in the glowing sea. Drop a quick save. Stop right see if there. we get hit. We'll see if we just try a few attempts so we can get him. Because he's, I think he spawned at level 22 when I was the, uh, level 22. And now I've leveled up, but he's still where he was. So we've just got to... Now we should be able to get him. And we'll just give it another go. Just in case the other one was interrupted by, like, dodgy terrain or something. Whoa, whoa, now, girl. It's all right. And... No, that's just that's just the neutral uh, pose. That's, unfortunate, that's yeah. just the neutral pose. We'll put you into in sight mode because why not? Rip them to shreds. Just in case there's any like you know nasty enemies nearby, you might be able to kill for me. I don't know, but no, I think he's just patrolling. Uh, so yep, you're just around, but no sign of any trouble by the Luxy of it. So all right, now we've gotten. We're now running into the same problem I ran into during Legendary Roulette, which is you simply cannot get anyone to build the teleporter until you've done enough work for them. Um, officially, you've got to have joined the faction. Now, Brother of Sue, you've kind of already joined, but that's not good enough. Um, they insist at the bare minimum, uh, show no mercy be done. Show no mercy is very difficult to do. I think you'd have to, like, incite every super mutant to attempt to bring down the behemoth, and then... Uh, then you'd have to incite everyone inside to attack each other, and it would just be a nightmare. Show no mercy is just—it's not—it's not impossible, but it's—it's it's dumb. Tradecraft is very difficult because I well, actually, I don't know whether Deacon acts like Nick does. If Deacon acts like Dick Nick does, then um, you're in a situation where you've got someone running around the level who's shooting sins, and potentially you're being blamed for their kills. But if instead he works like Dance, then that's fine. But that's still a relatively long mission. And I think, like, all the sins at the end need to die. The better option, to my mind, is doing the first step for the Minuteman. That's not even that difficult, really. So I think if we do that and we just go up the hill to Tempine's Bluff, then all we need to do is just get, basically, sneak and or sprint into the final room... Maybe do a bit of pacification on the way. Get to the final room. Yeah, pass, go in the front door. Pacify everyone up to the first major hallway, which shouldn't be too difficult at all, just by just a quick step pacification. And then go upstairs, release the robot. Robot kills what's-his-face. And then we just leave, because as long as the leader's dead, that's good enough. I think that's much more doable. So we're going to go to Wildwood Ceremony... Uh, right, yeah, Wildwood Cemetery... Go to Ten Pines and then infiltrate Corvega straight through the front door. That's got to be the easiest way to get somebody to build the teleporter. Clap. Uh, yes. Uh, shout out to Alexander who gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, uh, John. Buy yourself something pretty or something nice for Claire. Shh. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's very kind of you. Uh, we're, I mean, we're probably just going to be buying nice things for the future pups and kitties. Yes. Uh, to be honest. Uh, and then, uh, yes, from Curtis, who gave us $10, we have a happy birthday, John. Um, how long are you going to make us wait for another Excel video? Oh, no, there's some Latin. Quo usque tandem abutere? Uh, John, patientia nostra. 
Oh god, it's too late in the leave day for me to Latin. I was never actually a lot of Latinist anyway. Uh, our pa um, our patients. Ubitere. Uh, Abutere. I'm gonna. Be, I can't do this at three a.m. <laughs> well, I can't. I can't do Latin at three a.m. while I'm playing Fallout Four. Uh, and I was always way more of a Hellenist anyway. My Latin is rusty as fuck. Like my my fifth century and thereafter. Like Greek is 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 still okay. I can find my way around a passage of Menanda. My ro my Latin words are always like towards the dicier end of what an Oxford classes should have. I was never my specialization, and it is rusty as fuck these days. So How I. How long, John, would you abuse our patients? If... Ah, Uberterra abuse. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, fair enough. That sounds about right. Oh dear, it's 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 too much three a.m. to be to, to be uh, figuring out that as I go. <laughs> it sounds like uh, the chat made class of a deep at three a.m. Great, uh, and Curtis says, "I hope you have an excellent birthday." Excellent. Well, it's been it's been good for the first twenty-seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty more to come. Yeah, but see, the Excel video was a special. I think that was a one-off. I yeah. think I couldn't do anything that would be that special again now. Plus, like, data visualization was always the thing I was a specialist at, and I really think I, I got that across in the video. Like, dashboards data, like dashboards and data visualization were always what I was best at. I mean, projection modeling, too, which we didn't really get into, I suppose. Uh, we could like, I guess I was going to project, but projection is conceptually extraordinarily simple. I'm not sure you could get a video out of that, really. We're rebuilding. Glad to hear it. Oh, dear, I'm flipping dear. Claire! Yes, uh, let's Thanks. see. Sanctimonious lock. Nice. Give us 10 Canadian dollars. Uh, figured I figured I should drop a few bucks to show support for the channel before the stream fully ends. Thanks for the entertainment. There's like three pages of super chats after this guy. Lol. Um, oh, this person. Sorry, I don't actually know. Mm -hmm. um, yes, but thank you so much, Sanctimonious Lock. Um, and uh, Hudson uh, gave us uh, fifty dollars. My goodness. Uh, sorry, I, I missed it earlier. Uh, I didn't see it come in. Uh, Hudson uh, says, "Happy birthday, John! Thank you for eight years of Fallout shenanigans." And thank you, Claire, for mostly keeping things on track. <laughs> Lol. Lol. We are trying, but uh, you, 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 you guys are just not stopping being lovely and extremely generous. And um, I think also, I think also people, particularly today, have just chosen to like a lot of people have chosen to send slightly longer messages and yes. kind of talk about what's important to them about the channel which is just absolutely lovely yes uh but you know um yes it is here we go we've now immediately started the robots of great garden attacking each other and are you actually properly are you properly dead or nope supervisor brown is unkillable so okay Add another settlement to the list of uh, settlements where uh, basically I have now just pu just pushed them into never-ending anarchy where they're just going to be murdering each other for the rest of time. That's because that's that's where we are now. That's where we are. Oh, hang on. Are you, are, you an, are you an important named one? No, you're just a generic Mr. Handy. So, okay, one of the named ones can absolutely just be destroyed and now they're just going to keep setting fire to their own greenhouse. Forever. I love it. Clap. Uh, yes, shout out to the Fusion Warrior who uh, gave us $20 uh, and says, Happy birthday! Thank you for all that you do. Uh, as a woman named John, your work makes me so happy with the character that. Your work makes me so happy with the characters that you roleplay as, and thank you for all the Crusader Kings content too. <gasps> Love from myself and my wife and four cats. Oh, sweet. Nice. Oh, I want to buy I've never met a female John before. That's super cool. Mm. Uh, let's see. Oh, and Morbid, very sweet. You two deserve the praise. It's a great channel and it's a great show all the time. <laughs> 
uh, and yes, uh, still going and significantly more chaotic now, points out Parface. It's true. You're not wrong. It is. Tr it definitely is. <laughs> now, okay, is there a terminal to turn off that term the turret at the front door? I don't think there is, you know. I think there isn't. I think we're just going to have to sprint for the front door and see what happens uh, and ignore the turret. And I don't know whether some people will load in behind me. But if they do, then we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, no need for that. Just go over to that. But yeah, basically, I'm just going in the front door of Corvega. And there's probably, uh, let me think, one, two, three, four. About five or six people before the hallway. Two in the hallway for eight. All of them need to be pacified so I can get peacefully up the stairs uh, without trouble. But So we're just going to have to quick save our way through that. Uh, yeah, shout out to new channel member Scrub, as well as uh, Drakenmensch Silverflare, who nice. continues to have an extremely good name. Love it. Um, gave us five Canadian dollars and says, uh, Jimmy Clean has all like, I have altered the trolley problem. Pray I do not alter it further. Lol. Ha ha ha. Clean hands, not even. High, highly clean hands. Yeah. Right, getting the Corvega cool plans. I'm pretty sure the only person that saw me there was the turret. And someone was surrendering outside, but that's fine. They'll just go back to neutral once I'm out of the, the cell they're in. So, yeah, this is just a, a just a quick, safe process of uh, dealing with them. I just wish this was a more complicated mechanic. Like, you know, if it was dark or if you were behind them, then it did more. And excuse me. Just chill out, asshole. No, you don't. No, you don't. You saw... Okay, you did see me and come in. So, we've just got to take this guy out first. So, okay, add, add an extra one to the list. Claire. Yeah, shout out to Augustine, who gave us $20. Uh, and to Nick, who gave us $2 and wants to know how old does this make John now? Ageless plus one? Yeah. Well, Some spoilers. 29. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Um, mm, 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 just Don't laughing move. because it's laughable that people would think you're that old, Don't you know? Move. There um, we go. <laughs> we got two straight away in a row. That's nice. And to be honest, you had a gun, didn't you? I see no reason why we shouldn't have a little bit of insight. Oh, he just immediately assassinated his... Why did you... Wait, what? Why did you... Why did you just turn on me? You were, we were friends, well, kind of. Okay. Uh, I don't know why you turned on me. Maybe because... Okay, well, try, okay, let's try them again. Inside. Yeah. Well, that's not what you're supposed to do. Why have you turned on me the moment you've killed the first person? Is it because... Is it because what you've done is you've assassinated someone who is also on my team and that messes with your... Let's try it the other way around. Let's try you. Okay, you cave in his head. There we go. He's still surrendering! Then do you turn on me or do you go looking? For... No, you don't. You mysteriously don't. That's really weird. You're just going for an explore. There's a guy in the toilet over here who you're just going to go and whack with a stick. Are you? Or is he... Oh, no, you're just going to be there. Well, that's fine. To be honest, that's that's A-OK -okay if that's where you want to be. I've, I've totally got some rat away, don't I? Yeah, let's just do a rat away right now. There's going to be more people in here. So you're now just chilling out in the toilet. I can fall back to you if need be. There's probably one person on the... Oh! Don't move. No, well, that failed. You're, you, you'd be useful to have on side. You've got a shotgun. Uh, yeah, the shotgun psychos are kind of the priority. They are quite powerful. So if we can get you on side. Come on, buddy. You know you want to. It's only 40%. You, you, you can't do this. It's going to be absolutely fine. I think that maybe one of those guys... And was the toilet guy? There should be someone in the toilet. Maybe that was the foot. Maybe that was the guy who was already there. Come on, guy. Come on, buddy. Just yep. chill out, ass. Look, do indeed chill out, asshole. You have to do this. Once he's on site, he'll be able to clear out, like, a large number of them by himself. It's just, there we go. Yeah. Right, you, go take out your friends. There we go. He's going to take care of all this. Go in. He'll be able to annihilate a bunch of them without too much in the way of trouble. And... Well, I was hoping so. You're, you're in a weird position right now. This isn't really where I want you to be. Oh, thank you. Claire's topped up my water. That is marvellous. Hey, we're fully out. Oh, 
Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Scrub who gave us a hundred dollars! Oh, thank you very much, Scrub! Uh, and uh, says, uh, happy birthday! Holy shit, you just lost. Well, that's embarrassing. Josh. And yes. Do you know the people, they leave you messages and I read them to you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Scrub says, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Scrub! Uh, consider this payback for hours of entertainment. I Just like that out, calling asshole. it payback yeah, sounds a little bit, you, you know, Kill them all. in line with this, uh, with this run, say. Yes. Oof. Got you. Okay, you're just chilling out there. No trouble. I think there's someone else around the corner, but for some reason, just double check that you are as you should be. Yep, all the zeros. Where's the zero? Okay, buddy. There's clearly someone else here. Please help deal with them. I may or may not be able to pacify them. Put your hands up. And you're going to surrender, but you might be about to... You're just going to kill them anyway. Brilliant. Well done. Love it. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to, uh, yeah, we've got a new channel member, Jess is Cringe. Welcome, welcome. Um, and uh, another big donation of a uh, hundred Australian dollars from Fabulous Magpie. Just love it. Um, who says, happy birthday, John. This channel is one of the happiest corners of the internet. Many, many hours of entertainment uh, over many years now. Thank you to you both, and please go to bed. It's like 3 a.m. It's fine. This guy can just chill out here and not cause any trouble. We're going. It's it's it's. We're making good progress here. We're gonna like we're gonna like comfortably get to the point of the game where we're at like you know res uh, we're at Act Three. Also, I quite up by the way that I don't have any 10 millimeter ammo. I'm holding people up with an empty gun. I'm bluffing completely nice. which i think is just adds to it a lot i like that it's possible for you to do that yeah like they don't they cool. they don't understand the difference they they can't tell the gun's not loaded but i like holding people up with an empty gun the fact that i am uh, you know yeah, jimmy if, someone, if anyone comes to have a look at your hand yeah i could literally say well the gun's not loaded it's you know so therefore da, 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 da. uh carry crash all right uh, over to you while i play the word game mm. Sorry, I'm just also having a strep cell. Oh, sure. <laughs> Carolina gave us 15 Australian dollars and says, Happy birthday and thank you for years of great content. I've played loads and loads of great games because of you. Haven't we all, Carolina? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Ooh, um, Byron. That's a cool name. Byron gave us uh, $5. Uh, and says, I've got a bounce, but happy birthday and many thanks uh, for many years of awesome content from the both of you. Here's some ad block tags. Much love. Now what we just wait to happen and see is, can Robot Friend kill Jared? Because very often Robot Friend can, but if he picks the wrong target, then he might just fail. Uh, which would be really unfortunate. Because, uh, no, you see he failed on that occasion. I'm just going to reload him. Because there's like he can just straight up just shoot Jared in the head and that's it done, which is what I want to say. But if he picks the wrong target, and he gets like stuck up. It can be it can be a problem because Jared is right there. This is actually a good position for Robot Friend. So I want Robot Friend to just take him out, and he's he's got powerful blasters on him. He can take out that guy, and he's dead. Now okay, he's going for Jared. He is going for Jared, and then he's he's changed target. Why are you changed target, buddy? Why have you changed target? Don't do that. Goodness sake, come on. Come on, robot friend. Come on, robot friend. Oh, you're going to fail, aren't you? He, he's shooting in the right way, but he's, I'm not sure he's going to do enough. But that that car might kill Jared, actually. That car could kill Jared. How's Jared? Jared's okay. No, that I think Jared just died in an accident. That was an industrial accident. Like, I, no, I'm not even joking. This one, I've got reasonable excuses, all right? I released a Protectron, who was an innocent Protectron. They opened fire on the robot. They started it. Wow. The robot missed... Because of the robot racism. The robot misfired to hit a car. The car exploded, and the explosion took out the gang leader. Like, I, I, that is completely not on me. 
That is not like even... Like, if you tried to engineer that, you would never manage it in a million years. You say that, actually, that's not that like uncommon. It was kind of one of the scenarios I was hoping for. I've seen it before. Okay, um, I was trying to help you out here, but... But it was, it was, uh, yeah. That, I, I could, I could, I could argue that in front of a court and a jury, and I wouldn't even feel that bad about it. I feel like a good lawyer could get me off all of this. Oh my god, amazing. Just double um, check before we go, actually, that we are still where we should be. All zeros, Jimmy clean hands, boys, Jimmy clean hands. Now we just basically GTFO. Oh, petition to rename the stream Fallout for OSHA violation special. Oh, these hands are clean, that's what we're calling it. Yeah, and now uh, we just get up. Quiet Kitsune says, well done, 47, now find an exit. <laughs> there was an exit right there. In fact, we are golden. So, okay, and now we just sneak out the, th the side. No other raiders see me. You've taken out. I see there's a fight going on. Who's involved in that? Super Mutant versus... Hello. Who are you taking on, buddy? Super Mutant's taking on, I think, Super Mutants versus raiders. Nothing worth my attention, to be honest, by the looks here. Oh, no, Super Mutants versus ferals. Yeah, definitely nothing uh, of interest going on there. So that should get me enough... In that should get me enough cred... With the Minutemen to, yes, turn that quest, go back to Presta, be made general, and then he'll be willing to help me build the teleporter. Boom. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, silly Kelsey girl who gave us $5 uh, and says, Happy birthday, John. You have been such a source of joy in my life for years now, and I can't thank you enough for all the laughs and tears. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. That's very yeah. sweet. You guys are all so sweet. Uh, Kevin gave us $25 and says that kill alone was worth every penny. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> Not sure which one that was, but you know. That's I have a feeling that one may have come in somewhere around the, uh, the me running at people with explosive canisters and pushing them in their face. Maybe, I maybe, think I maybe. might have seen that coming about there. Yeah, Paul uh, gave us five dollars and says this experiment is kind of uh, sold. This experiment has kind of sold the pacification perks to me. I've taken them before, but I've never used them extensively. These can be fun. Uh, yeah. Today I learned. The thing is that they they're not really, even though they call that like, the pacification perks. I don't really think of them as tools for being a pacifist. They are tools to add into your arsenal of murder. Just a different way, I'd I say. Need help with these Obviously. Schematics. Oh yeah. What are they for? It's all very these peculiar. So okay, he'll refuse to help till we've had the settlement. We already have helped the settlement, so it's fine. Clap. Yes, absolutely. Like shout out to uh, shout out to Zenith, who gave us two hundred and fifty Philippine pesos. Excellent. Uh, Thank you very much indeed. I'm a bit to late to the party. Minute. This That's looks like news. a really fun stream. I'm looking forward to watching the rest of this later. Happy birthday, John, and thank you for the amazing content. Thank you very, very much indeed. Yes, uh, we've got a happy birthday to you too from Torg, who gave us ten dollars. Uh, and uh, happy birthday to you as well, Torg. <laughs> People one step ahead of me now. <laughs> Jeremy gave us twenty dollars and says, "Happy birthday! I love your Fallout videos. I'm currently playing Legendary Roulette and watching Fallout Three. You only live once." Nice, love Very it. Nice. Uh, let's the leader of the see. Man has always held the Lupus Rex, very good name, uh, gave us ten job. pounds. I've says, uh, "Happy John Day! Happy John Day! Will you ever do another Kill Everything run?" I mean, I think we're kind of here right now by mistake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. Um, ooh. Uh, Judy says, uh, "Happy birthday, John! Hi, Claire. You two always uh, brighten my day." And I, I hope your point. birthday goes super swell. Mm hmm. It's swell been going well. So swell is a good I word. You're not wrong. Uh, yes. Now, this isn't going to be a, a birthday day sort of thing. Uh -oh. Like a birthday week sort of thing. But did you see when the food order came yesterday? Uh oh. Did, did you see how there's a. A pack of nice, golden, delicious apples and some blackberries in the fridge. I saw there was some apples. Oh, what are you thinking? Is it crumble time? I mean, I think it's probably... Do, do you know... Um, Here you go. 
uh, got those new little like uh, dishes really that are oven proof. Oh yeah. Really yeah. Really yeah. Thinking they need a test run for science. Ooh, I agree. Well, Love I'm it. just, I just wanted to make sure there were loads of little nice things this week for you. Just because I knew we were going to be working so much of the day today. Well, that sound seems lovely. Like if you had a spare. Oh dear, oh dear. Um. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Jacob gave us five uh, dollars. It says, happy birthday. I've just joined the stream. Could we newcomers get the briefest description of the run so far that you can do? I'm playing as a lovely person who is 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 good and honest and true and has no kills. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. The briefest it. you can do is Clean hands. Yeah. Clean hands. Completely 100% clean. Like, no, I think the genuine briefest we can do is uh, no kill, kill everything run. Broadly, yes. Yeah. It's oh, beautiful. Dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> yes, Beardtastic Yogi. Uh, Beardtastic Yogi is doing a pretty good job, actually. Gave us ten dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! Thank you for blessing us with this uber violent and utterly ridiculous pacifist run." Yeah, it's yeah. great. <laughs> like that could be the tagline. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Thanks, dear. Oh dear. One thing to keep. All right, I'm clearly not going to have all the material. I haven't been, you know, c gathering materials. I'm not. I'm potentially not going to have the materials to build this right this second, unfortunately. Uh, I just don't know how far off I am. Uh, because I clearly don't even have the power. Uh, I do have to have a biometric scanner. So we've got you. So that's fine. We're going to move you a little bit. We've got... Do we have the ability to build... Holy shit, we do just have the ability to build nuclear... If I, we can build four molecular beam emitters. And one re... We're actually surprisingly terrifyingly close for the fact I've barely been doing any gathering at all. But okay. I mean, what do you mean? You've done a lot of like crafting and stuff. Yeah, but I've been spending the resources as soon as mm. I gather it. That's that's the problem we've got here. Uh, but okay, we might we might be pretty close actually. Uh, might be surprisingly. Wait, medium nine. Oh, he gives you a bunch of resources, doesn't he? I think you just I think a bunch just gets dumped in the um the inbox when you you go in. So uh, I think. So. Six is the number you need. So I think we might actually have, because I definitely do not have this much a moment to go. I think it's six. Uh, six medium generators for 30 power will do the job. So I just need to hack all this together, and we should be a okay. Clap! Yes, uh, shout out to Mr. Knight, who gave us $10 uh, and says, I've been going through some tough times recently. And I wanted to thank you both for all the smiles and the laughs. Happy birthday, John. And there we go. Happy birthday to you two. <laughs> yes, been... well, we don't know when their birthday is, but uh, sorry to hear that you've been going through some tough times. Uh, and we're, we're just always so, you know. Yes. Glad and also just kind of humbled you know well, she, really yeah humbled. i like yeah humbled is the word i like that like yes. we are able to be that kind of like a help because you know we are people who love youtube and who love to watch you know other content creators and so like we know what it feels like to like be watching something for comfort when you're having a tough time you know so yeah. like yeah Think. so all right That's teleporter in fact lovely. teleporter much easier to build than i was expecting <laughs> That's just up. I, I always forget. I think you get a bunch of stuff just dumped in the uh, in the thing. So we're now just in the way. And Sturgis, who couldn't figure out how to open a simple terminal to access our uh, fusion core earlier, now apparently not only can interpret the designs for a teleporter and, and help you construct it, but on top of that, can program a hacking tape. Presses coming up and like, what the f Fuck is going on here? You know what? Never mind. Mother, Mama Murphy can't be bothered to get up. It's fine. So there we go. That's to my mind, Act One and Act Two of uh, Fallout Four. No kills so far. We're now into the Institute, and we're into what I consider to be the final act of the game. Once you're in the Institute, and you're picking like the faction you're fully playing as. I think Act One is like you know up to 
uh, up to Kellogg's death. Act 2 is up to the arrival of the Institute. Then Act 3 is just picking your faction. Because Act 2 also introduces all the factions. It's quite elegant, really. Uh, but yes, we could also straight away just uh, do the hacking log. Uh, which is always very, very welcome indeed. And Network Scanner! There we go. Scanning. Initiate the Network Scan. Job done. Downloads the entire Institute network in seconds. Sturgis, you cocky genius. And now we just basically just walk through an area and take care of all of this nonsense. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Justified Jester who gave us 10 Australian dollars. Um, says, happy birthday. I saw that you started streaming when I went to bed and I thought I'd miss your stream. But you're still here. Yep, here we are. Nine hours 40 and counting. Well, Justified Jester, g'day, mate. Mm-hmm. Didn't we confirm last... Oh, no, maybe it was two years ago. Um, YouTube can't stream for more than 12 hours. It dies. <laughs> I think we confirmed it dies at 12 hours. Uh, right, because... So we have to catch up before that. Yeah, go, Claire, go. You must be doing all right now. You must be catching up a bit. Yeah, 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 but don't tell them that. All right, go. <laughs> Shout out to Neil, who uh, is indeed a brand new channel member. Uh, Neil says, uh, brand new member, and I'm fully hooked. Happy birthday, and congrats on being literally my biggest distraction from maintaining my own channel. And gave us five Canadian dollars. Give, make sure you give appropriate love to your own channel, too. Yes, indeed. Uh, Anna's been a member for 15 months and says, Happy birthday, John. My dad's birthday is next week, but he won't see this. So can you wish him a happy birthday in the most annoying accent that you know? Happy birthday, Anna's dad. Happy birthday to you. Nice. I love, me, I love the, the Marnie Cockney. It's great. Oh, that was Marnie. That was kind of Marnie. Uh, Hello, John. It's me, Marnie. Hello, that Marnie. was kind of Marnie headquarters. <laughs> and Hello, then headquarters. To you at the end. Hello, Hello head how? That's, that's not that. That's why. Hello, headquarters. Yes, it's Marnie. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I like you. There we go. He's blonde again. Of extremely white hair. Hello, Sean. Yeah, yeah. The genetic bleached hair. We all yeah. know about that. Anyway, um... Who are you? Oh, can you pacify your father? Uh, not only can you can also kill him immediately, so there's all sorts of questions about wait. what the funniest thing to do right now is. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. I, I thought you were supposed to not kill people. We might be able to find a way. We might be able to find a way to do it. Father is, he's level one. He appears to be immune to class to move. pacification, uh, which is as as is my fake robot son, by the looks of it. Oh dear. Anyway, now we just do some spamming. Maybe we can pacify him after the spa after the yeah. plot's done. Clap. We'll see. Uh, shout out to Silenzio who gave us five Australian dollars. And says, happy birthday, John. I've been here since the second last New Vegas YOLO. Uh, and shout out to Claire as well. You're both fantastic. Ah. Oh. Thank you. And that's exciting, a long time. exciting time to join right before the end of YOLO. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But of course, New Vegas YOLO. So they've been there a long time. Yeah. Very long time um, indeed. Yeah. And uh, let's see. From Girl Reading. Happy birthday, John. Thank you for many years of love. Uh, and they gave us uh, $10. Thank you very much, Dad. Uh, Felice gave us $20.76 and says, Happy birthday, John. The gift is sized to match the US tricentennial, uh, i.e. it's 300th birthday, in hope that it might make you feel slightly less old on your own birthday. Slightly. It's true. I'm not 300. That's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Justified Jester gave us 20 Australian dollars uh, and says, I've been watching yes. since your first I Fallout 4 run yes. and I've completed your back catalogue nearly to 100%. Your videos keep me calm while studying at university. Listening to your videos gets me through my essays with ease. Thank you. Thank you. That's really impressive. Like, I don't really know how, how, how somebody can, like, 
Like, that's not, you know, I... I'm someone who uses having something in the background a lot to help me do stuff. Yeah. But I can't do that while doing wordy stuff like essays. Yes. So I'm like, well, impressed with you. Yeah, I need, I need lyricless music if I'm going to do something yeah. like that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, or like a music that I know the lyrics so well I can just tune them out. Now, this is interesting. So, since can be pacified, obviously, as since are just part of the generic. But what I'm more curious about is if I want to start causing chaos in the Institute, the best option would be courses. Whether there are maybe some courses around who might be able to do some stuff. Oh, I'll say hello to the uh, the lads while I'm here. Hello, I'm just going to say hello to everybody one by one. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, Alexander gave us uh, gave us five dollars uh, and says uh, thank you for all the entertainment over the years. Here's a vote for some sort of ch sheep dog named Many a True Herder. Oh, that was super cute. That is cute, but we'll decide the name of the pets once we've met the pets. You know, because like you can't say ahead of we have ideas, of course. Yes. But you can't say ahead of time without knowing their personality. Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. And, uh, yes. Ragnar Gadget gave us $2 and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, loving the Fallout 4 Legendary run. It's been so much fun yeah. to play with all so many different Legendary effects. Oh, Institute Corsa can be pacified. Oh, because you're, you're level 21. But you're so much tougher than everybody else. If I want to cause some chaos, that's that's potentially how we do it. But that's can the best. Incite yet? Uh, yeah, I can incite them. They're just oh, um, they're sins. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're they're abominations in the eyes of that. So we can incite them. That was level twenty-one. That was before. But I may as well get the free experience for doing the tour first before we incite chaos and possibly get kicked out forever. Delightful clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, Lupus Rex uh, gave us £10 and says, Hey John, I just want to say that the first thing I saw you play was Nicole, the dating mystery oh, from Nicole. seven years ago. Bless Nicole. Uh, then I watched all your Fallout series, which, uh, which I now love. Happy birthday. Was it actually just seven? I would have thought Nicole was longer than like eight, but maybe it might. I mean, I assume they looked up before they said. Yeah. But all right. It's only seven. Wow. I'm good for now. I mean, seven's a lot of years. It just feels like that's like one of the earliest series on the channel, but I guess maybe it's not. Maybe it wasn't as early as Tell I'm thinking. Tell you what, the way to measure it is seven years is how long we had our baby girl. That's true. So, um, you know, do you think we did. Did, did you do Nicole? around the time we got Tabby. Subject identified. No, it must have been before, because I swear Nicole was before we moved into -uh. the flat where we got Tabby. I don't think so. I... Maybe. I Maybe I'm misremembering meddling things up in my head. I'm not sure. I, I must be... I, I thought I remembered you, like working on Nicole in that room. Yeah, if you'd asked me, I would have I would have said Nicole, some of the Nicole work was done on like, and the reason I did it was because you know, the, the visual novel was so simple, I could do uh, I could do it on the old computer, like in the old flat before yeah, the, the very first the, the, the very first flat room when we started the channel, but I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering I'm, 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 clearly I'm getting it wrong in my head. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's Thank you. see. Oh, uh, you're to be given full access. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> uh, someone else, yes, Dak and Dude, uh, gave us twenty dollars and says, "Happy birthday, John! You stoked my love for the Fallout series, and I thank you for it." Oh, it's a good series. It's just lovely to see how many people are like talking about picking up games because of the channel and stuff. Yes. Uh, first Nicole video was November sixth. 2014. Thank you for checking Malachi. That must have been then. Yeah. Wait, 2014? Yeah. That would be only barely one year into, that's barely a year and a half into the channel. So that, that is... And that's before we that, moved. Yeah, that is yeah, more no, like right. it. Yeah, I knew I was right. Oh, How? I'm not right, bananas. Right, right. There we go. Because we had to do relatively 
not intensive. Anything on PC had to be not intensive because the PC was a bunch of trash in those days. There was no good PC. It was either console, anything on PC had to be something simple like Nicole that even a basic PC could handle. That was that was why it was as it was. Yes. Pippa Funnel can never be played again. Pippa Funnel almost bricked a computer. Dear oh flipping dear. Lol. Uh, anyway, <laughs> shout out to Ken who gave us ten dollars and says sure happy birthday, I'll John. Wait. You yeah. have made me buy so you many games medical. and given In me so case, many laughs. Keep up the great work, guys. Thank you very very much indeed. And that should be. Do I have to go and speak to you? No, there's institutionalized complete, which is a lot of XP actually. And that should begin what reclamation or no synth retention? That's what it's called. Uh, so I need to go and speak to Farber. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're not doing the Institute. We've literally been doing... Uh, especially as, yeah, uh, that one's quite a hard... That one's tricky. Synth retention is tricky to do uh, on pure pacification. It's a big open area. There's a lot of crossfire. It gets a bit chaotic. So as a result of that, instead... We don't need to talk to Farber. We don't need to talk to Farber at all. What we need to do... Is find some sense. I think there's only one. There was only one Corsa in this area, isn't it? There's a Corsa standing guard outside of here. Oh no, are you gone? Are you only there? Are you only there at the very start? Oh, if so, we might need to. Oh, well, I don't know if there is an early save I can revert to now. There's. You're just sense. You're a synth. Yeah, you're a synth with a gun, but you're not as you're not as tough as the others. The problem is, oh. The problem is, if I hold him up, that's definitely a crime. Whereas if I just find a robot to attack, the robot's definitely A-OK -okay to just get on my side. So, ah, I didn't realise that, that the Corsa was only going to be there during the start. Now it's just a generic guard. Uh, flippity jibbity do. I think the Corsa's gone. Which is okay. You know what? We won't. We won't murder everyone in the institute for now. I guess. I guess we could not kill everyone for the moment. Boo, boo. I say. Clap. Yeah. Shout out to Fuzzus who gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday, John. Thank you for all the wonderful content that I've enjoyed over the years. Uh, Use this to buy something nice for Claire. No, I think we definitely have, will after tonight. We'll definitely uh, arrange a little prezi for Claire <laughs> after tonight. That's That definitely <laughs> seems reasonable, yes. Oh, well. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, well, we do have to go to the garden centre to pick up a new uh, new pot for your... For, for, yeah, for and my aunt, my aunt sent me some vouchers for the garden as well, which was lovely. Yes, for your birthday. So you get mm -hmm. me something from the garden centre when we go get a pot for Spike. Exactly. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, let's see. Ooh. The Great Big Mulp. Love her. I love everybody's username. Love, love the username right there. That's good shit. The Great Big Mulp gave us $10. <laughs> you know like sentences you don't think you're going to say out loud? Like when you're a kid and you think about what you'll do for your job later. You don't think you're going to be... You know, in a different country, in a different language at 4am, saying the great big mob gave us $10. It's true. Lots of people saying there's always courses around, try upstairs. So, okay, that course may still be on the approach. And if I can just basically, if I just incite a course to be on my side, that course should be able to, like, clear out vast amounts of the institute and just carve through the rest of it. But let's level up first because I can, yeah, just hand over the tape and that should be enough. To get me to get me up to the next level. Clap. Yes, the great big mob uh, says happy birthday, John. I've just realised that I've been enjoying your videos since 2013. Blimey. It was almost definitely the perfect dark videos. I probably owe you at least uh, ten bucks for all of these years. I'm sure we've done another perfect dark video since then, because uh, I think the original series was obviously very scruffy. Mm. I'm sure we've done a little video on that set, uh, on that since as well, just to uh, jazz things up and give it a bit of uh, less scruffy love. There we go. Uh, Cowardly Coyote uh, gave us two dollars and says, "This is a no kill run." Hey, you over there! Kill your friends. 
Uh huh. That's about how it's going. Pretty Kel much. <laughs> Kelsey Joe gave us uh, five dollars and says, uh, John, how do, out of curiosity, what do you consider to be the canon faction of Fallout Four? Interesting. Like, who who canonically wins? Yeah, I think so. Probably. I mean, I feel like it's probably the Brotherhood, because I feel like, you know, the story is kind of the Brotherhood on Crusade at the height of their power. And, like, I feel like that leads into a potential future story of, you know, Brotherhood overreach and a Brotherhood Crusade, you know, where they get see they become to be seen as an occupying force and, you know, a military imperialist aggressor as time goes by. Like, I, I think possibly it's most interesting... If we if we see uh, Brotherhood victory in terms of what that might mean for the Brotherhood in the future, uh, I would say I probably uh, would probably say that. What do I need to get uh, Animal Friend three? By the way, twenty eight. Not honestly, not honestly, not that far off. Uh, so honestly, I might just keep bumping up the old. You know what, sneak. So yeah, running in a longer adversely affects sneak. Stay hidden. Staying hidden makes life nice and simple. Let's just uh, let's just go for that for the time being. Uh, but yes, yeah, all right, we've just over twenty five. Let's get back to the institute and fuck. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cause some chaos to the institute. Fuck the institute. Let's burn it all down. Claire. Uh, yeah. Shout out to ML Genius who gave us five dollars and says cheers to you both and happy birthday to John. Uh, been a fan since the original Fallout 4 run. Enjoyed all the videos throughout the years. And thank you. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, yes, Niche Icon has been a member for 49 months and says, Happy birthday, John. Uh, let's see. Negravoir. I'm not sure Ooh. if I'm saying that right. Love it. Uh, but they gave us $10 and says, Your videos have... Um, your videos have helped me lull my now 10 month old to sleep and have kept me awake uh, since she was born. Uh, but I've never caught a live stream. Thanks, thank you all for what you do. Thank you for what you do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for raising a awake, child. Awake it and, and raising a baby. Yeah, probably quite tricky. Yes. Have a yes. bit of a loosey no round. Doubt. Come on, there's got to be a course around here somewhere. People are saying check upstairs. There's always a courser. The problem is he's wandering somewhere. He's got to, he's got to find the dark coat. He's got to see the dark coat of the courser. And we see him wandering around. We'll, we'll nail him. We'll, we'll pacify him. Get him on side. It's going to be great. Claire. Uh, yes, let's see. Uh, from Seth, who gave us uh, $10. I'm finally off work and you guys are still live. I'm so happy. Have some more coffee and or tea money. Thought that was him, but he was just a synth hidden, but bitten by the thing. I hope you had a lovely day at work. <laughs> okay, not seeing him yet. Maybe check back downstairs, see if he's on the stairwells. Uh -huh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There's father. Maybe can father now be pacified? Father cannot be pacified, I say, just putting a, putting a gun in his face. Clap. Uh, yes, Girlfec, uh gave us $20 and says, Happy birthday, John. Thanks for everything that you do. Uh, I am also currently looking to get a dog and I found a German shepherd named Waffles that I hope to adopt. Oh, Waffles. Oh, Garfet, good luck with Waffles. That's an excellent name, Waffles. That sounds Waffles. so, like, that sounds great. He sounds lovely. I hope, I hope you get to adopt Waffles. Uh, yes. Hmm. And if you do, when you do, when you adopt Waffles, send us pictures. Yes. Uh, and, oh! What? Sir. Corsa. Another situation. I'm not sure whether it, he's only level 15, but he is. He's pacify. Yeah, he's pacification allowable. All right. Uh, I was hoping for the level 21 one, but honestly, like next to everyone else here who's level one or a level five basic robot, he's pretty good. He's pretty bloody good. Okay, let's drop a save. Now, step one. How easily can we some yeah he's got synth grades he's got he's got a basic institute pistol can we give him something a little bit more exciting shall we say he can have righteous authority 
That feels like that's, that's you know, he's, he's basically shoot pistols doing 15 damage. If I give him righteous authority, that, that like, doubles him up straight away. And I can place that. That's not crime. Yep, so he's now got that. So Does he have ammo for that? Yeah, he, he uses the same, he uses the same cells as the, uh, as the Institute Pistol. They both use basic fusion cells because they're basic laser weaponry. So he should go for that. So I've just slipped him that. Quick save again. And now we just need to pacify him. Yes, sir. All right. Don't move. No, he doesn't like that. All right, load. We're, we're, fuck the Institute. We're burning it down. Or rather, we're going to persuade it to burn itself down. All right. Which is better. Yeah. Put your hands out. Oh, except, well, assuming it's allowed, there might be a restriction to stop courses converting. We'll have to flipping see. Claire. Uh, yeah, shout out to Nish Icon who gave us $20 uh, and uh, says uh, as someone who works 12 hours. Oh, he's doing it. He's here and he's ready to start causing some trouble. Problem is, there's, there's, there's a lot of people also shooting me. Unfortunately, I think he, he I think he might be getting a bit dogpiled. He's, is, is, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, a lot of fire going on here. And it's not just on him, but I, I think there's two, I think he's just going to get, oh no, I think there's, oh wow, did you see all that? Okay, I think possibly, there might be too many, okay, the Corsa can't do it, there's just too many. There's just too many, I thought the Corsa was going to do better than that, but he just got swarmed. Wow. Can I have the rights to authority back? Thank you. Uh, that is not going to fly, unfortunately. I need ro like robots the golden ticket. Because robots, they don't turn on you if you turn the robots on them. And unfortunately... Hang on, you may be a better... You're, you're a different Corsa. I mean, I guess I could try and get both Corsas back to back. And that would spread it. But I think even then... All these people have got basic weapons. I, I think it can't be. It can't be done. It's not viable. It's just economies of scale. Isn't yeah, it? there's just too many people with little weapons to make it fly. Oh, such a shame. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Nish Icon who uh, gave us twenty dollars uh, and says, as someone who works twelve-hour night shifts, the three a.m. and after conversations tend to be the most interesting. Tired and loopy conversations tend to wander off into strange path tired video gameplay tends toward hilarity we're not tired who yeah. says we're tired the, the lies jimmy not tired hands jimmy coffee hands that's right i don't know what you mean about 3 a.m parking don't do anything pacify everyone pacify all the people if we just pay if we just keep hammering pacify I can take out like half the people straight away. No. There we go. Just just basically try and pacify all the people. That's gonna that's gonna stop some of them. Go, 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 go. We we can pacify significant portions of the institute in one go. Uh just Oh, it's father! It's he's come down to murder me! We've taken care of Oh, there's this the synth grenades being tossed in, and then oh! I just got boop booped! They just boop booped me to death. I think yeah, there's, wow. there's too much there's too much firepower. There's there's too much murder here. I can't keep I like there's the only people doing any killing are the institute sits and no. No, no, no. Oh, I think I didn't get the course either. I think I missed the course there and that completely fucked up. Clap. And he put you on fire. Yes. Um yes. Shout out to Mighty Caesar, uh, Mighty Kaiser, I suppose. Who uh, gave us twenty dollars and says, "Hey John, I've been a fan of the channel since Fallout Four, since Fallout Three. Yolo, how is your uh, how's your egg, how's your egg cart in holding uh, out for another year on this earth?" Well, after the unfortunate googly eye incident uh, oh, during the last know. special, oh, that was wonderful. That was so beautiful as well. That was just the most beautiful thing. The eye flying off during the intro. That was great. I loved that. Yeah, with uh, yeah, the egg carton is a case you're having to be can, replaced. Can you get the Corsa alone so you can see you pacify him? We have a bunch of googly eyes in our utility drawer. Yes, it's true. Uh -huh. um, Jess's Cringe gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday. Please assume the position. 
Um, okay, back off a little bit while we get in, while we while there's a lot of healing. I'm trying to get into a position where I might be able to pacify some people. Pacify, 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 pacify. I failed so many pacifications. It's ridiculous. But I just need to get the other the other course. Father is shooting me. Like this, that I'm, I'm, I just need to, I need to get the. No, no, no. Ow, you can't be done. Where's the other one? Where's the other course up? Liam Benet, Ali Fillmore. There's there's too many. There's too many. There's there's too many and they're not they're not dying. And I think I got un I got ridiculously unlucky on and where's the other synth gone as well? There should be there was another course on the other side. But I don't know what I think well, I assume actually the moment everything went hostile, that other Corsa probably went to I think I've been really unlucky on this random sway of things here. Also, I'm out of stim packs. I've just been spamming. Yeah, I don't think I can take the institute with one Corsa and yes. and an empty gun that I'm just basically showing that I'm just basically flashing in people's faces for fun. That's that's not going to fly. The institute gets to live today. Clap. Uh, yes, shout out to uh, Al who says, uh, John, happy birthday. Hello, Claire. Uh, also, John, uh, John claims industrial accidents and then admits it was all part of his plan. Uh, amazing. Love this community. <laughs> and it gave us five dollars. Lol. Uh, Sand uh, gave us uh, Sand gave us uh, four Australian dollars and twenty cents, uh, and a little picture of a birthday cake. Uh, Squirrel gave us five dollars and says, "Happy birthday! Beware of the as eating super mutants." As with some Zs, so I it's not possibly weird. just to bypass the yeah, thing. Yes. Yeah, no, I think that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. Urban Cohort gave us two dollars and says, "Well, if only Lady Macbeth had hands as clean as yours." Shh. Oh, there wouldn't be a play, so you know. Yeah, Lady Macbeth just needs like a pit boy so that she can look <laughs> at it and just kind of check. Well, it says here, no kills. In the of every scene, Lady Macbeth <laughs> enter stage left. Waste Lady pit boy Clean left. Hands, check the pit boy. Yeah, I mean. You know how you're not supposed to Crumb say the name of the again. Scottish play? Yeah. You're supposed to call it Lady Clean Hands. Yeah, obviously. you could have Lady Clean Hands. Yeah. What is wrong with you, Crow? Why have you crashed twice today? Yeah, That's... you just walk around the theatre three time mm -hmm. uh, and then come back in, you know, whilst hopping on one foot yeah. and say Lady Clean Hands. Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Um... No one of consequence gave us uh, another $10. It's a uh, number better. of donations from you tonight, so thank you so much. Uh, I'm a little behind, but in light of the broken mask incident, <laughs> uh, Takahashi going berserk and killing everyone is painfully ironic. Lol, that's, yes, given the uh, the things that they fear in the uh, they things they fear in Diamond City, that is quite good, yes. That is 100% uh, a rad storm coming in, so I'm just going to sit it out for a couple of hours. Clap. Slurry dude gave us five Canadian dollars. Says you glory, you cr blah, 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 blah. you oh. crazy glorious so and so. You are still streaming. I'm almost off to work. Or I'm almost off of work. All glory to MATN. All glory. That's nice. I like all glory. <laughs> yes, all glory is good. You. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Adam gave us ten dollars and says happy birthday, John, you, Claire, and uh, Tabby. May she rest in peace have been such a special part of my life for the past seven years. All of my love to you both. Hashtag cult of blood. Where are you sneaky bastards? No, no, it's okay. There we go, gotcha. Now we can just tell him to attack his friends and just Don't get more move. of them. It's all right. Pacify him if we can. I only need like a few to maybe kill their friends, especially the rapid ones, so. In no, in sight. Go, little guy. Kill, kill, go, kill. go. Yeah, that's right, Jimmy. Clean hands. You tell him to go kill. And then everyone else, yeah, the basic mole rats will go yeah, down. Yeah. There we go. Oh, you just knackered that guy, but that's fine. That gets him out the way. The little, yeah, if I've got, I've got the rabid one. So the rabid one should be able to take out the other. Right no, you don't. And then I can just pacify them to help this guy along. So that's all working pretty nice. 
You've taken out him. How many more have we got? I don't know how many there are in total. There's another one there. That looks like a potential rabbit. Then I'm just going for each other. And yeah, now my enemies will just kill each other. And as far as anyone else is concerned, clean hands, ma'am. Clean hands. Love it. Uh, yeah, shout out to Seth, who gave us $10 uh, and uh, suggests uh, for the Corsa. Uh, give the Corsa an experimental Murph, maybe. The two-shot one, if purchased legendaries are allowed. I think he would just die. I think he would just kill himself, though. Uh, I'd, I'm not sure we get anything useful out of that, potentially. There's more over here, apparently. Come on. Where are you, lads? Okay. Where are you? Yeah, uh, I see you. Hi, hi, hi. Now let's bring you over to your friend and let's see if we can get all of you together. Where's Where's your other lad? I see, I see there's someone over. Oh, now they're fighting. Yeah, they're fighting each other. So officially, um, one of the marked and reds is actually mine. So that is Mole Rat versus, yeah, my friend Rabbit Mole Rat. Then I just need to engineer an ending for my friend Rabbit Mole Rat. So take care of him. All right. So you need to die. Uh, before settlers will move in because they won't accept a pet mole rat. Uh, despite the fact that, you know, in the town of Sloan, New Vegas, they 100% did. Now, buddy, what are you doing? Are you willing to follow me? Because if so, how would you like to follow me out to the road and thus into a position where... Actually, you know what? If he's willing to go next to... Is this a working car? I'm not sure if that's a working car. Like, clearly some of these cars are rust and won't explode. I'm wondering whether that red car... Might be a candidate for exploding. That strikes me as entirely possible. Uh, and if you're going to just walk back and forth. And I think you are. Let's see if maybe we can get you caught in a car explosion. Because if you're about to just pootle over here. Drop a quick save. Is this a... Yeah. Wait. 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 Yeah, if we'd have just done that a tiny, tiny bit later. That would have taken him out. And a car explosion is not my fault. So, alright. Just just the slightest bit later. Just wait for him to be the littlest bit closer. And... Gotcha! I got some XP for that. Was that officially my fault? Let's find out. Am I morally culpable if I blow up a car and the car kills somebody? The answer is... Holy shit, Yes! Oh, wow. I am morally culpable in the event that I shoot a car and thereby cause the car to explode. I am morally culpable in that case. So, okay, we found a thing I am. Oh. He's ham dog and dog face snuggling. And also, apparently, there's more fan art on Twitter, so I'll go and find that. Excellent. Oh, yes. <laughs> That is beautiful, Amanda. <laughs> retweet that shit. You Yay! retweet that yeah, shit on the Media I assume it. you've logged in on the Media True Nerd account. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can do that. No, I mean, I have you on TweetDeck. Yeah. Um, but I will share it with chat first because chat are the ones who are here. Um, okay, am I allowed to summon... I've got a flare gun. Can I summon in... Someone to d kill this guy for me. Drop a quick save. Flare. I mean, there are no Minutemen are able to... Okay, they're not close enough, unfortunately. Uh, ha, ha, ha. How else are we going to kill you? There are physics objects. There's, you know what? Maybe there's a fire extinguisher somewhere. If we could find a fire extinguisher, that'd be a good little experiment for a thing we wanted to test. I'm going to check the back rooms for a fire extinguisher. Uh, whether we get lucky and find one. And also, there is a rad roach that can just... Actually, there's a rad roach that can spawn in one of these rooms. We might be able to lure the rad roach round. Maybe the rad roach could kill the mole rat. He's down to very, very low, very low health. So that that could, in theory, work. I'm trying to remember which room the rad roach uh, is in. I've never even bothered, like, tracking in my mind where the oil can strikes me the thing that would burst as well. I think it's this room. There's gonna be there's gonna be a, a rad roach that's gonna appear in this room. I'm like there we go. Here he is. Right, buddy, come with me. Come on, let's let's go, let's go, buddy. I've got I've got someone for you to kill. I've got someone for you to kill, because this guy's got... Actually, he's got some health left. Hey, buddy. 
More at friend. I've got a friend for you. I've got, I've got a new buddy. Why don't you take care of where is he? Where's he just gone? Where's where is he? Where's there's more? There he is. Go on, go go go. Yes. And come on. You just won. You weren't supposed to win. You were supposed to lose. You were supposed to bloody lose. I know there's a mine at the front door in this place, but he's not going to go over there, and I can't command him, remember? He's just doing what he feels like. So there's... There are gas cans. They feel like they should explode when shot, don't they? I mean, that just feels I like mean, that... I mean, that certainly feels the case to me. That feels like that's a thing that should happen. Whether it will happen... Question mark, question mark, question mark. There's a gas can right here. I'm just going to try shooting a gas can with a gun. And seeing what happens. Does it in any way catch fire? Nope. It does not. You really shot it like twice. Did, did you need to shoot Wait, what? more than that? Did it just do it? Hang on. It did. Ooh. Gas canister. Okay. I'm, I'm impressed. We're seeing some good stuff here. Okay. Gas canister. Let's 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 get gas canisters to drop down. Where what's your route right now? Are you just going backwards and forwards along this angle? You look kind of around here. Okay. Drop gas canister. Right about here. And now let's see if we can drop a drop a thing. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Come over here. Yep. And Okay, there's a bit of a delay on that. That's gonna be hard to time. That's that's gonna be really hard to time. Maybe if I put more bullets in it. That this is this is fascinating. We're learning things about this about the game and Well while we do a science, John. Yeah. Uh, while we do a science shout out to Fire Dragons who get, who's been a member for fifty nine months. Yeah, well that's gotta be the top of the moment oh, yeah, therefore, yeah. 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 Uh, and says uh, congratulations on making another trip around the sun. Thank you for the many years of entertainment uh, and games that I never would have tried without you. Uh, that is so cool. Uh, Jabzu. Uh, oh, we got him, but it didn't kill him. Oh, no. Lol. That wasn't enough to kill him. It definitely hurt him, though. Oh, buddy, you're so, you're so close to dying. Why won't you just die? So fire extinguisher in here we can use. The fire extinguisher might explode better and easier. Dear oh flipping dear. Uh, yes. J uh, Jabsy gave us $5 and says, Happy birthday. You are an important part of my life uh, with the enjoyment that you bring. And I appreciate you both. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, yes. A fire extinguisher! Oh. <gasps> okay, we've got our first extinguisher. If this is a burst of cryo, cryo makes a big, bad, terrifying bang. So, okay. I've never tested this before. Drop a quick save. Let's see what you're doing, buddy. Junk. Drop extinguisher. Let's just drop it and, and just shoot it once and see what happens. What, is, what do we need to do to make this go burst? I mean that burst in one shot, but it feel like it didn't it didn't do much there. It didn't hurt him. Maybe he needs to be much closer. Could have been much, much closer. And okay, back off. I see I see you coming, buddy. I see you coming. Can you lure it into the bottle cap mine that is placed by the game? I'm not sure how much luring we can do. That didn't seem to do any damage at all. Are we sure those even do damage? Maybe he's immune. Because that did not do any damage to him. Let's let's try that one more time. But I feel like that didn't do any damage at all. Like, I don't know if it, like the angle of the spray was just wrong. But uh, that didn't seem to do any damage to me at all. Uh, drop the extinguisher again and... You've got to hit at the very top of the extinguisher for it to go kaboom. That definitely did some damage. It, the very top. Oh, it does like a separate kaboom thing. That did some damage to him. It did a tiny amount of damage. Because it knocked him over and now one shot will kill him. Okay, I'm going to keep experimenting with this. Claire. Yeah, shout out to Jennifer who uh, gave us a $5 uh, and says, Universal Pictures. 
has kept a live stream of the trailers for the 2023 Christopher Nolan, Christopher Nolan film Oppenheimer uh, going since the 28th of July 2022. Uh, live, sorry, what? Uh, Universal has kept a live stream going of all the trailers for the uh, Christopher Nolan movie Oppenheimer that comes out next year. And they've kept that going since 28th July this year. Mm-hmm. So okay. It's just in a loop. It's just to say that they've been streaming longer than us. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, so I see that if you shoot it right at the top, there appears to be a much bigger burst of cryo energy. It's just whether that... Okay, where are you going? You, have you now changed your angle back over to here? Because if so, we need to drop it down and then we need to... The angle needs to be just right. I need to be able to, to hit the top. And... It does a tiny, tiny amount of damage, but it's not enough. It's it's not even close to enough. We need to bring something else in here. Uh, oh no! How do we how do we kill a creature we now can't kill? Claire, over to you while I have a think about it. See if I can. You know what? There's often zombies over on this side. I'm gonna see if I can lure some zombies in uh, to kill it for me. Because there's, yeah. there's often zombies by the bridge and enemies by the bridge. Yeah, shout out to Zapdos Games, who gave us $10 and says, I love the content, I love the voice, and wall never changes. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, Adam gave us $2 and says, you're still live? I was here four hours ago. <laughs> that is, uh, this is what happens in the birthday live stream special. Does this unit have a soul? Gave us uh, $5. And says I'm so happy that the stream is still uh, going after I had to do life things. Love the channel. Thank you for everything. You're the reason that I now love Mass Effect. Oh, excellent! That I've done you a pub. That <laughs> yeah. I've done you a service on that one. Yeah, absolutely. Done you a service there. Absolutely. Uh, and then yes, Texas Game Mom uh, has been a member for ten months and says, "Wow, I didn't think I'd make uh, any of the live stream." Happy birthday, John, and hello, Claire. Uh, so that's good to hear. It's good to have you. Uh, Silenzio uh, gave us uh, gave us five Australian dollars and says an extra fiver for Claire for being the only person to get my name right. Of course, as soon as they said that, I was like, how did I say it the first time? Mm -hmm. uh, but they say I came across the channel from an article after the Fallout 3 Kill Everything series. Ah, so maybe one of the that, yeah. Taku. I see some bloke flies, so I'm gonna see if I can lure them over. Hey guys, it's me, a human. Right, let's see if we can just lure you over. Mm -hmm. Just weave a little bit. Bloke flies just spitting might be able to do some good work. You guys gonna? Yep, there you go. There you go, buddy. Right here, right here. Look, look, I've got a target for you. A target who's on my side. Why don't you spit some stuff at him? There we go. Go, go, go. There we go, yeah, yeah, spit. He's weakening. Go. This guy, this guy just, he's, he's too tough. He's too tough, he just keeps killing everything I throw at him. He keeps killing everything. Oh no, I've made a mistake. I, 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 made, the, I made the one who's too strong into my champion. And now I need to lure stronger and stronger enemies from further and further away to kill him. And then I don't know how we kill them. But, but, the, but the, 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 the lizard eating snakes, we'll deal with that problem when it comes up. All right, we'll, we'll get some gorillas in. It's going to be fine. Claire. Right. Uh, shout out to Mike who gave us a hundred Swedish krona. Uh, and since I've been enjoying MATN for many years, my favorite series has to be the Fallout 3 New Vegas No Kill and Kill Everything. Favorite episodes, uh, favorite episode is the video game violence one along with the choose your own adventure New Vegas. The video game violence one was such a weird one. That was mm. such a weird one. That was put together very quickly. I wasn't 100% happy with that one to be honest. You know what? I'm going to change tack. I'm not going to lure enemies to him. I'm going to reset his alliance by fast traveling here. And then I'll use that to lead him to Lexington. Because if we can lead him to Lexington, he'll be good. Actually, I could just him to Drumlin Diner. That's probably closer. Uh, and he'll, he should follow. I think we could probably make him 
make him follow. So, all right. I think if I fast travel to the area I'm actually currently in, I'll still count as reloading the cell. And then he'll... His surrender will be reset. And then he'll attack me. And then he'll follow me. And then I can lead him. Yeah, there he is. Now he's back to red. So that's now as it should be. So now we just lead him away. Whether he'll actually leave the area or not. Hi! Look, it's me. It's, it's me, a bastard. Why don't you follow me now? How about you follow me out of this area? That's right, that's right. D dig underground. Dig underground. I want I want to pop back up again. He'll pop back up somewhere nearby. Yep, there we go. Now we just need him to Dromlin Steiner. I don't care if he bites me, it doesn't matter. Yep, there we go. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Yep, there we go. We're getting close to the diner already. Loop around the outside. Just check he's still with me. He is. I'm not sure whether he's got a roam range on him. And then truly can kill him for me. Yeah, he's right there. Guys, I've got... I, I, I did you a favor. Remember that time when I took... No! No, 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 no. No, there he is. He, he went underground there. Guys, I need you to take him. Guys, take him. I saved you from Wolfgang. Also, the, the, the Wolfgang went on a... Yes! Thank you. Am I morally responsible if I lead somebody <laughs> into a group see. of other attackers and they kill him for me? The answer is no! Da -da 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 -da. Jimmy Clean Hands. Shout out to Ozzy who gave us $5 uh, and says, I can't imagine a better way to spend your birthday than staying up at 4 a.m. playing Fallout. Damn straight. Uh, Dustin gave us ten dollars uh, and says uh, the stream's going. Uh, the stream is still going after an entire shift. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Thank you for keeping me. Yes. Thank you for keeping my cat company while I was away. I left it on for her. You guys are goaded. Love from Iowa. Damn straight. Yes, indeed. Uh. <laughs> Do I have the materials to just build the settlement thing? Is that just is that just here? Is that just allowed? Do I just, do they just give me the materials I need for that? That's a siren. What is it? Siren bell, Brahmin scavenging. No, it's not that. Hang on, where is it? Is it is it in power? Is it in power anomaly? Yeah, power miscellaneous. Yeah, recruitment beacon. That's there. It needs a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of power to keep it going. Yeah, there we go. It gives you all the things you need. Get it done. Settlement done. Settlement recruited. Free bottle caps. Uh, Preston Garvey. Because yes, I think you need eight settlements. I think you need four settlements to do the uh, retaking the castle. And then you need eight before you can actually do launching the full assault on the Institute. So, like, that, the, the first two are guaranteed. Like, you get Corvega and you get this. Now we're into random selections. So now it could be a bit of anything. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to John, uh, who gave us $4.69. Uh, nice. And says, uh, I've been a fan since F.U. Megaton. <laughs> Happy birthday, John. Happy days. Yes, indeed. Uh... Alexander gave us five dollars and says, Thank you for all that you do. Your content is always wonderful to watch. Uh... <laughs> And uh, yes, thank you so so much. You thank you. Uh, that that spot you uh, sent me yes. To? Up Nick a gave us five dollars and says, "I just got home. What a nice surprise to see a Fallout live stream. Happy birthday! Bring back the Fallout board game, or at least some more selected content." Oh shit, Claire! What? Oh! He's got out! Oh, no! Justice for God's word. No! <laughs> How did you get out? Who let you out? You shouldn't be allowed out. Let the bar out. No. Let the bar out. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> We're so dumb. Okay. Oh, what did it you It was give? very dumb, but it's also fucking... It's also 4.30 in the morning, John. County Crossing was what we got given uh, next, actually. Uh, which is not too bad, because that's just straight up from the airport. In fact, yeah, that's a pretty easy walk from the airport. 
So that's fine. I can't believe Codsworth got out. I can't that's believe it. That's a beautiful it. bookend for the for the stream. That yeah. Uh yes. Ooh, uploading McLoderson uh wants to know what about the Assaultron in FEV Labs. Uh, you could I could make him uh aggro, but I could not. Br but okay. I cannot yet bring him back into the Institute. Once I have rank three, yes, I can. At that point, that becomes allowed. Uh, you are allowed to do that thing as soon as the, um, yeah, once you actually have the correct McJibble. If you have the, um, if you have rank three and this can do full commands, they will follow you through load zones because they'll act like a true companion. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, so that would actually be the best bet. You're right. You're actually, you're, you're very right. I think actually if you had, if I was up to rank three in Wasteland Whisperer, then the best bet would indeed be to just basically say, yeah, um, go pacify him, bring him back into the main thing and then let him kill everything because he'd be able to do a ridiculous amount of murder damage to basically everybody. That would work really well, yes. So that's probably the best bet. Oh my god. Clap. Uh, shout out to Gavin's friend who uh, just gave us $100. Oh, thank you very, very much, Gavin's friend. Uh, and says, happy birthday, John. I've been a fan since your Fallout 3 uh, uploads. And you inspired me to buy Fallout 4 despite never playing the other games. Oh, nice. Uh, you've helped me through some dark times and I am forever grateful. P.S. You remind me of Q from James Bond. Oh, nice. Love from Albuquerque. The original or the new one? Because uh, it's Ben, what's his name? Win Winshaw? Winshed? Who's the, 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 the Ben Wishaw? Yeah, him. He's the new Q. Or the current Q. Actually, he was, but then maybe he won't be when they redo it now. Yeah. Yeah, but before that it was, um, oh, Desmond's... Oh, fuck, what's his name? The old lad, he, he passed away. And they very briefly attempted to make it John Cleese, but it did not work. And then they pretended Desmond, that never happened. Uh, Llewellyn? Yeah, that'll be him. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's him. And they briefly, uh, like, they desperately tried to shoehorn in John Cleese. And it did not work. And they eventually said, okay, you know what? This is shit. Let's, let's pretend it never happened. And we just all pretended that didn't happen. Hello, random settler. So there you go. I hope I didn't say Albuquerque too wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, because Oi, I think me. I know how to say it when it's not 4.30 hey, in the morning. The send you yes, I think it's just Albuquerque, isn't it? Yeah. I think well, you got it I right. think we're not trusting you on how to pronounce American name, that's, names. That's, and that's words. fair. <laughs> that's fair. Don't worry. You see, this is, this is the trick to the Minutemen right here. Though they kind of give you kill missions a lot. Which is unfortunate. Like, what they, however, do do is... They, the kill missions are almost always in the overworld. When you've got kill missions in the overworld, it's relatively easy to just work around them. So, for example, Revere Beach Station. Okay, kill the raids of the Revere Beach Station. That's, you know, murder. But... There's going to be Myalurks nearby. There's going to be robots nearby. You can just basically set it up in such a way as you just find a way to manipulate the AI into killing itself. Uh, which is all AI. Okay, though actually that, ooh, that one's tricky. Revere Beach Station is not the Raiders. That Revere Beach Station, that's the Raiders Underground. That's actually kind of one of the harder draws. That's actually kind of tricky to deal with. That is genuinely quite tricky. Uh, to deal with in fact because then you're underground and you're not in the overworld plenty of them are just overworld like we might want to completely ignore Preston and just go around uh, finding settlements and just kind of saying hey we'll, we'll do that shit for you that's that's fine don't worry about it like Abernathy you could probably just say you're gonna get the thing back YOLO in get it I think it's in a chest the amulet I think it's in a chest not on a person and then YOLO out He'd probably do that, like, and that would be at Olivia, which we've already been to. That wouldn't be too tricky. Cla! Uh, yes, a shout out to Thomas, who gave us uh, $5 and says, I was re-watching one of my favorite games on the channel, Fear Equation, uh, and I realized the video was six years old. Ah, uh, six years old. Yeah. Someone just kindly mentioned spontaneous combustion in the chat. You can let ghouls out of a locked room in that one. So, okay, there is a... Uh, there's actually a bit of a solution on that one, which okay. is good. Uh, who do I need to speak to for Abernathy Farm, by the way? I think it might be the dad. 
I think the dad's the one we need to speak to to get the quest going for that. Yeah, she's just the buying and selling is Connie. Right, Claire. Uh, yeah, shout out to Fan of Cards, uh, who uh, says, uh, who gave us $5, and says, John, your understanding of Fallout 4 is okay, amazing to watch. Uh, thank you for all the gameplay. I've enjoyed rewatching all of the series. Happy birthday. <laughs> thank you very much, though. I feel like I, I learn things, forget them, and relearn them two series down the line. Yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, a, little bit of, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. I'm sure I'll uh, yes, well, and Seth gave us $2 and asked point. whether you can summon Synth yet. Um, I could in theory, but I don't know what that means, like whether the Synth grenades uh, would be my kills or not. That's actually worth experimenting with. You know what? You're right. That's a very good point. Uh, those synth really great. There are a finite supply. I don't think you can. You, I don't think you can get more after you've spent the ones that exist. So you know, what? I might nip back to institute to pick those up just to test them. That's that's actually kind of interesting. Yes. I'll get that locket. So all right, get that. Returning the favor. Yeah, get the locket. I think the locket. I think that's just a straight up YOLO in, YOLO out. I think that's actually quite easy. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Eaten by a Guru, who gave us $20 uh, and says, Happy birthday, Claire. Make sure John does something nice for you. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to suggest for the rest of the stream, don't donate to the stream. Donate to Claire's coffee, because Claire's been oh, here for like 10 and a half you. hours. Uh, Nightbot, you can share that. Go on, Nightbot, you can share that link. Uh, and then... Donate to Claire's coffee. She's been here for like ten and a half hours, and she was doing other work for the channel earlier today. So Claire's been doing like a sixteen-hour day or something today. Yeah, so maybe, maybe, maybe fourteen. I don't know. Fourteen to sixteen-hour day. Long. So don't donate to the channel. <laughs> donate to Claire oh, Direct. Very sweet. Donate to Claire Direct Thank now. You. Rest of the stream or everything going to Claire's coffee. Oh, there were there were bloke flies there. I, I just ran straight into them. Which was genius of me. And also, I don't know whether there's actually the raiders are actually dead here or not. Oh, there's definitely at least one raider here. Uh, this is all fine. Right, quick save. There's... Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Never mind. You know, I'm going to let them deal with each other. I feel like the, the, the raiders and the, the bloke flies are going to... This has got so damn messy. There you go. Thank you, Nightbot. You may yes. now back. You may now back, Claire. And am I going to be about to be... Oh, this is your hero. Oh, my goodness. Don't do anything stupid. Yes. Uh, Reed. Reed just got in like the moment you were, you were. Oh my Kill. goodness. Um, so Reed just gave us $500. What? That's like, the absolute limit, I believe. That's the limit, I know. Yeah. Bloody hell. Reed, thank you so much. And I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, Reed gave us $500 and says, have a happy birthday. Your channel has provided many years of excellent content, so thank you. I hope I hope this fee provided incentive for new end cards, however. There should be new end cards. I've been meaning to get around to it for so, so long. You have no clue. I, I want there to be. Maybe you could do new end cards tomorrow when we're both very tired. End cards? No, end cards are actually require a lot of thought. End cards are actually tricky. No, I know they are, but I meant like maybe they take a lot of like setup and stuff. Yeah. Uh, return the favor. I think it's. I think it's not a person. I think it's just in the final room. So okay, just we're just gonna straight up Yolo charge uh, to the to the locket because they don't care about the raiders. They just she just wants the locket. So the locket is just straight up round the corner. Just step forward round the corner to here. This is. I, I don't know why I've not run into any of them yet. This is really weird. Uh, I know this, the problem is there's one with a minigun, which is a bit of a problem. Go, 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 go. Lock it, go. Back out, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. Round the corner. Because they, they, they actually don't care about the raiders being dead. They're just like, oh yeah, we just want the locket back. It's like, alright, fine. That's, that makes my life, that makes my job so much easier. You have no clue how much easier my, my job is when you don't want the raiders dead. That was actually remarkably easy. And yeah, I think the room behind them, the locked... I thought it was in the locked room with the guaranteed... Um, the guaranteed legendary rad roach. I think it's one of the earliest guaranteed legendaries in the game. I swear one of the rad in there has to be legendary. Unless actually... I swear I've done this before I was level 5. And they were legendary anyway. Now, by any chance, can I just get the flip out of here before anyone gets through here? Boom. Ow. Smooth. Smooth as 
butter clap. Uh, yes, a shout out to shout out to Eaten by a Guru, uh, who gave us twenty dollars and says happy birthday. Uh, no, I've just read that one. I'm so sorry. Shout out to Arturo, <laughs> who gave us twenty dollars. Uh, and says, Marathon Man, right here. Ah, the people who've been here the whole time, I'm guessing. Anyone yes, oh, I thought they meant us, but yes, them too, I obviously. Back for you. Uh, Silenzio gave us uh, 10 Australian dollars and says, uh, last one mm -hmm. for me, but this channel is an inspiration to start my own at some point, just in a PC and to know what to do with recording, editing and putting myself out there. <laughs> Do it. I, I had no cocky clue what I was doing. And I tell you what, they were saying a decade ago, everyone said there's no point starting a new channel because, like, the, you know, the, the market's way saturated and no one's going to make it big anymore. Now the people who are big are going to just stay big forever and no one knew going to come in. And, like, you know, since, you know, that was the point, you know, there was, you know, no Jack Septica. He didn't exist at that point. Like, anyone who's started existing in the last 10 years, all the huge people... You know, no Dream, no Ninja, no Jacksepticeye. They all came in since. Uh, did a better job than me, demonstrably. <laughs> but the point is, yeah, there were so many new people who've come in uh, since. So, so, so many new people who've just arrived and been new. Uh, so no, don't let, like, it ever, like, dissuade you that it feels like stuff's shit's busy. Because there's... There were... People say the same thing a decade ago. And, you know, people get... People get tired, people have, like, people take a step back to have a family or to pursue different, you know, like yeah. people who are super big now won't necessarily be super big, like, forever. Yeah. And, you know, even if they do, that doesn't, like, no one is you. Like, you're a unique individual with a unique viewpoint. Mm. And, you know, uh, if you can... If you can make something, you know, like if you make something that's uniquely like yours and yourself and like has personality and stuff, then yeah. people will like come for that. I'm going to swing up to, oh, what's it called? The one by the, tr the small one by the, oh, Oberland, Oberland Station. Yes. Uh, I'm going to swing up there. Oh, uh, wow. You forgot the name of Oberland Station. You remember the name Oberland Station. Yeah, but like after you said it. Yes. I remembered it. But I'm just like, you have a very good memory. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely late and tired if you're forgetting names of things. Yeah, anyway. I mean, the, the other advantage of minimum, of course, is you only need like four settlements to proceed and then eight to complete. And there's like 30. So just pick whichever one's the easiest because some might give you harder missions and some might give you really easy ones. So it's <laughs> fine. Uh, and then you just just pick the ones that give you easier missions, and you you'll be absolutely golden. Just like don't bother with the hard ones. Like fuck County Crossing, fuck Jake Finch. I will never help them. Ha ha ha. Uh, that's that's all absolutely as it should be. Uh, but yeah, oh, that was that was mutants. But I think I'm long since gone. They're never gonna detect me. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Sam who gave us five dollars uh, and says uh, happy birthday, Johnson. Donate this to Claire's coffee for me. We literally can't because as soon as you donate it, it technically becomes the property of the channel. And the channel can't donate to anything without it being a legally uh, a legal thing that uh, there's that, that there are tax what, and legal what, implications. What we're saying is like if you're donating to the channel, it goes in the channel business bank account. So yes. that we pay taxes on it. The channel business bank account is not allowed to donate to the co dash fi coffee yeah. thing yeah that's like goes directly to someone's like personal paper because that looks I like i also pay taxes on it exactly by the way because yeah they're different taxes if the business if the personal. business just were to pay money directly to Claire's nation it would look like we were trying to evade payroll taxes um, yes the business does pay money directly to claire for salary yes. but as a salary obviously. where but therefore that's... we pay national insurance contributions etc 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 uh, let's see. No shout out to oh, shout out to Frogim who uh, gave us five Australian no dollars uh, and says I've been running this all day. Thank you for keeping me occupied with my grumpy baby. Happy birthday! All right, so they're after the ghouls of Fiddler's Green and nearby to Fort Hagen. Um, I don't know how many they want dead or whether they just want the leader dead. Fiddler's Green. What's nearby to Fiddler's Green? There is a Brotherhood landing like vaguely nearby. 
uh, which is of interest. Like, I wonder if, like, doing... Yeah, trying to find a way to just pacify your way through um, Fort Strong is worth it just for the grenades. In fact, you know what? These two things fit together nicely. Let's go get some synth grenades and toss them at Fiddler's Green and see if these two things fit together, in fact. Clap. We are caught up. What? Are you sure? Yes, I... Yes, I bloody am. Quickly, let's not go to the Institute to pick up synth grenades and toss them at Fiddler's Green. Let's say... Hey, you know how I, like, have been updating you? Shout out to the CESB who gave us two New Zealand do dollars and a little Shiba dog, um... He gave life to many dog, um... It must make you proud to see sticker. That's a, a sticker. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Oh, and to Obi Wan who just. Oh dear. I'll, I'll let you handle this. They're passing by too fast for me to see them. Yeah. Shout out to Obi Wan Kenny who gave us ten dollars and says, uh, "Egret Tours Marina only. Egret Tours Marina only requires a speech, a speech check on Phyllis." And I love your Fallout videos. That's true. And that's easy. In fact, I've literally walked straight past that. So that's actually four. Um, and shout out to Pobody's Nerfect who gave us $10 and says, Hey, John and Claire, I'm glad to catch you. I wanted to let you know that the tabby kittens that got named John and Claire earlier this year both got adopted by a young couple last week. Oh! Oh, that's so nice. Thank did they you go so much to get, for letting us know. Did they go together? Are they, are they, did they get to be friends? It sounds like they get to the same place. Yeah, that seems, that sounds like what they're saying. Yeah. Oh, that sounds adorable. Uh, shout out to new channel member Thomas Carpenter and to Alexander who gave us $10 and says, 10 hours, John, you're a man, man, and I love it. Claire, you're a saint. Excellent. Now, where's Phyllis? I think we can just very quickly... Give Phyllis the speech check. And there we go. Phyllis, I, I know you think you're a synth, but you're actually not. And we can just straight up uh, speech check you like you were saying. That's true. So calm down. Chill the cock out. And we're just going to basically just say, no, you're absolutely fine. Yeah, there we go. What happened? And that's absolutely fine. Everything's under control. You uh, you went wrong. You're clearly suffering from PTSD or something. It's all absolutely fine. You're not, in fact, a synth. It's not actually a problem. Diddly, diddly, d. It's all under control. My son's an old man, which is kind of tricky, actually, and so forth and so on, and diddly, diddly. It's all absolutely fine. Look, you're not a sin. You're, you're a fine. Sin. It's just an accident. You don't need accident. to explain the plot, John. This one, this one might be people don't know. And then I'm just going to speech check you into joining the Minuteman. Boom! Minuteman, number four. Let's go. And there we go. I can now use the workshop. That is number four. Now, I think that should be enough. If I were to go back to... If I go back to... Yeah, screw, screw that mission. If I go back to Sanctuary now, I think four is enough that uh yeah because we've got abernathy as well as the the two starting settlements now we've got egret like i think if i speak to preston now preston will give me uh retake the castle so we're already halfway through act act three and i think we've demonstrated that actually it's pretty easy to pick up settlements uh if that's what you want to do so we just need to find <laughs> preston in this absolute darkness yes claire Oh my goodness, shout out to Andrew who gave us a hundred dollars. Oh, flip me. Andrew. Andrew says, uh, holy fuck, I came to watch the VOD and you're still going. I guess you took Action Boy as your perk for this year. Happy birth, John. Hi, Claire. Happy birth. <laughs> Happy birth. I can't see Preston because it's too, the weather's too bad, but he's going to respond to the bell. He's going to respond to the bell. Everyone's going to respond to the bell. I'm going to see if I'm right with that. There's Preston. Preston, buddy old pal. Is it something you need? You ready to tell me about that? And... How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance. Anything else? Nope, not yet. I no. thought it was four. Maybe it's, maybe it's five. Or maybe you need to do the mission he gives you. I'm not sure. But I think what we've done tonight is make a very, very solid start. We have made it to... About halfway through, or coming up on our halfway through Act 3, without, like, getting a single kill. Though, as you can see, 
pacifist in Fallout 4 doesn't really mean pacifist. It means manipulating mechanics to your advantage, because that's really the only way it could be done. There's a lot of quick quick saving and quick loading to just basically get around that 40% chance to succeed flat. Um, the pacification mechanics are very unreliable. This is why I've never prioritized this as like a serious series. But I admit, having played this tonight, maybe one day I'll do it as a dumb like comedy series. You never know. Watch this space. It could happen. Because all I need to do now is find four more settlements, I think, who are willing who would be willing to join the Minuteman. And then actually maybe the maybe the Starlight Driving doesn't count. Maybe it needs to maybe it needs to be another five and another one for retake the castle. But we we're, we're golden. Like and then it, then after that it's literally just bombing the Brotherhood. And we've already established defences don't count. So defend the defend the castle from the Brotherhood counter assault. As long as I don't do anything and let the guns handle it, then that's no kills. Uh, and then we just literally have to find a way to do the institute. Now that one out of bit could be a bit trickier. That could just be a lot of pacification. But I think you get the point. This here has been more achievable and more fun than I genuinely thought it was going to be. Which is really exciting. And now Claire and I are going to go have some dinner. Nope, in inverted commas. Nope, nope, nope. Because now there's like almost a page more. Go Claire, go. <laughs> A uh, shout out to Esther who gave us uh, uh, 1,500 yen uh, and says I'm here because of your Soma playthrough and I've been re-watching it at least once a year. Thank you for all your hard work, John and Claire. Happy birthday once again. I think Soma might be one of the most underappreciated games of like the last decade. I think it's incredible. I think the story is amazing. I think I really enjoyed it and even then I underappreciated it. I find myself thinking about it a lot. It's brilliant. If you've never played Soma, it's on sale all the time. It's not even that expensive. Play Soma. It's great. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Smoke Screamer who uh, gave us uh, $5 and says, shout out to you both, Claire and John from New Mexico. Uh, funny that you said Albuquerque while I was trying to write this. Much love. Love you too. Also, the chat said I, I said it okay. Yay. Uh, shout out to uh, Shannon, who gave us $2 and says, happy birthday from another Leo, August uh, 11th. Uh, Arturo gave us another five uh, dollars and says Claire is a saint and John is a prophet. Keep up the good work. That's that's a nice balance. I can live with that. He's gonna I, like that. I can live yeah. with that. Yeah, I can live with that. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Igrolf the Nord uh, who gave us five dollars and says uh, hello. I'm donating once again because I have the whole stream from uh, seven a.m to about 9 p.m. Pacific. Sorry, P.S. Sorry if this message makes no sense. Brain fuzzy. I think they mean they've been watching the entire time. Yeah. I also really now appreciate the now vastly more ironic card uh, thumbnail you so made for it. <laughs> the, the, the delightful vault boy looking so happy with his angelic halo now feels a lot more s sadly bitterly ironic. Oh dear. Like ray -ay 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 on your wedding day. If we ever do this, but actually, I think what we'll have to do is like the actual thumbnail. We'll have to have something like that in like episode one, and then like we added the the monster in Subnautica. We'll have to make him look angrier and introduce more and more like like tiny devil hordes and make them bigger and bigger, and like slowly the corruption with each episode. I feel like that's well, what we need. We've taught them now. Yeah, but they'll, they'll never remember. We won't do this for years. It'll be fine. Oh great. Um, there's only 2,000 of them, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, shout out to uh, Axel Fack, who gave us $2 uh, and says, One last good night from Dogface, the hero puppy. Oh, good Dogface. Good Dogface. Yes, apparently at some point, uh, Dogface uh, woke them up by barking uh, at the window and it turned out that there was somebody in the street, uh, an elderly person in the street had fallen down and was crying for help and he was the only one who heard them what a good dog the best dog excellent dog uh yes indeed uh yes uh i believe is that is that hong kong dollars uh evmund gave us 500 hong kong dollars that's in red uh which is normally a, a which means big but i don't know the exchange rate you're correct no but i mean i don't I don't mean the exchange rate. I don't know for sure what this code is for, John. 
It must be Hong Kong dollars, surely. Yes. It, yes. It is. It is. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, uh... Though no message. If you want to get a message in, that was the, that was the last moment to do it because we'll wrap it and up. Please add uh, reply me in chat so I can see it. Yes. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Zenith who gave us uh, 250 Philippine pesos uh, and says another happy birthday gift for you, John. Go to sleep now that you're all caught up. We're not because you guys keep being. Sorry, d that sounded. <laughs> That sounded bitchier than I meant it to be. I think Claire's tired. I think Claire's tired. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be a total bend. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, uh, Zenith says you deserve all the rest. All the best for you guys. I love the content. I'm sorry, I really didn't mean. Claire's just a bit sleepy. Uh, shout out to Mike who gave us ten dollars and says a dollar per hour. Love you both. Any thoughts on seventy six after all this time? Gonna be honest, I saw what was going on with Expeditions of the Pit. It struck me as incredibly boring. It's just a raid. Um, there's no proper overworld to explore. There's no proper RPG elements to it. I'm disappointed. Uh, after Wastelanders, I was hoping for more big narrative expansions, but since then, every like big thing has been just late game raids with lots of combat <laughs> like i wasn't like people have been saying the brotherhood stuff was a bit better than that uh i saw some footage of other people playing it i wasn't impressed i feel like wastelanders is the pinnacle of what 76 is ever going to be for me and honestly i'm comfortable just thinking you know what now it, it's a game for builders it's a buildy game almost everything seems to be about building and that's fine it's a nice game for builders yes Okay, so Axel Fact updated us to say thank you for the love for Dogface. He's the best boy brackets. He was best boy at my wedding. Oh. If you want to have that image in your head. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, shout out to uh, Ev Mund who, uh, Ev Mund who says, uh, yes, it is Hong Kong dollar dues and the message is ka -ching! <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for your Hong Kong dollary dues. Thank you so, so much. Uh, let me make sure I've got everything. Salem Wildfire gave us five dollars uh, and says, Happy birthday, go to bed already. Copper Hamster says, A very merry, not unbirthday to you, John. And reasonable. Gave us two dollars. Given it is now the 18th, that's reasonable. Uh, Myth gave us $10 and a little picture of a birthday cake. Yep, very to the point. Very to the point indeed. Uh, Daniel Kenny gave us $14 uh, and says, uh, $14.35 and says, this is how much the book Go the Fuck to Sleep costs on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, That's an John. excellent way of selecting an amount. Wow. I, I appreciate it. That's good. I like That's that. That's beautiful, That's Daniel. beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, AJ gave us $5 and says, uh, knowing your fellow Leo means so much about the channel makes sense now. Happy birthday and thank you for all the excellent content. I don't know enough about Zodiac Science to know precisely what that is, but I'm going to assume it's a compliment. Mm -hmm. And only it was like a fire side that was like fire and shit. Um, I don't really know what the, the, the detail about the Zodiac at all. And I think one last snuck in. Uh, yes, shout out to Polylicious who gave us 50 Swedish krona and uh, says uh, happy Borf Dorf. Um, uploading McLotus and gave us two Canadian dollars and says good night, go sleep or else. <laughs> People are starting to issue threats, this is good. Zachary Dangerous Stewart. Love it. Beautiful. Uh, gave us $10 and says thanks Claire and John and happy birthday. Uh, Arturo gave us $10 and says, Happy birthday, John. I've enjoyed your channel for several years now. Thank you for the content. And I think on the sweet, on that sweet note, I think we are actually there and we're going to wrap things up. Just shy of 11 hours. Ooh. You people have been incredible. Thank you so, so much. You're ridiculous and I love you. But oh, it's a it's dog a in a tie. Of, it's a picture. Dog face as best boy at the wedding. I'm Wearing gonna put it tie. in chat. It's a galaxy tie. Oh you lot my are incredible. God. You lot are incredible. This has been an amazing thing. Thank you so, so, so much for your incredible generosity. Uh, and yeah, I hopefully you feel like you've got uh, you've got your worth <laughs> out of it because I, I think this has been this. I, I think this may be more oh, than more than 
I think arguably more than the previous big Fallout lives we've done, has had more incredible moments. Finding <laughs> the dumb ways to kill people and everyone's favourite game show, am I morally responsible for this murder? Uh, I think, I dumb think, ways to die. Exactly. But like for killing people. Exactly. I think I've even had some, <laughs> I think there's been some wonderful moments in this. I think there's been some wonderful uh, moments. Cecile yes. Cecile in the chat says, like Cotsworth, Claire is finally released from the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've had some amazing moments. Uh, I'm sure, like, I'm sure there'll be some incredible clips. Uh, that if you if you yeah. have like if you have, like if you have no where the incredible moments are, clip them, send them to me. I'll retweet the fuck out of them. hundred percent. This sounds ex incredibly exciting. We're gonna go have some dinner and or uh, breakfast. Yeah. And final uh, quick round. Thank you to Steve and Lewis and Boats and Molly and Copper Hamster and Chris uh, who uh, gave uh, a bit of my coffee account. So I I really appreciate that. Uh, and uh, yes, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. And now we're going to go have some form of food that we're not sure what it's called. I am having a bowl of Weetabix. You're having a bowl of Weetabix. Fair oh, enough. Yeah. That seems reasonable. That seems reasonable right there. Thank you so, so much for joining me on my birthday and then five hours beyond the end of it's my birthday. 5 it's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. We're going to go maybe have a bit of a day off tomorrow. In fact, it's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe a bit of a day off tomorrow. It's fine. I think we've uh, I think we've, we've done it 11 hours straight. That's fine. That's justified. Uh, we will be back next week. I think possibly Elden Ring might come back next week, next Thursday. And yeah, normal video tomorrow. Horror game, in fact. I'm playing a horror game that's been recommended to me a few times tomorrow. And yeah, hopefully we'll see you next week for uh, Elden Ring's return, unless uh, something more exciting comes up. All sorts of other stuff coming up too, of course. And just, yes, all your usual Oblivion. Incredible episodes of Oblivion coming up. So proud of those. I think the channel's in a lovely place right now. Thank you so, so much for joining us this evening. Thank you for your incredibly generous donations. And yes, we will uh, hopefully see you for more very very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. This has been Truda. My voice is starting to go. I need to go oh. rest it for a bit. Thank you. This has been, uh, this has been absolutely amazing. It's been wonderful. We've had some incredible moments. It's been great. And this has been Fallout 4. No, no, no kill. Inverted commas. Thank you very much. And have fun. Fun hands. What? Because Jamie clean hands. <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying to do a thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs>